This is a heart that can resonate with the gods. Whoever possesses it can change to an S-class hidden profession. However, as the owner, I failed to change professions and became a useless person mocked by everyone. It's because a car accident left my heart damaged, and in order to survive, I had to use machinery to modify it. This caused it to be unable to withstand the power of the gods during the profession change and it broke on the spot. At the critical moment when my life was hanging by a thread, the scenes of my parents lying in the hospital bed, my sister living in a wheelchair, and the mockery of my classmates flooded my heart with sadness. With a roar, the mechanical heart in my body forcibly started again, even barely resisting the pressure of the god's power during the profession change. But the sudden appearance of my dear brother caused my belief in a successful profession change to collapse. I spat out a mouthful of blood and fell onto the profession change platform. Chapter 154 Rin Family All for dogs. Ah, those passers-by who had wanted to follow the curly-haired Amma and accuse Wang Dust were scared shitless. Damn it. Gu Qingqing trembled with anger and wanted to rush out. Stand still, what do you want? Yi Qing directly clasped Gu Qingqing's shoulders. Of course I'm going to catch him. Quickly let go of me Tin Yi. I request that he be shot down immediately. Gu Qingqing looked at Wang Chin deadpan. Can't you see that he has gone crazy? Even ordinary people are killing indiscriminately. Can you stop being capricious? Come back to me. Do you think you're his match? Yi Qing took a deep breath and dragged Gu Qingqing back. His level was already over 50 when he came out of the trial tower. What can you do if you're a 40-something level professional who goes there? Send him to his death? What? Over 50 levels? How is this possible? Gu Qingqing's body violently trembled. Her eyes filled with disbelief and her mind went blank. Back then, her results in the college entrance examination were not bad, but she had only risen 4 levels in the trial tower. At that time, with 23 levels, her grades belonged to the upper middle class, or else she wouldn't have been able to smoothly come to the law enforcement team after graduating from the university. So this was why Gu Qingqing was so shocked. Was this still a human being? How on earth did this kid called Wang Chen do it? Was this really just a student who had just finished taking the college entrance exam? Surprisingly, he was even higher than Yi Qing's rank. If you really want to help, now hurry up and control the uninformed masses. Don't let them spread rumors at will. And even more so, don't let them cross that line drawn by Wang Chen. Yi Qing flew into command. Gu Qingqing hesitated for a moment and glared fiercely at Wang Chen then ran out. Starting to greet those law enforcement team members under his hand, he controlled the people not to let them break through the cordon again. Now whoever dared to cross the line drawn by Wang Chen, all would die without a burial place. And at this time, in the middle of the Rin family, more and more people began to walk out. At the head of the group was the Rin family's oldest ancestor in black battle armor. His figure was shrouded in black battle armor. Only a pair of cold eyes escaped. And next to him was Rin Shanzong in another battle armor, holding an alloy long sword his eyes filled with undisguised killing intent. Has the old dog of the Rin family finally given up and come out? At the side there was a senior shouted, Wine dust, this is the Rin family, how can you be allowed to act recklessly here? Don't spit blood, your sister our Rin family has never even met, there was no way they would admit it anyway, even if they didn't live to see today, they would still have to suppress Zhou Chen on a legal and moral level, otherwise, in case they admitted it, Lu Fan's side would have a reason to make a move. Lu Fan on the side heard that the Rin family's people were dead set against admitting it. His face instantly became ugly, and he gripped the bloodied long knife in his hand again, but let go of it. He could not intervene in the current situation. The Ren family's young plot was too disgusting. That middle-aged man looked at Wang Chen with a smug gaze, his lips slightly parted. Meaning what can you do with us, we won't admit it anyway. He didn't believe that Wang Chen would dare to strike again. If he struck again, he would cut his future short probably not even wanting the university to have him for the rest of his life. After all, killing so many people in front of so many people, even if they were guilty, the law would not allow it. Wang Chen was committing a crime. They were confident that Wang Chen wouldn't do it again. But just then, Wang Chen suddenly disappeared into the air. Rumble. In the next moment, he appeared in front of this middle-aged man with a goatee and threw out a punch. This middle-aged man's face instantly changed drastically as he crossed his arms in front of him and a diamond-shaped defense shield emerged. Bang! The defense shield instantly ruptured, and a terrifying force poured out. This middle-aged man was smashed by Wang Chuan on the spot, and his body directly shattered in mid-air, splitting apart and raining blood. Seeing this, the faces of the Ren family ancestor and the Ren mountain sect immediately became ugly. That man just now was a solid 40-plus leveled powerhouse. Surprisingly, he could not resist even one punch from Wang Chen. It was really too demonic. If Wang Chuan was given a period of time to grow, they didn't dare to imagine what kind of ground he would be able to reach. Undoubtedly, he would become their great enemy. Wang Chuan withdrew his fist and laughed fiercely. 
didn't you just want to force my hand? I'm doing what you want now. Wanna force me to go crazy? Then I'll go crazy for you. Come on. Who else in the Rin family is not afraid of death? Hearing these words, those people from the Rin family immediately turned ugly. When had the Rin family ever been so humiliated? Even the front door had been stomped on, and they were even pointing and cursing at their noses. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Dare to kill my Rin family? Take your life. A youth held a long knife and rushed towards Wang Chen. However, before he could even get close to Wang Chuan, he was halfway there when Wang Chuan shot his head off with a laser. Put. Blood splattered everywhere. One shot killed in seconds. But Wang Chuan didn't stop. Instead, he directly took the man's headless body, as if holding a blood spewing brush, and flew in front of the Rin family's door to write a few big words. Run family. All for dogs. Chapter 155. Your Rin family can't take anything from me. Throwing away the corpse of the youth in his hands, he tossed it high into the air. Shienur, a woman cried with pearly blossoms, opening her arms, she wanted to pick up the corpse. Catch your mom, pussy. Wang Chuan raised his hand and fired a cannon. Bang, the burst ray shot out again. A red light flashed in the air, and the youth's body immediately exploded in the air. Wow, bloodied entrails and gore instantly smeared the woman's face. Ah ah ah. She stopped where she was in despair looking at the blood and flesh on her body and howling as she vomited. It's too much. Even if the Rin family did something, he didn't have to do this. He's simply heartless. Gu Qingqing's eyes were red. Yi Qing sighed and asked, if your mom and dad were captured by someone else, and now their life and death is unknown, would you be as calm as him? The Ren family is now knowing that they have committed a heinous crime and won't live long, forcing Wang Chuan to make a move. As long as Wang Chuan kills someone he has cut off his future, but Wang Chuan still made a move. If it were you, would you be willing? Gu Qingqing was stunned. I. She then said nothing. Wang Chen looked at the Rin family's oldest ancestor at this time and shouted. What's wrong? What are you two standing here for? Quickly tell me where my sister is. If it wasn't for the sake of asking about my sister's whereabouts, you guys would be dead by now. What are you standing here looking at? Or is it that none of your Rin family has any eggs? Can only stand here and watch like a pussy? Deceitful. Right at this moment another Rin family senior couldn't endure it anymore and rushed out. At this time Rin Shanzong hurriedly shouted, Don't be impulsive. You give me dash. Shu. With a string of residual shadows, he unexpectedly appeared behind Wang Chen. With the shadow dagger in his hand, he dual wielded and crossed it towards Wang Chen's head. Bang. But to everyone's surprise his two daggers erupted with countless sparks as they cut into Wang Chuan's armor. And in the next moment they even shattered directly. The golden wings behind Wang Chuan's back fiercely gathered towards the center. And the countless sharp feather blades were like knives. Snort. Ah, this person was directly split into countless pieces of flesh by the countless feather blades, and blood splattered all over the place. Then Wang Chuan slapped out, and this blood and flesh was directly slapped in front of him, forming the word Rin family. Ah, I'll fight you. Soon another Rin family senior rushed over, but Wang Chuan directly took a step and crushed the huge axe in his hand with a palm, then hammered his head with a punch. The wings on his back spread out. Thud. His body was similarly shredded. It was spelled out by Wang Chuan in three big words. No egg. Seeing this scene, all of the Rin clan's executives grimaced. It was truly humiliating. The Rin family's oldest ancestor, who had been expressionless, suddenly said, Wang Chuan, you should know what all this you've done today represents. Right. You violated the laws of the Chinese empire. Whether we are guilty or not it's not your turn to make a move. You can't represent the officials. After all, here, everything has to be counted by the law. Students with previous convictions won't be able to take the university exams they won't be commissioned, and they can't participate in official organizations, and you killed so many people, or in front of so many people, even if someone wants to protect you, I'm afraid that it will be very difficult, and what will greet you may be a prison sentence, or even a death sentence, Wang Dust suddenly shouted, and then what, is there any significance, I only have my sister in my eyes, whoever dares to touch my sister will die, he had long understood that the Rin family's old ancestor was deliberately forcing his hand, it had also long since been understood that this was the Rin family's nakedly masculine plot, but it didn't matter. He had only become powerful in order to protect his family, and if he couldn't even protect his family, then what was the point of him becoming powerful? He doesn't care about the law. He doesn't care about morality. He doesn't care about benevolence. He only wants to save his sister. Is this also wrong? And this world is really ridiculous. The Ren family, who had repeatedly violated the law, had used the law to sanction him at the last minute. The law couldn't protect him from having his heart taken away and his family framed. Yet it could sanction him. It was truly ridiculous. Then what was the point of following this law? Very well. 
the Ring family's old ancestor didn't bother with nonsense. His purpose had already been achieved. Strike and kill him. The Ring clan's old ancestor was ready to strike. You minions are worthy of fighting me? Wang Chen reached out and grabbed his hand, and the golden lance emerged. Boom! Wang Chuan appeared in front of the crowd, and with a single pick of the spear, a person's head instantly separated as blood exploded. How fast! The Ren family's crowd was shocked. They did not react at all. The next moment, Wang Dust violently spun around. The golden wings behind his back frantically unfolded, killing like a meat grinder. The five or six people around him died instantly and tragically, being split into countless pieces of flesh. Without exception, all of these people were over 40 leveled powerhouses. Ren Shanzong's eyes reddened as he held his giant alloy sword, a golden light rising from it, and he wanted to slash out. Boom! Wang Chuan suddenly appeared in front of him like an instantaneous movement, and shot a shot above his sword blade, directly shattering this gold level giant sword of his. An ice cold voice rang out. Your Ren family can't take anything from me, whether it's my heart, or my family. It was as if Ren Shanzong had seen Wang Chen's crazy bloodthirsty gaze inside through the V-shaped honeycomb eyepiece. Chapter 156, One Punch to Kill You. The moment the sword blade collapsed, Ren Shanzong's expression violently turned livid. Do you really think weapons are my best? Explode blood. Boom. His body swelled up violently. His height changing from 1 meter 8 to 2 meters tall. Muscle blocks bulged, directly almost bursting the battle armor. And the moving muscles inside were vaguely visible among the gaps, with veins and sinews as if they were earthworms. As a 60th level explosive blood warrior, Ren Shanzong's key skill was explosive blood, dramatically increasing his strength. It was able to make his strength attribute surge to as much as 250,000 in a short period of time. Rumble. The ground where his feet stood crumbled, countless stones flew about, and terrifying airwaves resembled roaring lions running rampant. What terrifying energy! Gu Qingqing and the others were almost toppled over by this terrifying energy, their faces pale for a moment. If it weren't for their protection, all of those onlookers behind them would have been torn through a layer of skin. Is this a level 60 plus powerhouse? That kid is probably in danger. Explosive blood tear. Ren Shanzong's five fingers formed a claw and he grabbed towards Wang Chen. It could be seen that under his terrifying power boost, the air near his fingertips distorted. It was as if it brought up waves of blood-red air. At this moment, Ren Shanzong seemed to have become an iron-blooded warrior who had fought on the battlefield for a hundred days, exuding a terrifying killing aura. Brat! Return my son's life! Ren Shanzong only wanted to kill Wang Chen at this moment. His current power attribute had surged to an unbelievable level. But the next moment, Ren Shanzong suddenly realized that his fist was caught by Wang Chen. It didn't even move a bit, no matter how hard he pushed. Even the muscles within his body emitted a humming sound, as if countless engines had begun to work at the same time. But there was no effect either. Even the dirt under his feet turned over a few grooves. Is this the killing move you've carefully prepared for me? It's really weak beyond words. Wang Chuan looked at Ren Shanzong. You, Ren Shanzong was about to speak. But suddenly his entire body froze as his pupils contracted and his eyes froze, only to see rolling red lines emerge from the seams of Wang Dust's black and gold battle armor, and a terrifying aura like a lava volcano erupted from his body. It was as if the boiling hot water began to heat up again. It finally turned into hot lava rolling around. Even the pair of golden feathered wings that flared out recklessly behind him were burning as if they were the sun. Snort. Because the armor was running at a rapid pace due to the powerful force, Rolling white energy visible to the naked eye was spewing out from within the seams of the armor, as if there were roaring flames burning inside. Ren Shanzong, you're not even a fraction of me. Ren Shanzong suddenly realized that Wang Chuan's power attribute had come to 3 million. Wang Chen individually unfolded his information panel for him. The series of numbers that were still scrolling deeply stimulated Ren Shanzong's brain. Ren Shanzong felt as if his head had been hit by countless heavy hammers in a split second. Shock was written all over his face, and his eyes almost didn't fly out. This, how is this possible? Ren Shanzong trembled as he tried to shout. How could someone have as many as 3 million four-dimensional attributes? This was completely out of the ordinary. Anyone who touches my sister, deserves to die. Wang Dust let out a fierce smile. Rumble. The ground he was standing on, with a diameter of more than 30 meters with him at the center, all crumbled and collapsed as countless cracks filled the ground. Wang Chen exerted a slight force. Ren Shanzong's entire arm instantly crumbled into a bloody mist. But before Rin Shanzong had time to scream, a palm passed through the blood mist and violently tackled his neck, deadening him. The terrifying force squeezed his spine and made a creaking sound. There shouldn't be any problem killing you first, right? After all, with so many people, there will always be someone who knows where my sister is. Wang Chuan spoke as if he was speaking to Rin Shanzong, and as if he was speaking to himself. It was like a devil's whisper. He looked at Rin Shanzong, 
The V-shaped honeycomb eye patch was dazzlingly hard to see at this moment. The dangerous red light was thick and suffocating. He wore a smile on his face, and his hoarse voice sounded softly in Rin Shanzong's ears. Also tell you again, this is my limit. Do you think that your run family spelled out the entire clan can drag me down? He he, simply impossible. Even if I kill all of you, so what? A genius like me is constant for ages. Do you think the officials will destroy a genius that is one in a million for you guys? Shock was written all over Rin Shanzong's face as he said with difficulty, Wang, Wang Chuan, you, are you crazy? Underneath the mask, he seemed to laugh, isn't this, still what you guys forced me to do? Carrying Rin Shanzong in one hand, he clenched his fist with one hand, boom, Wang Chen blasted out with his fist, and a white airburst visible to the naked eye formed in the air, suddenly spreading towards the surroundings, triggering gusts of distortion in the air, the majestic power was like lava waves pouring onto Rin Shanzong. Ah, Ren Shanzong's face was hideous. His skin was torn apart by the terrifying power, revealing bloody muscles and blood vessels. But the muscles flew to destruction again, and along with the bones inside, all of them turned into blood red aerosol a little bit. Chapter 157 Occupational Fusion Skill Amidst everyone's shocked gazes, Ren Shanzong was killed by Wang Chuan with a single punch. This all happened really fast. He actually killed the level 60 Ren Shanzong who had the blood burst skill on. Gu Qingqing covered her mouth. Monstrous waves rose in her mind. Who dash? This is why I repeatedly told you not to go forward. Now do you understand? Yi Qing walked over and patted Gu Qingqing's shoulder. I understand. Gu Qingqing nodded with a complex expression and broke out in a cold sweat. She couldn't help but use her parsing skill to look at Wang Chen's data panel. But since Wang Chen had absorbed the uncrowned king's silence aura after, as long as he didn't actively expose it, others were unable to see his attributes and information at all. Could it be that his four-dimensional attributes have reached 300, 000? That's equivalent to a top-level 60 warrior awe. Gu Qingqing's heart was beating fast. The brain was dizzy. 300,000. It was already the limit of her bold guess. And she had never expected it. Wang Chen's four-dimensional attribute would come to a terrifying 3 million after opening the overload of gods and increasing tenfold. Lu Fan was also stunned. He had thought that Wang Chuan had already reached his limit by killing the boss on the hundredth floor. Who knew that Wang Dust didn't seem to have a limit? Even Rin Shanzong, whose strength was straight up to level 70, had been instantly secured. What about the Ren family ancestor? A level 70 professional powerhouse exploded out with the strength of a level 80. How should Wang Dust deal with it? Countless thoughts rolled through Lu Fan's mind. He couldn't just be instantly secured in one go. Could he? The rest of the Ren family executives had their mouths wide open, as if they hadn't recovered from the shock they had just experienced. Everyone was a little confused. Their legs softened and their minds blanked out by the scene that caught them off guard. No one was more aware of Rin Shanzong's fearsomeness than they were. Especially after turning on the blood explosion skill. The combat power was directly comparable to a level 70 warrior. But it was still killed in seconds. Rin family old dog. It seems like you broke your back. Ha! Huh? With your grandson dead and your son dead. You don't have that ability at your age. Do you? Wang Dust laughed. He then looked at the rest of the people and said. Before killing you. It's better to clean up these stray fish first. After watching for so long, it's your turn. Wang Chen's extremely cold and tyrannical voice rang out. The terrifying gaze was like a flooding beast locking everyone in the Rin family present. A heavy sense of oppression spread through the air. Not good. The faces of the Rin family executives changed in unison. Someone roared. We have no way back. All prepare for me. Light flashed on everyone's bodies. All of them summoning their own weapons and equipment. Turning on a single increased skill with a raging momentum. Terrifying energies linked up, destroying the sky and the earth. However, it had no effect. Wang Dust's golden wings unfolded like a raised battle flag, exuding a hot and ferocious battle intent. At this moment, he just felt infinite anger and infinite killing aura in his heart, wanting to find a cathartic point to release it. Golden light converged in his palm. The apocalypse lance emerged, the golden tip of the lance blooming with endless light. In the next instant, everyone in the arena, including the Ren clan's ancestor, all appeared in a momentary trance. The sound of clockwork stagnation rang out. The heavens and earth seemed to turn the color of gray. A huge clock emerged from the air, and the second hand suddenly trembled and stopped moving. The air was suspended. In this gray heaven and earth, only one person had color. That was Wang Chen. A golden light flickered on him, accompanied by the long spear in his hand raised high. It was as if he was holding up a golden sun. Everything began to distort as countless wave-like golden lines filled the air, emanating and radiating everything. Wang Chen took a deep breath and suddenly felt as if something was churning in his brain. Extreme anger burned into a monstrous flame. The two professions began to merge. A skill flew out of the gray mist and solidified. 
Apocalypse Destruction, Mechanical Descending God. Wang Chen was so radiant at the moment that he even became blinding, and he pointed the lance in his hand brazenly forward. An illusory mechanical god emerged from behind him, and countless gears flew chaotically, cutting through the air with golden trajectories. Countless parts began to combine, intertwine, and nest, finally coalescing behind him into an incomparably huge mechanical lance. Rumble. The mechanical lance crossed the void with a trailing flame behind it, and layers of folds appeared in the air as if it had affected time and space. Everything began to shatter. No, the Rin family executives all began to distort, as if a photograph began to be rubbed together, and everyone began to crumble. Tick tock, time began to pass. It was as if everything that was suppressed was suddenly released. Boom, accompanied by a loud noise, an incomparably huge shockwave swept out, and a huge mushroom cloud rose in the center. The earth trembled, and all the surrounding glass shattered. Ah, people were all sent flying backwards by the impact, falling onto the wall behind them. When the dust and smoke cleared, the shocked crowd realized that all of the Rin family executives had disappeared. There was only a terrifyingly large pit. No, it was the entire Rin family that had disappeared. The Rin family manor, which covered an area of a hundred acres, had disappeared. There was only an endless large pit emitting scorched black smoke. In the lawsuit, pro sister there is an accident. Update unstable. Forgive me. Chapter 158. You guys got the wrong person ah. Yi Ching and Gu Ching Ching's brains lost their ability to think. They fell to the ground in a sorry state. Surrounded by the car glass were all shattered. The car is emitting ear piercing alarms. The car section of the yellow cordon fell on the ground. The ordinary people around directly by the terrible shock wave. Some of them were stunned. Those ordinary people around were directly stunned by this terrible shock wave. And some of them were even bleeding from the seven orifices. Their lives and deaths were uncertain. In front of them, there was only this incomparably terrifying crater. Their ears were still filled with a buzzing sound right now, as if there were countless bees flying around. Rod, the Ren family is gone just like that? Gu Qingqing was so terrified that his body was trembling. Because of the intense fear, his body began to convulse uncontrollably, and a strong feeling of regurgitation came from his stomach, nauseated and wanting to vomit. If he had stepped forward just now to dissuade Wang Chen, he didn't dare to imagine what the consequences would be for him. Was this really the terrifying destructive power that a freshman who had just finished taking the college entrance exam could cause? What level of strength had he already reached? Why was he able to cause such a wide range of destruction comparable to a small forbidden magic spell? This is flattening a Rin family ah. Men, women and children. More than a thousand members of the Rin family. All of them were dead. Yi Ching shakily walked over and pressed Gu Qingqing's shoulder. Wake up. Hurry up and call for backup. Let the people from the law enforcement team carry all these civilians away. I, I, no. Gu Qingqing held back the feeling of regurgitation trembling to stand up. Almost stumbled and fell to the ground. Fortunately Yi Qing pulled him a hand. She now felt that the vision in front of her eyes was all blurred. Even with blood color. The, there was no need to think. Her eyes were definitely bloodshot by now. The surrounding area had already come to their senses. And the law enforcement officers began to either carry or explode the people around them lifting them towards the periphery. It was only then that Gu Qingqing saw Lu Fan spitting out a mouthful of blood and collapsing on the ground, and the bloodied long knife in his hand had popped out countless cracks, and just around him could be seen a very obvious mark left by holding up the defense shield, and the place where he had originally stood was even plowed with his feet to create two deep furrows. Just in that instant, Lu Fan had done everything in his power to sacrifice this near-platinum level weapon to open up a large giant defense shield, otherwise they wouldn't have been as simple as injured. Call for backup call for backup. There's a large scale battle here on Ping and Street. Many civilians have been injured. Please send a medical jurisdiction team over as soon as possible. Yi Qing took out his pager. In fact, without waiting for him to shout, such a big commotion couldn't be hidden from the higher ups. Just a moment ago everyone saw a huge mushroom cloud rise in the direction of Ren's house, and all the windows of everyone within a 10 kilometer radius shattered. Drip drip drip. The ambulance arrived at a rapid pace. At the same time, there were also people from the escort house wearing fine equipment. The escort mansion was a law enforcement unit that belonged under the city king's mansion, a level higher than Yi Qing and the others. Generally speaking, there were two law enforcement units in a city. One was the law enforcement team of each district, which was responsible for ordinary people's cases and took care of the criminal incidents of professionals. The things that they couldn't handle would be handed over to their superiors. The law enforcement unit that was subordinate to the city king's palace, the protectorate, here were all occupiers with an average rank greater than 60, specializing in high-ranked occupier crimes, and the folk would jokingly refer to them as the bomb brigade because of all the heavy armor they wore. When something this big happened, it naturally alarmed the Luohai city guard house. 
The escort house wearing black uniform battle armor arrived here at a high speed in a hover car. Snort. The car door opened. The 20 man elite squad got out of the car and blocked off the scene. Team Lee. Yi Ching immediately went over and told everything in detail. The middle aged man in black heavy armor gave Wang Chen a horrified look. Is this the kid who did this? Wait a minute. This big pit is? Hiss. Where's the Rin family? The newly arrived law enforcement team were stunned. And each of them stayed in place. Such a large Rin family was gone just like that? Their first suspicion was that Wang Chen had used some sort of large-scale disposable prop to create such a large and terrifying killing force. Team Lee, the above has greeted us so that we can't hurt this kid. Originally this matter didn't notify you because I thought that I couldn't use you guys to come out. Who knows that it still alarmed you guys. Yi Ching was full of bitter smiles. But Li Hong said in a deep voice, no matter who above said it doesn't matter now. This kid has killed a full one or two thousand people. The entire Rin family has been exterminated by him. Although this Rin family wasn't supposed to be anything good, but so many innocent people inside, he didn't let go of them either. All the team members listen to me. In a moment team up and arrest this kid for me, if you resist shoot him on the spot. Yes, the rest of the team members' faces were grave. In their hands, they took out the restrainers with electric current. Yi Ching's face changed drastically. Lord Special Inspector is right here. Listen to his explanation dash. This can't be a fight. As a result, he turned around. Lu Fan had already fainted with a pale face. He had consumed too much power just now. F asterisk CK, you fainted at a bad time. Yi Ching Yin was confused. No, Team Lee, if you guys fight, you're bound to die. He's definitely bound to die. Don't stop me. Li Han's side was already ready to act. It was impossible to tolerate a high school student setting up explosives. Ha, huh? what Yi Ching wanted to say was, the ones who will surely die are you guys ah. Uh, chapter 159 you don't yell. This kid. His grandmother, how on earth did he bring so many explosives here? Yi Qing you have to take direct responsibility. This kid above even if there is a city leader cannot protect him. Li Hong was on fire, especially seeing so many injured civilians. Seniors calm down, things really aren't what you guys think. He didn't bring explosives. This is the damage this caused by virtue of his own one manpower. Gu Qingqing ran over and hurriedly explained and dissuaded. Just like when Yi Qing dissuaded her. Besides, the people above I'm talking about aren't the municipal leaders. They're people even higher up. Yi Qing was really sweating. How could he explain this? No, Yi Qing, you're a cynical person. Why are you so motherly today? What kind of heavenly back can a kid from a small place have? Jing can find the municipal leaders at this level is already heaven defying. You are afraid that your brain is not confused. If you stop me again, beware that I will take you down together. Li Hong was a bit angry. Wasn't taking down a high school student a handful of things? Tick tock. A few more hovercrafts came from the side, along with the law enforcement team. A man with a big belly got out of the car, surrounded by a secretary in black silk holding a folder. The surrounding law enforcement team followed. It was none other than He Yibin, the mayor of Luo Hai City. Lord Mayor, Yi Ching and Li Hong and the others hurriedly greeted. He Yibin came here and looked around in confusion. What happened here? Ah, uh, why is there such a big pit here? When did our downtown area engage in another project? Why don't I remember? The secretary next to him looked around and suddenly said nervously, Mr. Mayor, it doesn't seem to be a construction project here if I remember correctly. It should be the Rin family. Ah, uh, when did the Rin family engage in engineering to level their own home? Are they moving their home? This can't be done. The Rin family contributes so much tax revenue to our Luo Hai city in a year. How can they run away? He Yibin was anxious. Crowd. Li Hong hurriedly attached his ear and explained. He Yibin's face violently changed. Crap. Omit 10. Zero 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 crap. Then both eyes rolled over and directly fainted. Lord City King. Finally, lying on the ground, He Yibin shouted hoarsely. Yi Chang, I'm going to remove all of you from your positions. What are you guys up to? Is this kid pulling explosives with a truck? Did none of you check it out? Yi Ching laughed bitterly. My lord, there is an adult up here who has greeted me. He Yibin's face turned pale as he roared. Big your mom, isn't my position here big enough? Who is the person above this kid you give me? I'll remove him from his post now. I, Yi Ching was helpless. Gu Qingqing was also worried. She did not know exactly who behind wine dust gave a greeting. But now look at the good. Like to come to no one is useless. What are you still waiting for ah? Uh, hurry to take down this kid to me to lock up. Out of such a big thing my position are going to be unprotected ah. Uh. He Yibin sat on the ground. Frantically slapping the roots of his thighs. Wailing. Yes yes yes. Li Hong and the others were sweating profusely. Wang Chen on this side was too lazy to care about the people around him. The red light in his eyes was locked onto the Rin family ancestor who was paralyzed on the ground next to him. My sister should be right on top of you. I can feel her aura. 
It should be a cave type prop. Wang Chuan had long since turned on the infrared scan and identified an object on Ren family's old ancestor that contained his sister's scent. It was good that it was only fainted. You, the body of Ren family's old ancestor, who was weak and lying on the ground with his eyes almost flying out, trembled. His hair and beard were all burnt, and his face was dark as if he had just climbed out of a mine. Back to his senses. Ka Ching, the golden feathers flashed, and his fingertips fell to the ground. Wang Chen took his ring. Ah ha. The Ren family ancestor roared in pain. His entire body was about to collapse. The Ren family was gone? The promised jade and stone were destroyed. The deal was to pull Wang Chen into the water. Go under your mother's water. This isn't human. How strong is this kid? Sister. As expected. This is a cave prop. It was capable of surviving people inside. His own sister was locked inside. As if she had fainted. But when he saw his sister's cheeks swelling up. He knew that she must have received a few slaps. You deserve to die. A terrifying killing aura rose from Wang Chen's body. The Rin family's oldest ancestor shivered. You, don't come over. He was scared. There was not even a desire to fight anymore. The son and grandson who had a strong desire to fight now had no bone crumbs left. Ka Ching. Wang Chuan pinched the Rin family's old ancestor's neck. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The Rin family's old ancestor's face was suffocated in redness and pain. Stop. Do you still want to commit murder in front of me? With me here. Don't even think of touching the Rin family. He Yibin yelled. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The Ren family's old ancestor was numb. Yell like your mom? The Ren family is all gone. And you stood out. And. You don't yell. The louder you yell. The faster I die ah. Uh. Do it. Just as Li Hong and the others were about to strike. Rumble. A crimson light suddenly came from the sky. As if something was flying in a hurry. Emitting a sonic boom. Chapter 160 My lord. You have finally come. What commotion? He Yibin raised his head violently. But the scene before him was one that he would never forget. Countless red-colored dragons with huge bodies flew in from the distance. Carrying terrifying air-breaking sounds before finally hovering above his head. Even though the crimson dragons were only gently resting in mid-air. The terrifying sense of oppression coming from their dragons was enough to make the souls of everyone present tremble. It's actually the Red Dragon Guard. City King He Yibin was shocked. In China, the Red Dragon Guard's mighty name could be said to be a household name. Even if he was honored as the king of a city, he had to dish it out in front of the Red Dragon Guard. After all, the Red Dragon Guard represents the second law enforcement brigade of the Dragon Capital. The top handful of law enforcement officers in the whole of China. Even if he were to make a mistake in front of them, he would still be guilty of the same crime as the common people. First to decapitate. First to kill. Imperial license. No one in the whole of China dares to refute their right to enforce the law. And they're here now? He Yibin laughed out loud after a moment's thought. Schadenfreude looked toward Wang Dust in the Rin family compound. This arrogant kid had just become a scholar, and had used explosives to blow up thousands of Rin family members, old and young, and really thought that no one in Huaxia could rule him. This matter has already reached the dragon capital. This kid will be beheaded by the Red Dragon Guards under the dragon. Just this little thing, to mobilize the Red Dragon Guards? He Yibin's face showed an almost maniacal excitement. No matter what, at the very least, the Red Dragon Guards had come to help him. Wang Duan a Wang Duan. There are people above you right. I will see who will protect you today. The unconscious Lu Fan's forehead was still dripping blood. Is this breath, a flying dragon guard? He opened his eyes. Confused, he laboriously looked up at the mighty red dragon guard. The flying dragon guards actually came so fast. Lu Fan was also unable to care about wiping his blood. Wanting to take a few glances at the flying dragon guard's stance. Even he did not have much contact with the flying dragon guard. It was important to realize that the flying dragon guards were at the very least level 60 existences, and each of them had strength beyond their level. Wait, this isn't a flying dragon guard. After seeing the visitor, Lu Fan's tiger body shook and he couldn't stop trembling. It's actually a red-colored dragon. The red dragon guard. The flying dragon guard's dragons were also majestic and domineering, but they were clearly not on the same level as the red dragon's nest's red-colored giant dragon. Red dragon's nest. A level 70 official copy. The boss of it. The Red Dragon King, had even reached level 80, and how difficult it would be to bring out a Red Dragon mount from it. However, the Red Dragon Guards had a level 70 Red Dragon in their hands. Its gold content was evident. The Red Dragon Guard himself was a top level 75 powerhouse. If any level 75 powerhouse stomped his feet, the entire Luo High City would be shaken. Not to mention the famous Red Dragon Guard. It was not uncommon for a person to visit Luo High City, and the city would tremble like an earthquake. At this moment, the sky is actually full of them. Looking at the red dragon guards that he had dreamed of seeing, Lufan's wound collapsed in excitement. Blood once again sprayed out from the wound. 
Lu Fan fell straight to the ground. Lord Lu Fan what's wrong with you Lord Lu Fan? Why is blood spraying again? Someone come. Gu Qingqing had been happy to see Lord Lu Fan standing up. But once again, he fell down a bit and the amount of bleeding went up a few notches. But then he saw the red dragon guards above his head and couldn't help but be glad that he hadn't made a move with Wang Chen just now. Or else with Wang Chen's strength that could make the red dragon guards come out, he would have definitely been killed. But now, a flash of worry leaked out of Gu Qingqing's eyes. Even the red dragon guards had been mobilized. Would Wang Chen still be able to stop? Having killed so many people, even if the heavenly king came, he wouldn't be able to withstand the red dragon guards pursuit, right? Yi Qing was also shocked to see this scene, even she, the captain of the law enforcement team, but the moment she saw her idol and top boss appear, she also couldn't help but leak out a few moments of awe and shock, this was the red dragon guards, wherever they go, no one is unafraid, even the most vicious criminals couldn't muster a single desire to fight, the head of the red dragon guards overhead looked down at the lower sky with admiration in his eyes, as if it was about to overflow, for a fresh graduate to have such strength, it was worthy of being the person the head had his eye on. After a slight pause, he led the crowd to land slowly. Who is Wang Duan? The leader of the Red Dragon Guard said with his head held high, and the indifference in his eyes caused everyone's bodies to shake. Just four simple words, but it caused supreme majesty to emerge in everyone's hearts. Prostrate. Can't help but prostrate. Everyone could not help but lower their heads, not daring to meet their eyes. I know. Your honor. City King He Yibin hurriedly shouted out. You are? The Red Dragon Guard leader said in a cold voice, I am the city king of Luohai City. He Yibin. He Yibin's face was filled with pride. Whom? The Red Dragon Guard leader gave a sultium, not taking this title seriously at all. Perhaps in the eyes of outsiders, city king was bullish, but in his eyes, it didn't count for shit. Seeing that the Red Dragon Guards ignored him, He Yibin didn't take it seriously either. Continuing to grovel in excitement, he said, Lord you can be considered to come. You are not aware of ah. This kid in the end how vicious, obviously just a small doll just graduated, carrying huge amounts of explosives, directly the Rin family blew up, up and down a thousand people, no one lives, are you guys here to arrest him, he's right there, do it, chapter 161, give him two big mouths, you should know that the Rin family is a great family in my Luohai city, making contributions that are unknown, but this kid actually destroyed his whole family, his heart can be put to death, maybe it's still a foreign spy, a traitor of the human race, I and other professionals, everyone should be put to death, and return the world to a clear sky, he Yibin spoke up, as if he was the victim, with one lesser in family, how much less money would he have to covet, and how many less favors would he have to take, he Yibin didn't notice that the red dragon guard's leader's face was gradually turning cold, right at this moment, Li Hong also arrived with his law enforcement team, he kneeled down on one knee and respectfully said towards the red dragon guard leader, I ask Lord Red Dragon Guard to forgive me for the delay in taking down this brat. I also ask you to give my youngest a chance to atone for his sins and take down Wang Dust for your lordship. As the leader of the Luo High City law enforcement team, I hate to bring such criminals to justice. Wang Dust's face sank as he coldly looked at the Red Dragon Guards. It seemed that these guys were also helping He Yibin. What Red Dragon Guards? The Chinese Dragon Capital Enforcers seem to be in the same boat as these old things as well. Even if you're all Dragon Capital Red Dragon Guards, so what? If you move my sisters, even if you are a god far above the high heavens I will kill you, let alone you all little red dragon guards, 10,000 come, 10,000 die, Wang Chen sneered, he had this kind of vigor, even more so, he had this strength, today, those who block him will die, he, had no fear, arrogant, too arrogant, he even looked angrily at Wang Chuan, this person was so arrogant that he actually dared to say such words in front of the red dragon guards, he was afraid that he did not know how to write the word death. Kid, do you know that even I, who is honored as the king of a city, can only listen to the red dragon guards? What kind of thing are you? How dare you defy the red dragon guards? Even if you have a monstrous background up there, no one can protect you. Who do you think your background is? How can it be bigger than Marquesian Bay? He Yibin sneered. The next moment, slap, a crisp slap sounded, and the entire scene was plunged into deathly silence. The leader of the red dragon guards actually gave He Yibin a big forced fight directly. My lord. Why is this? This kid is the murderer. What are you doing hitting me? He Yibin's words had not yet fallen. What greeted him was another big forced bucket. This slapped 50% force. He Yibin instantly skin and flesh. Teeth flying attack and out. The whole face is not human-like, but like a pig's head. Put your mother's ass. By the order of Jinbei waiter Bai Yong. Whoever touches Wang Duan will die. The leader of the Red Dragon Guards picked up He Yibin with one hand and flew up and kicked him to the ground. 
making his face come into close contact with the ground. What? Lord Red Dragonguard is actually helping Wang Chen. Gu Qingqing was shocked. Shouldn't it be Lord Red Dragonguard who came to arrest Wang Chen? How did it even turn out to be the Red Dragonguard fan city king? How did it even get involved with Marquis Jinbei? Who is Marquis Jinbei? Jinbei Ho is a man who guards the borders of the country, not only to face the eyes of foreigners, but also to resist the erosion of foreigners. Without Jinbei Ho, there is no peace and stability in China today. The development of things has completely exceeded his expectations. Wanna break his head also cannot understand. This in the end is why ah. Uh, at this moment, Lu Fan, who had just fainted, had improved and staggered to his feet, and the moment he saw the red dragon guards helping Wang Dust to fan the city king, his body trembled. Rising fiercely? It wasn't like he had contacted the red dragon guards. No, or with his status, he couldn't contact the red dragon guards at all. So from the very beginning, he had thought that the red dragon guard was something that the Long Du Ren family had gotten through their connections, but now it seemed like it wasn't. Still, he was a bit unable to accept the huge amount of information in front of him, his brain directly overloaded, and his wounds shook open once again, and he planted himself straight down. Lord Lu Fan what's wrong with you Lord Lu Fan? How did you fall down again ah? Where's the healing profession? Come back again ah! Gu Qingqing shouted. Who gave you the guts to touch Wang Chen? Ha! Huh? I don't think you should be the city king of this Luohai city. The leader of the Red Dragon Guard stared, his tone filled with killing intent. My lord! I'm wrong! Don't kill me. I'm willing to give up all of the He family's assets. Upon hearing that he was going to be replaced, He Yibin was violently shocked. I'm afraid that he was going to directly kill him. No, he would even exterminate his family. When the Red Dragon Guards were outside, they were representing the Marquis of Jinbei. Exterminating him as a small city king was as easy as a slap in the face. The Red Dragon Guards leader snorted coldly. Wang Yusheng, here, go and slap him twice. The Red Dragon Guard leader said angrily. Next, Red Dragon Guard Wang Yusheng went up for two big pussy fights, directly slapping He Yibin into an even more swollen pig's head, his eyes barely flying out, looking aside at the intact Li Hong. What are you looking at? He raised his hand and gave Li Hong two more big pussies fights. There were two crunching sounds. Li Hong followed suit and flew out backwards, hitting the wall next to him. After the beating, Wang Yusheng smiled smugly. Not bad, enough force, the leader of the Red Dragon Guard said smilingly. Chapter 2 After the Change Chapter 162, wait for the good news. Long Chi couldn't tea help but praise. Such a talent. It would be a pity not to come to Red Dragon Guards. I'll take away the Rin family's old ancestor. I don't think he can live for a few days in his current condition. There are some secrets on him that our Red Dragon Guards still need to investigate in depth. Originally, the boss sent us to protect you. But right now, your strength is even stronger than ours. Saying that we are protecting you is somewhat putting gold on our faces. You go back and wait for the news is good. Deal with the results, absolutely let you satisfied, when the role will be a bit big ah, after all, is Luo High City, or rather Tianning Province first ascending dragon student, then, I'll be waiting for the good news, a rare smile appeared on Wang Chen's face, the status was high enough now, and when the time came, he would be able to find a therapist to treat his parents as well, leaving the red dragon guards to clean up the mess, all these onlookers had to go and sign a confidentiality agreement and those who had contact with the city king were all dragged by the red dragon guards to make statements, releasing Wang Luohan from the spatial props. Wang Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. As long as his sister was fine, it was good. Wang Luohan just came out and fell straight down, almost falling to the ground, but fortunately Wang Chuan's eyes were quick to pick her up, put her on her back, gently carried her on his back. Not afraid, brother is here. No one can hurt you anymore. Wang Chen spoke softly, his eyes filled with tenderness. After so many things, it was finally complete. Long Chi, can you help me check? Wang Dust looked towards Long Chi. He knew that there were healing professionals within the Red Dragon Guards and that they were of a very high rank, although it looked like there was nothing wrong now, only that he was still a little uneasy in his heart. Okay, let me check you out. Wang Yusheng stepped forward. You're quite omnipotent, huh? Wang Dust nudged his mouth. How could this guy be good at everything? Wang Yusheng shrouded over with a great healing spell and the red marks on Wang Luohan's face gradually faded, only she hadn't woken up yet, suffered a shock, it will still take some time to get up, but physically there is no problem, it just takes a bit of time to get up, many thanks, Wang Dust said thank you, and carried his sister towards home, this kid, is really powerful, maybe the names on the latent dragon list really need to be changed this year, those foreign devils, they should also know how powerful we are, Long Chi looked at the back of the two men, took a deep drag on his cigarette, and turned around to do what he had to do again. 
After Wang Chan returned home, the woman in the next house started chattering again at this moment. The crippled kid next door came back so soon, surely can't pass the exam, but also carrying his waist sister. Two wastes, always appearing in front of me to disgust me. Why don't the house prices in this broken neighborhood go up a few times ah? This kind of waste is also worthy of living in a neighborhood with me? The woman said with a spiteful face, say less, the two disabled children are not easy. Why isn't one high back? People are back. The man sitting on the sofa put down the newspaper in his hand and said with some doubt. The woman didn't have the good sense to say. Say less what ah. Poor people will have a hateful place. Maybe they have done something unseemly before. Only to be retaliated into this. This kind of people should be scolded by others. As soon as Wang Hai was mentioned, the woman became browbeaten again. Changing her face faster than turning a book. Don't even look at whose son Wang Hai is. That's my son ah. Plus the A-rank profession earth magician. Surely he got a good grade in the exams. And now he's receiving commendations. The man frowned at the woman and didn't say anything more. The next moment, the man's cell phone rang. The woman snatched it. Which vixen called you again? The woman was furious. Go go go. This is Xiao Hai's homeroom teacher. Don't mess around. The man glared at the woman. Who instantly stopped squeaking and pressed the speaker button. Teacher, isn't my Wang Hai particularly bright in this exam? After all, he practiced especially hard every day. How can I say that he has to get a top 10 in the city this time? Or top 5 in the city and be accepted by Imperial Capital University? The woman had already begun to fantasize about her son getting into Jiadu University, and him leveling up, rising higher and higher, and living a wonderful noble woman's life. On the other side of the phone, the man clenched his fists in anger. Where did this guy get the confidence that his son's cheating could be described as a test for God's Capital University? On this one of cheating, even if he was a rated talent, he would have no school to attend. Your son is suspected of cheating on the college entrance exam and violating the law by striking out at his classmates. Cancel his grades and come to the Ministry of Education. After saying that, the phone hung up directly, not giving them a single chance to retort. What? The two men's faces swished and turned pale. How was this possible? Their own son was an A-ranked talent. Why would he rely on cheating? Why in the world was this? It must all be Wang Chen's. Those two disabled losers' fault. Damn it. Wait. All of you. Just blame that damn kid. Just moved in and it's so bad luck. Really damn bad luck. How could my son be cheating? Misjudgment. Must be a misjudgment. I must find justice. The woman cursed as she flew out the door, leaving the man behind. By this time, she didn't forget to use a bit of vitriol. Chapter 163, Wang Dust. This lord has come to save you. At this moment, the flying dragon guards led by Ma Pengcheng were moving towards Luo High City at full speed. Ma Pengcheng carried his hands behind his back with a proud face. The thought of being able to come to Luo High City to put on a big show. The corner of Ma Pengcheng's mouth rose slightly. Looking at the entire China, who could be stronger than his flying dragon guards? Wherever the flying dragons went, they were all prostrate. He could think of Wang Chen's excitement at seeing them. Lord Flying Dragon Guard save me. Lord Flying Dragon Guard is fighting for me. He fantasized about the way the ascending dragon scholars would raise the banner for him. With this lord here, who dares to hurt you? Ma Pengcheng rehearsed his pretentious lines a few times in his mind. Then he looked at the city in the distance and said, Prepare to land. Yes. The crowd of flying dragon guards bellowed, rushing to put on a serious look one by one as well. Ma Pengcheng slammed his foot down and leapt, preparing for a handful of flesh smashes on the ground. Let the crowd present see what was meant by the flying dragon guards vigor. The other flying dragon guards also let their flying dragons stop in midair and jumped straight down. Below, the ruins of the Rin family. Rumble. Rumble. Several smashing sounds came one after another, and the flying dragon guards paraded neatly in what they thought was a very handsome pose. Ma Pengcheng closed his eyes slightly, the corners of his mouth rising. Just ask who wouldn't scream at the sight of such a handsome flying dragon guard. For a long time, the imagined scream did not descend. Opening his eyes, Ma Pengcheng's legs went limp. Crap. Red dragon guard? At the same level, the red dragon guard's single combat power was at the very least several times that of their flying dragon guard. Being in the same three major law enforcement teams, they were not comparable at all. That's not right. Senior, where's the Rin family? Did you guys make this big pit? Ma Pengcheng looked at the big pit with some confusion. How was it different from the information from the intelligence? Just like you guys, we also came late. This kid alone flattened the Ren family. This big pit was originally the Ren family. Long Chi gave a bitter smile. Hiss. What? Holy shit. Ma Pengcheng and the others sucked in cool air. Their faces filled with horror. It was really something that a student who had just graduated from his senior year of high school could do? No kidding, right? What do you think? Long Chi spread his hands. Inside the villa, 
Wang Duan sat quietly on the edge of the bed. Sister, I've taken revenge, and I'll definitely cure both you and mom and dad. Wang Chen looked at Wang Luohan tenderly, and Xiao Xiao took a bath for Wang Luohan and changed into new pajamas. Tough on you Xiao Xiao. Wang Dust gave a thank you. Ha, huh? it's not hard work. And Xiao Xiao was just looking at Wang Dust. She realized that this boy was the same since the beginning. Showing his fangs to outsiders was fierce to the extreme, but he was so gentle to his family. Speaking of which, we all got top grades this time, so maybe we can even go to God's Capital University. This is all because of you. Big credit. And Xiao Xiao laughed lightly. Lu Chang has just returned home at this moment as well. Son, how was the exam? Seeing her son enter the door, Lu Ma quickly asked. Mom, without exaggerating, your son casually went to an imperial university this time alright. When the time comes, I'll find you a therapist to treat your illness. Lu Chang looked confident, a smile spreading across his face. He was at least a man who had climbed up to the hundredth floor of the trial tower. Although Wang Dust was the one fighting the bosses in the back, even if they just dabbled in that little bit of points, it was enough to be at the top of the list in the entire Luo High City and even in Tianning Province. Following Wang Dust around, they directly took off. Hiss, this kid, his brain isn't burnt out either. Luma put her hand on Lu Chang's head and found that the body temperature was the same as a normal person. It shouldn't be. Why is he daydreaming in broad daylight? With this ability to add debuffs to his own teammates, it's hard to say whether or not the teen wants it. Not to mention a good grade. But if he said he could get into a third-rate pheasant university, he might still believe a little bit. And the Imperial Capital University? What do you think? The entire province of Tianning can enter the only a little bit of people. These people are not born with a golden spoon. From a young age to receive countless resources pouring. At a young age. You can dream. Where's the boss? Buying something. A man outside the door drank. Come alive. The meal is upstairs. Grab it and go eat. Lu Ma hurriedly rushed towards the door. Leaving Lu Chang hanging out to the side. No. No one believes this even if we tell the truth? Lu Chang nudged his mouth. Sure enough. Only before the college entrance exams could he experience emperor-like treatment. Once the college entrance exams were over, they didn't even care about him. Outside the door is another burst of noise. It is Lu Dad riding a tricycle into a large batch of goods. While unloading the goods, he asked, Why? Are you back? How was the exam? Your son. He said he can go to God's university. Lu's mom snickered. Mom, I'm telling the truth. Lu Chang is speechless. No one believes the truth. Ahem. Son ah. It's good to be a man with a dream, but can your father and I not be clear about your level? Rice has to be eaten one bite at a time. The road has to be walked one bite at a time. Don't what Imperial University? Ordinary University is also okay, even if Ordinary University can't be read. Come back to inherit our grocery store is also okay. Mr. Lu's father said in a serious tone. At this moment, Lu Chang is really speechless. This is the real mom and dad. As always, they are very detrimental. You guys really don't believe me. When the results are released in two days, you'll know what it means to be east of the river for 30 years and west of the river for 30 years. Don't kid yourself that you're a youngster. Lu Chang spiritedly said, Come on, those who don't know still think you've been withdrawn from marriage. Lu Ma laughed. Chapter 164 Your brother, ah, took the first place in the country, inside Wang Dust Villa. After in Xiao Xiao's careful care, Wang Luohan finally woke up. Wang Dust breathed a long sigh of relief and a stone in his heart was finally put down. Um, brother, this, what's happening here? Wang Luohan was a bit scared. Wang Chuan comforted. It's okay, sister, I'm here. I remember that before I passed out it seemed like someone broke the glass and broke in. After that I can't remember much. Brother, they didn't do anything to you. Wang Luohan's first concern was actually not her own injuries, but Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan couldn't help but feel warm in his heart. He laughed. No injuries? Don't worry, sister. Aha, uh -huh, brother is the best. Right, how did the exam go? I was prepared to go to the school entrance to wait for you, but now it seems that I've already passed the exam. Right, where's the cake I prepared for you? Wang Luohan wanted to get up. Don't worry, there will be a chance in the future. The cake and the letter you wrote. I've put it all away. Wang Chen rubbed Wang Luohan's hair. Ah, uh, brother you saw it? Wang Luohan blushed. This was too social dead. She hurriedly changed the topic and said, Right brother. How did you do on the exam? Ahem. At the very least, I'm number one in the province. Wang Dust said slightly modestly. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Lying with your own sister. Humph. Wang Luohan snorted lightly. Number one in the province or even the country. Just this is all still a bit modest. Wang Dust honestly, with his strength, this global first, 
are absolutely can over competent. No, even far more. As for in the end is not true. Wait until the time to release the list you will know. Wang Dust deliberately sold a secret. The ease and comfort in his words made Wang Luohan lose her concentration. The brother who was once there seems to have returned. Wang Luohan was suddenly a little lost in thought. Once Wang Dust is also like this. Since the car accident, parents coma so far. His own legs lost consciousness reduced to fall into disability. Brother is even lost heart can only rely on mechanical heart to spend the day. She seems to be a long time. Have not seen her brother show a smile. Let's go together to see mom and dad. Just to tell them about the end of the college entrance exam today. The big day. It is to be the whole family together to have meaning. Good. Hospital. Inside the VIP ward. Previously, Wang Chen had transferred his parents to the highest level ward after making money. The benefit of the VIP ward was that it was quiet and suitable for recuperation. Together with the professional caregivers he hired, his parents' faces looked much better, and everything was moving in a good direction. Leaving his sister here for a while, Wang Chen went out for a quiet time. This journey was not easy, only he himself knew. The road now was difficult. Perhaps the road in the future would be even more difficult, perhaps even several or even dozens of times more difficult than now. Even so, so what? Even if the front of the mountain of fire, he is not afraid. As long as there is still a glimmer of hope, he is willing to fight and strive to let his parents wake up as soon as possible. Sister recovery. Three days later is the day of the release of the list. According to my national first level, all is how many colleges and universities will take a large amount of resources to invite me over. Wang Chuan looked into the distance. He knew that the number would never be small. He had to take this opportunity to sift through it. Once he waited until the day of the release of the list, he must have the certainty of inviting a level 70 or above healing profession to step in and help his parents awaken and his sister recover. Moreover, his current strength was powerful, but it was far from the limit. Whether it was the super god armament or the various types of soldiers he had constructed, he had a lot of room for improvement. The problem now was that he lacked a certain kind of material, and once he got it together, his strength would be able to go to the next level. And all of this, he only needed to wait until the release of the list, and he would be able to do it. Time. He needed time. As long as he had enough time, with the super god mechanic, he would definitely be able to be absolutely invincible. If it wasn't for the fact that the time for the release of the list was approaching, he would now want to hoof it to the replica and brush it for 10 days and 10 nights first. He needed to get stronger too much. And after killing more than a thousand people this time, he hadn't even thought that he would be able to end it so easily. Or rather, he didn't even consider that much at that time, moving his family again and again, exterminating his entire family. And rightfully so. None of this mattered. By the time the list was released, his strength was enough to make the world boil and make everyone shocked. Chapter 165, Dragon Rising Scholar. M.O. Family. M.O. Lioli's parents looked at their daughter with unbelievable faces. Is everything you said true? Mo's father was shocked. He had always thought that his daughter would barely go to a first class university this time. But now he was told that she could go to God's capital university. That's right. Wang Chen led us to climb to the hundredth floor of the trial tower creating an absolute record. Even if we're all paddling, the points leaking out from Wang Chen's fingernails are enough for us to crush any other team. M.O. Lioli affirmed. Genius. Absolute genius. After enrollment, you must rush ahead of those two girls from the In family and the Li family to catch up to Wang Dust, not seeking to be the only one, but seeking to be the first. You know, good daughter. Ha, um. M.O. Lioli's pretty face flushed. Then she nodded. As for the Li family and the In family side, it was the same. Both told them to go after Wang Chen when the school year started. Originally, both in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng were a little bit interested in Wang Chen. And once the parents said that, then it was even more important to go after them. The following day, inside the villa area, how could my son be cheating? This is clearly a misjudgment by the school. It's all because of these two newly moved bastards. What bad luck. The woman cried and cursed for a good while inside the house. No, must go out and clean up these two bastards. They deserve to live in the same place as us? In the end, she put on her jacket and walked out as if she was crazy. The man hurriedly chased after her. Reprimanding, he said, don't look for trouble. Okay, don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Just then, the two men suddenly heard a deafening salute from the sky. Boom, the sound was like thunder, shocking the heart and soul, as if it was going to drown the entire heaven and earth. Both the man and the woman were shocked at what was going on. Immediately after, the second and third came one after the other, still so loud and majestic. Even in the daytime, brilliant flames surfaced in the sky. As the Denglong scholar arrives, the city's salute will be 50 blasts. A majestic voice surfaced in the hearts of everyone in Luohai City. 
It's actually the Denglong scholar. The man was shocked. In the next moment, another loud bang came from the sky. Ascending dragon scholar arrives. Tianning celebrates with all the people in the sky. The whole province is on vacation for three days. With a hundred salutes. In a flash, everyone boiled over. Bah! A sound of a car honking came from behind the man and the woman. The pampered woman was still immersed in shock and was interrupted by a car honking. She was just about to get angry. But looking back, it made her see a scene that she would never forget. Only to see a convoy of cars slowly approaching in the driveway in front of their house. The first one saw the woman blocking the road. And also honked its horn with some impatience. Originally there is a very angry. But see these cars a colorful luxury business car. And the front of that one. Is the extended model of the red flag. The front of the car and the windows on both sides also inserted a small Chinese flag. At the moment is fluttering with the wind. That's not all. Suddenly feel a piece of black pressure. Look up. The entire sky was actually covered with the red dragon guards red colored dragons. It was like a dark cloud. Completely covering up the neighborhood. The entire heaven and earth was filled with a sense of oppression. What the hell is this? The man was dumbfounded. And when he saw the luxurious caravan and the giant dragon in the sky, his entire being was dumbfounded. Just what kind of a scene was this? When he looked at the license plate of the first car again. Tiane 00001, the governor of Tianing province himself. What an honor this is. The man's pupil shrank and he couldn't stop shaking. Bitch, why don't you make way for the governor? The man fiercely smacked the woman with a big pussy bucket and angrily looked at her. Chief, governor? The woman was used to being arrogant, but at this moment she didn't dare to say much. Tremblingly walking to the side to make way for the governor, he she had always relied on her husband's identity as a fox, but she also knew that her husband's identity was not even a fart compared to the governor of Tianning province. What kind of character was it that deserved the governor's personal descent? Governor, the king of a province. Every single one of them is a strong person of level 80 or above the top of a country. In ancient times, they would have been vassals, with millions of territories, kings, and lords, and would have shaken the country. Compared to such a character, her husband was a tiny ant, not to mention her. At this moment, the woman was actually a little happy. Fortunately, her husband had just given him a slap on the face and let him get out of the way. Otherwise, if he had run into the governor's caravan, his head would have been the lightest punishment, the Tiane 00001 license plate which symbolizes countless rights, crossed in front of his eyes. The woman was no longer as afraid of the sky and the earth as she was before, and only dared to lower her proud head and stand honestly in the same place. Can't help but be glad. Fortunately I didn't provoke them. Why did the governor general's caravan come to this shitty place of ours? Is it hard to come for pleasure? The woman queried. The man directly went up and slapped a big pussy bucket. You're fucking crazy. You can say such a ridiculous idea. You're not afraid of being overheard to get you killed. Fortunately. He reacted quickly and slapped her in time. No one around heard, otherwise offending the governor. This is a big crime. Dragon Scholar. The governor himself. Can't you see that? The governor is here for the Dragon Scholar. Which means, the Dragon Rising Scholar is not only in Luohai City, but also in our neighborhood. The man explained excitedly. Chapter 166 Reincarnation of the Gods. He incoherently pulled the woman and said, Did you see that? Hundreds of cannons firing and the governor himself. This is the meaning of the dragon taking off to the nine heavens. What an honor. What an honor. The dragon rising scholar is in our neighborhood. The woman didn't care about her just swollen cheeks, and hurriedly said, Really? Then I have to go and see the scholar of Tianning province. I can actually live with such a big shot in this one neighborhood. My ancestor's graves are about to explode ah, bah, smoking ah, I don't know who the hell it is. Staying in the same neighborhood with the nation's number one dragon rising scholar was no different than buying a lottery ticket and only winning the first prize. Staying in the same neighborhood, looking up and seeing down, as long as you have a good relationship, your son's cheating will not be easy to fix, maybe even bring their own family to the sea. The more the woman thought, the more excited she was, as if she had already made a good relationship with this dragon scholar. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and follow the caravan. Can you bear the responsibility of not being able to squeeze in front? The man raised his hand and gave another big pussy fight. He had already seen this bitch as a bad person. And she was not good enough to do anything. The woman was shocked into a cold sweat and hurriedly followed her husband's side towards the back of the caravan. Out of the corner of her eye, she inadvertently glanced at Wang Duan's family next door. The woman's face was filled with disgust. These two cripples were also worthy of being in the same neighborhood as the nation's number one ascending dragon scholar. This was simply pulling down the grade of the neighborhood. The woman glared at them fiercely. And in her heart, she had already angrily cursed Wang Chuan and Wang Luohan tens of thousands of times. Boom. The salute continued. 
and the deafening sound resounded throughout the sky. People in a radius of tens of miles were all attracted over, and the entire neighborhood was surrounded. Inside the neighborhood, famous bigwigs from Luo High City and even the entire Tianning province were all here. Someone soon recognized the deep meaning contained in this salute. Ascending dragon. This salute. This stance. This scene. It must be the governor general himself visiting Luo High. Celebrating the dragon rising for my Luo High City's dragon rising scholar. More than a hundred provinces. Thousands of cities. Nearly a hundred million candidates. Just that one dragon scholar. Actually in our small Luo High City. Not only that. This dragon scholar is actually in our neighborhood. Son. Come and take a look at the governor. Take a look at the world's number one. Unrivaled ascending dragon scholar. I don't know who it is. Lu Chang's family was also looking around. But they were indeed very bewildered and had no idea what was going on. The huge neighborhood was blocked. They couldn't even enter. They could only watch from afar. I heard them say it's some kind of ascending dragon scholar in this neighborhood. Son, do you know what a Denglong scholar is? Zhao Shui looked at Lu Chang. Lu Chang shook his head. A few moments later, Lu Chang was glowing and said, I don't know much about what the ascending dragon scholar is, but if I want to say the word scholar, it's not my brother Dust. The height of his natural talent, the strength of his strength, he is the best in the past and present, the absolute scholar of the year. That kid? Joshua hung her head in thought. She still understands this son of hers, but she also understands Wang Dust equally well, and knows better that her son will not joke about Wang Dust. Could it be? Is this true? Ascending dragon is an ancient saying now, implying that one day, Mortals can also compare to the true dragons in the sky with their own strength. Lu Chang's family looks back and finds an old man with white hair and kind brows. Lu Chang's eyes lit up. It was actually Professor Li, the oldest and most senior professor in the school. I'm late. The old man's legs aren't working. I should have gotten up earlier. Professor Li smiled and said, You old man, you left at 5 o'clock. Even earlier the sky is not yet bright. Early in the morning yelling what God reincarnation. Also let me accompany you to walk here. Professor Lee's old companion, the old lady, gave him a blank look and said, This one was also a school professor, but had retired early. Wu Tzu Xing descended to the earth so master, it's always something to see. In the future it will be the world of the young people. I just need to watch from afar. Professor Lee was still smiling. Lu Chang asked, Your old man said in detail what the ascendant dragon scholar is. Ascending dragon scholar, the first in the province's exams, is called ascending dragon. In time, can definitely ascend to the dragon gate, and the ascension, far above the ascending dragon, hundreds of millions of candidates, only this one, the gold content is far beyond ascending dragon, Professor Li spoke eloquently, but he ruthlessly surprised Zhao Shui and Lu's father, the number one in the country, I told you, brother Dust is the number one in the country, Lu Chang, however, had expected this and said excitedly, don't talk nonsense, seeing that there were outsiders, Lu father just wanted to interrupt, Right at this moment, the limousine with the small red flag slowly stopped, and the convoy behind it stopped right behind it. The real show had just begun. Chapter 167 Brother Our neighborhood has produced an ascendant student. Bah! Abracadabra! Abracadabra! The car roared three times. The entire neighborhood was completely abuzz. The governor stopped. Who's he going after? Who? Again, was the ascending dragon scholar. The door of the sedan at the head of the car was slowly pushed open and a man wearing a black Chinese mountain suit walked out with his head held high. The man's body is robust. His eyes seem to have a refined aura, exuding an air of superiority between his hands and feet. After getting out of the car, his gaze immediately locked onto Wang Chen's family. What made the crowd even more shocked was that this man, who held supreme power in his hands, was actually carefully organizing his appearance in the rearview mirror of the car. Heavens, what kind of existence was this ascending dragon scholar that could make him so grand? ensuring that there was nothing out of place. This middle-aged man finally breathed a sigh of relief, and a trace of smile appeared on his face. Wang Luohan inside the house heard the commotion and pushed open the door. His head just poked out wanting to see what was going on outside. Why was there so much commotion? When he saw the multiple people in luxury cars, Wang Luohan's body trembled and was startled. After listening to the discussion of the crowd, only to realize that their own small area out of the ascending dragon scholar, hurriedly and excitedly, he went to call out to Wang Duan. Brother, quickly get up. There's an ascending dragon scholar in our neighborhood. Quickly come out to see if you recognize him. As a result, just as he turned around, he saw the governor walking towards this side. Wang Luohan inside the house froze. Wondering, is this governor looking for the wrong person? But in the next second, a majestic and thick voice came out from the governor's mouth. May I ask if this is the home of ascending dragon scholar Wang Duan? 
The crowd's eyes widened. The ascending dragon scholar was actually Wang Duan, and Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Luohan with a smile but not a word. This little girl, up to now, still thought that his brother had lied to her, and the leading residence woman who could barely see the scene in front of her through the crowd. The whole person directly stand unsteady, legs cannot stop trembling, directly paralyzed on the ground. There was only one thought in his mind, the legendary dragon rising scholar, the existence that allowed countless people to only watch from afar, was actually the object of her unrelenting mockery all along. Even her sister, who was regarded as a precious treasure by Wang Chen, had been beaten by her own hands. This was simply her looking for death in a thatched pit with a lantern. The woman sat dumbfounded on the ground, her brain losing the ability to think, and looked at her husband in a mute manner. At this moment, the man was looking at her with an angry expression. Let you not look for trouble before don't look for trouble. You prefer to go and provoke others right. The man backhanded another slap to the woman's face. The man was originally a professional, and under his anger, he directly sent the woman flying a dozen meters, and the teeth in her mouth scattered all over the place. The original ugly appearance of sharp teeth had now turned into a swollen face with a pig's head, and her forehead was also bleeding due to hitting the debris, and her skin was split open. It's over. It's all over. The woman muttered under her breath. Her eyes were lost in thought. The whole person was as if she had lost her soul. On the other side, Lu Chang's parents were also shocked to see this scene. Wang Chen is really an ascending dragon scholar? I didn't expect that what this untalented son of mine said was actually true. The scholar of the ascending dragon of the current generation was actually Wang Chuan. For a while, the two men's hearts were like waves lapping at the shore. Their legs were paralyzed and they simply could not stand. This great good news made them ecstatic. Professor Li was as calm as ever but his eyes under the presbyopic glasses were moist at some point, half of his body into the ground. He actually saw the dragon scholar at the time of death. This life, but also no regrets ah. Until the governor's mouth personally uttered the six words ascending dragon scholar Wang Duan. What? You are not joking, right? Wang Luohan covered his mouth in excitement. He almost didn't faint. The impact of this news was simply too great. Yes, I'm sorry, please, please wait. I'll go call my brother. It took a while for her to regain her senses. Then she panicked and pushed her wheelchair to enter the house. At this time Wang Dust walked out. It was expected that there would be some movement in the house, but I didn't expect it to come so early. The original estimate was that the list would be released three days later, but it turned out that the next day he learned that he was a dragon rising scholar. It looks like our ascending dragon scholar has arrived. In the living room, the man wearing a black Chinese mountain suit looked towards Wang Chen. His expression grave, seeing his brother appear. Wang Luohan obediently sat aside. Although she was still a little curious as to why her brother was the ascending dragon scholar, it was better to wait until they had a good talk. Wang Dust glanced at the governor of Tianning province who was sitting in the living room. The man in the Chinese mountain suit nodded his head when he saw Wang Dust. Even though he had already learned a lot from the information, he was still very appreciative when he actually saw him in person. The aura on Wang Chen's body was very deep, and even he felt an inexplicable sense of crisis from Wang Chen's body. Just what kind of genius was this, to be able to have such strength? He had seen many past Dragon Rising scholars, but only Wang Chen was worthy of this word Dragon Rising. Come in and talk. Wang Chen said. Chapter 168, What You Need Most. After the governor sat down on the sofa, he opened his mouth and greeted. Hello Mr. Wang, I am the governor of Tianning province, Li Tianyin. Wang Dust nodded and shook hands with Li Tianyin. Hello, I am Wang Dust. Wang Dust said without being overbearing. It made Li Tianyin's evaluation of him a few points higher again. Student Wang Dust. Your college entrance examination results are firmly ranked first in China. Even making the second through tenth combined unattainable, and the higher-ups attach great importance to you. It's the highest score in the history of Huaxia. No one in the past. No one in the future. Li Tianyin said seriously. His dash. Hearing this, Wang Luohan sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Was his old brother so powerful? Wang Luohan's eyes changed when she looked at Wang Chen as if she was recognizing this brother for the first time. She knew that Wang Chuan wouldn't lie to her, but right after Wang Chuan had said it as well as the facts in front of her eyes, she was still so shocked. Not only did he take the number one dragon rising scholar in China, but he also broke the most awesome record ever in China. This old brother of his own is so awesome. This old Wang family's ancestral tomb. Mustn't it be smoking? No. At the very least, a ghostly flame must rise. That's right. When I found out about this news, I was also that shocked so I immediately rushed over, in order to be able to meet you. Fellow student Wang Chuan, just think of it as me mixing things up. Li Tianyin laughed and continued, and by the way, on behalf of our Tianning province, we will also send some rewards for you. 
the proud son of the sky, the first ascending dragon of all time, saying that, Li Tian Yan flicked towards the outside, and the secretary instantly understood, handing up a bank card and a storage ring, this is considered a little bit of my heart, and naturally represents a small gift from Tianning province, the first reward, naturally, is the 100 million dollar bonus, although it's not much, it's also considered a little reward from the province for student Wang Chuan, Wang Chuan didn't say anything, but behind him, Wang Luohan's heart was shocked, and her heart couldn't stop a beat, a hundred million dollars in prize money, she had never seen that much money in her life ah, although she wasn't the one who made the money in the family, she also knew that before her brother awakened to his profession, her brother's mechanical heart, her parents coma, and her own leg all needed money, and this burden naturally fell on Wang Chen's head, at that time, in order to own a day hospitalization money, brother had dragged the mechanical heart to work on the construction site, other people to move 10 pieces brother can only move a piece, she again heartbroken brother, but also cannot do anything, Wang Dust was very calm about this money, he was now casually down a copy of at least a few million dollars or more, and this was still the previous low level copies, if it was a level 50 or higher copy, this figure could be multiplied tenfold, it was better than nothing, but it was obvious that his sister was quite fond of this gift, Wang Chen placed the bank card towards himself, and Li Tianyan smiled knowingly, the blandness on Wang Chen its face made Li Tianyan smack his lips a little, if he was 18 years old and saw a hundred million dollars, he would definitely jump up and down with excitement, perhaps this was the calmness of a genius, as if he had received some small to insignificant gift, and then this, with a thought, Li Tianyan took out a red book from his spatial ring, on it were written the six big words real estate right certificate, as far as I know, student one's ambition seems to be the imperial capital side, so this small house of 500 square feet is naturally prepared for you, at the very least, when you arrive in the imperial capital, you will be able to have a place to settle down with your family, Li Tianyan smiled, Wang Luohan opened her mouth wide and didn't know what to say for a long time, what was the concept of a suite of rooms in the imperial capital, it was a place where every inch of land was gold, and a random suite would cost tens of millions of dollars, and 500 square feet, that can be called a small house, at the very least, it's also a courtyard level ah, the unit must be counted in billions, no wonder the governor said a hundred million dollars was a small gift, compared to this house is indeed considered a small gift, Wang Luohan had been shocked silly at the moment, but still forced himself to sit calmly in the wheelchair, the next two items are considered my personal favor, as far as I know, student Wang's skills are all wide range damage, and naturally kills a lot more monsters than others, unusual space rings simply can't fit, coincidentally, I happened to learn that student Wang had obtained a space ring in the treasure pavilion, but it shouldn't be as good as this one of mine, Li Tianyan smiled mysteriously and handed the spatial ring to Wang Chuan, signaling him to check how big this spatial ring was, after Wang Chuan took it, his mind moved, and then, his pupils shrank, he he, that's right, the space of this spatial ring is a full 5000 square feet, it should be enough for you to use at this stage, and for the price, it should be more than 10 times higher than the 500 square feet, Li Tianyan was a bit smug, it was a lot of work for him to find a spatial technology with such a large space, thanks a lot, Wang Chen thanked, Li Tianyan waved his hand and continued, this last item, it's not that valuable, but it should be the thing you need the most so far, chapter 169, the life essence is missing, oh, Wang Dust became interested upon hearing this, the previous items were so precious, so what was the next item that could be called specially prepared for himself, Li Tianyan smiled slightly, as far as I know, since a car accident three years ago, student Wang Chuan was forced to use a mechanical heart, his sister's legs are defective to sit in a wheelchair for the rest of her life, and your parents, can only lie in the hospital in a coma, it's reasonable to say that this is all the Rin family's fault, it's their wolfishness that led them to plunder your heart, as the governor of a province, it's just that I didn't know before, but now that I know, of course I won't ignore it, Wang Chen's heart trembled as he looked at Li Tianyan, all along, these had been hard wounds in his heart, and once powerless, he could not do this at all, now that he had the ability, he could naturally do it, but it would take time, and now that someone had told him that he could save his parents, how could he not be excited, that's right, as you can imagine, I certainly didn't come on my own this time, I brought you an 80th level healing professional, his ability, even if we look at the entire Tianning province, he definitely ranks high, as soon as Li Tianyan's words fell, an old man in a grey mountain suit slowly walked in, Elder Chen, hard work, Li Tianyan respectfully said, well, saving lives and helping the injured is also the old man's duty, Elder Chen said lightly, when he heard about the level 80 healing professional, 
Wang Chen revealed a smile after a long time, his parents, finally able to wake up, and Wang Luohan on the side was even more surprised, his own brother was actually worthy of a big shot like the governor inviting an 80th level powerhouse, especially since this elder Chen could be considered a household name, known as the underworld soul chaser, as the name suggests, even if you're halfway to death, as long as you still have a breath left, you can be pulled back, the price to pay for inviting this 80 level powerhouse was not insignificant, it turns out that without realizing it, his own brother's face is so big, Wang Luohan was shocked, her eyes full of unbelief, of course, she was even more shocked that her parents were coming back, and all of this was his brother's work, thinking more and more like this, Wang Luohan couldn't help but be a little proud, he really deserved to be his brother, many thanks, Wang Dust whispered, obviously, it was only the first time he had met him, and this governor had actually given him such a heavy and generous gift, he knew very well that the status of a dragon rising scholar was not worth a governor pouring his family's money into him like this, Li Tian Yan waved his hand and said, go and heal your parents first for priority, let's move, good, inside the hospital, looking at his parents lying on the hospital bed, Wang Chen's heart ached, it was all because of that damned Rin family that had put his family in such a situation, if it wasn't for the fact that he had successfully awakened, it was estimated that he would have covered his dead mechanical heart by now and knelt down in the graveyard and cried bitterly, Elder Chen, trouble, Wang Chen said in a deep voice, Elder Chen nodded and walked towards Wang Chuan's parents' hospital bed, don't worry Wang Chuan, with Elder Chen's level, there is nothing in this world that he can't cure, Li Tianyan could see Wang Chuan's nervousness and comforted him, Wang Chuan did not say anything more and stared tightly at his parents' hospital bed, Elder Chen raised his hand to a great healing technique and began to slowly repair the internal injuries of Wang Chuan's parents' body, and then probed the trauma of their souls, as time passed by, Beads of sweat began to drip from Elder Chen's forehead, and the hearts of everyone present were lifted. After a long time, Elder Chen put away his great healing technique. Elder Chen, how is it? Wang Chen asked in a hurry. The situation is not optimistic. Elder Chen said with a grave expression, If I'm not wrong, your parents were robbed of their life essence. When the Rin family's heart replacement method was very evil, it may have robbed your parents of their essence and used it to assist Rin Yin's heart not to be rejected. You can understand that dash. Originally, your parents had a lifespan of a hundred years, but after being plundered, the lifespan was gone, but the physical body was still there, binding the soul, causing the vital signs to still be there, it's just that it's impossible to ever awaken in this lifetime, and as the soul power becomes weaker and weaker, the body can't bind this soul, eventually leading to complete death, hearing these words, there was not a single ripple on Wang Chen's face, but in his heart, he still could not contain his anger from rising, however, Elder Chen said with a turn of phrase, Wang Chuan's murderous aura instantly dissipated as he looked towards Elder Chen. After all, I am known as the underworld soul chaser. This is by no means a dead end. If it had been a week later, even I would have been helpless. Fortunately, the soul has not completely dissipated. I just used the level 80 vocational skill, reshape soul, which has already gathered his scattered souls together, and then used another level 80 skill, flesh reshape, to reshape the flesh that looks intact but is actually riddled with holes. In that case, there's still hope for salvation within a year. Hearing this, hope flared up in Wang Chen's heart again, since the life essence is missing. If I can get a copy of the life crystals produced by the 100, 000 year old divine tree, I am 10% sure that I can save it. Elder Chen said confidently, Chapter 170, The Sentence of the Sentence, Don't release it before you die. Then, Elder Chen, This life origin, where is it again? Wang Chen asked. Chen La pondered for a moment and said in a deep voice, there are not many life origins circulating in the outside world, and these strategic resources are even more unlikely to be available to ordinary people like us, but I once heard a patient of mine say that strategic resources generally exist in copies of universities, and the more important the resource, the higher its university ranking. Coincidentally, that patient of mine was a teacher at Imperial Capital University, and he also happened to need a copy of the life origin. I didn't have the means to get it at the time, so I could only help him heal the rest but the next time he appeared, the injuries on his body were unexpectedly healed, and his body was radiating a strong aura of life, according to my deduction, he definitely took the source of life, and in this world, I'm afraid that only that 100, 000 year old divine tree can produce such a powerful life energy, hearing this, Wang Chen nodded, as long as there was one in this world, even if he gave his all, he would get him, I do know about this, there is this thing in the ancient giant forest, a copy of the Imperial Capital University, but it's extremely scarce and hard to get. Li Tianyin shook his head. 
This kind of strategic resource was hard to get even if one entered the relative school. However, in the next moment, his eyes lit up. It was impossible for other people. But if it was Wang Chuan, the first dragon rising scholar of all time, the Imperial Capital University would be happy to sell this face. Both of you, thank you very much. Today's favor, Wang Dust will always remember. And if it is used in the future, he will help with all his might. Wang Dust said seriously, ha ha, to be able to get a word of promise from the ascending dragon scholar, I guess old me didn't come for nothing. Boss Chen laughed. Li Tianyan followed suit and laughed. Seeing that the two men's bravado did not seem to be fabricated, Wang Chen was quite impressed. If Li Tianyan hadn't helped so much today, if he lost his parents in the future, it would be too late for him to regret it. By the way, I've also seen your sister's injuries. The situation should be similar to your parents. The soles of the legs have been lost, and they also need life essence. Old me will give you another guarantee. If you are able to obtain enough life essence, I will even be able to utilize the life essence to cleanse your parents as well as your sister's bodies. More not to mention, living for 30 to 50 more years will never be a problem. Elder Chen said forcefully, Good. After bidding farewell to the duo, Wang Chen rushed towards home. Who knew that his sister was waiting for Wang Chen at the door early? After Elder Chen's treatment, although her legs were still unconscious, her body was suddenly much more relaxed, and she would not be able to transmit the same bone deep pain as before. Brother, you're back? How are mom and dad? Wang Luohan smiled. Within a year, they will be cured. Wang Chen solemnly said. Wang Luohan smiled gently and pushed the wheelchair. Ready to push Wang Chen in. Why is he here? Out of the corner of his eye, Wang Chuan swept over the woman leading the residence who stood not far from the doorway. The woman was currently standing outside the courtyard, carrying a bunch of gift boxes in her hands, her posture humble and pitiful, like a dog wagging its tail and praying to its master. In the afternoon has been standing there, has been with me to say sorry or something, said let her go back. She had to say wait for you to come back. Wang Luohan whispered. Apparently she was scared lightly before. Wang Dust's face sank. This woman still dared to find up. Let his sister go back to the house first, and walked straight towards the woman. I'm sorry, Lord Wang Chuan. The woman bowed her head and said. Wang Dust did not open his mouth. Raising his hand, he slapped the woman's face. The woman's face, which had just subsided, was instantly engorged with blood at this moment, and her skin was split open like a pig's head. The teeth that had been mended had also fallen out to the ground. He slapped down the woman's gift box with his hand, and the items inside were scattered everywhere. My lord, before the woman's words fell, Wang Chen flew up and stomped directly. The door of her house was directly kicked out, and the woman landed straight on the sofa. At once, the woman's wailing resounded through the home. The woman had infinite remorse in her heart. If she had gone to curry favor with Wang Chen before, there might have been a ray of hope. And now that they were not in the same world at all, she regretted it. Why did she do this in the first place? Once they offended Wang Chen, there would be hundreds of forces that would do away with them in order to please Wang Chen. She knew very well where her family's villa came from, and it wouldn't stand up to investigation at all. Now that she was in deep doom, she regretted why she had offended Wang Chen's sister. This was the sister of the ascending dragon scholar. How and why did she dare then? The woman's face was pale, her lips trembling, it was over. Everything was over. Lost in thought, she stood still for a long time, unable to return to her senses. The man stood in the doorway, a mouthful after a mouthful of cigarettes. His eyes are full of despair. Why did not pull the point at that time? Outside, Li Tian Yan looked at the woman's family. His face was cold. His gentleness, not everyone can see. In the outside world he is the iron face of the governor of Tianning province. Check the bottom of this family. In case the hands and feet are not clean, the sentence should be sentenced. Don't release it before death. Li Tian Yan ordered his men. Chapter 171, All the Huaxia Empires are Garbage. When it was learned that Wang Chen had become a dragon rising scholar, the entire Luohai city was completely abuzz. Everyone who heard the news was shocked and dumbfounded. The city was filled with firecrackers, and the city celebrated together. Gu Qingqing of the Gathering Pavilion looked at Wang Chen's profile with a shocked face. Holy shit, once I wake up, the genius I supported in the past has started supporting me? Whoever loves to be in charge of this Luohai city, I'm quitting. Old lady, Gu Qingqing laughed out loud. In this world, would there be such a good thing? The students of Luohai know. One middle school listened to this layer of news even more incredulously. The entire Luo Hai no. One middle school completely exploded. Countless parents and students were scrambling to attend Luo Hai no. One middle school. And even the imperial capital came to join Luo Hai no. One middle school. How unbelievable was this? Those who had helped Wang Chuan in the past. At this moment, 
The mere hint of favor that Wang Chuan had leaked out from his fingers was enough for them to receive a hundred, a thousand times more in return. And those who had offended Wang Chen, even more so, countless more people had removed the scourge for Wang Chen. This is the Ascending Dragon Scholar. Apart from Luo Hai City, this news was still spreading. The whole of China was completely shocked by Wang Chen. This era, named Wang Dust, in a certain deeply hidden mansion in Dragon Capital, the blonde haired, blue eyed teenager looked at Wang Dust on the big screen with disdain. Just this kind of trash. What's there to see? The blonde teenager said disdainfully. What kind of powerful characters can come out of this tiny China? Let alone, a mechanic? This kind of living profession can be the number one in the country. There's no one left in this Huaxia, right? Young master, you might as well take a look. The diplomat pleaded, to ask me to take a look at this kind of trash. I think you're senile. The blonde teenager gave an angry glance. The diplomat instantly shut up. No more words were spoken. Words can't be said like that. There is an old Chinese saying, those who work in the West are handsome. It's better for us to be careful. The black-haired girl with exquisite makeup from Taiji country let out a light laugh. And the blonde-haired teenager was playing with her cell phone with her head down from the beginning to the end. As if these news couldn't turn a single ripple in her heart. The blonde-haired teenager looked at the young girl coldly. This guy was always so high and mighty. In front of Wang Dust's house, the enrollment office teachers of a dozen or so universities looked at each other in disbelief. As if they did not understand why the others were also there. Li Tianyan smiled. If a university, the price may not be high, but if you get together to open the price well, it is always possible to make Wang Dust satisfied. He is also convenient to help out on the side. Wang Dust also received the news, opened the door to the room, and sat on the sofa in the living room with a few people. Some of these people were young and beautiful, while others were already over half a hundred years old. Some wore armor with swords on their waists, while others wore priestly robes and held staffs in their hands. In short, all of them looked strong and should be the teachers of the admission offices of various universities. Besides these teachers, there was another acquaintance who was Li Tianyin. The two cast a glance at each other, and Wang Chen nodded to the many teachers. Gentlemen, as you can see, this is the one who lost the Dragon Rising Scholar, Wang Dust. As soon as Li Tianyin opened his mouth, he felt a cool breeze at his back. Hearing that this youngster was Wang Chen, all the teachers' eyes turned red, deadly staring at Wang Dust as excited as a wolf about to starve to death seeing a sheep. These many men were looking at themselves with naked eyes, and Wang Chuan's heart was a little hairy. Cough cough. Li Tian coughed a few times young to ease the awkwardness of the scene. He then began to introduce the crowd to Wang Chuan. Come Wang Chuan, let me introduce you. This, is the enrollment teacher of Imperial Capital University, Ling Han. After introducing the teacher, Li Tianyan smiled slightly and looked at Wang Chun. This one is definitely not unfamiliar to you all. You must have all seen the video of his college entrance exam practical. He is our Tianning province's dragon ascending scholar. Even more so, in the entire world, he is the only existence who has killed the first place in the college entrance exam with his living profession. The terror of his talent and the strength of his perseverance are by no means comparable to ordinary students. I, Li Tianyan, am here to match you up. Whether or not you can talk about it all depends on your own skills. Saying this, Li Tianyan passed a look to Wang Duan. The meaning was obvious, give you a chance to properly slaughter them, preferably to the death. Wang Dust understood. He had thought about which school to go to. Li Tianyan was creating an opportunity for him to get the most benefits if Imperial Capital University have a heart. In terms of financial strength, there is really no one that can compare to an Imperial University. But if there is no competition, he would never give Wang Dust such a large profit, worthy of being a character that can be a governor, a thing that can make everyone take a favor. Everyone still feels that they have earned it. After Li Tianyin stepped back, all the teachers couldn't hold back. The teacher from Tianlong University was the first to speak. Student Wang Chuan, your video I we have all seen. As long as you join Tianlong University, you'll get a $30 million scholarship for a year. Plus all the copies of our Heavenly Dragon University are open to you. So the materials that need to be exchanged for points, will give you priority supply for all of them. Just as the teacher from Tianlong University finished speaking, the teacher from Huadu University next to him snorted and said disdainfully, You have the nerve to compete for the top student on these conditions? The top scholar of Denglong doesn't even want to go to your school, right? Chapter 172 I choose Imperial Capital University. Mr. Wang Duan, our Huadu University will provide you with a $50 million scholarship every year, and will send an elite team of 70 level teachers to bring you up to the 70th level. Other than that, we can also provide everything that Tianlong University provides. As soon as the teacher from Huadu University said that, the teacher from Tianlong University was instantly unhappy. 
but conditions can be renegotiated. I'll just add more if Mr. Wang Chuan isn't satisfied. It's just a matter of having the ability to pay. It's not like I can't afford to keep up with Tianlong University. What do you mean by talking and stepping on us? The teachers of Huadu University and Tianlong University were at swords drawn. If not for the people around them, they would definitely have fought. The others were not willing to show weakness and made their own conditions. Originally, this place was a gathering of elites from various places, but at this moment, they were actually arguing with each other. Just like a vegetable market. Some even took off their shoes and threw them at the teachers of their rival universities. Wang Dust really did not expect. These teachers were so excited. Not the slightest bit of what painted a big cake. Blank check situation appeared. Everything is real. The resources that ordinary students could only dream of. Seem to be everywhere here. Even the major schools are still constantly comparing prices. Wang Chuan was a bit speechless for a while. If no one stopped them, they wouldn't fight. Holy shit. Who the hell slapped me? The teacher from Huadu University cursed angrily. Obviously no one in the noisy scene paid any attention to him. It was just a constant shouting out of his condition. And in passing, he would hit the teacher next to him again. Even Li Tianyan was somewhat unable to bear to watch, and then took out his cell phone and filmed it. Hiss. After this must not one person pay a few million to delete the photo. After all, this teacher. You also don't want your photos to be known by your colleagues. F asterisk CK. Can't stand it anymore. Great fireball technique. A teacher couldn't hold back and started to do it. Before doing so, he didn't forget to thoughtfully cast a protective shield to surround them. After all, the intention was to recruit Wang Chen. If he messed up his house, he probably couldn't recruit him. A few moments later, a dozen or so teachers all came out with gray heads and faces, each of them bruised and swollen, suffering from considerable injuries, especially that teacher from Tianlong University, who had inexplicably received several punches. They finally quieted down and determined the bottom line of the price they could each afford. 100 million scholarships per year. And I'll agree to all the conditions they can offer. And I'll vouch for you again. If you step into level 70 in the first year, I'll have the principal ask Magic City University's top forger to create a diamond suit of rare materials for you. The Magic City University teacher exclaimed. The moment these words came out, the audience was in an uproar. This is fucking bleeding money. It was said that Mordor University was rich and generous. And it was true today. Just this set of diamond equipment that was created cost more than everything they offered. No comparison. No comparison at all. The teachers present all gave up except for Ling Han of the Imperial Capital University. Ling Han gritted his teeth, dialed a phone and whispered a few words. After hanging up, a touch of confidence surfaced on his face again. On top of Mordor University's conditions. I'll add that a strategic copy of Imperial Capital University is open to you once more. Moreover, we won't take any of the resources inside. Take as much as you want. It's all yours. As Ling Han spoke out in one sentence, everyone was viciously shocked. If a level 70 diamond set was a fortune, then a chance to enter a strategic copy once was simply impossible. It was expressly forbidden for any student to enter. Strategic copies open? Really? You Imperial Capital University can't be cheating. That's right. Such an important entry qualification. And you're actually giving it to a freshman. Ling Han, it's fine for you to recruit geniuses but it's meaningless if you're going to write blank checks. That's right. I don't believe that a freshman deserves this from you guys. A group of teachers questioned. I, Ling Han, guarantee it with my life. Ling Chen said indifferently. Everyone present was shocked. Once something went wrong, 10 heads of Ling Han wouldn't be enough, including the guarantor above him. Worthy of being the madman Ling Han, his nickname is true to his name. It's no match. It's no match at all. It's a head-to-head -head comparison. Not everyone is as bold as this madman Ling Han. Moreover, all the proceeds from the strategic copies were handed over. It's impossible to hide anything. They actually managed to give it all directly to Wang Chen. Even if it was only this one chance, it was a chance that everyone would never dare to hope for. Teacher, the 100, 000 year eternal god tree is also here? It's here. Then all the teachers sitting here. Sorry, I choose. Imperial Capital University. Wang Chen said forcefully, the many teachers were a bit deflated. But they asked themselves that they couldn't do something as bold as Ling Han, directly exchanging their lives for each other. They were all getting paid to do something broken. In addition to Ling Han, the other teachers dispersed unhappily, but they all left a bank card in Wang Dust's hands, meaning, a good karma. Chapter 173, Departing for University. Fellow student Wang Chen, when are you going to depart for the Imperial Capital? Ling Han asked. My own plan is to brush up all the secret realms around Luohai City and try to level up a bit before school starts, in order to better enter the strategic secret realms. Wang Chen said truthfully, then I guess your plans need to change a bit. 
The strategic secret realm has to open in a week. You need to go in at that time. Otherwise, by the time school starts, the secret realm will be closed. Ling Han whispered. Are these secret realms not the same as copies? That's right. You'll all learn about it slowly in the future. The resources here are non-renewable. And every time you enter it takes a long time for the secret realm to slowly revive. This secret realm of the Imperial Capital University is opened once every 10 years. And the opportunity is very rare. Ling Chen had thought that Wang Chen was going to be a bit angry. But Wang Chen's reaction shocked him. Wang Chen's body shook when he heard this news. Great. He could finally enter the replica. Obtain the life essence. And save his parents. He had thought that this day would take a long time. But he hadn't realized that he was actually close at hand. Three days later. I'll go back to Imperial Capital University to report. Wang Chen solemnly said. Good. Then I'll wait for the good news. Three days later. Wang Chuan brought Wang Luohan to his former residence. This place might be dilapidated. But it was the only trace they had left here. Wang Luohan looked at this place where his family had lived for so long and lamented. I really didn't expect that one day we would leave Luohai City. Having all lived here for so long. It's still a bit sad to suddenly leave. If I didn't have my brother. I would have had to spend my whole life in the hospital. Wang Chuan stroked Wang Luohan's hair and said. What's there to be sad about? This is the starting point. Not the end point. We will be better in the future. And I will be stronger. So strong that I can let you guys live a better life without any worries. It was never the place that really mattered. But the people who were together. His parents had already been received in the imperial capital by the special plane he sent yesterday. Staying in the best ward. Using the best medicine. And hiring the best doctors. Next. It was finally time to go to the secret world of the Imperial Capital University without any worries. Just at this moment, three luxury cars drove from the distance and stopped beside Wang Chen. The three luxury cars came down in Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, and Mo Liuli respectively. A few people looked at each other, obviously shocked at how the remaining two were also here. And Xiao Xiao had changed into a red mage robe. The whole person looked valiant and youthful. Mo Liuli, on the other hand, went against the norm and instead wore a set of ice blue battle armor. And without speaking, she looked like a female Valkyrie. As for Li Meng Meng, her legs were still as white as ever, and even looked more concave than the last time they met. Wang Chen, Sister Luo Han, I've come to pick you up. And Xiao Xiao waved and smiled. When he heard her call his sister, Sister Luo Han, Wang Chuan froze, then smiled gently. Not good. Li Meng Meng and Mo Liu Li were shocked in their hearts. This woman, her tactics are actually so smart. Starting with Wang Chen's sister is it? Worthy of being Yua and Xiao Xiao, the two of them had no time to ink. One on the left and one on the right took Wang Luohan's arm and introduced the gifts they brought to Wang Luohan. This made Wang Luohan flattered and froze as she received the gift, not knowing whether to accept it or not. He could only look towards Wang Duan. Accept it. Wang Chen smiled. Wang Luohan resentfully put away the gift. The matter of greeting was considered to be over. But the matter of who to sit in the car next gave Wang Chen another headache. Sit, brother Wang dust. And Xiao Xiao winked. Ha, huh? Wang Dust froze, your use of this word, very ambiguous ah, no no no, you're too small, in order to Luo Han's sister, I have specially brought my father's extended version of the luxury car, the space to stuff down the three of us is not a problem at all oh, Mo Lioli heatedly smiled, this caught in Xiao Xiao Li Meng Meng off guard, this person's mind was surprisingly so heavy, this was taken into consideration last night, damn ah, if these two are so additive, they won't have a chance ah, Li Mengming's brain was about to go up in smoke, coldly out of the blue. Why don't you sit with me? Ah, Wang Dust's body shook. What kind of tiger and wolf words were these one and all? Li Mengming didn't realize that she had said the wrong thing in the slightest, and the three of them stared at Wang Chuan with burning eyes together. Ahem, I don't think it has to be done. Accompanied by a clamor, the three of them finally did decide to do it together. Otherwise if they let one of them get the chance to spend time with Wang Dust, it would be worse than killing them. It might as well be at a starting line. Moreover, Li Mengming's car was indeed big enough. Four or five people sitting together actually didn't have the slightest bit of crowding. The three people in the car started to warm up to Wang Luohan again. Wang Luohan, who has been alone all along, can only blush and lower her head and keep in. Luo High Airport. After half a day of trekking, he finally arrived here. Since the transfer of the entire population, the Blue Star has expanded more than hundreds of times. Just this Luo High city. A city is also much larger than the previous province. This place is overcrowded and watertight. But fortunately, Governor Li Tianyan has already made good connections for them. So they only need to take a special airplane to go straight to the imperial capital. Chapter 174 Why should I give it to him? The interior of the airport was crowded. But when the airport staff saw Wang Duan, 
They immediately opened up a channel for him to pass through unhindered. Who is this kid? Why does he have the right to cut in front of us? That's right. I'm the top member of your aerospace company now I'll have to line up here obediently. What right does he have? A group of tycoons yelled. They were accustomed to being on top and could not tolerate someone stepping on their heads. Just as the tycoons wanted to continue making trouble, the person in charge of the airport walked out and said indifferently, Ascending Dragon Scholar, Wang Duan, if you guys think you can mess with him, you can try. When these words came out, all the rich men were shocked. They were just the rich people of Luo Hai, and they didn't have a single word to say compared to this kind of characters who were considered the top handful in the whole of China. Ahem, it's worthy of being an Ascending Dragon Scholar. Ah, a talented person. Yes, yes, yes. Much more promising than that brat in my house. These tycoons changed their faces to become faster than turning over a book, and complimented one after another. Even the person in charge of the airport couldn't help but be shocked at how these guys were so shameless. At this moment, Wang Dust didn't know what had happened and closed his eyes after boarding the special airplane that Li Tianyan had arranged for him. Evening. Several people finally arrived at the Imperial Capital. The Imperial Capital University was located in the busiest section of the Imperial Capital University and there was still a long car ride to be done, so it was estimated that it would be almost late at night when they arrived. Fortunately, Ling Han had gotten the message and arranged for a special car to wait for them here early. It also saves them from wasting time taking a taxi. Along the way, although they didn't cross the imperial capital, they could still see the outline of the city, which was far more prosperous than they had imagined. As the most prosperous city in China, the imperial capital's prosperity was thousands or even tens of thousands of times higher than Luohai City. If Luo Hai City was compared to a caveman's residence, then the imperial capital was a city full of future technology. The two were simply not on the same level. According to An Xiao Xiao, the imperial capital was far more prosperous than any other city. Anything you wanted to find, you could find it here. The Hidden Profession Institute, the Life Profession Alliance, all kinds of labor unions, mercenary groups, all of them were there. Even the large-scale auction halls, there were dozens of them, as long as you are willing. You can even auction off an island. This also opened Wan Luohan's eyes, his eyes sparkling with stars. If the school is on vacation, we can come out and play together. And Xiao Xiao smiled. In her heart, she secretly swore that when the day really came, she would definitely drag herself back to the school gates. Wang Chuan gently nodded his head. So far, he wasn't even very interested in the imperial capital. What he had in mind was still his own imperial capital university's secret realm and life origin. He couldn't bear the thought of his parents lying in bed for one more day. Nor could he bear the thought of his sister suffering for one more day. Thinking that he was about to make his parents awaken and his sister stand up again, he couldn't help but feel a hint of more anticipation in his heart. This day was finally coming. Finally, after two hours of traveling, the car finally stopped. As soon as Wang Chuan got out of the car, he saw that a huge step that was about a hundred meters wide, all the way up, it was a hundred steps, and at the end of the steps, there was a majestic, huge gate. The shape of the gate was quite classical, and the plaque above it bore a few large gilt characters, Imperial Capital Academy, Imperial Capital University Conference Room. Teacher, why did you cancel my spot? What's the point of giving it to someone else? He's just a freshman who hasn't even enrolled yet. He has no strength. A yellow hair said in a very angry tone, this is the school's decision. The teacher said indifferently, which one of us old students didn't die nine times to make great achievements from the battlefield, then fighting the list to the death. It was not easy to take the top few places and gain this opportunity. Why was it still snatched by someone else? Where on earth did this relationship come from? The white-clothed youth had a stony face. That's right. Isn't it just the Dragon Ascension Scholar? Just a few of us. Which one of us didn't have the strength of a Dragon Ascending Scholar back then? And that's still three or four years before we barely have the qualifications to enter the secret realm. This kid just entered the Imperial Capital University. It would be good to have a 35 level right now. Who is he to compete with us for this opportunity? Another red-clothed girl said angrily. All the older students were angry. They were unconvinced. What right did this spot have to be given to someone else? It was let to a little brat who was four years younger than them. Yes, this little brat might be an ascending dragon scholar. But which one of them wasn't an ascending dragon scholar? Not all of them took the college entrance exam. Their strength was comparable to that year's dragon ascending scholar. Or even stronger. For that matter, None of them were qualified to touch the strategic secret realm back then, let alone enter it. What the hell is this based on? In terms of background, which one of them is not a well-known top family in the imperial capital? In the past, the principal hadn't even given them face, and they really didn't believe that a freshman was stronger than them and had a harder back than them. I think this principal is senile. The yellow-haired young man snapped. 
As the crowd spoke to each other, the teacher sitting at the main seat of the conference room had no room to interject at all. Chapter 175, College Life. The principal naturally has his reasons for doing this. The real reason will be told to you later. But if you let me hear such words again, then don't blame me for not being polite. The teacher coldly said. Yellow hair snorted coldly and closed his mouth. If you guys are not convinced, don't blame me for not giving you a chance. You can go and challenge him privately and ask for the spot over. Of course, it's a toss-up whether you can beat it or not. That's the way it is in the Imperial Capital University. You have to have enough strength, resources, money. You can have all of them. If you don't you just shut up. The teacher reprimanded. I can't beat a freshman? Are you kidding me? Teacher I think you are also old and confused. Yellow hair said defiantly. When the teacher's glaring gaze was cast, he closed his mouth again resentfully. Wine Dust's few people slowly approached the school and completed the enrollment registration under the leadership of the sophomore students. Due to the fierce competition at the Imperial University, basically no students would choose to go home during vacation time. Basically all of them were in the replica to play the book all night. There were also a small number of students who took an alternative route and stayed at the entrance of the school all night, registering new students for enrollment. They could likewise receive a lot of credits. The sophomore student in charge of registration caught a glimpse of Wang Chen being so close to the trio of An Xiao Xiao who was following behind him, and it was as if the sparks of jealousy in his eyes were about to overflow. What right did this guy have? Don't look at the fact that Wang Chuan didn't take much offense to them throughout the day. There was no doubt that An Xiao Xiao, M. O. Lioli, and Li Meng Meng were absolute beauties in the eyes of outsiders, and all of them were the kind that were beautiful, the best of the best on earth. It would be considered a blessing for an ordinary person to have one of them. But this guy actually had three of them. He really deserves to die. The sophomore let out a wail, feeling the injustice of fate. Right at this moment, a few luxury cars stopped at the entrance of the Imperial Capital University. The doors of the cars opened and an unfamiliar and exotic face appeared in front of a few people's eyes. The blonde-haired teenager as well as the young girl from Taiji country slowly walked out, their eyes filled with disdain. This is the strongest university in China. Imperial Capital University? At first sight today, it was nothing more than that. It's still far worse than their pretty country's university. Studying in such a university, it is estimated that there are not many strong people. They say that there is no one in Huaxia. Now it seems that what is said is true. The blonde teenager ruffled his hair and walked over with no one in sight. It attracted a bunch of sophomore nymphomaniacs to scream for a while. Is this this year's freshman brother? Holy shit so handsome. Yes yes yes. So handsome. Or an international student from a beautiful country. Sisters rush. To be able to spend the night with such a handsome guy, it's worth dying in this life. Because of the screams of this group of nymphomaniacs, there were many more people at the entrance of the school. Wang Chuan did not have too many waves in his heart, and he had nothing to do with how these guys were doing. However, he suddenly remembered that Li Tianyan had told him that the foreign students that the pigeon faction had spent a lot of money to invite, so he thought that this was the guy. It seems that his strength is just like that. The only thing that made him take one more look was the blonde girl next to him who had been playing with her cell phone. However, Wang Chen lightly laughed. They were all just clowns. Just at this time, a clear voice suddenly came from the steps, and Wang Dust felt somewhat familiar. Both of your waves have arrived. Ha, huh? what a coincidence. Everyone looked back, and it was the teacher of the admissions office, Ling Han. Ling Han, dressed in light clothing with two heavy swords behind his back, leapt up and landed straight into the center of the steps. It looked as if he was familiar with both sides. Ling Han said indifferently, I received the news that the ascending dragon scholar has just gotten off the plane, and counting the time, he should be arriving soon, so I just came out of the copy. Excuse me. Saying that, Ling Han wiped the blood on his body. Ling Crazy's name was true to its name. Then he added, Come with me. I'll introduce you to the residence. The blonde teenager at the bottom of the steps looked at Wang Chen with disdain and snorted. This fellow, he looked just like that. It was still far from worthy of being compared to him. Both sets of people walked beside Ling Chen, and sparks came out from the blonde teenager. Wang Chen didn't bother with him. Compared to crushing a squawking bug, it was not as valuable as taking an early rest for himself right now. After all, not every bug was worthy of coming out to interrupt. Soon, Ling Han brought the two waves of Wang Chen and the blonde teenager to a place with a beautiful environment. There was a huge artificial lake with flowers and grasses and a beautiful view. At the edge of the lake, there were even more than 30 villas situated. The entrance of the villas had number plates standing on them. It looked similar, but the gap was bigger than one. From the 32nd villa covering an area of 200 square meters, to the first villa covering an area of 10,000 square meters. Seeing that Ling Han brought the crowd directly here, and Xiao Xiao couldn't help but ask, Mr. Ling, why did you bring us here? 
This doesn't seem to be a student dormitory. Ling Han pointed to the dormitory in front of him as he walked. This is actually a dormitory as well. But the Imperial Capital University believes that strength is king, and only the strong deserve to live in a strong dormitory. There are only two similar villa areas in our Imperial Capital University, respectively for teachers and students. Not only are there all kinds of equipment in the villa, there is a private butler, and there is even a single combat training barn that is advanced in the whole of China. So you can train your reaction speed in it, so that the students can better utilize their professional strength on the battlefield. Chapter 176 College students nowadays are really good at playing. These two villa areas, both with 32 villas, are given to the top 32 ranked students and teachers respectively. As for the student villa residency, it requires the credits to be ranked in the top 32 in the entire school. Of course, the first freshman will be given preferential treatment. They will all be able to live in villa number one for the first month. As for whether or not you can hold on to it after that, it will depend on your skills. Ling Han explained. Teacher, this means that means. Li Meng Meng said excitedly. Ling Chen said indifferently. That's right. Although Wang Chen doesn't have any credits, but in terms of his strength as a Dragon Rising scholar, and as the number one freshman, there is naturally no problem with living in Villa Number One. When these words came out, a burst of joy leaked out from the faces of the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, they were happy for Wang Chen from the bottom of their hearts. A few families were happy and a few families were sad. The blonde-haired teenager who had been silent for a long time beside him looked at Wang Dust with a few moments of displeasure. Wouldn't this mean that he was weaker than Wang Dust? In what a joke! In the beautiful country, he has not lost to anyone except the blonde girl beside him. After coming to China, he thought he would never lose. Today, he was actually underestimated. How could he stand it? The exquisitely made-up young girl from Taiji country also frowned slightly, and she also didn't think that her strength didn't deserve to live in Villa 1. The blonde maiden looked at Wang Chen, so he was this year's Dragon Rising Scholar, and he didn't look like much. She then continued her high and mighty stance, playing with her cell phone with her head down not paying attention to anything in the surroundings. There's an old Chinese saying that says, it's not fun to have friends from afar. We came today and actually greeted us like this. Is this your hospitality? This number one villa should be given to me. The blonde-haired teenager said in a cold voice, I think you've misunderstood. The old saying should be, if you have friends coming from afar, you'll be killed even though you're far away. Mo Liuli pulled out her staff and stood in front of Wang Chen. No one in China has dared to speak to me like this. The blonde-haired teenager looked at Wang Chen angrily. He had fantasized when he first came here that the women beside Wang Chuan could also come into his arms of their own accord like those nymphomaniacs, but he found that they did not. It was probably because Wang Chuan had compelled these women with some means. All of this was Wang Chen's fault. He no longer had the calmness he had before. And at this moment, he also only wanted to crush Wang Chen. This mole cricket. He believed that he could definitely kill Wang Chen in seconds if he wanted to. As a matter of fact, Wang Chuan did not put this jumping clown in his eyes from beginning to end. This kind of trash. What qualifications did he have to snarl and bark in front of himself? The atmosphere between the two sides was tense. Ling Han came out to stop it. Don't be in a hurry first. Private fights within the Imperial Capital University is a felony. In a month's time, there will be a freshman examination. And at that time, your residences can naturally be shuffled. This student... You don't want to be discovered by the principal of the university for a private fight and then be repatriated to your home country. The last sentence, he said to the blonde-haired teenager. The arrogance he had just shown was gone, and he stared at Wang Chuan dead in the face, as if he was looking at his father's killer. The blonde teenager left angrily, leaving Ling Han to continue the introduction. Then it looks like we won't necessarily be able to live in the villa area. The three of them, and Xiao Xiao, regretted. Their points might be high but their comprehensive strength was rated by another organization, and the three of them were not ranked in the villa area, or rather, they did not dare to hope that they would be able to go to God's Metropolis University before they met Wang Chen. Seemingly seeing the meaning of these girls, Ling Han pushed the boat into the water and said, you guys can naturally move in together. This 10, 000 square meter villa was not designed to be lived in by one person in the first place. Originally, he was still worried about not having the opportunity to get in touch with Wang Chen. After all, this side of the villa area was too strict, and it must be very troublesome for them to want to come to Wang Chen's no. One villa, and wouldn't that be? The three of them each looked at Wang Chuan with their own intentions. Then can we move in with you? And Xiao Xiao asked. Wang Dust thought for a moment. His usual time at the copy was definitely on the high side, and his sister needed to have someone take care of her. It was always good to have more people to take care of his sister. Not to mention the fact that the sister kinda liked them. It's just that with so many girls. Would it not be good? Don't look at me like this. 
I can cook. Definitely can take care of you guys. Emo Lioli said with her head held high, looking very proud. As soon as she saw the scheming Emo Lioli start introducing herself, and Xiao Xiao Li Meng Meng couldn't sit still, pulling Wang Duan's arm left and right, she began to talk about the benefits of moving in on her own. Then try it first? Wang Dust was a bit impressed and immediately decided to let them move in together. Yes, the three women spoke in unison. Ling Chen didn't even have eyes on the side. Young people nowadays, they really know how to play. Chapter 177, The Imperial Capital Rin Family is not a good thing. A group of people quickly moved into Villa No. 1, and after a short rest, Wang Chuan was pulled by Wang Luohan, accompanying a few of their great beauties, and took the map and circled around Imperial Capital University several times. It was only after circling left and right that they mapped out the nearby facilities. In the end, a few people bought some ingredients and came back, and in Xiao Xiao personally cooked. Preparing to make a large table of delicious food to celebrate the few of them enrolling in school and becoming students of the Imperial Capital University. Imperial Capital Education Bureau. Here sat the top group of educational figures in the whole of China. Located in the main seat, Lu Hongqing's face sank, knowing that Wang Chen had annihilated the entire Luo Hairin family. It would be strange if this Imperial Capital Rin family didn't seek revenge on him, and the Rin family's top genius girl, who was said to be hard to come by in a thousand years, was also in this school. This one is the first place winner of the Imperial Capital's grand exam. It was also Ren Inyan's sister, so it was not guaranteed that she would do something to Wang Chuan. After all, what Wang Chuan had done before had ruthlessly slapped them in the face. It was easy to hide from open fire, but it was hard to guard against secret arrows. Be careful of the Imperial Ren family doing something shady to Wang Chen. After all, it was a thousand-year-old fox. Their speed of dealing with the signs of sin was too fast. It was hard to convict them themselves. In a short period of time, I am afraid that Wang Chuan was not safe. Lu Hongsheng immediately ordered, such a genius can't die in the hands of the Rin family. Must protect Wang Dust. If there is any movement, directly mobilize the law enforcement team over there. Humph. The crowd nodded, knowing the severity of the matter. The Imperial Capital Rin family was not a good thing. In Villa 1, and Xiao Xiao brought the last cake to the table, and dinner officially began. Wang Dust looked rather surprised. He knew before that in Xiao Xiao was good at cooking but he didn't expect it to be this good. With this craftsmanship, I'm afraid no one would disbelieve it even if they said it was a hotel chef. Just at this moment, the door was suddenly not. Wang Dust felt strange. At this point, someone actually came back to knock on the door, opening the door. It was actually a young girl in black battle armor. Wang Chuan fixed his eyes on it. The young girl in front of him had a body that was comparable to Li Ming Ming's, with a tall figure, and the black battle armor showed off her figure to the fullest with a concave and convex shape. Moreover, the gaps in the battle armor even showed off the fairness of her skin. A head of long black hair that was like a waterfall was just draped behind her, looking a bit more innocent. It was a pity that her face was expressionless, and she also revealed an air of coolness that made it difficult for people to get close. From what I could see, it was another high-cooled young girl. Just why was she knocking on her door at this moment? After opening the door, the high-cooled young girl took a deep sniff of the aroma of the meal, and her delicate body trembled. She said expressionlessly, Hello, from Villa Number 2, can I rub a meal, eh, please come in. Wang Dust was a bit surprised, but still let her in. The matter of adding a rice bowl. Anyway, they are neighbors. Head up, head down. In the future, when you brush copies in school, it is also considered to be more than one friend. Since she lives in the second villa, her strength shouldn't be that bad. After finishing dinner, thanks a lot. The high cool girl left quietly after dropping this sentence. This girl is so strange, and Xiao Xiao said in disbelief. It's true that it's a bit strange, but it's probably just craving your handiwork. Sister Xiao Xiao, Wang Luohan winked towards in Xiao Xiao. The next day, the new student ceremony at Imperial Capital University was officially held. Everyone in Imperial Capital University was scrambling for time, in order to seize the time to fight an upgrade. Naturally, there were no other schools that had long vacations. Students from other schools might be staying at home. But at Imperial Capital University, they had already proceeded to start their college careers. Wang Chen led the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, towards the square in the center of the school. It attracted the attention of many people. Holy shit, who is this kid? Why is he carrying so many girls around? Yeah, each one of them is still so good looking. Probably another son of some big family. Damn it, why don't I have this background? Wang Chen ignored these people's yelling and walked straight to the special occupation area to take a seat. Several international students saw Wang Dust and a trace of disgust appeared on their faces, especially the blonde teenager, who glared fiercely at Wang Dust. This scene was captured by the brainwashed girl, 
Who upset my male god? That's right. Even though the male god is handsome even when he's angry, but he deserves to die if he makes my male god angry. Don't even look at what you look like. You're worthy of making my male god angry. Another bunch of brainwashed women, seeing that the blonde teenager was angry, quickly jumped out to angrily spray Wang Chen. This appearance of protecting their master was like a dog protecting its master. Wang Dust, let's see what you can fight with me. With so many brainwashed women in your China, I only need to hook my finger and there will be countless cheap brainwashed coming over to be used as a gun by me. The blonde teenager sneered. Chapter 178 Dragon Rising Class Wang Dust had never put the blonde teenager in his eyes. In his opinion, this guy was nothing more than a noisy worm. If he wanted to crush it, he only needed to move his finger. He was just a clown. Let him jump around for a while longer. Wang Chuan casually found a place to sit down. Just then, Wang Chuan saw the high-cooled young girl who had come to rub her nose in it earlier. She was currently looking around. Holy shit. I had thought that the school flower list would have already gathered all the beauties of Imperial University. I didn't realize that there was someone who was even better looking than the beauties on the school flower list. Whose teammate is this? I always thought that those women just now are all nymphomaniacs who can't walk when they see a handsome guy. I didn't realize that I'm also so shallow. Yeah, add AV. Everyone was shocked when the high cold young girl appeared. After she saw Wang Xuan, she walked next to him without saying a word and sat down coldly. This behavior even more shocked everyone severely. I didn't realize that this beautiful woman already had a master. The blonde teenager coldly looked at Wang Dust. This guy's behavior instantly turned him into a clown. Is this also something you planned long ago? Wang Dust you better beg not to fall into my hands. The blonde teenager coldly brought his teammates to a position far away from Wang Dust. As time passed, more and more students entered. And eventually, the seats were filled to capacity. The new student ceremony officially began. An old man in mage robes slowly floated to the center of the square. This person's appearance silenced the noisy scene in an instant. Level 79 Thunderbolt Mage King. Looking at the whole of China, 70 level powerhouses were considered to be a party of bigwigs. And a level 79 was a one in a million existence. Everyone present sucked in a breath of cold air, all shocked. Worthy of being the Imperial Capital University. The faculty is so strong. Hello students. I'm the Vice Chancellor of Imperial Capital University. I'm the King of Thunder and Lightning. Yang Tianxin. First of all, on behalf of the Imperial Capital University, I would like to welcome all the new students. The scene was filled with applause. They were even more shocked that a 79 level powerhouse was only serving as the vice principal at the Imperial Capital University. Then what strength should the principal be? Is this the Imperial Capital University? Yang Tianxin, on the other hand, continued. When I do things, I don't like to drag my feet. So I won't say that much about this freshman conference. Next, I'll have your mentor send you the freshman handbook as well as your identity cards. The identity cards record the credits of each of you, and a portion of you only have the basic 100 credits on you. There is also another part of you who excelled in the entrance exam. Above that there will be the school's rewards for you. Under Yang Tianxin's instructions, some instructors soon appeared and distributed the new student handbook and identity cards to each person. After Wang Chan got his identity card, he carefully scrutinized it, which recorded his name, grade, and credits. He fixed his eyes on a hundred thousand points, looking towards and Xiao Xiao and the others, but their credits were only a few hundred points, not even enough for a fraction of his own. For a while, Wang Chen didn't know how this score was actually determined. He had so many more than others? What was the use of that many credits? When everyone's identity cards were handed out, Yang Tianxin began to introduce. The identity card, naturally, represents your identity in the Imperial Capital University, and is all the credentials for your activities in the Imperial Capital University. It will store credits in it, and the role of credits that's huge. It can be exchanged for all kinds of potions, access to copies, and even more so, it can ask the top forger within the academy to forge a top-notch set of equipment for you. The moment these words came out, the entire room boiled over. What is the concept of a customized set of equipment? This was a treatment that even the sons of ordinary big families did not have. Not to mention that it was the most top-notch forger within the university. How could this not shock people? It seemed like the opportunity to realize a class leap was right in front of them. Seeing that the crowd was still shocked, Yang Tianxin released another heavy news and continued. Although you all have base points in your hands, this point is temporary. One month later, you freshmen will usher in a freshman assessment. After the assessment, there will be a reshuffling of your freshmen. Credits that only the strong can obtain. That's how it is at Imperial Capital University. Only the strong deserve to survive. Those with zero basic credits will be expelled. Those with the top 30 credits will be directly promoted to the Ascending Dragon class, which you can also understand as the Rocket class. 
and the Imperial Capital University will pour all of its resources into you. The moment these words came out, everyone on stage was shocked. What? Direct expulsion. Such a punishment is too cruel, right? But then, when they heard about the Dragon Rising class, their pupils all shrank. Imperial Capital University's resources pouring in. What a concept. Even a pig could be fed to him up to level 60. Wang Chen looked down at his identity card. In that case, he seemed to be firmly in the Dragon Rising class? 100,000 points. It seemed like all these people together. It was only that much, right? It seemed like this was Imperial University giving itself a small opening. But things didn't seem to be that simple. Sure enough, Yang Tianxin faintly said, The first thing I want to introduce to you is the strongest existence amongst this freshman class, Ascending Dragon Scholar Wang Duan. His words everyone's hearts lit a fire. It was tantamount to launching Wang Dust as a target. Chapter 179 Tianyin Province Top Scholar Li Ening Wang Chuan didn't care in the slightest. The school wanted him to show his strength. Then he would show it in a big way. He never bothered to fear others. Wang Chen stood up and the square was in an uproar. Everyone was talking. He's Wang Chen, the Dragon Rising Scholar. I can't believe I didn't realize just now that the Dragon Ascending Scholar was actually right next to me. I heard that this Dragon Rising Scholar's profession is also a mechanic. Mechanic? Isn't that a living profession with no combat power? This can also take down the Dragon Ascending Scholar. Who knows? The information about the Dragon Rising Scholar on the internet is also pitifully scarce. There's no way to know what he's capable of. This thing is really evil. The whole room was a buzz, but everyone didn't know much about Wang Chuan. After all, for a genius like Wang Chuan, the information was kept absolutely secret. Wang Dust wasn't surprised. Once his identity as a Dragon Rising Scholar was known by others, it was bound to cause an uproar. Wang Chuan quickly sat down, and the discussion was finally much less loud. Yang Tianxin, on the other hand, began to continue introducing the student who ranked second in credits. Next is the student who ranked second in credits for this freshman class, the top student of Tianyun province, Li Ening. The high-cooled young girl beside Wang Chen stood up. She was Li Ening, the top student of Tianyun province. Wang Chuan was also a bit shocked. It turned out that last night's dabbling girl was actually the provincial top scholar. The moment these words came out, there was another boil at the bottom. Although Wang Dust didn't have any battle videos on the internet, but Li Ening's battle video can spread like crazy. One person, one sword. Single brush of the trial tower. He chopped his way up to the 60th floor without stopping. Every move was like art. If it wasn't for Wang Chen this year, the Dragon Rising Scholar would definitely be her. This is our Tianyun province's top student. And holy shit I'm telling you guys how incredible it was for me to see the live broadcast that day. He actually chose to not bring any of his teammates in the college entrance exam, hardly breaking the historical record. Not only that, her profession, Heavenly Swordmaster, is even more terrifying. It's claimed to be one of the most powerful S-class talents. Holy shit, do all the experts nowadays look so low-key? It looks like she's just a high-cooled young girl, but her strength. I guess she can rip my head off and kick it as a ball. Brother, don't doubt it. She can just screw it up. It could be seen that Li Ening's popularity was even above Wang Chen. Immediately after that, Yang Tianxin continued to introduce the other members of the Dragon Rising class, only that the ones behind them were not as well known, and very few people were shocked. Wang Chuan looked at Li Ening's credits next to him, which amounted to 50,000. It was only half as much as himself, so it seemed that she did have a few strengths. Soloing the trial tower? He didn't know it was possible. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a big problem for him to single brush one, and it was the kind of thing that passed. Right after Yang Tianxin introduced everyone, a red-haired beauty stood up. In addition to that, there is a special student in the Dragon Rising class who comes from the Imperial Capital locality. His grades aren't counted as part of the college entrance exam results, so you guys don't know about it, but his strength is no less than the top student of the college entrance exam. Yang Tianxin continued, the geniuses of the imperial capital noticed that the red-haired beauty who stood up was actually her, the genius of the Ren family of the imperial capital, Ren Ru Xiue. It was known as a top genius that was rarely encountered in a thousand years. Imperial capital Ren family, Ren Ru Xiue. Ren Ru Xiue arrogantly said, she was confident that her strength was definitely the strongest amongst all the new students. She had a full 80, 000 credits, relying on the strongest team her family had formed for her. She had brushed up to the 80th floor of the trial tower. When these words came out, the stage instantly exploded. As we all know, the Imperial Capital's college entrance examination scores are separate from the outside world, precisely because there are too many geniuses in the Imperial Capital, and the resources for geniuses are too rich, and Rin Rushiwei. In a situation where the imperial capital is full of geniuses, 
managed to ask for the top spot of geniuses, took the first place in the Imperial Capital's college entrance exam. In addition to her family's supply of resources, it's even more indispensable to her profession. One of the strongest professions in the S-Class, Heavenly Fire Mage. Everyone was shocked. The strongest in the Imperial Capital. The gold content of these four words was not the least bit weaker than that of a Dragon Rising Scholar. Ren Rushu eh? What kind of existence was it that was worthy of this title of the strongest in the Imperial Capital? Ren Rushue enjoyed the crowd's boasting as her gaze turned to Wang Chen. She suddenly sneered at Wang Chuan, her white teeth already showing a little more cold light. Wang Chuan looked at Ren Rushue with cold eyes. So, the Ren family still had a living soul? The Imperial Capital Ren family. Sounds like it's a bit untouchable. Then directly Athi personally tore the plaque of the so-called Imperial Capital Ren family to shreds and then personally obliterated the proud daughter of heaven that he was so proud of. Those old dogs of the Ren family in the imperial capital. What kind of face would they have? Ren Enian or Ren Enian. I didn't realize that you still have relatives. Then I will begrudgingly show mercy and send your relatives down to be reunited with you. Wang Dust exuded a cold aura around him. Everyone around felt as if the air had turned cold. The two of them locked gazes, and Ren Ruashue was not afraid in the slightest. The strongest freshman in the imperial capital. Who would she be afraid of? Chapter 180, one of the hardest level 60 copies. After introducing everyone, Yang Tianxin mentioned a few more points about the iron laws that could not be violated by the Imperial Capital University. Starting from the day after tomorrow, everyone would be able to follow the curriculum and the rest of the time, they would be able to utilize the educational resources to enhance their strength. Yang Tianxin really spoke without ink. If this were someone else to come to the meeting, it wouldn't end without a morning. While Yang Tianxin, with a simple introduction, the freshman meeting ended. It was much faster than everyone's prediction. Wang Chuan planned to leave from the square and then go over to the copy side to take a look, striving for an early upgrade to get rid of the Imperial Ren family as well. He and Xiao Xiao and the others were just about to get up when they saw a guy with very shaky blonde hair walking towards them. It was clearly the blonde-haired teenager from the pretty country. The blonde teenager's blonde hair was especially eye-catching in the crowd, and he arrived in front of Wang Chuan, looking at him condescendingly. He took out his identity card and coldly said, Wang Chuan, I challenge you, in a month's time, the freshman examination, I will prove to the world that the people of Huaxia, are just trash, the blonde teenager's voice was so loud that many of the students who were planning to leave stopped and looked towards them, to actually dare to challenge like a Chinese scholar, what was the identity of this blonde teenager, was this just as simple as an ordinary foreign student, no, by no means, he was by no means as simple as an ordinary flower pot, if he was truly a flower pot, he would never dare to challenge the number one in China. But who was he to call the people of Huaxia trash? Everyone looked at the blonde-haired teenager with displeasure. Even Yang Tianqin couldn't help but look back. He knew Wang Chen's strength. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Just now. He was also just using a provocative method to agitate the students. But Wang Dust was definitely the number one amongst the freshmen. And deservedly so. The blonde-haired teenager. On the other hand, came from the most powerful family in pretty country and he is the holy son who received the inheritance from the ancient gods. His strength is unprecedented. At the very least, Yang Tianqin dared to pat himself on the back and guarantee that he would never be his opponent at the same time. These two top powerhouses of the new era, who was stronger or weaker? Yang Tianqin's eyes narrowed as he looked at the two with interest. Because of certain things in China, the younger generation of professionals were still inferior to the pretty country. But if it was this kid Wang Chen, it might actually be possible. Passing the trial tower. What kind of achievement was this? Other people taking 50, 000, 60, 000, 70, 000, 80, 000 credits. That was their upper limit here. While Wang Dust taking 100, 000, that was a one time maximum of 100, 000 credits. The atmosphere on the field was baked to a climax. And everyone looked at Wang Chen and the blonde teenager. The strongest touched the strongest. Could the new generation of Huaxia get a clean slate or not? The entire arena was silent. Looking at Wang Chuan with dead eyes, suddenly, Wang Chen said suspiciously, Just you? The entire arena instantly boiled. Emotionally, Wang Dust did not put this blonde-haired teenager in his eyes at all. Just then, someone looked up the blonde-haired teenager's information. Pretty country's only two geniuses who had received the inheritance of an ancient god. The strength of his strength and talent was unrivaled in the world. And now, he was actually looked down upon by Wang Chen? The blonde teenager's face turned cold, and he looked at Wang Dust dead on. If he was in the pretty country, the ones who didn't give him face like this wouldn't know which stinking gutter to stay in by now. He still remembered the last time someone offended him and was forced to commit suicide with 16 shots in his back. 
not to mention Huacha, which was far inferior to Pretty Country. People from Huaxia also dared to scorn him, the high and mighty holy son of Pretty Country. How dare this fellow? Is it that you don't dare? Or is it that the people of Huaxia are all goons like you? The young girl from the Taiji country walked over and narrowed her eyes. These words caused public outrage. The pretty countries come to act like a pussy, and the stick comes to join in the fun. So let's fight. Still really treating Huaxia as your home? Get out. The crowd angrily rebuked. The maiden from Taiji country ignored them and just looked at Wang Chen. If you guys are determined to die, in a month's time, I will show you what true power is. The inheritance of an ancient god? I will also destroy it. Wang Chen said in a deep voice. The entire audience was shocked. The Chinese scholar. He really had the courage. Yes. So what if you have the inheritance of an ancient god? Our dragon rising scholar will never be afraid. The blonde teenager didn't say anything. Snorted coldly and walked away with the blonde girl and the Tai Chi kingdom girl. Yang Tianxin's eyes lit up. Good boy. Courageous. Worthy of being a dragon rising scholar. Along with the crowd's exit. Wang Chen also left with the three of them. And Xiao Xiao walking towards the replica hall of the Imperial Capital University. Although the school year hadn't started yet, getting stronger was urgent. The place had long been overcrowded. Many people couldn't help but come here to pick a copy to brush up on once they heard Wang Dust's bold statement. They all greeted towards Wang Dust and gave Wang Dust a place to pick first. Wang Dust nodded his head in greeting. He began to pick out a copy. Level 30 copy. Nameless Mountain Village. Level 35 copy. Goblin City State. Level 40 copy. Dark Forest. After looking at dozens of them one after another, the difficulty level was too low. There is no difficulty at all. Not to mention upgrading, it would be hard for him to move his experience bar. In the end, Wang Chuan looked towards the level 60 copy. Giant's Lair. One of the hardest level 60 copies. Chapter 181, sure you want to pick this copy? What was the concept of a level 60 copy? Even the most ordinary level 60 copy would require a full squad of level 65 to raid, but there was also the possibility of flipping. The level 60 monsters within the copy simply had attributes that could not be touched by a professional of the same level. This also led to the fact that very few occupiers would go and choose a copy that was comparable to their level. Basically, they all chose ones that were one or even two levels lower than their own level. And at this moment, Wang Chuan actually looked towards the level 60 giant slayer. This level 60 copy, which was one of the highest difficulties, had caused a level 70 top powerhouse to fold. From this, it could be seen how terrifying this copy was. The crowd was observing Wang Chuan's every move, and when they saw Wang Chuan cast his gaze towards the giant's lair, they couldn't help but shrink their pupils. It can't be. There's actually someone who actually went on the first day of enrollment to challenge a copy that even a teacher could possibly flip over. How was this possible? For a moment, the replica hall seemed to freeze. Everyone was staring at Wang Chen. The teacher in charge of the replica hall frowned slightly. This kid, he was too overambitious. A low difficulty replica wasn't enough to look at. Playing is playing. Fooling around is fooling around. Don't joke about copies. Pretending to sift through level 60 copies in front of so many people. Not afraid that you won't be killed if you don't succeed in pretending? To actually choose a level 60 copy is completely looking for death. Wine dust, however, shook his head. The reason he shook his head was not that the copies were too difficult. Quite the contrary. They were too easy. The hardest copy in the copy hall was this giant slayer. His intention was to choose a level 70 copy. But it was clear that the copy hall simply didn't have one. He could only retreat and choose this ordinary giant's lair. The reason he chose the giant's lair wasn't that his cap was right here, but that the cap of the replica hall was right here. Don't look at the fact that he was only level 50 right now, but his own attributes far exceeded those of his peers. Not to mention that after turning on over god overload, the panel would even soar to rival level 90. This was his backbone. Seeing Wang Chuan shaking his head, the copy teacher sighed in relief and many students thought that Wang Chuan had given up. Who knew that in the next second? Wang Dust spoke out. Teacher, I'll choose the giant's lair, so please authorize it. Wang Dust said indifferently. The entire room instantly boiled. He actually really wanted to choose. Who the hell was he? Where did a student get such boldness? In addition to the freshmen on the field, there were naturally sophomore and junior as well as senior students. None of them had ever seen Wang Chen. The copy teacher's face showed dissatisfaction. Who do you think you are? Saying that you'll pick this copy. He said with a displeased look on his face. This copy is too difficult. You should change it. Or else no one will collect your body when you die in it. What's more? Do you have the credits to enter the copy? That's right. Entering a replica also required credits. Like this level 60 replica. It would cost 100,000 credits to enter once. However. The Imperial Capital University had long promised wine dust that all copies would be entered at will. 
Everyone looked at Wang Chen again. Wang Chen did not panic and took out the identity card from his spatial ring. This should be enough, Wang Chen said in a deep voice. The duplicate teacher was still unimpressed when he first received the identity card, and when he saw the name on it, he shivered and almost dropped the identity card to the ground when his hand slipped. Ascending Dragon Scholar, Wang Dust, the copy teacher exclaimed. The crowd's gazes swept towards Wang Dust. What? He's actually this year's Dragon Rising Scholar, challenging the giant's lair right after enrollment. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would have thought I wasn't awake. I thought Senior Li Bai was already invincible. I didn't expect someone to be braver than him. Which Shuang is this? Is the difference between a Dragon Rising Scholar and an ordinary person really so huge? The old students were talking. The tone of their voices was not without shock. After knowing Wang Dust's identity, the copy teacher became much more amiable and asked, Student Wang Dust, are you sure you want to choose this copy? The difficulty level is too high. Even the teacher has the possibility of losing his life. Okay. Once Wang Xuan said this, the copy teacher also knew deep down that he had no possibility of blocking it. Flying quickly, he gave Wang Dust the formalities. Just at this moment, a silhouette flashed by. Li Ening had also come here ready to pick a copy to practice, but she also saw Wang Duan among the crowd. After lowering her head and thinking for a while, she came to Wang Chen's side. I'll pick up the same copy as him, Li Ening said softly. Wang Dust looked at Li Ening with some surprise. The crowd was just about to open their mouths to question Li Ening's identity when the next moment, an identity card fell out again. Scholar of Tianyun Province, Li Ening, this year's freshmen are all monsters, one with 100, 000 credits and one with 50, 000 credits. Their last year's ascending dragon scholar only had 30, 000 credits. Not as good as these two at all. Are you sure? The copy teacher just asked and slapped himself. Why did he ask that? All right, your credentials are done. This copy is rarely opened. Since you chose the same copy, you can only go in together. Wang Dust nodded. It didn't matter. Chapter 182 The World of Geniuses She Doesn't Understand After obtaining the credentials, they were taken to the location of the replica by a school sister. As a teaching assistant, this school sister was still able to hear some of the gossip circulating amongst the school leaders. She had heard early on that this year's freshman credits had actually reached a terrifying 100, 000 points. The occupation was just an ordinary life occupation mechanic, and the strength was extremely powerful. Even so powerful that the results of the college entrance examination were not announced to the public at all, and only M.S. Ling Han of the admissions office, as well as the top leaders of the school, knew the true strength of Wang Chuan. This sister also stayed in the Imperial University for three or four years. In the past years, the strongest freshmen are also two or three million top day, occasionally appearing at 35,000, are very impressive. While Wang Chuan had a full 100, 000 points, Li Ening next to her also had 50, 000 points. She couldn't help but sigh. This session of freshmen are really perverted, worthy of being the ascending dragon scholar of the whole of China. I heard that your score broke the all-time record. Is this true? The schoolmate was pleasantly surprised, like a little fangirl who had seen her idol. It should be. If there isn't a second record breaker in Huaxia, Wang Dust said indifferently. Next to her, Li Ening glanced at Wang Duan and looked away again, not knowing what she was thinking. But it wasn't that she was to blame for thinking nonsense. If it wasn't for Wang Chuan, then she would be the first person in all of history to enter the 60th floor solo by herself. But she was also just curious as to why Wang Chen had such strength. My god, this is surprisingly true. You are simply not human. No no no. I mean you are simply a genius. One in a million. The schoolmate was shocked. Wang Chen was used to it. The expressions of those people who heard their results before were simply the same as the school sisters. Seeing that the school sister's exclamation of shock was already going to attract more and more people over again, Wang Dust helplessly said, School sister, I was trying to brush my copy. Don't attract so many people. Oh oh, I'm sorry. It's the first time I've seen a living genius standing beside me. I'm a bit out of it. I'll take you there right away. The school sister apologized. Then she led Wang Chen and the two of them towards the entrance of the replica. At this time, the schoolmate also ran patiently introduced, our Imperial Capital University. There are hundreds of replicas in total, and among them, the Giant's Lair, is the most difficult replica that students can come into contact with. It is different from other copies, the more people go in, the more powerful the monsters are. But no matter how many people go in, they are all of the same strength, so the ones who go in to raid him are all full squads. Risks always coexist with rewards, the rewards in the Giant's Lair are naturally very generous. Experience, materials, are several times that of a copy of the same level. Of course, 
you'll also be able to receive additional credit rewards if you can brush through. Wang Dust nodded and looked at the information with considerable interest. After all, that level 70 Ren's old dog had brushed through it, so there was definitely nothing wrong with beating this level 60 copy. However, the difficulty of this copy is a bit too high for you guys. School sister I'm also considered a genius, and I'm only level 50 in my senior year now, so I can't even reach the threshold of the giant's lair. It's estimated that the highest I can be in my life is level 60. Just this going into the giant's lair will only be killed in seconds. The schoolmate frowned. She still wanted to persuade. In previous years, the top dragon ascension students could barely brush a level 35 copy, and often returned home in defeat. Even if Wang Dust had broken through the historical record, he should still be limited in how strong he was. Wang Dust was unimpressed. Brush. Surely I can brush through it. Don't worry about this. Senior sister. Wang Dust said indifferently. Li Ening also looked at Wang Dust with considerable interest, and she realized that Wang Dust had chosen the giant's lair. If she were to brush the book with Wang Dust, she would have no objections. But Wang Dust, how far can you go in this 60th level hardest copy? The senior sister persuaded a few more sentences, and after realizing that it was useless, she stopped persuading each other. She really wanted to know, where exactly did Wang Chuan get the courage and confidence to go and brush a level 60 copy, and actually brought only one teammate? She shook her head. She didn't understand the world of geniuses. Let's hope that this top student can come back alive. Just then, the duplicate teleportation entrance arrived. The duplicates of the Imperial Capital University were all teleported in the teleportation hall. At this point, the teleportation hall was very crowded. The teleportation entrance around level 2030 was surrounded. Isn't this the ascending dragon scholar? Let's see what copy he chooses. This genius is really hardworking. Coming here to fight books just after the freshman ceremony. Holy shit. What is he doing? Why is he heading towards the high level area? The crowd was very shocked to see Wang Dust. They thought that this genius had only picked up a level 30 or so book. And to think, he was heading straight for a level 60 book. Was this pretending or was it real? Holding a skeptical attitude. They saw Wang Chuan check his credentials with the teleportation teacher and walked inside the teleportation array. It was actually real. The entire audience was shocked. Teleportation costs 1000 credits. If you encounter danger, as long as you're not in boss territory, crush this jade talisman and I can teleport you back immediately. The teleportation teacher handed over a jade talisman. Wang Chen nodded. White light flashed over him and Li Ening. The teleportation began. Chapter 183, Titan Giant, Titan Lair. With a flash of white light on their bodies, Wang Chan and Li Ening were teleported here. The environment of the giant's lair was comparable to the environment of the previous copy. The trees were overgrown, there was an unoccupied barrenness leaking out all around, and a faint smell of corruption was faintly emanating from the surroundings. Around Wang Chuan, some poisonous creatures could still be seen, such as poisonous snakes and centipedes, hiding above the leaves and seemingly waiting for an opportunity to move. How is your strength? I single-handedly brushed up to the 60th floor of the trial tower, but that's not my limit, and I've gotten stronger these days. If I am now, I can almost solo through a hundred floors, Li Ening asked. She was confident that she was definitely not weaker than others, and she hadn't prepared enough for the college entrance exams, or else the record could have been even higher, about the same as you. Wang Dust smiled faintly. There shouldn't be much difference between the 60th floor and the 100th floor, after all. The 60th floor was her limit, while the 100th floor was the limit of the trial tower. At the same time, the quest panel of the two was updated. Copy, Giant's Lair. Minimum number of participants, none. Recommended level, 60. Difficulty, Nightmare Level. Copy pass condition, Kill the King of Giants. Introduction, the Giant's Lair is located on top of a relic. Once upon a time, it was a prosperous place where the people lived in peace and contentment until their king, in pursuit of ultimate power willingly fell into slavery to the demons, sacrificing his own people so that they would become stepping stones to his own great power. Who knows? Precisely, this once prosperous country went to the abyss. Overnight, all the people lost their sanity, degenerated into giants who only know how to kill with unlimited lifespan. What is the meaning of such power when you have strong power but no sanity? Note, giants have attributes that exceed monsters of the same level by 200% and require the back of the neck to be cut in order to be truly killed. Li Ening's frosty-like face finally had a slight change after reading the quest panel. No wonder it was said that the giant's lair was difficult. A random ordinary monster was equivalent to other copies of elite monsters, not to mention the buff that required only the back of the neck to be cut off to die. No wonder it was said to be nightmare level difficulty. Li Ening asked, Why did you choose this level 60 giant's lair? Wang Duan rightfully said, That goes without saying, because there are no higher leveled copies. 
Li Ening, there didn't seem to be anything wrong with what he said, but was that what she meant when she asked? After adjusting her emotions, Li Ening returned to the same high-flying look she had before. Since Wang Chen had this strength, she believed that she shouldn't be too far behind. As for encountering danger or anything else, she wasn't afraid. What Li Ening didn't know was that the final boss of the trial tower had also been killed by Wang Chuan in a single move. The level 70 Rin family old dog couldn't go more than a single round in front of Wang Chuan. This was Wang Chen's strength, Wang Chen's backbone. Seeing that Li Ening hadn't changed much, Wang Dust couldn't help but look at Li Ening in a higher light. When she learned that this copy was so difficult, she was actually so calm. It seemed like she did have a few points of strength. Right at this moment, Wang Chuan's body shook and his aura changed abruptly. There was something in front of him. Li Ening also hastily put on her fighting stance. The two of them looked ahead intently. Rumble. Rumble. The ground shook in the tall woods. A huge body. Rushing across. Huge trees that were hundreds of meters thick. Were like toys in front of him. In an instant. The trees snapped. And the foot tens of meters tall giant was revealed. The body was so huge. Wang Chuan glanced at the giant's panel. Monster. Titan giant. Level. LV62. Skill. Berserk. Super giganticization. Ground sound. Blood eating berserk attack. Piggy surge. Invincible charge. Tarzan crush. Introduction, living in the giant's lair. The titan giant loves to slaughter humans to satisfy his inner desires. And his strength is even strong enough to stop an earthquake with one punch. Its defense is even strong enough to carry a nuclear bomb. So it can be called a monster. Seeing this panel, Wang Chuan was a bit surprised. This titan giant. Why are its attributes so high? The four dimensional attributes of an ordinary level 60 monster was only about 20. 000 to 30. 000. While his physique was actually pushing 70. 000 tons. If you don't turn on the super god overload, you can barely kill it in seconds. But it also showed how powerful this titan was. Let me do it. Li Ening's words had not yet fallen. Out of the corner of her eye, she glimpsed a flash of white light. The titan giant. Killed in seconds. Li Ening's pupils shrank. She hadn't even bothered to look at this titan giant's attributes. This was dead? This was too brittle. Could it be that this level 60 copy wasn't that difficult? Her little brain understood again. Wang Dust shook his head indifferently as a blood red number crossed in front of his eyes. Congratulations on killing the titan giant. Rewarded with plus 10 W experience. The experience bar rose by a large margin visible to the naked eye. Subsequently, there were countless balls of material light that flew into Wang Dust's spatial ring. Chapter 184 You stand here and don't move. Let me brush. Wang Dust clapped his hands. No wonder the giant's lair was so difficult. How could it not be difficult for a copy that was so rich in resources? Just this one small monster had more stuff than an elite monster in an unusual copy would explode. If this was brushed through, one super god armament would definitely be able to go to the next level. You stand here and don't move. Let me brush. Wang Chen said indifferently. The moment these words came out, Li Ening's little face changed with a brush. What did this guy mean? Was this looking down on him? No. Why is this sentence so familiar? Li Ening looked at Wang Chen with some defiance. After a long silence, she decided that she would have to prove herself. Otherwise, if she set out that the number one scholar in the country could kill a monster in seconds that she couldn't beat as the number two in the country, it would be simply ridiculous. Just say it and do it. Li Ening took a deep breath. With a flick of her small hand, a large black box appeared in front of her. Seeing this, Wang Chen was a little curious. What was this thing? It looked a bit like a sword box, but it shouldn't be possible for this thing to appear in reality. It wasn't scientific at all. It would still have to be more scientific to rub out a gatling with one's bare hands. This is the Heavenly Sword Master's original weapon. The Heavenly Yuan Sword Case. Li Ening introduced herself. Wang Chen came to be interested. It was actually really a sword box. He flung over a probing technique. In the next moment, the attributes of the Heavenly Yuan Sword Box appeared in front of him. Exclusive weapon, Tian Yuan Sword Box. Current quality, gold. Current level, 40. Attribute bonus, strength plus 1000. Agility plus 1000. Mental power plus 2000. Additional feature 1, whisper each of your attacks will stack 0. 1% armor and magic resistance reduction. Capped at 50%. Additional characteristics 2, Tian Yuan each of your attacks will stack 1% attack speed. Cap 200%. Equipment effect, infinite sword system, the sword box contains countless swords based only on your current level. A gold grade level 40 weapon, actually added a total of 4000 attributes. Two top characteristics, as well as the same equipment special effects. This dam which is a gold weapon ah, this is simply diamond level or even above. Moreover, it was labeled as an exclusive weapon. 
It seems that this is the Heavenly Sword Master's specialized weapon. Do not be so perverted, ah. No wonder that the Heavenly Sword Master is considered the strongest handful in the S class. Just the exclusive weapon is so strong. In addition to its own characteristics, his own previous Lost Horseman of the Apocalypse was really completely crushed compared to this. As expected, the S rank also depends on whose S rank it is. There was simply a huge gulf between the two. Liening looked at Wang Chen's somewhat stunned expression and couldn't help but raise the corners of her mouth. Humph, this still can't take you. This is still far from being the entirety of a heavenly sword master. The duo continued to walk towards the front. Soon enough, they encountered another titan giant. However, the level was only 60, and Wang Chuan was just about to make a move when Liening hurriedly said, Let's show you my strength. Wang Chen put away his gatling and signaled Liening to make a move. Li Ening, why do you still have a gatling in your hand? How on earth did you bring it in? Why does it feel like the style of playing a copy is all wrong ah? Li Ening forced down the curiosity in her heart and took up a stance of waiting. Although the difference in attributes between her and the titan in front of her was several times, she might not be without a chance. It was thought that Wang Chen was the same, but he just happened to find some weakness to kill it in one move. Li Ening violently threw out the heavenly Yuan sword box, and in the next moment, the sky was instantly littered with long swords emitting gusts of cold light. Infinite sword system. Li Ening droned out, and with one hand, she formed a sword finger. The number of long swords was already very huge, but at this moment, it was even more like 1.10, 10 points 100. The sheer quantity was unheard of. It was simply open. This stance. Wang Dust looked at the gatling in his hand. He did not know what to say. Heavenly sword. Return to one. Li Ening did not make a half-step stop and immediately maneuvered the tens of thousands of long swords in the sky. Converging into a huge heavy sword that was hundreds of meters long. The heavy sword had no blade. And it was a big and clever sword. The power of a heavenly sword master was as terrifying as this. This was the power of one of the strongest S-class professions. The heavenly sword master. At a mere level 40. It was able to over enough to exert such power. 10,000 swords. Return to the clan. Li Ening droned once again. The giant sword. Which was gathered by tens of thousands of long swords. Fell down with a loud bang. With the momentum of the mountains and the seas, it was as if heaven and earth had changed color under this move. The giant sword slammed down heavily. The titan giant just resisted, but it was too late. The giant sword had already smashed into his head. Smoke rose in all directions as the move completely landed on his body. Titan's blood level dash 100 asterisk asterisk asterisk. The entire scene was silent. The titan looked at his own body with disbelief. Just now so big thing hit his head. Actually nothing happened? No. I can't say that it's completely fine. The corns that I got two days ago were dry and burst. One dust. Seems a little scratchy. It's not right. Look again. Li Ening still mortar and pestle in place. Those who do not know also thought that her move had some follow-up damage. In fact, her heart has been petrified. Shame on you. You pretended for so long. But you actually dealt a high triple-digit damage. How is this going to end? If you really can't. Titan. Will you kill yourself? Chapter 185 She really didn't believe it today. Li Ening pretended to be calm. Her brain was about to go up in smoke. This titan at least a few million or even tens of millions of blood. According to their own set of silky scraping small moves. At least have to scrape a few tens of thousands of times. This was still the case where the titan giant wouldn't be able to return blood. Obviously this was impossible. The skin that the titan giant had just scraped by himself had completely recovered. Seeing that the situation was not right. Wang Dust was ready to help Li Ening close the deal. Cough. Don't rush. Let the sword fly for a while. Li Ening hurriedly said. No. She really didn't believe it today. The gap between her and the Titan Giant was really so big. Once Wang Chuan heard this, he didn't discourage it. It was just the right time to collect all the mineral resources of the Giant's Lair. And he still had to upgrade his mechanical general factory. He invested several hundred excavators to find mineral resources for himself. And set up a scanning tower to monitor the nearby environment. The screen returned to Li Ening's side. Li Ening pondered for two and a half minutes and finally thought of a countermeasure. Since she was scraping herself, she would scrape him to death. Her, Tian Yuan, could stack attack speed. And, Whisper, could stack armor break. As long as these were stacked, how could the damage be low? And combining the attacks she just made, she came to a set of conclusions. The faster she scraped, the faster her attack speed. And the faster she scraped, the more damage she dealt. So in the end it equaled the faster she scraped, the higher the damage. After determining her thoughts, Li Ening's gaze gradually became firm. Once again, she summoned tens of thousands of long swords, and scraped madly towards the titan. More ants could still crush an elephant, although the damage dealt was only zero. 
0-1 points at first, after, Whisper, and, Tian Yuan, were stacked up, the damage steeply changed drastically, it was actually a full 0-1 points of damage, together with the tens of thousands of swords, she was doing thousands of points of damage per second, this allowed her to see a ray of hope, as for Wang Chuan's side, in just 10 minutes, he had already collected all the materials for upgrading the mechanical general factory. Wang Chuan clicked the upgrade button with some excitement. What good things could this upgrade bring him? The previous, self-propelled Gatling, self-propelled lava cannon, with its powerful might was still fresh in his mind, so he couldn't help but look forward to what would be unlocked for him next. Ding, please ask if you want to spend magic gold times 1000, heavenly meteorite iron times 1000, magic sound stone times 1000. Ancient God's Breathstone times 1 to upgrade the mechanical general factory? Yes. In the next moment, a golden light flashed in his eyes. The brand new mechanical general factory was displayed in front of one's face. Name, mechanical general factory. Level, 4. Population, 10,000. Function, craft different mechanical units. Description, your faction's technology level is God tier technology. The powerful mechanical factory contains a complete God tier technology tree. You can create powerful mechanical units through manufacturing blueprints and materials. Currently craftable troop types, diggers, invaders, mechanical warriors, mechanical hounds. Currently craftable buildings, scanning tower, mechanical weapon workshop. Wang Dust's body shook as the population limit directly changed from 3, 000 to 10, 000. Such a boost could not be considered large. If 10, 000 diggers were deployed in unison. They would be able to collect all the mineral resources of a copy in minutes. And if 10, 000 scanning towers were deployed, it wasn't an exaggeration to say that he was equivalent to directly turning on the whole map. Wang Chuan turned his head towards the mechanical weapon workshop. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic reaper gatling to LV4 to a fixed automatic exterminator gatling. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic charged barrel cannon to LV4 to a fixed automatic pulse electromagnetic cannon. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic reaper cannon to LV4, fixed automatic DSI cannon. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic reaper cannon to LV4, fixed automatic DSI cannon. Congratulations on unlocking the new weapon mortar. Congratulations on upgrading your mortar to LV2 and turning it into a cluster mortar. Congratulations on your cluster mortar being upgraded to LV3 and becoming a cluster rocketeer. Congratulations on your cluster rocket upgraded to LV4 level, hellfire cluster rocket. Name mechanical weapon workshop. Level Level 4. Function, Ground Machinery Production Building. Description, a workshop that brings together countless god-level technology blueprints to create a variety of weapons. Producible Weapons Fixed Automatic Slaughter Gatling, LV4. Fixed Automatic Pulse Electromagnetic Cannon, LV4. Fixed Automatic Godslayer Cannon, LV4. Hellfire Cluster Rocket Cannon, LV4. Unlocked another weapon. Name, Hellfire Cluster Rocket Cannon. Level, Level 4. Function, Ultra Long Range Fire Coverage Strike. Description, the enchanted missile carries powerful splash damage with an unimaginable increase against giant demons, making it the ultimate weapon for slaughtering giant demons. Ridiculously strong. Another wide range mass murderer. With the cluster rocket cannon, he would definitely be a few more notches stronger. Against these giants, it even has a special bonus. Isn't this thing better than a stationary automatic reaper gatling? Chapter 186 She really didn't believe it today. Li Ening pretended to be calm, but her brain was about to go up in smoke. This tightened at least a few million or even tens of millions of blood. According to their own set of silky scraping small moves, at least have to scrape a few tens of thousands of times. This was still the case where the Titan Giant wouldn't be able to return blood. Obviously this was impossible. The skin that the Titan Giant had just scraped by himself had completely recovered. Seeing that the situation was not right, Wang Dust was ready to help Li Ening close the deal. Cough. Don't rush. Let the sword fly for a while, Li Ening hurriedly said. No, she really didn't believe it today. The gap between her and the Titan Giant was really so big. Once Wang Chuan heard this, he didn't discourage it. It was just the right time to collect all the mineral resources of the Giant Slayer. And he still had to upgrade his mechanical general factory. He invested several hundred excavators to find mineral resources for himself. And set up a scanning tower to monitor the nearby environment. The screen returned to Li Ening's side. Li Yining pondered for two and a half minutes and finally thought of a countermeasure. Since she was scraping herself, she would scrape him to death. Her, Tian Yuan, could stack attack speed. And, Whisper, could stack armor break. As long as these were stacked, how could the damage be low? And combining the attacks she just made, she came to a set of conclusions. The faster she scraped, the faster her attack speed. And the faster she scraped, the more damage she dealt. 
so when the end it equaled the faster she scraped, the higher the damage. After determining her thoughts, Li Ening's gaze gradually became firm. Once again, she summoned tens of thousands of long swords, and scraped madly towards the titan. More ants could still crush an elephant, although the damage dealt was only zero. Zero one points at first, after, Whisper, and, Tian Yuan, were stacked up. The damage steeply changed drastically. It was actually a full zero. One points of damage, together with the tens of thousands of swords, she was doing thousands of points of damage per second. This allowed her to see a ray of hope. As for Wang Chuan's side, in just 10 minutes, he had already collected all the materials for upgrading the mechanical general factory. Wang Chuan clicked the upgrade button with some excitement. What good things could this upgrade bring him? The previous, self-propelled Gatling, self-propelled lava cannon, with its powerful might was still fresh in his mind, so he couldn't help but look forward to what would be unlocked for him next. Ding, please ask if you want to spend magic gold times 1000, heavenly meteorite iron times 1000, magic sound stone times 1000. Ancient God's Breathstone times 1 to upgrade the mechanical general factory? Yes. In the next moment, a golden light flashed in his eyes. The brand new mechanical general factory was displayed in front of one's face. Name, mechanical general factory. Level, 4. Population, 10,000. Function, craft different mechanical units. Description, your faction's technology level is God tier technology. The powerful mechanical factory contains a complete God tier technology tree. You can create powerful mechanical units through manufacturing blueprints and materials. Currently craftable troop types, diggers, invaders, mechanical warriors, mechanical hounds. Currently craftable buildings, scanning tower, mechanical weapon workshop. Wang Dust's body shook as the population limit directly changed from 3, 000 to 10, 000. Such a boost could not be considered large. If 10, 000 diggers were deployed in unison. They would be able to collect all the mineral resources of a copy in minutes. And if 10, 000 scanning towers were deployed, it wasn't an exaggeration to say that he was equivalent to directly turning on the whole map. Wang Chuan turned his head towards the mechanical weapon workshop. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic Reaper Gatling to LV4 to become fixed automatic Reaper Gatling. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic charged barrel cannon to LV4 to a fixed automatic pulse electromagnetic cannon. Congratulations. You have upgraded your fixed automatic reaper cannon to LV4 fixed automatic DSI cannon. Congratulations on unlocking the new weapon mortar. Congratulations on upgrading your mortar to LV2 and turning it into a cluster mortar. Congratulations on your cluster mortar being upgraded to LV3 and becoming a cluster rocketeer. Congratulations on your cluster rocket upgraded to LV4 level hellfire cluster rocket. Name mechanical weapon workshop. Level level 4. Function ground machinery production building. Description, a workshop that brings together countless god-level technology blueprints to create a variety of weapons. Producible weapons fixed automatic slaughter gatling, LV4. Fixed automatic pulse electromagnetic cannon, LV4. Fixed automatic godslayer cannon, LV4. Hellfire cluster rocket cannon, LV4. Unlocked another weapon. Name, hellfire cluster rocket cannon. Level, level 4. Function, ultra long range fire coverage strike. Description, the enchanted missile carries powerful splash damage with an unimaginable increase against giant demons, making it the ultimate weapon for slaughtering giant demons. Ridiculously strong. Another wide-range mass murderer. With the cluster rocket cannon, he would definitely be a few more notches stronger. Against these giants, it even has a special bonus. Isn't this thing better than a stationary automatic gatling of death? Chapter 187 lets you know how powerful I am. Three giants. She, Li Ening, could definitely kill. Divine speed, Li Ening's figure flashed, and a residual shadow crossed in front of the giant's eyes. They actually didn't even see the trajectory of the movement of this level 40 mole cricket. What a speed, sharpness, sword intent, sword heart, weapon skills are on full blast. Li Ening's body emitted a gust of white light. Swish, the hand rose and the sword fell. The titan's head fell to the ground in response. The scarlet blood was like a fountain, instantly coloring a large area red. The earth roared as the huge body fell to the ground. A second kill. A direct second kill. Li Ening really had such strength. Although with this strike, all of her skills were put on cooldown and most of her cold bars were used up. Plus the weakness strike. But she did manage to do it. Who? Who? Li Ening gasped with her small mouth. There were still two more. Cold sweat began to seep from her forehead. The depletion of the blue bar likewise represented a massive drain of her stamina. And these next two. Two? must both be defeated in one move. At the same time, a flash of excitement appeared on her face as she looked towards Wang Chuan and whispered, although this copy is a bit more stressful, it's not that unfinishable. 
Wang Chuan couldn't help but look at Li Yining a little higher. This high cool girl still had some strength. Although this level of monsters, he level 30 or so can do easy to kill in seconds. But after all, not everyone is as open as he is. Nowadays, if he didn't turn on the super god overload, his attributes would probably be around level 70. And after turning it on, it would be straight up to level 75. And with super god overload turned on, he was even able to rival a level 90 powerhouse. The strength could not be described as not terrifying. The parts of his body could also be uplifted. And after that, his strength would definitely undergo an even more terrifying change. Now, just the beginning, the two giant magicians looked at each other and opened their skills. Multiple casting. Mega fireball. For fireballs with a diameter of thousands of meters cut through the dome of the sky and fell down with a bang. If one didn't look closely, one might even think that they were meteorites. Ha, huh, this is a fireball spell? Li Ening was dumbfounded. If this was a fireball spell, what did the magician say? A small flame? This was not even in the same class. Li Ening's face was grave as she glanced at Wang Chen. She had to block it herself. Otherwise, the small brittle skin of the life profession would not necessarily be able to resist this move. Tian Yuan Sword Box. Switch form. Sword box form. Infinite sword system. In the next moment, thousands of flying swords rose up from the ground, like moths to a flame. They rushed towards the huge fireball. Under the clash of the two moves, heaven and earth changed color. Li Ening was drenched in sweat. This blue bar is not durable at all. He hurriedly opened his spatial ring, and opened one bottle of blue pill after another. After two tubes of blue were depleted, Li Ening was able to withstand the large fireball. She gasped and looked towards the giant magician. It had to be a quick battle. This, wasn't enough? Not by a long shot. Heavenly sword box. Reorganize. Switching her heavenly sword form once again, she carried the heavenly sword and slashed towards the two giant magicians. Every time the sword went down, the giant magicians were able to have no small wounds cut into their bodies. The overpowering sword intent wreaked havoc on their wounds. Even though the balance of victory had already tilted towards Li Ening, Li Ening did not dare to be careless in the slightest. Anytime this giant magician landed a flat A on him, she guessed that she would have to lose her life. Pain. Too much pain. Wang Dust was watching the show with great interest. He couldn't help but marvel at the diversity of Li Ening's maneuvers. The unbridled transformation of the Heavenly Yuan Sword Box, coupled with the armor breaking of the Sharp Edge, gave her the ability to fight beyond her level. And aside from the powerful attribute boost provided by her profession, her own battle sense was also indispensable. Perhaps another person using the profession of Heavenly Swordmaster would not be as powerful, but Li Ening was different. She was perfectly suited for the profession of Heavenly Swordmaster. Flexible positioning coupled with unrivaled skills. Only then was she able to ignore the level suppression and scrape hard. Unlike herself, it seemed that she only had mediocre flat A to work with. No matter what the opponent was, he himself seemed to be able to simply exterminate them. If Wang Chuan were to think about all the ways to kill monsters before he went to kill them, he would definitely have to think about it all night. Not because he had finished thinking about it, but because it was dawn. Just as Wang Chen was thinking, Li Ening once again killed two giant magicians with great difficulty. The blue pills and various props that Li Ening had brought with her were basically all used up, thanks to the high quality of the blue pills she had brought with her, or else her stomach wouldn't be stuffed without waiting for the blue to come back up. Li Ening said complacently, this copy of the pressure is a little bit too big, we are the top student, it's not impossible to fight, but don't be afraid, I will protect you. Wang Chuan said breathlessly, I'm the national top student, you're just the province and as far as I know, you can't rank second in the freshman credits, Li Ening immediately retorted, we shouldn't be that much different, casually killing three giants in seconds, I think the gap between the two of us, not much, after saying that, Li Ening forced herself to act as if nothing had happened, as if she didn't even need to exert much force to kill these three giants, if he didn't see her shivering calves, Wang Chen might have believed it, chapter 188 finally panicked, even so, Li Ening was still in a great mood, and she realized that the gap between her and Wang Chen was not that big. Finally, she had regained a little bit of face in front of this guy. The corners of Li Ening's mouth couldn't help but rise slightly as she glanced at Wang Chen with some complacency. And at this moment, Wang Dust said indifferently, This copy is called the Giant's Lair. Haven't you noticed that up until now? In the Giant's Lair, there hasn't been a large group of giants? Right now, we encountered four giants before. Does this mean that we have arrived at some giant's tribe? Wang Dust finished speaking and glanced at the information that the scanning tower had transmitted to him. There happened to be a not so small tribe of giants just ahead. Hundreds of giants. And they were coming towards their side. Li Ening nodded deeply and focused his mind. Just at that moment, the earth shook once again. And this time, 
The commotion was far greater than any of the previous commotions. Titan Giant's skill, Earth Sound. And with a movement like this, at the very least, hundreds of Titan Giants would have to unleash Earth Sound together. Rumble, rumble. The Earth was shaking, without the Giants taking a single step. The Earth was going to spread out hundreds of meters of cracks. Everywhere they went, the mountains are crumbling. The sky is dark. The Earth shook. The weather was instantly overcast. And the air was filled with an aura of death. Giants, they're coming. Hundreds of giants attacked in unison. Such was the commotion that the heavens and earth changed color. Mountains and rivers cracked, and hundreds of meters of trees fell in unison. The unrivaled greatness of the giants was at its peak at this moment. The power of a hundred giants. So terrifying. No wonder. It was said that the giant's lair was the hardest level 60 copy. I'm afraid that an ordinary level 65 professional squad wouldn't be able to defeat such a lineup. This was just the tip of the iceberg of the giant's lair. Far from being the full strength of the giant's lair. This is the power of the giants? Li Ening's face was white. Her strength had not recovered. And now she was even more unsteady on her feet. Earlier, she had thought that, evaluating herself and Wang Chuan, if she brushed the monsters steadily, it might actually be possible to finish the giant's lair. After all, so powerful giants, cannot be all over the place, right, before certainly our elite monsters. But now, she realized that she was wrong. So wrong. This giant's lair was simply not a place she could relate to. Wang Chen, let's go. Teleport back. Li Ening stiffened. Staying here was no different from sending someone to their death. This bit of bravado scares you? Wang Dust laughed lightly. Wang Dust, this copy is too difficult. Even though we are all scholar, we can't be so reckless. When I reach level 60, I will definitely come here with you to kill all the giants. Li Ening hurriedly said. Wang Chen shook his head and said. As I said, the reason I got the top spot is simply because the cap is the top spot. And the reason you're second is because, you can only be second. As for the trial tower, 100 floors is the limit of the trial tower. Not my limit. My strength is far more than that. Li Ening just wanted to retort. But the giants had already arrived in front of her. The one at the head was even more gigantic. Hundreds of meters tall. Monster, giant tribe leader, elite. Level, LV-64. Skills, chieftain magnetic field. Group increase. Earth sound. Heavenly breakdown. Savage fist. Super giganticization. Giant's axe. Introduction, the leader of the giant tribe has unrivaled power. When he gathers all the giants, the group will be indestructible. Any human city-state will be like a dog or a chicken in front of this powerful force. When she saw the leader of the giant tribe and the hundreds of giants, Li Ening's face turned even whiter. This kind of opponent, how in the world to defeat Ah? It was simply impossible for her to be an opponent of this level. It was no exaggeration to say that when she got in front of these giants, it was estimated that she wouldn't even be able to carry a slap before she had to die in place. The same could be said for Wang Dust, a life profession. I guess, perhaps the attack power was indeed higher than his own, but it was always impossible for the defense power to be strong as well. Otherwise, what else would it be called a life profession? Wang Chuan, let's go. Can't fight, can't fight at all. Li Ening panicked. What's the point of running? Our top student is scared? Wang Dust felt a little funny. These guys, they weren't even worth letting himself use his super god armament. But since they were all at this kind of venue, let's bring a little shock to the world. Wang Chuan Yu, Li Ening's words had not yet fallen. Immediately afterward, her mouth opened wide. Super god, armed, Wang Chuan let out a low gulp. Bright black metal armor appeared out of thin air. Next, it's my turn, Wang Chen said indifferently. He slowly walked towards the front, and with every step, black mecha parts, attached towards him, human, die, the giant leader shouted explosively, a huge iron rod smashed towards Wang Chen's body, super god armor, the mech on Wang Chuan's body instantly merged, as soon as the iron rod touched Wang Chuan's body, it instantly crumbled into pieces, that wasn't all, a huge shock force followed the iron rod and rebounded onto the body of the giant tribe leader, in the next moment, the giant tribe leader's body collapsed in sections, in just an instant, it turned into powder and drifted away from the sky and earth. Silence. The entire scene was deathly silent. Chapter 189. Comparing with Wang Chen. Li Ening over here was still thinking about sharing the pressure for Wang Chen. She had just finished cleaning up the ordinary giants that were rushing in from the side. As soon as she turned her head, she discovered such a shocking scene. As strong as Li Ening was, she couldn't help but be stunned on the spot. You're telling me that this is a living profession mechanic? If he's a living profession, then what am I? Wang Chuan. He, actually easily killed a giant tribal leader just by relying on the recoil, and the titan giant that she needed to use the heavenly yuan sword box to be able to kill in seconds, 
In Wang Chuan's hands, she probably didn't even need to move her hands. Don't look at the fact that this leader was only so many levels higher than the Titan Giant, but the strength could be a world of difference, not to mention the addition of the word Elite Monster. Normal Elite Monsters had attributes that were multiplied by a factor of 2 compared to unusual monsters. Plus, the giants of this copy were already stronger than the Elite Monsters of the unusual copies, one after the other. Wang Dust was considered to have instantly killed bosses above level 60 in seconds. What kind of strength is this? Is such a person really a student? Was she really worthy of being under Wang Dust? This was even a situation where Wang Chuan didn't go all out. If Wang Chuan used his full power, what kind of scene would that be? I don't dare to imagine. Li Yining suddenly felt that she was not worthy of the first prize in Tianyun province. She was like a joke at the moment. Thinking of this, Li Yining looked at Wang Chen again. The eyes have had a great change. From the original high and cold, fought Wang Chen in his own not much, changed into a deep fear. Such strength. Was it really human? But on second thought, Li Yining thought that she seemed to have nothing to be afraid of. She didn't have a grudge against Wang Chen. And now she was even brushing copies together. Now after Wang Chuan showed his strength, Li Yining instead felt that this brush, she can row water. Life was like that. If you can't resist, enjoy it. However, Fei still can't be lost. Li Yining took a deep breath and slowly mobilized the energy in her body. Wang Chen came back to his senses and realized that Li Yining had killed a few ordinary giants by scraping. Although her scraping speed was very considerable. In just 10 minutes she had scraped off one tenth of a dozen blood. But, wasn't this thing just a punch? How did it need to scrape for so long? Seeing Wang Shen staring at himself, Li Yining's pretty face reddened, and her high cool temperament could no longer be taught. How could the gap between the two of them be so big? She was clearly the second best in the country, and Wang Chen was only one rank higher than her. She didn't believe that between them, the gap was actually so great. Just now, it couldn't be that Wang Chuan had used his bottom card to kill the Titan with a single punch, could it? It must be so. She had to get serious as well. Li Yining categorically retracted her sword. She was going to open the second form of the Heavenly Sword box. If the Hallowed Heavenly Sword Master only had scraping means, then it would be too much of a joke to say. Li Yining's small face was permeated with an air of seriousness. Oh, Wang Chen became interested. Li Yining's strength seemed to be much more than that. Previously, she had even played with herself to hide her strength. It was just unknown how much hidden strength this high cooled young girl had. Tian Yuan Sword Box. Reorganize. Li Yining let out a chorus. The heavenly Yuan sword box in her hand shook violently. In the next moment, the heavenly Yuan sword box crumbled in sections. Shattered? Wang Chuan frowned. This sword was still a heart of glass, and it shattered after a single knock, but the changes were far from over. The pieces of the heavenly Yuan sword case that crumbled began to reorganize in the air in the next moment. At the same time, a brand new heavenly sword appeared in Li Yining's hand. Heavenly sword master heavenly sword master, how could he not be able to play with a sword himself? Exclusive weapon, Heavenly Yuan Sword Box, Heavenly Sword Form, Weapon Quality, Gold, Weapon Level, Level 40, Attribute Bonus, Attack Power plus 5000, Agility plus 5000, Additional Characteristics 1, Sharpness, Your Heavenly Sword's next attack ignores any armor and increases attack power by 200%, Additional Feature 2, Sword Heart, The purer your sword heart is, the more powerful your Heavenly Sword will be, Exclusive Effect, Sword Intent, Each of your attacks will be accompanied by a Sword Intent Bleeding Effect, the stronger the sword intent, the more your opponent bleeds. This weapon strength, all the strength of the heavenly sword master wouldn't be on top of this exclusive weapon. The basic form is so strong, it can actually reorganize other forms. And this characteristic of frontier, ignoring any armor effect, it is simply a divine skill. Although there is a CD, but it is also considered a very strong skill. The sword intent and sword heart skills completely depends on the professional's own strength, has nothing to do with the level. Theoretically speaking, when the sword heart is strong to a certain degree, maybe level 40 can seal the throat of level 60 monsters with a sword. Wang Chuan kind of wanted to ask, is this really an s rank profession? Li Yining is really powerful. But fortunately, he opened up. The super god mechanic profession was definitely above all the current professions. Even so, the other professions and the super god mechanic were not comparable at all. The reason for this is that other professions can only be considered as god's inheritors at best while his super god mechanic is god himself. Li Yining was holding a sword in one hand, and with her pitch black leather armor, she was valiant and had the demeanor of a female god of war. Obviously, she had opened her strongest state, wanting to compete with Wang Chen to see who was actually stronger. Chapter 190, It's Really Shameful. Just at this time, another vibrating sound suddenly came from outside. Rumble, rumble, accompanied by the toppling of trees. 
Several huge black shadows could be seen heading towards this place amidst the toothsome sounds. It was obviously other giants coming. I, Li Yining had just taken a step forward when she was stopped by Wang Chen. Be careful. These giants have some high attributes. Wang Dust swept back and forth over the giants. Let me do it if you're afraid. Li Yining was still toughing it out. Wang Dust smiled. These giants are different from the previous ones. Not only do they wear some armor condensed from trees and rocks, they are expected to use some fighting techniques. So you should back off first. Li Yining hummed. All right then, you do it then. Just don't cry when the time comes. Seeing Wang Chuan standing still, the giant rushed over. Roar! The giant's paw stepped on top of the earth, erupting into a huge deep pit. The terrifying shockwave was deafening. Be careful, Li Yining couldn't help but warn. But the next moment, Wang Chen moved. The bright black super god armament on his body actually revealed crimson lines at this moment, which looked exceptionally soul-stirring. Wang Chen then fiercely blasted forward, a seemingly uneventful strike. Did it really work? Li Yining had some disbelief in her heart. But the next second, heaven and earth changed color. Rumble. A raging windstorm struck. It was as if a terrifying force poured out in this instant. It even scraped away hundreds of meters of sky-high trees in front of them. Rumbling. It almost made Li Yining mistakenly think that a tornado was blowing in the copy. What a terrifying power. Li Yining's eyes couldn't even be opened by the gale at the moment. However, she vaguely saw that Wang Chen, who was standing in the center of the storm, was as immovable as a rock. Li Yining had not yet had time to be shocked. In the next moment, with Wang Chen as the center, the earth suddenly cracked in a radius of tens of miles. A huge force appeared out of nowhere. Rumble. The super god armament on Wang Chuan's body erupted with a loud bang. In an instant, the sky-high tree that had just been knocked away at the moment blasted into powder, leaving not a single trace behind, dissipating between heaven and earth. The terrifying fist wind was overwhelming and extraordinary. Everything that came into contact with it became shattered. This was the case for the trees, and even more so for the giants. The wails of countless giants resounded between heaven and earth. Even if they were wearing armor made of rocks and trees, they still all crumbled. Even with a body of a hundred meters, they simply could not block the might of this strike. This, this was Wang Chen. This, this was the super god armor. What kind of power is this? Li Yining opened her eyes with great difficulty, only to see the giants fleeing frantically. But just after taking a step back, they were all killed by Wang Chuan in seconds. The power of this punch was astonishing. It was as if it wasn't like something a human could send out. The originator, Wang Dust, was still standing in the same place as if nothing had happened. Ding, congratulations on killing the 62 forest giants, rewarding you with half a million dollars in experience. Ding, congratulations on killing the 63rd titan giant, rewarding you with 650, 000 experience. Ding, congratulations on killing the 61 giant wizard, rewarding experience value of 350,000. Ding, congratulations on your ascension to the 53rd level. Several beeps came in succession and Wang Dust was successfully promoted to 53 levels. It was important to know that it was difficult for a professional to upgrade, otherwise the vice-chancellor wouldn't be only at level 79 after spending his entire life. And if this copy was finished, Wang Chuan might even be able to level up another level, which was already considered not a small gain. After seeing this scene, Li Yining's legs trembled as she looked at Wang Chen. Was this Wang Chen's true strength? How on earth was he so virtuous that he actually dared to compare himself to him before? The two of them were simply not in existence in the same class. Any flukes that he had held on to before were all gone at this moment. This kind of strength, not to mention their own to 60 levels. Even if he reaches the 70th or 80th level, he may not be this powerful. It was estimated that the vice chancellor of the Imperial Capital University, Yang Tianxin, the S-ranked profession Thunderbolt Dharma King, the top human powerhouse at level 79, was also far less powerful than Wang Chen. Li Yining's small face turned pale as she looked at Wang Chen. At this moment, she thought of her previous ridiculous behavior and just wanted to find a crack in the ground. It was really shameful. She then relieved herself. Being able to team up with a strong person was something that other people were still begging for. And this would also make things a lot easier for her. Chapter 191 The Gathering Place of the Giant Clan Other than that, Wang Chen's powerful strength alone. When placed in the outside world, it was estimated that a bunch of people would be begging to form a team. He had picked up a great bargain. Seeing Li Yining dazed in place. Wang Chuan greeted Li Yining and came over to clean up. Li Yining's face was stunned, and she hurriedly ran over to help clean up. The two of them cleaned up the battlefield a little, raised the bonfire, and sat on the ground. Wang Chuan began to roast the meat that he had brought in from outside. Li Yining looked at Wang Chen and couldn't help but be a little mesmerized. This guy, really unfathomable ah. 
Not only is he great at fighting, even the roasted meat is so delicious. No, how was she mesmerized by the roasted meat? Before Li Ening, she had always been a person to brush the book, a person in the front row, a person as an output, a person as a support. This feeling of loneliness, without Wang Chuan words, endure will pass. Now, the feeling of having teammates, really good. Not only do you not have to kill monsters by yourself, but you also have barbecue meat to eat after the monsters. For the first time, she experienced something called a sense of security. Li Ening's cold little face actually revealed a silly smile. She, finally, didn't have to be alone. Wang Chen noticed Li Ening's gaze and turned his head to look. Li Ening was flustered for a moment and didn't dare to look at Wang Chen anymore. Wang Chuan on the side looked at Li Ening who was a bit scared, and couldn't help but be curious. The girl he met, how could she be so strange? This little girl has been staring at himself for what? Is there a flower on his face? After repairing, the two continued to set off. Having already been in the copy for several hours, they had to hurry up. The next two encountered a few more waves of giants, but they were all in groups of a few, and large swarms of giants like the ones that had just appeared were rare. However, once these giants appeared, Wang Chuan gently punched them in seconds, turning them into experience into Wang Chuan's body. In the blink of an eye, the two of them had brushed for several hours, but the giants they encountered were getting fewer and fewer. It seemed that the giants within this copy had not weak intelligence, knowing that such a big commotion had occurred here, they did not approach here. This also caused the two to brush fewer monsters, further into the depths, new monsters appeared, but this time it wasn't limited to giants. There were even giant warhorses and the like, but these monsters weren't even as good as the titanic giants. Solely let Li Ening go and brush up her level, because Li Ening's level was very low. After killing these monsters, she had risen quite a few levels, and in the blink of an eye, she was already 43. Wang Chuan couldn't help but sigh. This copy was really not small, counting that he had already brushed for 7 or 8 hours, but he still hadn't found the gathering place of the boss. It was worthy of being a place where giants lived. The place is just big. Li Ening was also a little depressed. Ordinary copies. It is estimated that they have long gone to the end. Why does this copy still look so big? Right at this moment, Wang Chen's expression changed. According to the news that came back from the scanning tower, he saw the gathering place of the giant clan. The size of the number was far greater than the previous giant tribe. The number of giants, conservatively estimated, had to be double to triple above. The number of giants is not to be feared. It's just that it might be a little bit more troublesome to deal with. After the two of them walked to the vicinity of the gathering place, Li Ening took a look at the scene below and couldn't help but cover her mouth, her eyes widening. Here, there were actually so many giants. Wang Chen looked towards the gathering place of giants. Hundreds of giants were walking aimlessly around the gathering place as if they were walking corpses. With every step, the earth trembled as if it was an earthquake, and there was a giant with an even larger figure that came into view. He seemed to have a high IQ, commanding these giants and performing some sort of activity. This giant that was over a hundred meters tall was not simple. Monster, savage giant, elite monster. Level, 65. Skills, blood-eating frenzy attack. Super giganticization. Savage Punch, Tarzan Crush, Wolf Tooth Stick, Iron Fist Power, Loss of Sanity, Adrenaline. Introduction, one of the most powerful giants living in the giant's lair, the most trustworthy guard of the giant king, whose power is so terrifying that it is even enough to shatter a meteorite with a single punch. Definitely the monster of monsters, if one step carefully provoked him, even a level 70 power washing professional would only end up being whacked to death. Seeing this horrifying panel, Wang Dust couldn't help but sigh. Just a guard had such horrifying strength, and this was only an elite monster. If it was a boss, the panel would be at least three times more luxurious than him. It was enough to see how difficult this giant's lair was. No wonder others had said that this copy was difficult. Now that I looked at it, it really lived up to its name. It was estimated that if a level 60 professionist squad wanted to come and brush this copy, they would only be sent to their deaths. If a level 65 team of professionals had an A-ranked profession and life-saving props, they might be able to have a slight chance of taking this copy, even if it was a level 70 squad. If they were not careful, there was still a possibility that they would roll over. He had read it before he came here. The fastest record for clearing this copy was 28 hours, set by a level 70 squad. So today he would break this record. The record of the district's giant's lair could be broken with just one hand. A boss with such a powerful escort is really rare. Li Ening said in a deep voice. Chapter 192 Giant. Never a slave which is a level 60 copy. It's clearly a level 65 copy. Li Ening laughed bitterly. Afterwards, she looked at Wang Chen. If it was him, then this copy. It wasn't that difficult. This guy was simply a demon. 
Compared to him, she herself could only be considered ordinary. For others, it might still take a long time to clear the monsters, but for Wang Chen, it would only take slightly more effort, which was a living profession. Really she was the living profession. For example, her profession can also develop to build a bunch of kitchen knives to go out and sell kitchen knives and so on. Well, the case is solved. She is a life profession knife seller. Feeling Li Yining's eyes looking at himself as if he was looking at a monster. Wang Chen chose to directly ignore it. The most important thing right now was still to finish this copy at speed. However, it was true that this place wasn't as good as it had just been. On the one hand, the terrain here was far more complicated than the giant tribe just now. Clearing the field with a single punch by oneself was obviously not very realistic. It was possible to clear the map after turning on overdrive overload, but it was just that it would be a bit too shocking. It was better not to scare Li Ening. Just now, he only showed a little bit of his strength and he was scared like that. If she were to show her full strength, she would be scared to death on the spot. On the other hand, this savage giant's skill, adrenaline, was a bit too good to deal with. It wasn't something he used singly. It was a group. It could make all units of party be immune to pain for a minute, and increase their attack power by 50% and speed by 80%. This kind of large group gain effect was simply a supporting divine skill. The giants here weren't the same as before, and were obviously commanded by intelligent giants like the savage giants, so they would only be more difficult to deal with. Wang Dust thought for a moment. He finally came up with the best solution. A ringing finger broke the silence. A large number of diggers appeared behind Wang Dust in an instant. The silver white diggers were like silver waves at the moment, crazily spreading out in front of them. Li Ening was startled by this scene. It was the first time she had seen Wang Chen use diggers. If it wasn't for the fact that Wang Chuan had used super god armament once, she would have thought that Wang Chuan's profession wasn't that of a fighter. It was all flat A's from start to finish, and not much else in the way of skills. And now, she realized that she was very wrong. As a mechanic, how could Wang Chuan not have his own native skills? The excavator's precise silver mechanical arm was operating frantically at the moment. Wang Dust's mineral resources were pouring out like a tidal wave. A very sci-fi mortar was gradually taking shape at this moment. What? A mortar? You brought all this stuff in? You're hungover, aren't you? Li Ening was surprised. The picture style is not right. This side is still in the middle of sword and magic, and you're pulling out modern weapons? This was the first time she had heard of a mechanic being able to roll a mortar with his bare hands. To say that her previous understanding of the mechanic, at most repair a car or something, can overcreate things out of thin air? Simply unheard of. What kind of mechanic is this? Hellfire cluster rocket. Started. A piece of magma slowly surfaced behind wine dust. It was spreading towards the diggers as well as above the mortars. Where did you get this magma? No. You're a mechanic. A mechanic. Li Ening was completely dumbfounded. This is not scientific? Mechanics are like this? The next moment. The magma engulfed the mortar. The silver white mortar instantly evolved. The Hellfire Cluster rocket officially appeared. The body was also engraved with inscriptions that were like magma. A collision of futuristic technological sense and magic. The dragon's head at the muzzle was lifelike. As if it was spewing flames. The roar of the dragon seemed to emanate from the magma. Causing a tremor in one's heart. Li Ening was already powerless to spit. Mechanic you get some mortar mechs or something is not too much. Magma out is also barely reasonable. But you magma engulfed weapons to let the weapons evolve? Don't be too outrageous. Otherwise she would really have to change careers. Wang Dust nodded in satisfaction. This, Hellfire Cluster Rocket. It looks really good. I just don't know how powerful it is. Brother Giant. You try it for me. Wang Dust pointed towards the giant gathering. Hellfire Cluster Rocket. Moved. Thousands of fireballs poured out almost in an instant. Above the sky. It was like countless giant suns. Emitting terrifying heat. The nearby lush green forests were instantly roasted into flying ash. The endless rivers instantly evaporated. And even Li Ening felt a little thirsty behind Wang Chen. This terrifying temperature. So far apart was so terrifying. What about the giant that was at its center? The savage giant looked up at the fireball. His pupils shrank. Remembering the fear of being dominated by a dwarf. Giants. Never be slaves. The savage giant's expression was hideous. His body was crumbling in knots. But he still shouted. Adrenaline. He bellowed angrily. The surrounding giants seemed like they were pumped with chicken blood, hissing madly one after another as if they were venting their inner dissatisfaction. One after another, they rushed forward and used their iron fists to fend off the huge fireball above their heads. The fire clashed with the giants, making a zippy roasting sound, but having hit the adrenaline, they didn't know the pain at all. 1. Chapter 193 What to spare this was. These giants were not sitting ducks, but their strength was simply laughable in front of the Hellfire Cluster Rockets. 
which was comparable to a natural disaster. This was a complete mowing of the wheat. In the giants below, there were quite a few elite monsters and small bosses, but at this moment, they could only be turned into tools that provided a constant stream of experience. The giant's iron fists were instantly vaporized as soon as they came into contact with the blazing flames. They looked towards the dome with grimaces. It was incomprehensible why such a natural disaster had descended on their heads. Even though adrenaline was immune to pain, they were hissing in fear as they saw their companions vaporize one by one. It was a pity that Li Ening, who was far above, could not see the misery below. Curious, she asked Wang Chen, an attack like this, does it really work? It was no wonder that she was skeptical. This, Hellfire Cluster Rocket, attack was somewhat like a magician's level 20 skill, great fireball art. With this level of attack, even if there were countless more, it would be difficult to break through the giant's hardened defenses. Knowing that their defense was said to be strong enough to harden against the shockwave of a nuclear bomb explosion, there was absolutely no problem. Not to mention that this was still a gathering place for giants, so there might be some kind of group increase skill. In her opinion, this, Hellfire Cluster Rocket, with splendid special effects was even far less powerful than a single punch from Wang Chuan. Of course, Wang Chuan faintly said, Li Ening was just about to open her mouth to say something, but in the next moment, she saw a scene she would never forget. The giants below were still fighting in blood. Countless giants were scrambling to rush forward, wanting to use their flesh and blood to harden themselves against the blazing fireball. Seeing his companions being buried in flames one by one, as the giant king's guard, the savage giant could no longer look on. Super giganticize. The savage giant let out a roar like a wild beast. He, enraged. Its voice was so loud that it resounded throughout the entire valley. On normal days, when the giant king was out of sight, he was the only lord of this world. And today he was treated like this by the dome's fireball. This damned human. The savage giant's body instantly expanded as if it were a balloon. In just an instant, his body had already swelled to a height of a thousand meters. Within his skin, it was as if magma was flowing. It turned into countless amounts of power that converged within the savage giant's body. At this moment, he was like the true master of this world. The body of a thousand meters gave him endless confidence. This, this is a giant? Li Ening's small face turned white. This terrifying sense of oppression. It was definitely something she had only seen in her life. Could Wang Chen really defeat such an existence? When a giant was angry, the earth shook and the sky and earth changed color. As for Wang Chen at this moment, his face did not change, as if he did not care about this mole cricket that had grown bigger. The truth was exactly the same. Even if a mole cricket became bigger, it was ultimately difficult to get rid of its nature as a mole cricket. With a wave of his hand, he changed the direction of the attack of the Hellfire Cluster rockets. And in the next moment, hundreds of rockets, in unison, rushed towards the savage giant. Rumble, rumble, countless more fireballs filled the sky. The sky, which had long stepped into the night was once again illuminated by fire. Humans, you deserve to die, the savage giant hissed. From behind him, he pulled out a huge bone rod. The bone rod was a thousand meters long and was held in the savage giant's hand like a mountain peak. The earth kept trembling, the savage giant moved, and the bone rod in his hand swept violently towards the flames in the dome of the sky. The next moment, the bone stick was actually completely shattered by the hot flames. The savage giant's skin split open in an instant. Even the toughest skin was like papier-mâché at this moment. The heat of the fireball raged over his body. Ah! The time for adrenaline was up, and the savage giant let out a wail of pain. The sound was so loud that it even directly shattered the distant mountains. The skin gradually turned gaseous, and pale bones were revealed. His full strength strike actually seemed so weak at this moment. It couldn't even shake a single bit of this fireball. Giant magician. Using multiple casting. Barrier magic. Titan Giants, Centaur Giants, by time to throw boulders towards the top. No one can disturb the king. The savage giant forced himself to endure the pain. And at the moment, his face was completely disfigured. Only a small amount of skin was left hanging from the morose white bones. Fortunately, the giant's vitality was tenacious. The district was just a fatal wound. The giant's strength was undoubtedly terrifying. With so much barrier magic, coupled with their multiple casts, Hundreds of barriers were constructed in a matter of moments. The fireballs bombarded for a full minute. During this minute, Li Ening looked at all this in front of her with surprise. This power. Was it really human power? The power of one person to fight against so many giants. One had to know that just now this place was a flatland at best. But after Wang Chen's strike, this giant flatland would have to be renamed Giant Basin. And at this moment, there was no difference between the basin and the crater. As far as the eye could see, there were only rocks that had been baked into magma, and at this moment, 
they were spewing flames outwards. There were very few giants left, and only a few giant magicians were struggling to support the barrier. The giant clan. What despair this was. Chapter 194 What kind of pervert is this? It was only after a long time that Lee Ening came back to her senses. Her pale face was reflected red by the flames of the Hellfire Cluster rocket. Her face was full of incredulity as she spat out a few words with difficulty. You. You're open. She was about to wonder if she was dreaming. How could someone have such strong physical strength and such strong means of attack? And they were all wide range. As far as she knew, even the top combat professions couldn't do it, right? Like her, for example. She would either choose the Heavenly Yuan sword box, form that had a large range of scraping or the Heavenly sword, form that had a high single point output. But Wang Chen, both kinds were perverted. Moreover, this fireball still looks quite harmless. Just like a magician's level 20 professional skill, great fireball art. Just this power. The two were not in the same dimension at all. At this moment, she was really curious about how high Wang Chen's attributes were. How to do a skill that was like the end of the world. Wang Dust was relaxed. The power of this skill was a bit higher than he had imagined. In the future, it might be able to replace the automated type slaughter gatling to clean up small monsters for himself. It was considered a good weapon. Right now, the giant clan was down to only a few giants lingering on. Half of the savage giant's body was directly blown off. The giant high priest next to him was still healing him. It was just that there was no way they could withstand such terrifying heat. Returning blood pressure root was not as fast as dropping blood. As long as he found out the boss, then this time in the giant's lair, he could draw a line under it. Wang Dust scanned the four directions. By all rights, the king of giants should be nearby. His race had been cleared out by himself and he still didn't come out? It was more tolerable than a turtle. Hellfire cluster rocket, fired again. The remaining giants fell into deep despair as they looked at the fireballs coming from the dome again. The savage giants looked around at the corpses of their companions and angrily looked overhead. Humans, humans. The formerly peaceful gathering place of the giants was now littered with corpses. Except for a few of them, their companions were all killed. The power of anger was immense. The savage giant had once spent a whole day raging in extreme anger. He defied life and death by giving himself another dose of adrenaline. Undeterred, he lunged towards the fireball, knowing that the only way to summon the king was to die himself. In the next moment, a figure slowly stepped out of the smoke. Giants, your king has returned. A majestic voice resounded throughout the sky. King of the Giants, the final boss of the Giant's Lair. Monster, King of Giants, Elite Boss. Level, Level 70. Skills, King's Aura. King's Magnetic Field. Power Increase. King's Body. Giant's Battle Axe. Ultra Megamorphosis. Earth Sound. Heavenly Obstacle Shocking Star. Deadly Arena. Locked Skill. Super Berserker. Blood Eating Berserker Attack. Introduction, the true king of the giant's lair. His strength is absolutely crushing compared to professionals of the same level. He has unrivaled giant power. The first time his blood level falls below 70%, he will turn on berserk mode, which raises his blood level to 200%. The first time he falls below 30% he will turn on super berserk, which restores his blood level to 200%. And when he falls below 10% he will turn on the king's body, which is immune to 90% of all wounds and boosts his attack power by 1. 000%. Lee Ening's body trembled when she saw the panel of the King of Giants. Is this thing really a level 60 copy of the boss? Why is it so powerful? What Lee Ening didn't realize was that if you killed the savage giant alone, you wouldn't have to kill the other giants to summon the level 65 King of Giants. If you killed all the giants and made the savage giant extremely angry, it would only summon the level 70 King of Giants. No one had developed such a method of fighting, which meant that a level 70 King of Giants must be a world record. Li Ening looked at Wang Chen with a forced smile, her legs trembling a little. This thing, we definitely can't beat it, or should we just bail out? Li Ening asked. If it was a level 65 boss, Li Ening believed that Wang Chen should be able to beat it. But a level 70 boss, the panel and a level 65 boss were simply two levels of existence. Every tenth level would usher in a huge change, and a level 70 boss. It would take a level 75 full squad to even have a chance to try it out. For that there was still a not so small chance that it would roll over. She really wanted to know. Were those doing the rating thing blind? This was a level 60 copy? Aren't all level 60 professionals just like giving away food? Wang Dust ignored her. He began to mobilize the divine gun of the apocalypse in his right arm. Wang Chuan grabbed in the air and a golden lance slowly emerged. As well as the divine shield of the apocalypse in his left arm. He crossed his left arm. Buzz. The golden light erupted and unfolded instantly transforming into a golden shield. It was completely as if it was composed of light, and it looked very peculiar. Li Ening's head was filled with question marks. 
Isn't this a companion artifact of the Horseman of the Apocalypse? How did a mechanic like you get it? You're not kidding, are you? Dual profession? I've never heard of it. What kind of pervert is this? Chapter 195 Time Pause Li Ening didn't understand what kind of operation this was, but she was greatly shocked. Where in the world did this guy come up with so many strange and weird things? All the previous things added up, could barely be explained by the fact that the mechanic profession had mutated, and the intensity was slightly unscientific. But if you mutate again, you can't mutate a horseman of the apocalypse out. She had to report it. Someone was hanging off. The king of giants was still wondering why his people hadn't come to greet him. The next thing he saw were the corpses all over the ground, and the gathering place that had become leveled, combined with his own 70 levels of power. He understood everything. The king of giants' body was a thousand meters tall. His muscles were as coiled and intertwined as if they were old trees, full of power, and his bronze-colored skin actually flowed with golden lines, which was his blood flowing on the surface of his body. Flutter, flutter, the heart was beating like an engine. Even though Li Ening was far away from the king of giants, she felt the powerful sense of oppression coming from the air. If it wasn't for Wang Chen being by her side, as if feeding her a tranquilizer, I'm afraid she wouldn't have been able to carry this pressure and prostrate herself on the ground. This was the oppressive feeling of an emperor, the terrifying power of the king of giants. The king of giants slowly twisted her head, and with her head that was a hundred meters tall, she looked towards Wang Chen. The sparks in his eyes seemed as if they were about to overflow. He had just absorbed the savage giant's memories, and he was furious. His own clan was actually all exterminated by this human in front of him. As the king dust of the giant clan, he had to make Wang Dust pay for his blood. The territory of the giant clan, mortals should not trespass. Tiny human ant, I will crush you to death with my own hands. The king of giants shouted angrily. Terrifying power followed this angry shout and instantly spread throughout the huge valley. An ordinary level 65 profession would have to have their blood cleared in place when they heard this cry of fury. This is too strong. How can this be fought? Li Ening's face was full of despair, triggering the boss battle. This time the teleportation cannot go back. Is it going to die here today? Even if Wang Chuan uses the ability of the Horseman of the Apocalypse. So what? Their opponent was a level 70 top boss. Wang Dust was only level 53 now. And there were two huge gaps between them that were difficult to cross. How could this be fought? Even if the current human race's number one powerhouse were to arrive in person, he wouldn't dare to guarantee that he would be able to single-handedly brush the King of Giants at level 70. Not to mention that Wang Chen was a full 17 levels behind. Li Ening looked at Wang Chen, but realized that Wang Chen still had a relaxed expression. Why did he still have such an expression? Could it be that he didn't think that the Giant King was any threat to him? This crazy thought popped up, and Li Ening quickly shook her head to discard it. How could this be possible? This was a level 70 top tier boss. Then where on earth did he get the confidence to solo this king of giants? In the next moment, the king of giants moved, holding the thousand meter long giant battle axe. He arrived in front of Wang Chan in an instant. The king of giants stored up his strength and slashed his axe towards Wang Dust. This strike shook the sky and the clouds in the sky were shaken by this powerful force. The earth beneath the king of giants feet cracked, and his feet sunk deep into the earth. This strike seemed to come with the determination to kill Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan did not panic and received this earth-shaking strike with one finger. This strike alone left people dumbfounded. What? The giant king's pupils shrank. How could he possibly catch it? And with such a light touch. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Spatial transfer. The divine shield of apocalypse in Wang Chuan's left hand instantly bloomed with 10,000 lights. It instantly drowned the king of giants as well as himself. The three of them transformed in front of their eyes and came to a flat field. Comparing to the field just now. It was a bit more suitable for fighting. There's actually the ability of space? This is the horseman of the apocalypse? Li Ening felt that she was being shallow again. As far as she knew, apocalypse knights were considered inferior professions in the S rank professions, and their only special ability was the faintly undetectable hint of the power of time. Even the ultimate apocalypse knight could only manipulate so many seconds of time. It was simply not enough to be feared, and Wang Chuan's operation today had broken her perception time and time again. Who was that outrageous of a mechanic? Human, what kind of tricks are you playing? The king of giants was sweating all of a sudden. It was the first time he had faced such a terrifying opponent. He even felt that Wang Chen was more of a boss than himself. He should only be the human and Wang Chuan the boss. Wang Chen flicked his right hand. The apocalypse god gun in his hand instantly bloomed with countless lights. The dazzling golden color looked harmless. But the next moment, the unrivaled defense of the giant king was like tofu in front of the divine gun of the apocalypse. Wang Dust directly chipped off half of his head with a light strike. The King of Giants directly opened the first stage of Berserking. He was scared. A single strike had caused him to trigger a mandatory bloodlock. 
What kind of monster was such a strong person? Although he was still full-blooded, he had already packed up his contempt and looked at Wang Chen with full concentration. Another axe slashed out. Wang Dust did not move at all. Be careful, Li Yining said. Got it. The king of giants revealed a smile. And the next moment, his smile froze. He actually felt that the flow of time had slowed down. Time pause. Wang Dust said indifferently. Chapter 196 Breaking the Giant's Lair Record In an instant, the surrounding space was eclipsed. Time suspension. The divine skill that came with the divine lance of the apocalypse. Wang Chen looked towards the giant axe above his head. Such a huge body with such a weak strength. Wang Dust's feet left the ground and slowly rose. Until he arrived above the king of giants. The apocalypse god lance in his right hand was raised high. Terrifying energies gathered together. And the power of the super god armament directly exploded to the extreme in an instant. The patterns on the super god armament emitted an incomparably bright light. The bright black mech looked inconspicuous. But at this moment, it was like a death wish from the god of death. At this moment, Wang Chen was like a god of war. With the divine shield of the apocalypse in his left hand and the divine gun of the apocalypse in his right hand. It was incomparably dazzling. Even though the giant king's body was thousands or even tens of thousands of times taller than Wang Chuan. Wang Dust was also fearless. The light stretched his figure infinitely long. Golden light converged in his palm. The stopping sound of a clockwork sounded. It was as if there was only forbidden time left in heaven and earth. A huge clock surfaced behind him at some point. Accompanied by the long spear raised in his hand. It was as if it contained a terrifying power that obliterated countless suns and moons. Apocalypse destruction, mechanical dissension. Wang Chen was radiant at the moment. The entire world was under his control. The long spear in his hand pointed forward brazenly. An illusory mechanical giant god emerged from behind him. And its body was so large that it even overshadowed the king of giants. The grandeur of its body even surpassed the starry river. Countless parts began to emerge in the sky. Within Wang Chuan's pupils, there was a flash of gray light. The parts began to reorganize. An enormous mechanical lance emerged from the sky. Its pressure was so great that it seemed to affect time and space. The earth was trembling. Everything would begin to shatter. No. The last moment. Ten seconds were up. The king of giants hissed. His eyes were filled with fear as he looked towards the mechanical lance above his head, and he actually felt a deathly aura that was like extinction. This human, what kind of existence is this? He was actually able to possess such power. He wanted to dodge, but time and space had already locked him. He couldn't move at all. Although time has long since begun to flow, he could only stay where he was. Wang Dust waved his big hand. The mechanical lance came from high above the sky, as if it was the staff of God and the tip of the lance rubbed against the air and burned with crimson flames. The sound of a sonic boom regaled the heart and soul. And under this strike, there was absolutely no possibility of surviving. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. The king of giants was terrified. He looked upwards. After this terrifying aura locked onto him, even after using all his cards, but he couldn't move the slightest bit at all. It was the first time he felt such a sense of crisis. He wanted to beg for mercy, but he actually couldn't even do so now. Before the mechanical lance arrived, the huge airwave shook the king of giants' body and deformed it. The entire giant was squeezed into a ball. His face was hideous, and his body was constantly being torn apart. Rumble, accompanied by a loud bang, an incomparably huge shockwave swept out. A huge mushroom cloud even rose from the battlefield. The earth trembled, and the sky and the earth changed color. Ah, the giant king instantly felt great pain. Flesh and blood gradually fell off, and white bones were revealed. The entire giant was like an ant in front of the huge shockwave. In an instant, the white bones were also melted and turned into dust, dissipating into the sky and earth. When the smoke cleared, Li Yining was already too shocked to speak. Such power. Whether it was a human or a god, there wasn't even any dust left on the spot. Only a huge pit with a circumference of tens of miles was left behind. This was simply a divine miracle. Giant. The king of giants is gone just like that? Li Yining was so terrified that her body was trembling. She couldn't even help but twitch because of the intense fear. Was this really the terrifying destructive power that a living profession, mechanic could cause? His strength had already reached this level? To be able to inflict such damage at level 50 or so, I'm afraid that its power was already comparable to a top powerhouse of level 80 or above using a forbidden spell. No, it might even be far more than that. Ding, congratulations on killing the savage giant, rewarding you with 100 W of experience. Ding. Congratulations on killing the king of giants. Rewarded with 200 W of experience. Materials giant's heart. Giant's bloodline. Dragon scale fragment. A wisp of mysterious breath from the axe. Ding. Congratulations on your leveling up. Currently at level 54. Ding. Congratulations on your leveling up. 
Current level is 55. Ding. Congratulations on killing the boss of the giant's lair. Rewarding the giant's lair with mineral resources. Ding. Congratulations on killing the boss of the giant's lair. Ding. Congratulations on your first kill of a giant's lair boss of 70. Breaking the giant's lair record. Successfully entered the history books. Looking at the wide array of rewards in front of him, Wang Dust's eyes were dazzled for a moment. Massive amounts of resources. Huge amounts of experience. His level rose by two levels again. Level 55. Such a level was absolutely far ahead at the same age. Even those top clans with the most luxurious leveling teams were far inferior to him. Not to mention his battle power that far exceeded that of his peers. The harvest this time could not be described as great. Right at this moment, the spatial ring flashed a few times. Chapter 197, it was his honor to offer it to the Rin family. Wang Dust made a probe. It was discovered that the egg he had previously obtained in the trial tower had moved. It was as if it had sensed the arrival of the pile of materials and flickered. It was strange that an egg that had yet to hatch had such spiritual intelligence. This golden phoenix winged man's egg had been as good as dead since he had acquired it. Without a single movement. And today, after acquiring so many materials it suddenly moved. It shouldn't want to absorb these materials. As soon as this thought popped up, Wang Chen shook his head and denied it. He had never heard of a precedent of an egg having to absorb materials to accelerate its hatching. Not to mention this unknown race, the Golden Phoenix Winged People. With such a mediocre name, how strong could it be? Wang Dust took out the egg and scrutinized it carefully. It was found to be no different from an ordinary egg. But the next second, the egg actually moved on its own. The head of the egg towards the direction of the material. A flash of golden light. This gave Wang Chuan a hole will not. An egg has self-awareness? Do not be so outrageous ah. However, Wang Chuan was a bit curious. Tentatively, he put the material to the side of the egg. The next moment, the material instantly turned into a stream of light and entered the egg. The egg of the golden phoenix winged man, which was originally as black as ink, actually cleared up a few points at this moment, and seemed to vaguely have traces of gold color. A trace of lines were also gradually spreading out. Seeing such a situation, Wang Chen also became interested, throwing in a brainful of materials that he couldn't use. The golden phoenix winged man's egg took in as much as it could, and all of it was absorbed into its shell. The light of the egg slowly released a soft glow that seemed to indicate some pleasure now. Many more lines also appeared on the egg, originally a faintly unnoticeable golden color. The egg was now glowing golden all over. It seemed like it was about to break out of its shell the next moment. However, at the end of the day, this thing didn't hatch, so I guess it didn't have enough energy. Wang Chen was not in a hurry. He had a great use for the rest of the materials. Feeding some garbage was almost enough. If he really wanted to feed it with the materials he had at the bottom of his suitcase, he definitely wouldn't be able to give it up. In the distance, Li Ening came over trembling. Obviously, she was frightened. She was now somewhat confused as to whether Wang Chen was a human or a god. Is this your strength? Li Ening said with a firm gaze. Even though there was a huge gap now, she was after all one of the most powerful few S-class talents in China. She did not think that she would only stop here. Perhaps she couldn't catch up with Wang Chen now, but she could definitely do so in the future. She might not be able to catch up with Wang Chuan at the same level, but the powerful period of her profession had yet to arrive. Maybe Wang Dust's profession was just in the powerful period? Sort of. Wang Dust said indifferently. This was indeed considered his strength, except that he still had many cards. For example, Today, if he turned on Super God Overload to use Mechanical Dissension, not to mention the King of Giants, even Li Ening, who was a hundred miles away, would probably have to die in place together. With a tenfold increase in attributes, the power was increased by more than tenfold. With his Overload of God, the increase in using skills was definitely 1 plus 1 far greater than 2. Sort of? Li Ening looked at Wang Chun incredulously. Even though he was able to inflict a blow that caused such damage, he still had some strength left. What kind of monster was this? Her pupils shrank, and she had to admit that there was a huge gulf in power between them at the moment. Don't stare. Let's go. Wang Chen picked up his bag and left the copy. On the other side, the Ren family in the imperial capital. The Ren family was located in the most prosperous section of the imperial capital. Being able to cultivate a top genius like Ren Rushue, the strength of the Ren family naturally didn't need to be mentioned. In the vast imperial capital, the Ren family's strength definitely belonged to a unique class. If other families had committed such a crime, it is estimated that the head of the family would have already stepped down and gone to prison to squat, but the Ren family patriarch, he was still as if nothing had happened. In the council chamber, the Ren family patriarch, as well as several elders, were currently looking at the large screen with grim faces. Over at the Luo Hiren family, Ru Shue's cousin, an S-ranked profession, the Knight of the Apocalypse, 
was actually killed by this scumbag. Every S-ranked professional can be considered the mainstay of Myron family. This birth actually dared to kill Myron family's talent. His crime is punishable. Run family head coldly said, Luo hi Run family, up and down a thousand mouths, actually a living mouth or not, and even let those guys from the Red Dragon Guards intervene to us. The Rin family's grand elder had an iron color. The crowd was counting down Wang Chen's crimes with one mouthful from you and one from me. They couldn't wait to raise their swords to chop Wang dust right now. In this matter, it's not good for us to strike in the open. Those eagle dogs are biting tightly. It's not good for us if something happens at this juncture. The Ren family patriarch stared and said, Patriarch could it be that you want to? The second elder of the Ren family instantly transformed into a man of understanding. That's right, those degenerates that we raised before have finally come in handy. Originally, I wanted to let Ru Shui go and settle this little trash, but now I realize that it's not necessary. The district is just trash. There's no need for him to take action. On the contrary, it's a bit of a waste of time. What's more, the ancient giant forest mystic realm is about to open. If we kill this little born, the quota will naturally fall to our Ru Shui's head. At that time, when others are gone, I still don't believe that the imperial capital's side will still come to die with us to the end. The Ren family head's tone was not without disdain. They, from the bottom of their hearts, couldn't look down on Wang Chen, a small person who came out of a remote place. It was his honor to offer a good S-class talent to their Rin family. Chapter 198 Some Interest At this time, the duo of Wang Chen and Li Ening walked out of the giant's lair copy. The senior sister who had guided them earlier was also there at the moment, still guiding other students into the copy. Seeing Wang Chuan come out, she was a bit puzzled as to how she appeared here only now. Logically speaking, a new student entering a level 60 copy should come out very quickly. And Wang Chuan actually came out only now? Could it be that he realized that he couldn't beat the giant's lair and immediately exited to choose another copy? This had a few possibilities. What's the copy you guys chose back there? The senior sister ran over and asked. What copy did you choose back there? We've been in this giant's lair all along ah. We just happened to pass through it. Wang Dust said indifferently. Could it be that such a copy? Was it difficult? Was it shocking to have beaten such a copy? As far as he was concerned, such a copy couldn't be easier. How is this possible? The senior sister was unbelievable. Even if they did beat it, it would take three or four days at the very least. But Wang Dust and the others went in, and it was only half a day full. It would be for a top level 70 team to brush, but it definitely wouldn't be that fast. But her words had not yet fallen. The students and teachers looking at the leaderboards were completely abuzz. What? The giant's lair copy record has actually been refreshed. A level 70 squad personally led by Lord Headmaster at level 70 has actually had its record broken? How is this possible? Holy shit, there are actually only two people who passed the copy. How come I haven't heard of them? Wang Chen? Li Ening? When did we have these two extra 70 level powerhouses in China? How is this possible? They actually killed the 70 level King of Giants for the first time. Didn't they say that the King of Giants is only level 65? Not only that, their clearance record is only 8 hours. Fully one-fifth of the second place. Doesn't it mean that the two of them combined are even stronger than the principal? Once the rankings came out, everyone present was shocked. The record created by the principal in the past, the myth that it was impossible to go further. At this moment, it was actually broken. The schoolmate's mind went blank. What? Wang Chen and Li Ening broke the record? How was this possible? She herself was still thinking in her mind that these two would definitely not be able to pass. So how would she end up at that time? And now she was told that they had actually brushed through? Not only did she brush through, but she also broke the principal's record. This kind of heavenly thing was actually happening right next to him. If they didn't know, could they not know themselves? It would be fine if Wang Chen and Li Ening were 70 level powerhouses. But before they went in, one was level 52 and one was only level 40. Such a lineup was damn well capable of soloing the hardest level 60 copy and a level 70 top boss. Then she might as well believe that a mouse holding a toothpick single-handedly killed an elephant. The schoolteacher was viciously shocked. Such a thing that was simply impossible had actually happened to him, and she had to believe it at this moment. Their clearance records were still written on the list, but why in the world was this? She is now enrolled in the fourth year. Not to mention 60 level copies, I'm afraid 45 level copies, it is impossible to single brush through, can enter the Imperial Capital University and who is not a genius in the outside world, but she had to admit at this moment, even if it is a genius, there is also a gap, like Wang Chuan. I'm afraid that hundreds or thousands of top geniuses can't compare to Wang Chuan, and the few people who were guided by the older sister. They were the foreigners, the blonde teenager, that is, Ward Yorick. Yorick's pupils shrunk. Wang Chuan, this wasn't that damn dragon rising scholar, 
Where did he get such guts and strength to brush through a level 60 copy? No, it's definitely not right. This guy must have used some forbidden magic scroll to get through. Yorick's face was a bit displeased. Obviously they were all geniuses. And you're still fucking cheating and using magic props to pass the level. It's really something to look down on. What's the point of such a record? What's more, a copy that can be passed with forbidden magic level props. The difficulty must not be good. And it's fine for him to go on him. Yorick's impression of Wang Dust was a few more points worse. Such a guy. Also worthy of being his opponent? In the end, he will become a stepping stone for Yorick. Thinking this way, Yorick glared fiercely at Wang Chen, Karen Caitlin, the blonde girl who had been playing with her cell phone with her head down. For the first time, she was interested in a thing. 52 levels and single-handedly brushing a level 60 copy? There was some interest. Caitlin raised her head and looked at Wang Chen. Her eyes narrowed slightly, and her azure-colored pupils seemed to take in people's souls. An ordinary person who saw these eyes could probably be mesmerized in an instant. What a beautiful face this was divine and inviolable. But then, she upsetly played with her cell phone. If others could do it, she could do it too. This was her confidence. She, who possessed the inheritance of the ancient god, was the most powerful young generation of the pretty country, with a strong talent and high qualification that was rare in the world. The young girl from the Taiji kingdom beside her, Park Tani, looked at Wang Chen's ranking and her face turned cold, looking at the rankings dead on. Chapter 199 May I ask permission to have a meal at the new residence? Wang Chen's achievement was too dazzling. In an instant, it attracted countless people to gather around. Apart from admiration, there were of course those like Yorick and Park Tiani who were deeply skeptical. After all, a freshman had broken through a level 60 copy, so such news was a bit too shocking. What's more, they looked down on Wang Chen from the bottom of their hearts. It would be thought that the replica was just like that. Right at this moment, and Xiao Xiao, and Mo Lioli, and Li Meng Meng walked up. They had just finished brushing another copy. They saw the news that Wang Chen had almost single-handedly swiped a level 60 top-tier copy. An unbelievable expression appeared on all three of their faces. Wang Chen's strength was actually this strong already? Surprisingly, he was able to clear the giant's lair. The three of them had also heard about the difficulty of this copy. I'm afraid that if they let today's vice principal, the 79 level S rank profession Thunder and Lightning Heavenly King, to single-handedly brush this copy, it probably wouldn't be that easy. As a result, Wang Chen not only did it, but also broke the highest record. How could they not be shocked? Previously, when they were in Luohai City, they could still see Wang Chuan's back. Now I'm afraid that they had long been thrown off and couldn't even see his shadow. What kind of genius was this? Obviously, they were all freshmen who had just enrolled in school. How could the gap be so big? Wang Chuan's strength is really too fast. When they were fighting the trial tower, they still think that Wang Chuan is not as good as them. But Wang Chuan not only took the flyer, but now he is able to almost single pass the 60 level copy. However, they were happy that Wang Chuan was able to achieve this level. Just, who was this female next to him? The three of them, and Xiao Xiao, felt a hint of crisis. Could it be that Wang Chuan liked this kind of high cooled model? Wang Chuan, this copy is so dangerous. Next time you can't be so adventurous. Oh, at the very least bring me along. And Xiao Xiao said in pain, what if something happens? If you die, you won't have anyone to look after you in hell. Wang Dust nodded repeatedly. A chill ran down his back. He always felt that this little ninny was thinking of something bad. Oing oing, brother Wang Dust is so cold. Just went out and threw the sisters aside. Gas shaking cold. When can the sisters stand up ah? M.O. Lioli teared up. To Wang Dust whole goosebumps are up. This and who learned this is. But it's still brother Wang Dust. As soon as he goes out, he has a new wife. Only leaving us to keep the empty room. Li Meng Meng's eyes were blinking and watery as she looked at Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan, big sister don't mess around, there are still so many people here, Li Ening's small face reddened and she somewhat shyly hid behind Wang Chuan, wow, worthy of being brother Wang Dust, Mo Lioli seemed to have detected the air of gossip, and the three of them rushed to look at the leaderboards, without looking, it was a shock, good ah, actually really brought a sister to brush the book, damn, this position used to be theirs, Humph. how long have we known each other, just brush the copy together, this is to know each other for a little longer, Shall not play some poker in front of us. Li Meng Meng feigned anger. The scene immediately felt full of jealousy. As if the jars of vinegar had been overturned. The trio's gazes repeatedly glanced over Li Ening's body. Li Ening was not good at socializing. And being stared at like this, her face was even more flushed. Why did she feel that they were coming from a bad place? Finally, Li Ening was the first to exit. Breaking the strange atmosphere. I'll make sure to get you underneath me. Li Ening clenched her fists and ran away without looking back. Ha! Huh? Could it be that you guys? 
emolioli covered her mouth, somewhat incredulous, letting Wang Duan underneath her, hiss, it was exciting to think about it ah, she more or less wanted to try it, Wang Chan returned to the villa surrounded by the three, as soon as he pushed open the door, the scent of food hit his face, I won't say who it is, standing at the door every day like a lookout stone expecting Wang Chuan to come back, the past two days have been taking us to try out new dishes, it's not easy to make a big table, but we can't wait for you to come back, then those delicacies are cheaper for us every time, wait until every time before going down the copy to redo a new table, hey, I know Xiao Xiao for so many years, or the first time I know she has such a virtuous human wife attribute, Li Meng Meng teased, that's right, more than that, he also picks the dishes that we give him high scores, and keeps hiding in the kitchen to study them, the whole thing makes us feel a sense of crisis, M.O. Lioli concurred, the smile on her face was unabated, you guys, and Xiao Xiao held her cheeks with both hands, her small face red, they were so hateful, they agreed not to tell Wang Chen, letting him think that it was just a table of dishes that she had accidentally made, this whole thing made her embarrassed, this shy look made Wang Chen gently smile, he personally helped in Xiao Xiao to the dining table, it felt good to have these people accompanying her, after they all sat down, Wang Luohan pushed her wheelchair and came out as well, when she saw Wang Duan return, she also chattered endlessly, just as they were about to move their chopsticks, a knock sounded on the door, the five people looked at each other and smiled, Wang Duan ran to open the door, hello, may I ask for permission to dabble in a meal at the new collar residence, Li Ening stammered, just as soon as she arrived home, she smelled this fragrance and couldn't help it, her stomach was still rumbling, chapter 200, he is like a taboo amongst the gods, after eating and drinking enough, Wang Dust started working on brushing the upgrade materials for the super god armament, as well as taking in Xiao Xiao's trio to practice leveling along the way, because the copies he brushed weren't too difficult, coupled with the fact that Wang Chuan could only significantly increase his experience by killing monsters above level 60 now, it resulted in his experience bar not changing much, however, the materials for the super god armament had been collected quite a bit, even though his level hadn't changed too much, his strength, however, had made great strides, it wasn't an exaggeration to say that if he were to beat the person he was before brushing his copy, he would casually kill him in seconds. This was the power of the super god armament. As long as at each stage, the super god armament was raised to the extreme, he was strong enough to challenge stronger opponents across many levels. As for the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, their levels even exceeded the group of heavenly scholars from Imperial Capital University, and Wang Chen had successfully pulled them to a height of genius that did not belong to them. Each and every one of them was at level 40. I'm afraid that if they looked at the entire Imperial Capital University, only a palmful of people would be able to surpass them in rank. Then again, their talent wasn't really that bad. There weren't that many s rank talents, the most would have to be a rank talents. It was just that their family was very strong when placed in Luohai City. But if they were placed in the Imperial Capital University, then they could only be said to be no different from ordinary people. Without Wang Chen, they could only be considered ordinary people in the Imperial Capital University. Now it was different. Looking at the vast imperial capital, they were also enough to call themselves a genius. Four days passed. The materials at the current stage were pretty much brushed. If they didn't go to level up, they were afraid that their strength wouldn't progress much. Next, it would only be until he reached level 60, and he would be able to continue to make the various components of the super god armament soar. ILV4 ranked super god armament was so strong. ILV5 ranked super god armament would definitely be even more terrifying than it was now but what equipment would be good to fuse at that time? The equipment that he had fused before were all carefully selected by himself. This time was naturally the same. But last time, all the flaws of the super god armament had already been made up for. There didn't seem to be anything left to choose. Just when Wang Chen was having a headache, the super god armament, which had been silent all this time, actually pulled Wang Chuan into a space of consciousness. Wang Chuan's pupil shrank. The super god armament actually had a self-awareness. You seem surprised think I'm just a weapon, without any self-awareness, the super god armed consciousness was not surprised, Wang Chen nodded, it's no wonder you think that, the super god armed consciousness smiled to itself, since the moment when the god of mechanics took a different path and wanted to create eternity with a mechanical body, he is like a taboo among the gods, but his divine power, how powerful, only facing the greatness of the gods of the heavens, the result of that battle, I'm sure you know, the god of machinery was beaten down to a miserable body, and I, 2. The consciousness of the super god Mecha slowly said, his tone seemed to contain countless sadness, who could have imagined that the exalted gods of yesteryear would actually use despicable means when dealing with the god of machinery, who was also a god, to be named after the word super god, how could he be something ordinary, 
could it be? That's right, as the supreme masterpiece of the god of machinery, it's more like another deity than a mecha. The current me is just a remnant, and rather than upgrading, it's more like repairing me. The difference is that I am now as if I were a blank slate, and you can make me stronger than ever. This consciousness of mine will eventually dissipate, and you, on the other hand, will have a true super god mecha. One day, you will be able to carry my and his super god power and fight the gods again. The super god mecha's words just fell. Wang Chen was shocked by this news. It turned out that the super god mecha had always been self-aware, and he was actually so powerful, able to fight against all the gods, if they hadn't been underhanded. It was still uncertain who the deer would be. I appeared this time, and there is bound to be a reason for it. There are three materials that can upgrade me, and if I can obtain them, my strength will definitely increase when I am raised to that realm. They are, respectively, the blood grain steel soaked in the heart of a blood demon, the star silver iron that absorbs the power of starlight for tens of millions of years, and the meteoric black iron that has fallen to the earth since the outside world. These are materials that the eye of yesteryear did not possess. With them, I believe that I will be able to far surpass the me of yesteryear. Wang Chen's heart stirred, since the path had been indicated. He had a clue about his next upgrade materials. Wang Chuan's eyes blurred. The consciousness returned to the villa. It was thought to be this wisp of residual thought that had fallen back into slumber. Wang Chuan lowered his head and contemplated for a moment. Since this voice had prompted him, it should have his intentions. Could it be that one of them was by his side? Even if it was by his side, which one would it be? Would it be bloodline steel, star silver iron, or meteorite black iron? This remained to be examined, but now there was finally a direction. It was also considered a good thing, striving to prepare in advance. When the level 60 soaring parts were used together, at that time, a level 60 was estimated to be able to fight against a level 100 powerhouse. Chapter 201 You have to splash blood all over a good meal. How powerful would oneself be then? To celebrate your leveling up. Let's go out to eat today. Wang Dust said indifferently. Really? That's too good. Wang Luohan was almost overjoyed once she heard Wang Chuan say this. It had been so long since she came to Imperial Capital University. She still stayed at home all the time, not saying it on her lips, but she was already going crazy with boredom. Her brother and sisters-in-law went out every day to brush up on their books, and there wasn't much to play with at home. I'm sorry for boring you these past two days. Oh sister, and Xiao Xiao comforted. This harmonious scene made Wang Duan nod. He he he, sister-in-law is so nice. Wang Luohan winked wryly and looked at Wang Dust in a bad way. Ah, and Xiao Xiao's thin skin brushed red, somewhat embarrassed. She looked at Wang Chuan, Li Meng Meng and Emo Liu Li looked at and Xiao Xiao in a different way. Good, you and Xiao Xiao. So scheming, using retreat as an advance, taking down Wang Duan's sister in one fell swoop. Today you dare to make Wang Luohan call you sister-in-law. Tomorrow you dare to play poker with Wang Duan. The word hashtag appeared on both of their heads. They were considered a united front. Cough. Don't talk nonsense. Wang Chuan rubbed Wang Luohan's hair. Otherwise immediately her sister-in-law. Bah. And Xiao Xiao was about to get angry. The few people talked and laughed as they went to a restaurant in the imperial capital. Just at this moment, several black figures flashed behind them. The black aura emanating from their bodies was disgusting. If Li Ening was standing here she would definitely be able to recognize that these were fallen ones. Che, I think the Ren family head is senile. Actually asking us to take such a big risk to assassinate a milquetoast little doll. One of the black robes said in a cold voice. The fallen, in the outside world, were almost a street rat, an existence that everyone shouted at. They betrayed humanity and became under the banner of the foreign races, willingly sacrificing their souls in exchange for power. Such an existence was disgraceful. They were used as tools for the exchange of benefits, sold to those big families as assassins. Even so, they still enjoy it, because strong power is always fascinating. Watch your words. Another black-robed man. A cold light flashed in his eyes. He looked in the direction Wang Chen had left. An aura of solemnity filled out. His hatred was as great as if Wang Chuan had killed his own mother. I forgot. There's someone here who still wants to be a dog. Ha ha ha. All right. The mission is important. I don't care about your personal grudges. But if the mission fails, you won't be able to afford the responsibility. Prepare to move, the black-robed leader said indifferently. The two of them looked at each other, and the matter was left unsettled. Wang Chen had just sat down. Suddenly, there was a change in front of him. It actually came to another piece of space. He also had spatial abilities and could tell at a glance that this was a spatial device. Who is it that is making such a big deal of trying to make a move against me? Wang Chen frowned. Outside. The law enforcement team saw the alien detector in the center of the imperial capital dropping and launching a warning. Fallen one, 
to actually have already made a move on someone and we only realized it. What the hell are those patrolling for? Wang Gang, the captain of the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Team, angrily rebuked. Wang Gang's heart was so enraged that he couldn't wait to slap those patrolling people in the face. He couldn't think in time and dashed towards the restaurant where Wang Chen was. As for those fallen ones, at this moment, there was a sinister smile of triumph on their faces. As long as they pulled in the space device, their chances of success increased greatly. By solving Wang Dust at speed, they could go back and collect their reward. Wang just arrived at the scene and realized that something was wrong. This is actually a space device. Wang Gang was shocked. A billion dollars for a disposable prop. What a big fucking deal. This was trying to put a person to death. Even if he was a top level 75 powerhouse, he could only stare in disbelief when faced with a spatial device. There were only two ways to deal with this space device. The first is to kill the party using the device or the party being used. The second was to possess spatial abilities yourself. Both of these things are fucking impossible. How can this be realized? Of course, there is another way to destroy the space device by force. But space devices can be used remotely. Anyone with a brain wouldn't be able to use it face to face. It's over. Wang Gang's heart felt like a big stone had fallen. His hat is completely gone. If there was a murder by a fallen one in the center of the imperial capital, ten of him would not be enough to lose his head. In that case, those who were targeted by the fallen would die for sure. Wait, the person who was assassinated was Dragon Rising scholar Wang Duan. Wang Gang was shocked. Wait, he shouldn't be shocked. If Wang Chuan was assassinated, he wouldn't have enough for ten heads to be chopped off. Not to mention his crown. Wang Gang was completely dumbfounded. His face went white with a brush and he sat paralyzed on the ground. If this was the case, there was no chance of Wang Duan coming back at all. These patrols are really fucking dumbass. Wang Gang's face was so ugly that he couldn't wait to chop off all the heads of those patrols as well. Inside the space, Wang Chuan watched as the figures of several black-robed men slowly emerged. His face unhappy. A good meal had to be splattered with blood. Chapter 202 A Finger Stops It One of the black-robed men suddenly stepped out and coldly said, By the order of a person, I have come here to take your dog's life. Even if you are the scholar of the rising dragon who was admired by millions of people. So what? You will die in our hands today. Wang Chen frowned. Fallen? How did they enter the imperial capital? He looked around and realized that their strength. It seemed to be just like that ah. There was no need to be concerned. Fallen ones? Ha ha. You guessed right. I'm going to kill you today as well. Wang Chuan ah Wang Chuan. Did you ever think that you would have this day? Another black robed man angrily rebuked Wang Dust. Their tone seemed like they all had an undying grudge against Wang Chuan. Just as if they had killed their entire family. Oh, just by you guys? Wang Dust said disdainfully. It wasn't that he looked down on them. It was just that a bunch of 70 level professionals wanted to pose a threat to him? Underestimate him that much? Perhaps a level 70 powerhouse was very powerful in the outside world? But in Wang Chuan's opinion, it was just like a tiny mole cricket. It could not shake him in the slightest. Buzz. Right at this moment, a strange blood-colored mist descended out of thin air. The red aura emanating from its body surged up steeply. And in an instant, it transformed into a feared gigantic monster that was tens of meters tall. One of the abilities of the fallen. Assimilate with the race that made it fall. In this way, there would be a terrifying increase in strength. And such power is the blood demon race. An extremely evil existence among the foreign races. It was rumored that the blood devils needed to devour the flesh and blood of professionals to upgrade. This also led to the blood devils being killed by everyone amongst the professionals. The level of the blood demon in front of him was at least a 71st level. Coupled with the blood demon's horrifying attribute increase. Its four-dimensional attributes could even be comparable to a 72-level powerhouse. Name, Demon 10. Profession, Fallen, Blood Demon. Level, 71. Skills Blood Demon Dharma. Blood Demon Body. Blood Demon Power. Flesh into Blood. Forced Drawing. Bloodthirsty Berserk Attack. Berserking. Blood Demon Berserking. Introduction, A professional who has fallen into the Blood Demon's body. His sanity has long been eroded by the foreigners. And he resembles a human being but not a human being. As a dog of a big family in the imperial capital, he is a good dog. Wang Dust felt a little funny directly after seeing his panel. 71 levels only. He casually destroyed it. Outside, the detector in Wang Gang's hand detected a familiar power fluctuation. It's actually him. Wang Gang sucked in a breath of cold air. Lord Law Enforcement. What happened? And Xiao Xiao asked. She was a little scared in her heart. Wang Chen wouldn't be in any danger. Looking at this Lord Enforcement Officer's expression. It seemed that what Wang Chen had encountered was not an ordinary character. Wang Gang sighed deeply, with a grave expression. He said, The fallen, all of them are not vicious people. And that fallen within this space has always been on our enforcement team's priority list. 
He has assassinated three dragon ascending scholar and ten dragon denominating scholar. And yet he still managed to get away in one piece each time. Obviously has an extremely high background amongst humans as well. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that the geniuses assassinated at his hands have no chance of surviving. These words came out. The four of them, and Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, M O Liu Li, and Wang Luohan were like thunderbolts from a clear sky. Their faces went white with a brush. It was actually a fallen who specialized in assassinating the scholar. This damn devil ten. Wang Gang's face was grim as he looked towards Devil Ten's location. If he dared to show himself in front of him, he would have to make Devil Ten have no return. Inside the space, Wang Dust looked towards these black-robed men. These fellows, they were a bit too unaware of the heights of heaven. They came to assassinate him? They didn't weigh themselves either. Jia Jia Jia. A chilling laughter suddenly came out of the blood demon's mouth. The huge blood-colored devil body covered the sky, his body scarlet red. At this moment he was like a demon. Looking at Wang Chen with an angry face, finish early and go back to eat. Wang Dust said indifferently. This unsavory tone that did not look down on them in the slightest completely enraged their pitiful and humble pride. Kid, you seek death. The black-robed man shouted angrily. A blood-colored giant hand blatantly struck out. Terrifying pressure instantly swept across the entire arena. Even the few blood demons that came with him had a pain look on their faces at this moment. This fellow actually attacked indiscriminately. Worthy of being a fallen one. The fallen one's side was still cursing the black-robed man's behavior. Wang Chen, on the other hand, moved. Super God Armament. Wang Chuan's pupils flashed with a burst of refined light. In the next moment, the bright black mech instantly covered his entire body. He gently stretched out a finger. Che, don't know how to die. The black-robed man laughed coldly as his giant palm came out with full force. Even the other black-robed men looked at Wang Chen icily, as if they were looking at a dead man. So insouciant. To actually think of using a finger to block the full force of a 71 level powerhouse. You're thinking about eating shit. Not to mention Wang Chuan. Even a dragon rising scholar who graduated from the Imperial Capital University would never dare to be so arrogant. In the next second, the blood colored giant hand stopped in mid air and was actually blocked by one of Wang Chuan's fingers. The entire room was silent and the black robed man was looking at Wang Chen like he was a monster. Chapter 203 Goodbye Renanian. To actually stop his attack with just one finger. How was this possible? Devil 10 instantly sweated. If he were to stop his full force attack with just one finger, I'm afraid that even a 75 leveled professional wouldn't necessarily be able to do so. Who the hell are you? Devil 10's tone trembled slightly. He would never believe that Wang Chuan's strength just entering the university was far more powerful than the rank he had managed to raise with great difficulty after decades of fighting. He had sold his soul in order to gain great power, but he had sold his soul in order to gain the favor of the foreign race, even if he would give up his original body as long as he could obtain great power. So what? But today, he was suddenly told that the power you pursue is just like a joke in the eyes of others, and is not even as good as a finger of a milky little kid. How could he accept this? He was a blood demon. Burn blood. Devil 10 shouted angrily. In an instant, the power of his entire body began to compress, an attack that burned life force. How terrifying was the power? Accompanied by a blood-colored giant palm, a slight ripple actually surfaced in this space as well. Obviously. This move had climbed a few notches more in strength compared to before. Too weak, Wang Chuan coldly said. A random fist blasted out. Rumble. Devil Ten's punch had not yet completely exploded. It was completely crushed by Wang Dust's fist wind. It turned into flying ash and dissipated into the heavens and earth. Not even dregs remained. What? It happened so fast that a few black-robed men did not even have time to react before they realized that the most powerful existence among them had been killed in a single blow. And one of the black-robed men in the furthest corner. With a gloomy face, he looked at Wang Chen. Infinite killing intent was suppressed in his heart. He couldn't wait to kill Wang Chen completely, to avenge his past hatred. Oh, Wang Chuan looked in the direction of this black-robed man, who actually had such heavy malice towards himself. Who was it? As if he was a god. Wang Dust slowly floated to the side of this black-robed man. What is this guy coming over for? Why is he coming over? Don't, don't. The black-robed man's heart was filled with fear, as if he had thought of some horrible thing. But he found something even more terrifying in the next second. His body actually couldn't move. It was locked by a terrifying aura, completely losing control of his body. Damn it, how could this guy be so strong? Why ah, who are you? Wang Chen reached out and grabbed. The black-robed man instantly felt his neck being grabbed by a terrifying force. He didn't have any power to resist at all. Why was this guy so strong? Why on earth was he so strong? Obviously, he was the one who was the first one not to enter the 70th level. Having taken the blood demon imperial clan's essence blood, 
But why was he still like an ant in front of Wang Chen? His powerful pride would not allow him to be like this. Wang Chuan, kill me if you have the guts. The black robed man roared. Is that so? Wang Chuan said indifferently. The power in his hand continued to increase. In an instant, the black robed man actually felt as if his body was suffocating like a python wrapping around him. Unable to move. Kill. Kill me. The black robed man's eyes were bloodshot as he looked towards Wang Chuan. He was more afraid of being discovered by Wang Chuan as his true identity than being killed by Wang Chuan. Kill you? Wang Chuan snorted. Swish. A piercing sound rang out. Wang Chuan's hand instantly penetrated the black robed man's heart. Ren Inian or Ren Inian. I thought I killed you with my own hands, but I didn't realize that you are actually still alive. You really want to kill the undead like a little strong man. Wang Chuan looked at Ren Inian and said, No, I am not Ren Inian. Ren Inian's face was horrified. If he was targeted by such a monster, it would definitely be more painful than killing him. Ren Inian just wanted to commit suicide by biting the poison. After all, this body was only artificially molded. As long as his soul was still alive, he would be able to keep resurrecting. But would Wang Chen give him this chance? Obviously he wouldn't. This body doesn't seem to be yours. So that's how it is. Wang Chuan understood. A big family was a big family. There were still so many means. Unfortunately, even if it was a big family, when a person's physical body and soul all dissipated, what means would there be to resurrect them? Wang Chen's body shook, and in an instant, he shattered all the bones in Ren Inian's body. Ah ah ah. Ren Inian erupted into a scream as if he was killing a pig. He did not expect Wang Chen to be so cruel. Kill me. Kill me. Ren Inian trembled. Good. Wang Chen smiled. He grabbed Ren Inian's heart with one hand. In the days of your you took my heart from me. Last time I sort of retrieved the principle. Now, naturally, it's time for you to pay back the interest. It's actually a body molded by the royal essence blood. It's really good. Wang Chuan let out a light laugh. And in the next moment, he began to converge the power of Ren Inian's entire body in his heart. The blood pattern steel shaped by the blood demon imperial clan's essence blood. Don't. My power. Ren Inian was scared. The power he had been craving for so long was actually draining out of his body. No, this is my power. Wang Chen said indifferently. He didn't care about Ren Yini's death, much less his pain. In the next moment, Ren Yinian's origin power was completely drained. Now that only his soul was left, he looked at Wang Chuan in near supplication. He was truly afraid. If his soul was also annihilated, that day would disappear completely. Unfortunately, Wang Chen would not give him the chance. A moment later, Ren Inian's body completely dissipated. A piece of bloodstained steel slowly appeared in Wang Chen's book. Chapter 204 Why are you so good? Wang Dust swept a glance at the many black-robed people around him, ignoring their terrified expressions, and killed them all in seconds. By the way, they also looted their storage rings. Do not look at them as degenerates. It looks like they are street rats everyone shouts. Just this good things. There are really not a lot. More or less. They were also working as dogs for big families and there were more or less some good things in their hands. Wang Dust shook his head. Honestly speaking, this spatial device was not useful to him at all. He actually noticed it at the first time, and could have used the power of the Apocalypse Divine Shield to circumvent the absorption of this device. There was no need for that though. At the very least, he came to see who was trying to harm himself. This was also considered an unexpected gain, completely eradicating this Rin Inian fellow. It was really unexpected that there was actually such a means as resurrection. Obviously at that time, he had already been beaten by himself and there was not even any dregs left. In the future, when he came across it, he would need to erase his soul as well. As for these black-robed people, Wang Chen also guessed the origin. Ren Yin Yin, the Rin family of the imperial capital. I thought that in the vast imperial capital, only the most powerful imperial capital Rin family had the strength to resurrect others. To actually make such a big deal of wanting to come and kill yourself. Interesting. Ren family old dog. You wait. If I can destroy your Luo Hyren family, what's wrong with destroying another Imperial Capital Rin family? There were many people who wanted to kill him, but unfortunately, they were all killed in the end. This was the case with Rin Yin Yin, and this was also the case with the Rin family. Wang Chuan disarmed his super god armament and arrived at the Imperial Capital Hotel with a flash of his body. Seeing Wang Chuan return, Wang Gang was shocked. What? This great master Wang Chuan had actually returned. Taking another look at the detector, the Devil Ten as well as the many fallen ones, had actually all disappeared. How? How is this possible? They're actually all dead. Wang Gang subconsciously looked towards Wang Chen. A crazy thought grew in his mind. These people, couldn't they all have been killed by Wang Chuan? Then this would be too terrifying. As soon as this thought popped into his head, he was shocked by his own thoughts. 
This was even more impossible. It was clearly just a doll who had just graduated from high school. How strong could he be? But this reality was right in front of him. Even if he didn't want to believe it, there was nothing he could do about it. You? What exactly are you? Wang Gang trembled. If his men were here they would definitely be shot. The formerly powerful captain was actually whispering so low in front of a college student. Me? Just an ordinary life profession. Wang Dust waved his hand. Life profession? Wang Gang seemed to have heard some heavenly joke. Devil 10. The Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Team's S-Class Wanted Criminal. With a reward of $1 billion. It can even be exchanged for rare materials of equal value. You don't want to underestimate the same value of rare materials. Since it's called rare, naturally it can't be available at any time. Most of them need to be added to two or three times the market price in order to get it. And the same value of rare materials is to find materials for you at the market price. Its value is even far more than a billion dollars. On top of that, the bounties for those of his accomplices are also ridiculously high. This is simply a heavenly feat. One gang said excitedly, sparing the captain of the law enforcement team. This was the first time he had lost his temper like this. He was deeply shocked by this term's dragon rising scholar. Wang Chuan, you're not injured. A few women rushed over to check the injuries on Wang Chuan's body and realized that they were not injured. However, in the next second, Li Mengmeng looked at Wang Chuan as if she had remembered something. The captain of the law enforcement team said that this Demon Tan is a 71 level powerhouse. Doesn't that mean? When these words came out, and Xiao Xiao and Mo Liu Li both sucked in a breath of cold air. Wouldn't it mean that Wang Chen was not only able to clear a level 60 copy, but now he was even able to defeat a level 71 professional? With this kind of strength, I'm afraid that amongst the entire Imperial Capital University students, there is no one else like him. The three were deeply shocked. Obviously everyone has the same starting line. Why are you so outstanding? This was worthy of being Wang Dust. To be able to explosively kill a 71 level powerhouse today, you shall not be able to take the principal with one hand on the day of graduation. This speed of progress and strength will definitely leave everyone in the dust. And this reward, what ordinary people can't even get with three billion dollars and countless connections, this reward allows people to take whatever they want, worthy of being the imperial capital, it's so generous, Li Mengmeng was shocked, they, as sons and daughters of family origins, were even more aware of the preciousness of this reward, not only that, if this performance is known by the higher ups, there will definitely be even more generous rewards, by the way student Wang Chuan, do you have any clues about these degenerates, such as which side of the force they came from to assassinate you? Wang Gang asked. Sorry, Captain Wang, I don't know. Wang Dust gently shook his head. He naturally knew. However, this kind of thing, he would just be clear to himself. And one day, he would want to treat the Imperial Capital Rin family the same way he treated the Luo Hai Rin family in the past. Right now, if he let Wang Gang and the others investigate, not only would it be useless, but he would also scare the snakes. It would be better to let himself go and kill. Chapter 205, Your Charm. It's still so great. Ren family. When the news of the fallen's assassination of Wang Chen failed, the Ren family's top management was shocked. This group of losers. When the Ren family had heard the news from his men, he immediately became furious. Several 70-level powerhouses going to assassinate a waste would fail. What the hell did he raise this group of wastes for? One must know that 70-level powerhouses were considered mainstays to a great family like their imperial capital Ren family. Each one of them requires considerable effort to cultivate, not to mention the higher battle power and more loyal fallen. This was all enough to count as a wound to the Rin family. Family head, I know you're in a hurry, but don't be anxious for a while. This group of rice buckets were mostly gullible, and were saved by a certain powerful spatial occupation enforcer who just happened to pass by when they were teasing Wang Dust, so it's not enough to be afraid of. The Rin family's grand elder advised. The Rin family had angrily slammed his teacup, the porcelain pieces shattered and the boiling hot tea along with the porcelain shards splashed onto the body of an underling. The subordinate's pupils shrank as intense pain spread throughout his body. However, he did not dare to show a single trace of pain. The Rin family master had a violent personality, and within a year, the underling who served tea and water had already been killed dozens of times in a hard way. In front of this Lord Yama, he didn't even dare to move. Unfortunately, the Rin family head was no good. One hand cupped the subordinate. The subordinate's face revealed a look of horror. I didn't expect that even so, he still couldn't escape being killed. He looked at the Rin family master with a hideous expression, as if he was praying to be spared. In the next moment, there was a compression of the underling's body. Boom! His body turned into a blood mist and entered the Rin family head's body, just a waste that got away with it. The Rin family grand elder said indifferently, it was as if he hadn't even seen what had just happened. 
The many senior members of the Rin family also continued their discussions as if nothing had happened, as if they were not surprised anymore. Humph. The Grand Elder contacted the King of Blood Demons and asked him to send a level 75 Fallen to assassinate Wang Dust, and I'll give another 10% profit on this year's mine resources, the Run family had commanded. The Grand Elder was just about to agree. Ren Ru Xue, who had been at the side, walked out. It doesn't matter, I will make a move. Ren Ru Xue's face was bland, as if she was talking about something insignificant. She was the most powerful genius the Ren family had ever seen. She had this confidence to be invincible among her peers. Wang Duan? He could be destroyed with just one hand. Run Rushua had a proud face. On her stunningly beautiful face. However, she had eyes like those of a poisonous scorpion. Oh, when Rin Rushua said this, the Ren family head, who originally had an angry face, suddenly leaked out a smile. If the Ren family's genius had stepped in, he would still be able to kill Wang Chen in a very reasonable manner. Let's just say that the two were on their way to sparring and Rin Rushua accidentally killed Wang Chen. That's right. The freshman examination in a month's time. At that time, I will personally kill this unbeatable dragon rising scholar. Run Rushua coldly said. The moment these words came out, all of the Rin family's senior management were ecstatic. If it was her, it would definitely be possible. With her actual pry, there were even many level 60 powerhouses among her clan that were no match for her. It would be more than enough to deal with a new student. In Rin Ruashue's eyes, the previous year's dragon rising scholar was nothing more than a clown and was not to be feared at all. Imperial Capital Hotel. After settling the matter, the five people happily ate their meal with a full stomach. Wang Chuan pushed Wang Luohan's wheelchair, and in Xiao Xiao, Mo Lioli, and Li Meng Meng surrounded Wang Chuan, chattering away. Just at this moment, Lu Ning Ning, who had also gotten into the Imperial Capital University, saw Wang Duan. She blushed a little, wanting to go forward to greet him, but she was a little afraid to do so. After all, the relationship between them was not too familiar. In the past, they might have had some right to dialogue, but nowadays, they were no longer in the same world at all. Aya, our Miss Lu, the one who usually reads about her, yet she doesn't dare to greet her when she sees her today. TSK TSK. Lian Yun she smiled. Lu Ning Ning blushed for a while, stammering, but unable to say anything. Just as Lu Ning Ning was still hesitating, Wang Chen had already arrived in front of Lu Ning Ning. Yeah. Lian Yunxi gently pushed Lu Ningning. Lu Ningning screamed. In the next moment, she saw the face that she had longed for appear in front of her. Wang. Wang Duan. Lu Ningning trembled as she greeted. It's you? Wang Chuan nodded. He still had a few impressions of Lu Ningning, the civilian schoolgirl of the Goblin Cave. Lu Ningning had clearly thought of many words before, but her mind was blank at the moment. Wanting to say something, she couldn't say anything. Lu Ningning's face was a little lost when she saw the girl beside Wang Duan. Was this the girl who had teamed up with Wang Chuan during the college entrance exam? All of them were girls from the top families in Luo High City. Not only did they have good families, their strength was also better than their own. It seemed that Wang Chen was very popular. They were all girls who were prettier than themselves. Compared to them, it was like a firefly compared to the white moon. Ridiculous and unselfconscious. Your charm. It's still so big ah. Lu Ning Ning adjusted her emotions and looked at Wang Chen with a smile. Chapter 206, Aggrieved. Family members, it's okay, but you guys actually got into Imperial Capital University as well. Wang Chen was a little surprised. Lu Ningning's strength wasn't strong, and she was only an A-ranked profession, but her family wasn't rich, so it wasn't easy to think of catching up with those A-ranked professions who came from rich backgrounds. It seemed like a lot of effort had been put in, as luck would have it, after separating from you that day, the two of us encountered a bunch of bloodied monsters that gave a lot of experience, resulting in leveling up even faster and exploding several skill books, allowing us to exert strength far beyond our ordinary performance in the entrance exam. This is all thanks to you, Wang Duan. Lu Ningning smiled. Yes, if it wasn't for Wang Chuan, it was estimated that she would have become dead already. It's just a matter of raising my hand. Wang Chuan waved his hand. Yeah. Lu Ningning looked at Wang Chuan and sighed a little. Something worthy of one's gratitude for a lifetime. Yet it was just a show of hands from Wang Chen, other than the last time. Perhaps this was the closest they had ever been in their lives. Lu Ningning was a little lost, but when she saw Wang Chuan, she forced a smile a little. She wasn't good at expressing it and didn't dare to do so. Hello there, ascending dragon scholar. Lian Yunxi also greeted. Wang Dust also had some impression of her. The other person from the goblin cave. She also nodded hello to her. Just then, a person wearing a mask and wrapped tightly all over his body walked over with a broom. Wang Duan, as the saying goes, when an old hometowner sees an old hometowner, 
Both eyes tear up. Du Lacy brushed his eyes and tears almost fell out. Although he was an S-ranked professional, but when he arrived here he realized that he, who had no resources at home, was not even comparable to an A-ranked professional with a strong family. It was a good thing that Imperial University could use credits to enhance their strength. You are? Wang Chuan pondered for a long time, but he did not think of a resemblance to this person in his mind. The man in front of him looked very downtrodden, rather like a certain man with his own BGM. Seeing this, Du Lacy hurriedly took off the mask and hood he was wearing? It's me, Thunder Law King, Du Lacy. Du Lacy wiped his nose and tears towards Wang Dust, giving Wang Dust a nausea, he hastily dodged away. But isn't this Thunder Dharma King Du Lacy? How did he become like this? Family members, fall in awe. Du Lacy wanted to cry. Originally, he thought that his powerful talent came to the Imperial Capital University and was able to make a good splash. Who knew that credits were required everywhere here? You guys don't know. Although I'm an S-ranked professional, but the resources simply can't compare to those family's thick male children. I can only go to get credits in exchange, but I don't have any acquaintances here, and a lot of A-ranked male children still hate me as an S-ranked professional, causing me to have no one to form a team at all. The level of the copies here is still high. I can't pass it at all by brushing solo. I deeply know that if I fail the test again a month later, then even though I have an S-ranked profession, this is all I can do in this life. I can only take on this task that no one wants to take on, cleaning a million square meters every day, earning a little bit of credits and barely maintaining a little progress. The more Du Lacy said, the more aggrieved he became. Who did his S-ranked profession provoke? One by one, they caught him and bullied him. The ones who came here looked like they recognized that he had no background and was bullied by others every day. Damn it. Wang Chen froze. He didn't expect that Durith, who was so arrogant before, could now suffer from this aggression. It was more or less pathetic. It was no wonder that this guy could directly cry out in aggravation. Ahem, don't look at me like this, but after all, the job of sweeping floors in this imperial university can earn a lot of credits, and my current account balance is a full 5,000 credits. Durith said with his head held high. It was so hard to run into an old hometown, so he had to pretend hard. Although Wang Chen was a Dragon Rising scholar, the credits probably wouldn't be more than his. Quite a lot indeed. Wang Chuan inadvertently leaked out his identity card. The balance of credits on the card was as much as 100,000. 100. 100,000. Du Lacy's pitch rose a few notches. Unexpectedly, the ascending Dragon Scholar had so many credits. Then what was all the cleaning he had done all these days? Du Lacy was instantly petrified. Cleaning for one day was 500 credits. 5,000 credits for 10 days. 10,000 credits for a hundred days. He would have to clean for a full 200 days in order to earn the same amount of credits as Wang Dust. But here is the Imperial University ah, uh, not to leave you special cleaning, if all the credits are saved. His strength not to mention the A-level professional. Even by the time the top B-level professionals are hanging him. What's more, this place is a million square feet, and after cleaning every day, the sky will be dark, and the time for upgrading is even less than that of other people. Du Lacy was not that aggrieved but now he felt even more aggrieved. Vaguely, it was as if snowflakes were drifting down on his body. After a long period of silence, Du Lacy put on his cleaning three-piece suit. Silently, he cleaned the square. Aggrieved, family members, Du Lacy chanted as he cleaned. Wang Dust was a little embarrassed. This was too much bullying of the old folks. It was decided that the next time there was an opportunity. Bring it along slightly. Chapter 207, she just wanted to be by his side all the time. After chatting briefly, they said goodbye to each other. Looking at Wang Chen's back, Lu Ning Ning looked a little mesmerized. Looks silly. My Miss Lu Ah, meet and do not dare to speak. TSK, also do not know who Ah, cannot be seen every day to hold Wang Duan's photo to Na. That eyes Ah, as if hooked to the gravy. Lian Yunxi teased. Yunxi, Lu Ning Ning ranted. He and I, we won't be all the way. Lu Ning Ning sighed deeply. She had an inferiority complex in her bones and did not feel that she was worthy of Wang Chen. Once upon a time, she couldn't be worthy, and she wouldn't be worthy in the future. They wouldn't be in the same world since the beginning. She only needs to silently like it. There was no need to burden Wang Chen. You, how do you know if you don't go and try? If I say so, you should boldly go and try. I see that his charm is quite high, and surrounded by a bunch of beauties whose face value is not inferior to yours. Now you go. You can still be a fourth wife. Otherwise, you'll have to rank behind the ten wives by then. Lian Yunxi pretended to comfort, but it was really still molestation. Lu Ning Ning's small face turned red, although she didn't mind. She just didn't know if Wang Chen would mind. He he he, when the time comes, I'll accompany you too, and we'll both be little wives together. 
Lian Yunxi spat out her tongue mischievously. Yeah, what are you talking about? Lu Ning Ning didn't know what came to her mind, and her small face turned even redder. Wang Chen and his group were still on their way back to the villa. TSK TSK, someone na, flirting around, thanks to us coming early, we can still be a third wife. Li Meng Meng blanked Wang Chuan. Ahem. Wang Dust was a little embarrassed. How is it a little bit of the feeling of the cultivation ground? Li Meng Meng's jealousy was turning over with these words. This is just a friend. Before in the goblin cave, helped them a bit, so there has been a bit of gratitude towards me in it. Don't think too much ha ha. Wang Dust was obviously not good at explaining, causing Li Meng Meng and Emo Liu Li to look at Wang Chen with even more skeptical eyes. That's right. You guys have to trust Wang Chen. They are just simple friends. And Xiao Xiao was the first to stand out and speak for Wang Chen. And what about the first and second wives? She didn't care. It was good to be Wang Duan's wife. Even if she was the enemy of the world, she would still stand on Wang Dust's side. Yo yo yo. Worthy of being a first wife. So thoughtful. Wang Luohan's small eyes narrowed slightly. Although she was young, she was very resourceful. How could she not understand? He he he. And Xiao Xiao's face brushed red, covering her cheeks and shaking her head with an expression of enjoyment. Obviously, she was very flattered by the title of sister-in-law. Darn it, you scheming in Xiao Xiao. Why didn't I find you like this before? I'm telling you, my plastic BFF relationship with you ends here. Li Meng Meng was furious with her teeth and claws. E heave, if you don't become her best friend, I will. Emo Liuli took advantage of the situation and took the opportunity to hug in Xiao Xiao's arm. Now, the position of the second wife is secure. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Li Meng Meng looked at these two people with a puff of air. No, this can't go on like this. She hurriedly rushed up and hugged in Xiao Xiao's other arm. Looking at this barely harmonious scene, a drop of cold sweat dripped down from Wang Dust's forehead. It was too exciting. Even if he was asked to single-handedly brush a hundred level top tier boss right now, he wouldn't be sweating this much. These women were terrifying. Brother, the ravishing fortune is not shallow. Yo, Wang Luohan blinked twice. Wang Dust nudged his mouth and didn't say anything more. His own sister had changed. She could arch fire and her little cotton jacket was leaking. Just as Wang Dust was pondering, the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, walked over hand in hand. It was obvious that they had gotten back together again. Wang Dust couldn't help but sweat. So horrible. All said that three women are a drama. Now that I look at it, it is really so ah. Uh, Humph. We can be a united front now. Li Meng Meng grunted. After all, there were too many women around Wang Chen now. Even if there were new good sisters joining in later, she still had to keep a good eye on them. That's right, that's right. Mo Liuli also nodded after Li Meng Meng. It was reasonable to say that these young ladies of the big family shouldn't be willing to fall into the role of someone else's concubine. Not to mention that in this world, there was even a system like monogamy. These people would be even less willing. Only, they had met Wang Chen, a person who was enough to make them fall in love despite everything. Take in Xiao Xiao for example. As long as she could be by Wang Chen's side all the time. Not to mention being the first wife. Even if she was the third wife. Ten wives, so what? It was enough to be able to stay by his side all the time. She had fallen in love with Wang Chen at the beginning, had been confused, and had been discouraged by countless people around her. But she still couldn't help but care about Wang Chen. What she said on her lips was one thing, and what she did was another. Perhaps very early on, Wang Chen had already gone to her heart. She once couldn't find a reason to like Wang Chuan, and for that reason she was confused and depressed. And even then, she silently paid attention behind her back. And now that she had found it, she just wanted to stay by his side all the time. Chapter 208 It's an honor to want to marry you. The next day, Wang Dust had originally planned to continue taking in Xiao Xiao and the others to brush their copies, but they felt that they were delaying Wang Dust's leveling too much. Freshmen would have needed to practice well to level up and pull ahead, or else they were going to be caught up by others. Wang Chuan had brought them along for so many days. If he kept bringing them along, wouldn't Wang Chuan level up himself? It was important to realize that the monsters below level 50 provided very little experience for Wang Chuan nowadays, and the experience bar had only risen slightly over the past few days. They couldn't bear the thought of Wang Chen wasting his time to accompany them to practice leveling. So after discussing it, and Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, and Emo Liuli went to the copies outside the school to brush the monsters, while Wang Chen and Li Ening brushed the copies on their own. That's right, Li Ening has been coming every day for the past two days, and has already gotten acquainted with them. It was also very reassuring to let Li Ening and Wang Chuan go brush the copies, and Xiao Xiao's three went all the way to the replica hall and chose the level 35 replica, the forest of great apes. Right at this moment, within a certain shadowy corner, it looks like the person young master is looking for is here. A burly man licked his lips. 
Che, it's her honor that the young master can look at her. How many women rush to get into the young master's bed but don't have a chance? She dares to resist when he can have this chance? Another strong man said in a cold voice. In their tone of voice, they seemed to have already considered Li Mengmeng to be in their pocket. And Xiao Zhao's group did not notice the approaching danger in the slightest. Shu, suddenly, an ice prism cut through. The speed was so fast that one couldn't even see the residual shadow. M. O. Lioli, who was also an ice elemental profession, shuddered when she saw this ice prism. Even if it was her, she would never be able to create an ice prism with such a fast speed. Ice crystal holy shield. M. O. Lioli grabbed her right hand and a staff appeared out of thin air. An azure colored barrier instantly blocked in front of them. It was a pity that M. O. Lioli's level was simply not enough. This azure colored shield was shattered by this ice prism in an instant. It was evident that the gap in strength was huge. Fine sweat oozed from M. O. Lioli's forehead. It was good that this ice shield bought some time before they could react and dodge this attack. Who is it? M. O. Lioli looked around and didn't find anyone. The two of them, and Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng, also pulled out their staffs. Their professions were Heavenly Phoenix Magician and Holy Light Angel, and their combat power was naturally not weak. However, Wang Dust did spit on them. How could three brittle mages go down together? It was a good thing that Li Meng Meng's occupation could barely act as a support, or else something would happen to these three sooner or later. TSK TSK, there's actually an ice profession as well, but it's too weak ah, but since you dodged this attack of mine, let's play with you guys. The two strong men from earlier walked out. A powerful leveling pressure emanated from their bodies. They were both first rate top level 60 powerhouses. Introducing myself, East Sea Province, Zhang family, Zhang Tianlong, he is my younger brother, Zhang Tianhu. Zhang Tianlong said indifferently, he didn't put these three women in his eyes at all. We don't have any grudges on a regular basis. Why are we offending each other? Li Meng Meng forced down her anger and said, Just now, if it wasn't for M. O. Lioli's timely reaction, it was estimated that M. O. Lioli would have died under this blow. Why did they have to be like this? He he, if I'm not wrong, this Miss Li Meng Meng's occupation is an A rank occupation. Holy light angel, right? Count yourself lucky. Our young master has his eyes on you. Be good and come with us. If you come with us, we'll spare your friend's life. Zhang Tianlong smiled, but his tone was unquestionable. Hey, you three, sensible quickly hand over Li Meng Meng, can also spare your life, also do not go to inquire about. East China Sea Province Zhang family, look at the vast China, we are also absolutely ranked family, not to mention you a small A level occupation by my young master, even if it is the S level, but also have to give me obediently roll over. Zhang Tianhu arrogantly said, they, the sons and daughters of the family were the most arrogant on weekdays, and Xiao Xiao frowned and snapped, trying to murder someone in a copy, aren't you afraid of the law enforcement team, but who knew, the moment these words came out, Zhang Tianlong and Zhang Tianhu suddenly laughed out loud, law enforcement team, this is simply the funniest joke I've ever heard, when have I ever been afraid of the law enforcement team, not to mention the tiny law enforcement team members, even if the captain of the law enforcement team arrives in person, what can he do to me, he'd still have to give me the benefit of the doubt, who dares to stop me in this huge imperial capital? Zhang Tianhu said disdainfully. Bastard. Li Meng Meng cursed. Why did these assholes come to her awe? Don't even think about it. You can't possibly take Meng Meng away. The staff in Xiao Zhao's hand instantly bloomed with endless light. S-class occupation. Heavenly Phoenix magician. Although she had been following Wang Chen. She, however, was not weak at all. Even if her opponents were all level 60, she might not be unable to block them for a while. Ch. It's your honor that the young master can take a liking to you and wants to marry you. Although I can't injure you, there's no problem in killing all of your companions. Zhang Tianhu moved his muscles. The battle, it was imminent. Chapter 209, who dares to touch her? Phoenix blood. And Xiao Zhao's silver teeth clenched as 90% of her life value instantly emptied. Even though it was a professional who had attributes such as blood, most professionals who lost their heads would immediately die no matter how much blood was left. Like today's in Xiao Xiao. At this moment, Although she hadn't been harmed, her entire body was as if she had been seriously injured. Her face was pale and she only had less than 10% of her blood left. The current her was like a small brittle skin. She would die if she touched it. Xiao Xiao. Li Meng Meng was touched that in Xiao Xiao actually went to this extent for herself. M. O. Lioli also accelerated her own healing progress, barely pulling in Xiao Xiao to a safe bloodline of around 20%. And Xiao Xiao's face looked better after all. It was not as pale as white paper as earlier. It's fine and Xiao Xiao shook her head. Phoenix danced nine heavens. The heavenly phoenix staff and in Xiao Xiao's hand was once again powerful. In an instant, nine phoenix shadows emerged in the sky. Terrifying power streaked across the sky. 
The power of this strike was feared to exceed the full force of an unusual level 65 powerhouse, obviously, and Xiao Xiao also had the strength to cross the ranks. Not good. Zhang Tianhu was like an enemy. He actually felt the threat of death. This strike is so powerful. I'm afraid that he would die even if he received one. Zhang Tianlong's face changed again and again. These little girls actually had such power, and he was about to strike. Grade A profession. Ice Dragon Warrior. Zhang Tianlong's strength instantly exploded. He came to Zhang Tianhu's side in an instant. With the combined strength of the two of them, they still appeared to be a bit small in front of this power. Shit. There's no way out. Zhang Tianlong gritted his teeth. Luckily, before he came, the family head had given him a forbidden art scroll to prevent accidents. Forbidden technique, heavenly fire meteor. Zhang Tianlong's heart was dripping blood. This one scroll was worth hundreds of millions at the very least. And yet, it was going to be used up at this moment. A large meteorite appeared out of thin air. It collided with an Xiao Xiao's Phoenix Dance 9 Heavens. The powerful aftershocks even attracted the nearby law enforcement team. Rumble. Rumble. The earth in a circle of several miles instantly collapsed. And under this move, the slightly weaker profession's blood bars instantly emptied out, leaving them with only threads of blood. It was only professions above level 50 that could barely withstand this powerful aftershock. And Xiao Xiao's small face was pale as she looked at Zhang Tianhu and Zhang Tianlong who stood up. They were actually able to stand up. How they were the same as Xiao Chang. Forbidden scroll. How could a normal person get their hands on this thing? Even their own family probably only had one as a family heirloom. Zhang Tianlong and Zhang Tianhu knocked down blood pills, plus various props. The blood level was pulled up in a flash. At this moment, they were eyeing the three of them intently. Unfortunately for the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, they barely had any fighting power right now. Li Mengmeng gritted her teeth and stepped forward. Let them go. I'll go with you. Li Mengmeng opened her arms and stopped in front of an Xiao Xiao and Emma Liuli. Spare them? You think you have the qualifications to negotiate with us? Zhang Tianlong snorted coldly. Raising his hand, another ice prism shot out. Bone-piercing cold instantly spread all over in Xiao Xiao's body, freezing her entire body firmly. Ah! A mouthful of blood spurted out from an Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Li Mengmeng hugged the cold in Xiao Xiao, trying to give him some warmth. Who's fighting here? Right at this moment, the people from the law enforcement team walked over. It was as if Li Mengmeng saw a ray of light. But in the next second, this ray of dawn completely disappeared. East Sea Province. Zhang family, if you want to be in the company of the Zhang family, then you can try. Obviously, it was the same 60th level. But Zhang Tianlong's tone was condescending. As for the law enforcement team, once they heard that it was the Zhang family of the Eastern Sea Province, their faces were horrified. It was actually a great family of this level. The man from the law enforcement team hurriedly said, I didn't see anything, and I haven't been here before. I don't even know what's happening here. Seeing that the law enforcement team was so knowledgeable, Zhang Tianlong nodded in satisfaction. Just you or the law enforcement team. You're simply discrediting the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Team. M.O. Liuli glared angrily at the members of the law enforcement team. He he, just you guys combined are not as honorable as these two from the Zhang family. This world is that the bigger your fist is, the higher you have the right to speak. Otherwise no one cares about you even if you die. The man from the law enforcement team said in a cold voice. He had completely sided with the Zhang family. After all, the law enforcement team only received a few dollars a year. Was it necessary to make enemies with such a great family? It would be better to just pretend that they didn't know each other and hadn't seen them at all. And these people would have to die today anyway. And no one else would know about this matter. And in case they were seen by the Zhang family, that would be called flying high. Ha ha, did you hear that little girl? Zhang Tianlong laughed out loud. He raised his hand again and flung out an ice prism. Both Li Meng Meng and Mo Liuli tried to fend it off, but how fast such speed was, they couldn't react at all. Mo Liuli's ice crystal sacred shield was just like paper. It couldn't even resist for a single second. Am I going to die? And Xiao Xiao felt the coldness on her body and the ice prongs that were about to shoot. Instead, she wasn't that afraid of death, and the only thing she was afraid of was not seeing Wang Chen again. Just at this moment, a black figure flashed by and wrapped an arm around in Xiao Xiao, followed by the sound of ice hitting metal. Who dares to touch her? Chapter 210 Heavenly Phoenix Meteor Who is it? Zhang Tianhu was furious. Heavenly Phoenix Meteor. And Xiao Xiao used this moment of respite. Instead, she immediately launched an attack once again. It had to be said that the seemingly gentle woman was as perfect as she could be in the middle of a battle. The Heavenly Phoenix staff in her hand blossomed with 10,000 lights in an instant. But this was the exclusive weapon of an S-rank profession. How could it be used only as a spell casting prop? Exclusive weapon, Heavenly Phoenix Staff. Current quality, gold. Attribute bonus, intelligence plus 2000. 
Agility plus 500. Magic limit plus 20,000. Spellcasting speed plus 10%. Attachment 1, Phoenix sound. Each of your attacks will be accompanied by a Phoenix sound effect, with a probability of inflicting 300% of your spell damage to the opponent, and a probability of reducing the opponent's magic resistance by 30% for 20s. Additional feature 2, Phoenix Blood, you can sacrifice 90% of your life value to strengthen your next attack to 10 times the damage, and the sacrifice 90% of your life will be slowly recovered in the following hour. Equipment Effect, Rebirth and Fire, the first time your life value drops to 1 point, you will enter the Phoenix Egg state. The energy bar is full instantly resurrected. A limited skill. Vaguely, the hissing of a phoenix seemed to be heard. The next instant, the weather suddenly clouded over. The surrounding temperature seemed to have risen a bit as well. A sharp phoenix cry cut through the clouds. Countless meteors arrived instantly. The terrifying power was soul crushing. No one could believe that this was the strength that a level 40 professional should have. And Xiao Zhao's strength was actually not weaker than Li Yining. If we were to talk about attack power alone, it would even be quite a bit higher. The heavenly phoenix shadow was interspersed with bright meteors, carrying the intent of lightning. In just a moment, it had descended onto Zhang Tianhu's head. What a terrifying power. Zhang Tianhu's pupils shrank. However, he was a veteran who had been in the battlefield for a long time. Dealing with these student dolls was just like playing. The power of this move was there. But what about the speed? He was a B-rank profession. Ice Fist Mage. Or Ice Fist for short. Blue light flashed across Zhang Tianhu's body as his speed accelerated to the extreme. The figure moved swiftly through the Heavenly Phoenix Meteor. Even if he was occasionally brushed against and caused damage, Zhang Tianhu immediately knocked on blood pills and defended against the drops. What? And Xiao Xiao was a bit surprised. It was actually able to quickly dodge through the cluster of meteors under its own high-speed movement. This speed, it was simply terrifying. Xiao Xiao, don't forget that there's still me. Li Meng Meng raised her staff up. She could more or less count as an aid. There's still me oh. Mo Liuli also raised her staff. Her opponent's level was quite a bit higher than hers. And her strength was also very strong. But they weren't afraid in the slightest. Holy Light Shelter. Li Meng Meng instantly released the skill. Holy Light Shelter, reduces the forward swing of spellcasting, speeds up the speed of skill release, reduces CD, increases shield, returns less life and blue per second, and increases damage by 20%, a single skill that summarized almost to all the support abilities. This was the terror of the A-class profession Holy Light Angel. M.O. Lioli wasn't far behind. Ice Crystal Storm. Ice Crystal Storm, reduces the opponent's attack speed and movement speed by 50%, increase or effect cuts based on the opponent's level and continuously inflicts damage per second. Ice Crystal Storm was even a large AoE means. The strength of the three combined was by no means simple. They were more than just flower pots, perhaps compared to Wang Duan, but if they were compared to their classmates, they could be called geniuses. After Li Meng Meng and Mo Liu Li of the battlefield, the situation changed abruptly. Zhang Tianhu's speed was drastically weakened, and he was smashed by the Heavenly Phoenix Meteor quite a few times, and his head was broken and bloodied. Ah! Zhang Tianhu's forehead veins rippled. He had actually been injured by three level 40 scumbags. Ola Ola. A blue light instantly blossomed on Zhang Tianhu's body, and his ice fist was on fire. The fist hammered out at such speed that only azure-colored fist shadows could be seen slicing through the air. His speed was a full hundred punches a second. This was because he was affected by the deceleration. Otherwise it could have been even faster. The heavenly phoenix meteor crumbled under such a powerful fist. Although in Xiao Xiao was an S-ranked professional. After all. She was only level 40, and it was absolutely impossible for her to fight against a level 60 B-ranked professional. The huge gap in rank was not something that could be bridged so well. Humans weren't monsters, completely brainless. On the contrary, professionals knew how to utilize their advantages even though their attributes were far weaker than monsters. Not to mention that Zhang Tianhu was also born into a big family, and the difference between the two and the level 60 professional outside was originally a world of difference. The strike that in Xiao Xiao seized the moment to launch was once again shattered by Zhang Tianhu. Chapter 211 He actually killed a member of the enforcement team? With me here. How dare you make a move? An ice-cold voice rang out. It was none other than Wang Chen, Zhang Tianlong, Zhang Tianhu, and that law enforcement team member's hearts trembled. The voice was like a life-alerting talisman from hell, sending shivers down one's spine. A killing intent filled the depths of Zhou Chen's eyes. If it wasn't for the fact that he didn't feel comfortable with them coming out and leaving behind a backhand. Otherwise, they would have had to die here today. Wang Chen's scales were when others harmed those closest to him. Although he didn't seem to care much about them on weekdays. In his heart, he had long taken them as his own. Second only to his parents and sister. The most important people. And at this moment, someone actually hurt them? 
The person in front of him even heard in Shao Shao like this. It would never be too much for him to kill 10,000 times. It's fine. I'm not heavily injured. And Shao Shao was enjoying her close contact with Wang Chen. She laughed softly, completely ignoring her injuries. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan's eyes that looked at Zheng Tian whose trio became even colder. And Xiao Xiao's life value at the moment was no more than 10%. And if it wasn't for the holy light shelter that Li Meng Meng had left on him, he would probably have been killed a long time ago. Wang Chen handed in Xiao Xiao over to Li Meng Meng, allowing her to treat in Xiao Xiao further. Afterwards, he slowly walked towards the three people. Big brother, don't be intimidated by this kid. Even though he's bluffing with this equipment and his aura is scary, he's still just a level 55 loser after all. The two of us can still be afraid of him? Zhang Tianhu said disdainfully. In his perception, level was king. No matter how strong a level 55 was, it just wasn't possible to fight hard against a level 60. Zhang Tianlong calmed down and saw Wang Chen's rank now. He was also relieved. He thought how hard it was. As a result, just this? This amount of strength also dared to come to take revenge? Simply hilarious, right? Just now, he was scared by a 55 level kid, and I'm afraid it's a bit humiliating to say it out. Today, even if there are a thousand or ten thousand people, they will still bring back Li Meng Meng. This was the young master's order. Dragon of Ice Ribs. Zhang Tianlong took a deep breath. Countless ice ribs shot out and slowly gathered in the air. In just a moment, a tens of meters long ice colored dragon emerged. Rumble. The roar of the giant dragon ensued, charging towards Wang Chen. Wang Dust seemed to have not felt the pressure of the giant dragon in front of him, still walking at his own pace. Arrogant, Zhang Tianlong said in a cold voice. Even a strong person of the same level wouldn't dare to say that he would be able to receive this move 100%. 55 levels? Also worthy. And the next moment, Zhang Tianlong saw a scene he would never forget. Layers of airways emanated from Wang Chuan's body, actually crushing the giant dragon. It turned into countless ice crystals and scattered on the ground. What? Zhang Tianlong exclaimed in shock. This guy was actually so powerful. How was this possible? The member of the nearby law enforcement team frowned. He could care less if someone from the Zhang family killed someone. But if this person in front of him killed someone from the Zhang family, he couldn't detach himself from the responsibility. No, he had to step forward. This student, don't maliciously injure someone, or else we, the law enforcement team, will definitely hold you accountable to the end. The law enforcement team members were condescending. Four unusual people, their attitude had always been like this, usually accustomed to making use of their rights. Even level 65 powerhouses needed to grovel in front of them, not to mention the level 55 little guy in front of them. Even if he was strong, wouldn't he still have to obediently obey their law enforcement? In the huge imperial capital, excluding the three great dragon guards of the flying dragon guard, who would dare to disregard their law enforcement power? The two brothers, Zhang Tianhu, immediately gave him an appreciative gaze. The law enforcement team member's heart rejoiced. There might be a better job waiting for him now. If the Zhang family's olive branch was thrown out, it was estimated that there was no one in the entire China who wouldn't want to catch it. Law enforcement team? Wang Dust said softly. The law enforcement team was nothing. Would the Red Dragon Guards dare to talk like this in front of themselves? Knowing that, why don't you go quickly and leave this woman called Li Meng Meng behind? The law enforcement team member was still high and mighty. He seemed to think that letting Wang Chan and the three of them go was still his own favor. Ha, hey, what kind of a thing are you? Since when does a worm dare to come out and make a statement? Wang Chuan said in a cold voice. What did you say? The law enforcement team member just wanted to get angry. But in the next second, a black shadow flashed before their eyes. In an instant, it had actually arrived behind him. The law enforcement team member was like an enemy. This person actually dared to take a shot at the law enforcement team member. How dare he? But before he could react, a sandbag-sized black iron fist came crashing down towards his face. Boom! The law enforcement team member was like a gopher, sinking deep into the earth. What? Zhang Tianhu's pupils shrank. Such power, coupled with such speed, he would believe it when he said that Wang Chuan was a 70-level powerhouse. However, he wasn't worried that Wang Chuan would dare to kill the enforcement team members. Even their Zhang families only dared to threaten, not to make a move, let alone a student. But what kind of person was Wang Chen? He casually stepped down with a heavy foot. The law enforcement team members in place instantly exploded. He actually killed an enforcement team member? Chapter 212, How Dare He Lay Hands on the Zhang Family? How dare he? Zhang Tianlong looked at Wang Chen with a deadly look. Killing a law enforcement team in the imperial capital region was a capital offense. Even if the law enforcement team did wrong, an ordinary person had no right to kill. Even for him, even for the Zhang family. What on earth does he have the courage to kill a law enforcement team? Is it because the young man doesn't know how thick the sky is? 
or is it? No, he definitely did not have a thicker background. In terms of background, in the vast China, how many families would dare to compete with their Zhang family? Just as Zhang Tianlong was thinking, Wang Dust had already arrived at his side silently. You, Zhang Tianlong's words had not yet fallen. Wang Chuan lifted Zhang Tianlong's head with one hand. He was exerting a slight force. Zhang Tianlong's head was severely deformed. One had no doubt that if he used a little more force, Zhang Tianlong would instantly explode. Help! Help! Zhang Tianhu whispered. Let go of him. Zhang Tianhu let out a furious cry. The ice fist opened up and blasted towards Wang Chen's body. Unfortunately, Wang Chuan did not eat him. It was as if Zhang Tianhu was sucked in by Wang Chuan, and he rushed to Wang Chuan's hands by himself. Both of them were lifted up by Wang Chen. So, what are you doing here? Delivering heads? Zhang Tianlong lived speechless. He saw that Wang Chuan didn't even move. Zhang Tianhu drilled himself in. I bet that his fists wouldn't bend. And obviously, I was right. Zhang Tianhu said lightly. Ah, pain pain pain. The two men's foreheads were already pinched and bruised. And their skulls showed signs of shattering. ka -ching. The skull cracked. The two men immediately turned pale. And it was no exaggeration to say that their lives were only between Wang Chen's palms. Stop. 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 Three explosive shouts came one after another. At the same time, three figures came flying. And at the same time, a whip shadow attacked, hardening and snatching back Zhang Tianlong and Zhang Tianhu from Wang Chen's hands. However, this was because Wang Chuan had just slipped his hand, so he only uncovered their scalps, along with the roots of their hair, making them downright bald. Ah ah ah! The two cried out in agonizing ghosts again. Today was really an old crime, but apparently, it was saved now. He really didn't believe it. Wang Chen dared to kill one law enforcement team. Did he dare to kill two? Or even three? Who are you to dare to commit murder in the imperial capital? A member of the enforcement team said in a cold voice. Obviously, they had rushed over here after receiving the death signal from the law enforcement team member just now. As soon as they came over, they saw Wang Chen preparing to kill. Obviously, this guy was the guy who killed their colleague. Wang Chuan looked up and saw that all three guys were wearing the uniforms of the imperial capital law enforcement team. It looked as if they were in the same league as the guy just now. Ha! Huh? Law enforcement team? You guys didn't show up when my friend was threatened. What? Now that I'm going to kill them all, you guys are coming out to stop them? Wang Chen sneered. The three enforcement teams seemed as if they hadn't heard it. They assisted Zhang Tianhu Zhang Tianlong. As soon as they heard the Zhang family's name, it was as if they heard their own father. And they came to pick up the Zhang brothers without stopping. We received a report that you attempted to murder normal monster skimming professionals within a copy and were rushed by our colleagues who died heroically to save them. You have already committed the crimes of intentional murder and manslaughter. Please come with us. According to the regulations, you will be sentenced to death. The three law enforcement team members said one sentence to each other. Oh, Wang Chen's eyes were a little playful. These three fellows were indeed the same as the Zhang family. But sentencing me to death? What qualifications do they have? Not only did he kill the law enforcement team members, he even seriously injured us, as well as those companions of his. They're no good either. If not for you guys arriving in time, both of our brothers would have died long ago. Zhang Tianhu was wicked. What? This caused the face of the law enforcement team members to change even more. To actually dare to lay hands on the Zhang family. This kid didn't have a lot of guts. You no longer have any right to speak now. Quickly put down your weapon and come with us. The law enforcement team member said in a cold voice. You guys? Also worthy. Wang Chen said disdainfully. You. The enforcement team member's words had not yet fallen. He only saw his perspective rotate rapidly, and in an instant, he had already seen his own chest. What? He immediately had a bad premonition in his heart, as expected. In the next moment, he lost consciousness and his body fell to the ground. The body and head were separated. Such a horrifying strength was sweat-inducing. Even Zhang Tianhu and Zhang Tianlong were shocked at such strength. What kind of strength was this? Instantly securing three level 60 enforcement team members. Holy shit! They were just about to use their life preservation scrolls to escape. But suddenly, it only felt like the flow of time suddenly slowed down. Obviously, their consciousness is still there. But their hands, why don't they listen to me? Why can't they move? Tick tock, tick tock. The surroundings became black and white. As if the sound of a clock jumping sounded. Time stops. Wang Xuan's voice appeared in the duo's voices. His time stop could stop all time. And naturally, it could also stop their bodies. Leaving only their consciousness letting them feel the pain, but not being able to do anything about it. Wang Chen's voice at this moment was like a devil's whisper in their stern. Chapter 213 How Dare You Move My People Zhang Tianhu's pupils shrank. Obviously he couldn't move. Why could he still hear Wang Chen's voice? 
Could it be that this was Wang Chen's ability? Obviously possessing such a perverted physical strength, he actually had the power of time. What kind of profession is this? How is it unheard of? Just from this physical performance, it was at least at the level of an S-rank physical profession. And the abilities related to space and time were also at least at the level of S-rank. The combination of the two, could it be an existence above S-class? But I've never heard of an occupation above S-rank. Even the strongest human being today was only an S-class profession. Zhang Tianhu did not have time to think too much, as Wang Chen's large hand had already pinched their head again. In the next moment, time continued to flow. Let me go. Let me go. Don't kill me. Our Zhang family has money. I'll give you whatever you want. Zhang Tianhu and Zhang Tianlong finally realized at this moment that no one would come to save them and frantically begged for mercy. Although they were only dogs raised by the young master of the Zhang family, they got no shortage of resources at all, or else they wouldn't have been able to feed them to level 60. Whatever Wang Chen wanted, they could fulfill. I can fulfill whatever I want? A hint of playfulness flashed in Wang Dust's eyes. Yes, of course, I can fulfill whatever you want. As soon as he heard that there was a chance, Zhang Tianhu hurriedly begged for mercy. While saying this, he pulled out his bank card from his storage ring. Here's a hundred million dollars. Spare me. All of this is yours. Zhang Tianhu's words had not yet fallen. There was a stabbing pain in his chest. Put. Zhang Tianhu spat out a large mouthful of blood violently. You. Zhang Tianhu looked at Wang Chuan in death. He actually dared to kill the law enforcement team and the Zhang family. Who the hell is he? I want your life. Wang Chuan said indifferently. Ah. Ah ah. Brother. Zhang Tianlong saw his brother die in Wang Chen's hands. Angrily. He looked at Wang Chuan. Endless ice ribs. Zhang Tianlong shouted angrily. Suddenly. The sky was overcast and countless ice ribs appeared out of thin air. It surrounded Wang Chen to death. I want you to be buried with me. Zhang Tianlong said angrily. He had once crossed a level to kill an A-ranked professional in extreme anger. Is that so? Wang Chuan sneered. Time stood still once again. Zhang Tianlong's eyes were wide open. Only to see that Wang Dust was strolling recklessly through the air. With countless ice prongs aimed at the spearhead until he was in front of him. And Wang Chen actually started the flow of that piece of space. Forbidding only him. What kind of bizarre power was this? In the next moment, countless ice prongs slashed across his body. He couldn't move. One could only feel a piercing pain. This pain was enough to penetrate deep into the soul. Time began to flow once again. Zhang Tianlong was instantly as if he was a bloody man, filled with his own blood, with not a single intact part of his body. I will personally send your family's master to meet you. Wang Chuan sent another punch directly through Zhang Tianlong's body. The huge bloody hole made Zhang Tianlong's face hideous. The way he looked at Wang Chuan was as if he was looking at a demon. After resolving this, Wang Chuan checked in Xiao Zhao's injuries and was relieved after determining that there were no fatal wounds. Inside a certain luxurious grand villa in the imperial capital, a teenager wearing a black suit crushed the red wine glass in his hand with one hand. If Zhang Tianhu was here, he would definitely be able to recognize that this was the young master he had longed for. Zhang family, Zhang Tiancheng, East Sea Province, how dare you touch my people? Zhang Tiancheng said in a cold voice. You have to look at whose dog you're beating. His dog, you want to move it too? The teenager next to him, however, laughed out loud. What? Young master Zhang. Now the Zhang family name is so useless? The teenager next to him was none other than Su Yuan of the Su family in the Western Sea Province. The two were not far apart in terms of status. Similarly, they were one of the renowned great families in the entire China. Ch. It's just a small ascending dragon scholar. What's that? Zhang Tiancheng shook his head. Even if he killed the two Zhang Tianhu with some despicable means, it would not be a threat in his heart. The same was true for the dragon scholar of the past years. In the outside world, they were all just playthings in the palm of their hands in the eyes of these big families. He only needed to use one little finger, and it was enough to make the dragon rising scholar go up in smoke. That's true. Su Yuan was non-committal. This scumbag will wait until the freshman examination. Then I'll personally make a move to finish him off. The real threat will still have to be the genius of the Ren family. Ren Ru Xiuwei, Zhang Tiancheng said indifferently. It was as if resolving Wang Chen, the dragon rising scholar, was nothing more than a trivial matter in his eyes. Ha ha, this Rin Ru Xiuwei, her strength is indeed powerful. Compared to him, this one called Wang Duan is indeed nothing. I guess she is the only one who is worthy of being my opponent. Su Yuan picked up the conversation. Ha ha ha, the first place of the freshman examination. I'm determined to be it. This stray fish will be saved for when I want to kill him. Zhang Tiancheng laughed. In their tone, Wang Chen seemed to be just a mole cricket that they could pinch to death if they wanted to. After all, they, the young masters of these big families, had never been high and mighty, 
and apart from Rin Rushue, the top heavenly pride, they simply could not look at anyone. Chapter 214, The One Who Laughs in the End, Must Be Me. After Wang Chan sent them back to the villa, a knock on the door followed. Open the door. Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau. A neutral voice rang out. The person who came was none other than the director of the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau, who was a person of extremely high status in the Imperial Capital. The power of law enforcement was even greater than first class. If the Flying Dragon Guards and Red Dragon Guards were not out, then he was the absolute number one. Whom? Wang Chuan had expected that someone would come. He had killed two people from the Zhang family and four people from the law enforcement team at a high and low level. It would be strange if they didn't come looking for him. But these human scum, killing them was just as good as killing them. Who would dare to punish himself? As far as he knows, as far as he knew, people with great strength had a privilege. The so-called proof of killing. As long as it was proved that the other party did have something that hurt him, then he could kill the other party. After all, this was a world where strength was honored. If there was a weak mole cricket that kept clamoring, and that mole cricket was not a good thing, so what if he just exterminated it with his hands? Even if he had a strong background and was powerful he still had no qualifications to be reckless around himself, not to mention injuring the people around him. Come with us, Lu Tianqi, the director of the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau, said indifferently. His 79 level ranked pressure was revealed without moving. Hoof. Wang Chen snorted coldly and directly shattered this pressure. I will go with you, but no one can coerce me to go. Wang Chen was not humble. The calmness in his demeanor shocked Lu Tianqi. Worthy of being a dragon rising scholar, he actually had such vigor. Unfortunately, who made you offend the Zhang family? The strength of the Zhang family could even reach out directly from the eastern sea province to the imperial capital, and even he needed to help them out. Perhaps only those three major law enforcement teams with supreme power are able to ignore them. But those three major law enforcement team you deserve to know? Ordinary people can't contact them even in their lifetime. Even he is still like this. Not to mention a small dragon scholar. Looking at the huge China, the dragon scholar is indeed very powerful. But in front of these behemoths with strong heritage and strength, it really is not even a fart. Not bad. I hope you can still laugh in the face of the Zhang family's pressure. Lu Tanchi looked straight at Wang Chen. I don't know about anything else, but the one who can laugh until the end will definitely be me. Wang Dust had a bland face. Wang Dust, the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, looked at Wang Dust with a worried face. Don't worry, make dinner and wait for me to come back. Wang Chuan cast a reassuring look. The look seemed to have some sort of magical power, and the three of them were instantly relieved. Wang Chen turned his head and got into Lu Tanchi's special car. It drove towards the headquarters of the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau. Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau. Wang Chuan just got off the car. He found that there was another teenager with an arrogant and unruly attitude, who was cursing as he walked in. The surrounding law enforcement team members still had to smile and invite him in. There was a world of difference between his attitude and the slightly tougher Lu Tanchi. This is your law enforcement bureau? In my opinion, it's no different from those dogs. All of them like to wag their tails towards their masters. Wang Chan snorted. Lu Tanchi blushed a little, but did not reply to Wang Chen's words. Indeed, his rank might be much higher than Zhang Tiancheng, but if he really offended this young master to death, it was estimated that he would be removed from his position the next day. The name of the director of the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau sounded honorable, but in reality, the power was not that great. That was why he didn't dare and kept cowering. Right at this moment, Zhang Tiancheng cast a glance towards Wang Chen's side. Oh, isn't this the Honorable Lord Dragon Rising Scholar? Ha ha ha, Lu Tianchi. Who gave you the guts to grab the dragon ascending scholar? He dares to kill the law enforcement team ah. Aren't you afraid of being killed by him? Zhang Tianchang laughed out loud. He madly provoked everyone. But he was emboldened. With his status, as long as he didn't involve those top few existences, even if he turned the world upside down, who would dare to touch him? Oh, Wang Dust slightly opened his eyes. If this mole was still clamoring, he didn't mind killing him now. Seeing that the aura on the field was tense, Lu Tianchi stepped forward. You are still a prisoner now, be honest, Lu Tianchi coldly said, he wasn't a vegetarian either, Hoof. Zhang Tiancheng snorted coldly, he walked towards the inside with big strides, as if treating this place as his own home, with his family's strength, he would casually fish himself out, there was no fear at all, even if he investigated himself, what could he investigate, although he has done a lot of bad things, but there are people to wipe their own ass off, in East China Sea province, he is completely horizontal, once he ate beef noodles and asked the boss not to add chopped scallions, he even made a bet with his friend that the boss would definitely add it. As a result, the boss really did not add. He backhanded the boss killed, leaving I do not eat beef. 
he's so wild in East China Sea. No one dares to care about him. The two men walked into the courtroom one after the other, said to be the trial room, but somewhat similar to the VIP reception room. It was thought that this Lu Tianqi was afraid of retaliation and did not dare to blatantly pull Zheng Tiancheng into the courtroom. Wang Dust's perception of the director of the law enforcement bureau once again dropped. Chapter 215, sorry, you can't leave. The inside of the judgment room was not empty. There were still a few people sitting there, looking at Wang Chen and Zheng Tiancheng with a serious face. Lu Tianqi straightened his expression and told them to hurry up and take their seats. Deputy Director Wan Gaoi beside Wang Chen whispered, I know you, scholar of the ascending dragon Wang Chen. I've heard of your story, and honestly, I admire a genius like you, a person who fought his way from a small place like Luo Hai City to the imperial capital. Wang Dust was a bit surprised, to actually know that much? Wan Gaoi said in a serious tone, but after all, you are just a genius, not a genius who has already become a strong person. Before your talent is transformed into strength, you still need to keep a low profile and bide your time. You should lower your head first. The other party's background is too big. Unusual people simply can't afford to mess with them. You have to know. Like the past ascending dragon scholar those heavenly prides, they are by no means invincible in the imperial capital university either. The truly powerful sons and daughters of the great families never go to the college entrance exam. And just these heavenly prides who went through the scuffling selection are just jokes in people's eyes. It's simply impossible to be their opponents. If you fight with them now, the one who suffers will only be you. If you lose your life as well, that would be the real loss. Listen to me. Bow your head and admit your mistake. And then take revenge later when you are truly powerful. Wang Gaoi finished his words. Wang Chen's evaluation of him was a few points higher. It seemed that the Imperial Law Enforcement Bureau was not all people like Lu Tianqi who would only be dogs. However, Deputy Director, they have a hard background, and I am not afraid of them. Wang Chen said indifferently. Wang Gaoyi was a little heartbroken. Could it be that another genius was going to die at the hands of these great families? His heart ached. The fact that these dragon rising scholars were inferior to the children of these great families was by no means a matter of talent. The problem lies in the word resources. For those with ordinary backgrounds, the highest achievement they could achieve in their entire lives was that of a dragon ascending scholar. And these big families, the starting point is the level of the dragon ascending scholar. It is not a great at all. If the Ascending Dragon Scholar was given the same resource background as them, it might not necessarily be weaker than them. Everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Lu Tianqi swept a glance. Aha. Wang Dust nodded. With a casual posture, he sat on the side, not putting this trial in the slightest bit in his eyes. East Sea Province. Zhang family. Who grabbed my precious son again? The Zhang family had had an angry look on his face. Each and every one of them dared to grab his son? This was already more than 400 times this year really ungrateful. It wasn't just killing a few people. Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau, Lu Tanchi, the secretary at the side reported. Lu Tanchi? I think he's senile. Call the Imperial Capital to put pressure on him, limit him to release my son within 10 minutes, or else he won't be able to do his job as the head of the law enforcement bureau. The Zhang family head said angrily. Yes, Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau. Lu Tanchi was just about to speak. The phone suddenly rang. Lu Tanchi sighed. So soon, he picked up the phone with a grave expression on his face. Lu Tianqi, you're not small in guts, daring to arrest my son. I think you're senile. Release my son within 10 minutes. The Zhang family had split his head and cursed angrily. There was no mercy left for Lu Tianqi at all. Lu Tianqi's face was gloomy. He was also a law enforcement bureau director at a high and low level. To treat him like this, Lu Tianqi gritted his teeth. Release it. Release? Wang Gaoi froze. He had thought of releasing it soon. But you've only just been scolded and you're just going to release your human son so simply? He attempted to kidnap a student. Suspected of kidnapping? Instructed to kill. Suspected of murder. Plus threatened you. Committed so many crimes. And you didn't even ask more questions. And just let him go? Lu Tianqi's lower limit once again broke Wan Gaoyi's cognition. But what can I do? Lu Tianqi interrupted. What could he do? He couldn't do anything. In order to achieve this position, he didn't dare offend anyone. Alas. Wang Gaoyi sighed deeply. In the imperial capital where per capita positions were high and powerful, their little law enforcement bureau was perhaps always so humble. Sparring with me, Zhang Tianchang, do you have the strength? Zhang Tianchang looked at Wang Chen proudly. His face was full of dejection. This was an era of looking at backgrounds, and coincidentally, he, Zhang Tianchang, just happened to have it. Ha ha ha, by the way, I just remembered that you also killed a few law enforcement teams, although you were all in self-defense. Squatting here for a few days is inevitable. TSK, coincidentally, 
I just happened to want to get married in the past two days. That Li Meng Meng. I'll pull him in as my 1002 concubines. Ha 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 ha. What do you say? Ascending dragon scholar? In the last few words, Zhang Tianchang bit down hard. It seemed that he was certain that Wang Chuan would not dare to make a move. Wang Dust coldly looked at Zhang Tianchang. This person already had a way of taking death. When he got out of the bureau, he had to be killed. Even if this law enforcement bureau did not give him out, the big deal was to fight his way out. Just as Zhang Tianchang was strutting around trying to walk out, Lu Tianchi received another call. Sorry, you can't leave. Subsequently, Lu Tianchi's eyes turned 180 degrees when he looked at Wang Chen. What did you say? Zhang Tianchang's face changed drastically. Chapter 216, Kill Old Me If You Have The Guts. Humph, and you're asking me why? Lu Tianchi snorted coldly. He had long looked at this Tianchang with displeasure. Pull him down and give him a hundred lashes. Lu Tianchi threw his token to the ground and shouted. Ha! Huh? Wan Gaoyi's head was full of questions. You're so fucking twitchy. Where did you get a plate for you to beat here? But looking at Lu Tianchi's springy expression, he was too embarrassed to point him out. Surname Lu. You dare. Zhang Tianchang said in a cold voice. He was somewhat uncertain by this sudden turn of events. He also didn't care about saving Lu Tianchi's face. Guess if I dare. Lao Wan. Drag him down. Lu Tianchi said sternly. Time went back to before Lu Tianchi answered the phone. Lu Tianchi looked at the phone ringing in his hand and just wanted to hang up. But when he saw the number on it, the tiger's body shook. It was clearly written on it. Red Dragon Guards. Ba Yong. Ba Yong who is the commander of the Red Dragon Guards. There is nothing in the whole of China that he doesn't dare to interfere with. As long as he enforces the law, the King of Heaven will have to be slapped twice before leaving. In his life, a man of his caliber, let alone contacting Bayong, would not even come into contact with the Red Dragon Guards. Even the Red Dragon Guards would have to be lucky to get in touch with him. Even if he had their number in his hand, he wouldn't be qualified to dial it. Absolutely not. From this, it can be seen that the status of the Red Dragon Guards is very high. Lu Tianchi tremblingly pressed the answer button. This was perhaps the first and last time in his life that he would call his leader an idol. Wang Chen, I'll bail. Bai Yang's tone was bland, as if he didn't take the tiny Zhang family seriously at all. It was just such a simple sentence. Yet, it made people's blood boil. It was such a big shot that actually stepped in to protect Wang Chen. Unexpectedly, Wang Chen actually knew the Red Dragon Guard commander. In that case, it seemed that what he had done before was simply looking for death. Yes, Lu Tianchi loudly agreed. Otherwise, Lu Tianchi wouldn't dare to treat Zhang Tiancheng like this even if he borrowed a hundred guts. Inside a certain conference room in the imperial capital, after Ba Yong hung up the phone, he took a look at Wang Chen's performance in the copy and laughed out loud. I, Ba Yong, really haven't misjudged anyone. This kid, he has guts. The surrounding people also praised. If Lu Tianchi was here he would definitely realize that he couldn't afford to offend every single person here. The status was even more exalted than that of the Zhang family head. Afterwards, Ba Yang's expression became serious again. He said in a deep voice, We have been running to the battlefield before, resulting in pandemonium within the law enforcement bureau. And the huge law enforcement bureau actually doesn't dare to take care of a Zhang family brat who was far away from the eastern sea province. The previous several dragon rising scholars were even killed by many of these great families. From today onwards, it's going to be fixed. When these words came out, the people present agreed. After all, when Ba Yang spoke, they had to agree even if they agreed. And they had to agree even if they didn't. They had navigated through it. So they obediently listened. Long de long air. In. You guys gather the red dragon guards. Make sure to protect Wang Dust. And if necessary, kill someone. Yes. When these words came out, the crowd present was shocked. Although the Red Dragon Guards had the right to first kill, but you're directly asking the Red Dragon Guards to serve as personal bodyguards for a Dragon Ascending Scholar. And you're also asking them to be able to take action at the moment of necessity. A mere Dragon Scholar. Not so much. But Bai Yang's next words left them even more dumbfounded. In addition, Long San, you send people to purge the Zhang family. If you are not honest again recently you will directly take action. There is no need to report with me. Yes, a few strong orders came out. Everyone present knew. The Red Dragon Guards had come out. The whole of Huaxia was about to change. Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau. Zhang Tianchang was dragged over like a dead dog. The way he looked at Wang Chuan was like looking at his father's murderer. Wang Chuan had a bland face since the beginning. Lu Tianchi was shocked by Wang Chen's bland behavior. Could it be that he had known that someone would come to get him out? Then wasn't his behavior from the beginning to the end like that of a jumping clown? Wang Chen, kill me if you have the guts, or I'll fucking kill you. Zhang Tiancheng howled like a mad dog. In terms of his own strength, 
I'm afraid that ten Wang Dusts were no match for one Zhang Tiancheng. Just you. Are you worthy? Wang Chuan said disdainfully. He had never put a mad dog in his eyes. Ah ah ah. I, Zhang Tiancheng, even if I have a single breath left, I swear to be Wang Chen's enemy. In the freshman examination a month from now, I will break you into pieces. Zhang Tiancheng hissed. Wang Chen didn't even pay attention to him. If this place wasn't the Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau, he would have directly killed him. A month later? It wasn't too late. There were plenty of people he had to kill by then. It was just that this Zhang Tiancheng counted as an old man, and had to be moved back a bit. I can go now, right? Zhang Tiancheng said in a cold voice. If he wasn't allowed to leave again, he would really get angry. Lu Tianqi snorted coldly. The Zhang family's hands and feet are really clean in these matters, and the monitoring of certain important images were also cut off without God realizing it. Want to be convicted? It was almost impossible. There's no rush. I haven't checked yet. In a couple days, Lu Tianqi faintly said. Although he couldn't squat in jail, there was still no problem in locking him up for a few days. Chapter 217, This guy, his mouth is too big for his body ah. The moment they saw Wang Chen walk out of the door of the law enforcement bureau, many people who were thinking of watching Wang Chen's jokes were shocked. This guy actually managed to come out? How is this possible? Even Li Ening, who had sneaked over thinking of fishing Wang Chen out, was trembling. She didn't expect Wang Chen to be able to come out so quickly. What kind of background did this have? No one was more aware of the gold content of the Zhang family in the East China Sea than she was, and an ordinary person who wanted to lose and crash into it would die for sure, and even if they weren't sentenced to a death sentence, they wouldn't want to be released in this lifetime. This is the horror of the Zhang family. The black and white is turned upside down, right and wrong, dirty tricks, all sorts of things. Li Ening was shocked. As far as she knew, Wang Chen's identity was very ordinary, and she couldn't understand for the life of her why he was able to be released. At the same time, East Sea Province, Zhang family. The Zhang family's head was filled with anger as he slammed the red wine glass. The glass shards pierced into the top of the subordinate's body, while the subordinate could only endure the pain. This Imperial Capital Law Enforcement Bureau has turned over the heavens? It actually dared to take action against my son and let this little dragon scholar leave? I think this law enforcement bureau chief is senile. The Zhang family head said angrily, prepare a plane, I'm heading to the Imperial Capital today. The Zhang family head's words had just fallen. Suddenly, he felt a burst of dark clouds. In the sky, there was a giant dragon roaring vaguely. He had some bad premonitions in his heart. As expected, Zhang family head, where are you going? Under investigation, Long San flung a token in front of the Zhang family head. The Zhang family head hurriedly picked it up. Red, red dragon guard. The Zhang family head was shocked. What qualifications did this little thing, Wang Chen, have to invite the red dragon guards to come out? Even if he had a thousand grievances within him, he could only raise his hands at this moment. If he disobeyed the orders of the Red Dragon Guard, there would only be death. Even if he could kill Long San, then he will only meet the wrath of Bai Yong. When the Red Dragon is angry, blood flows for miles. No one can resist the might of the Red Dragon Guards. And even more so, no one can disobey their search warrant. This is the most special existence in all of China. Red Dragon Guards, even if he was the head of the Zheng family, an existence that traversed the Eastern Sea Province. He had no right to refute half a sentence at this moment. Otherwise, if Long San killed him, not only would Long San not suffer any punishment, he would instead receive a commendation. Cold sweat oozed out from the Zhang family head's forehead. He could only curse Wang Duan's birth in his heart. Inside a certain luxurious villa in the imperial capital, Su Yuan of the Western Sea Province. What? Wang Chen was actually acquitted and Zhang Tiancheng was arrested. Su Yuan was shocked. The first time he saw this news he thought it was fake news. After all, a poor boy. Even if he was lucky enough to obtain the identity of a dragon rising scholar, he was far inferior to Zhang Tiancheng in terms of both background and strength. But now he was actually told. Zhang Tiancheng had been arrested? How was this possible? Even if the reality was before his eyes, he couldn't believe it. What kind of background was it that actually dared to snatch someone from under the hands of the Zhang family in the East Sea? Wasn't he afraid of the Zhang family's retaliation? I'm afraid that the anger of the entire Zhang family would be too much for even their West Sisu family to resist. Not to mention a small ascending dragon scholar. Imperial University Villa No. 3. The owners of this place are the foreigners from before. The blonde teenager Yorick. The young girl Park Tani from Taiji country. And the blonde girl Caitlin. Originally, with their strength it was enough for one person to have a villa. But the villa here was so big that it would not be an exaggeration to say it was a manor. So on weekdays, they also took this villa for meetings to discuss how to upgrade. Fark, this damn law enforcement bureau isn't much use. 
People can walk out of it intact even after killing someone, Yorick said indignantly. He couldn't wait for Wang Chen to die in prison. If they were pretty country, he would have already emptied his magazines. Humph. Indeed. Park Tani frowned. Their pretty country also strictly forbade this kind of thing. It must be the damn Wang Chen who used some background. Damn it. When the real fight comes, I don't care about your background. When the time comes, I'll let you in your damn background. Go see God together. You're accursed. Caitlin on the side was not concerned about anything and played with her cell phone on the side. None of these teammates were any good either. She was too lazy to bother. Villa 1. Wang Dust had just arrived home. And Xiao Xiao had already prepared a table of dishes. I told you. Come back for dinner tonight. Wang Dust said indifferently. The four girls were all excited to see Wang Chuan return. And Xiao Xiao could no longer control it and her bean-sized eyes fell. If it wasn't for Wang Chuan, he would have died long ago. And before she could properly thank him, Wang Chuan was captured. She was worried that Wang Chen wouldn't be able to come back. Now that he could come back, of course it was the best. Just as a few people sat down to eat, there was another knock on the door. It was certainly Li Ening, who seemed to have a locator installed on her body and ran to knock on the door every time it was mealtime. It was a habit for the past two days. Come eat something together. And Xiao Xiao invited. Humph, please. Li Ening still wanted to maintain her former high cooled appearance. Just for the sake of dabbling, it was more or less taut. It caused the crowd to burst into laughter. Wang Chen turned his head to look at Li Ening. With his perception, how could he not sense that Li Ening had been following? This guy, his mouth is too big for his body ah. Chapter 218 Those who want to quick can now raise their hands. Time passed, and in the blink of an eye, the day of the freshman examination arrived. Freshman examination. It's finally here. Wang Dust said indifferently. These days, he had been brushing materials and basically filled up the super god armament with what he could currently upgrade. The strength had even made great strides. This day, he had waited for a long time. Originally, the school administration had told him that he would be able to enter the ancient giant forest just after enrollment. But it turned out that it had been delayed until after the freshman examination for some unknown reason. As long as the freshman examination was over, he would be able to enter the ancient forest and get the life origin. At that time, his parents would awaken and his sister's legs would be able to regain consciousness and become a normal person. For this day, he had prepared a lot and waited for too long and too long. There was no room for failure. Wang Chuan, don't underestimate me. I'm the one who will take the first place in the freshman examination. Li Ening said in a high and cold voice. Wang Chuan selectively ignored her. He was used to it. This guy was a douchebag and quite high strung once she was outside. Poof. Seeing Wang Chuan ignoring her, she grunted and forced herself to act high and cold. In order to deal with Wang Chen, she had prepared quite a lot. If it was a ring match like in the past, she had 90% certainty of taking down Wang Chen. As for Yorick, who was sitting in the distance, his eyes were cold as he looked at Wang Chen. The humiliation I suffered in the past, I will get all of it back today. A mere dragon rising scholar, don't take yourself too seriously ah asshole, Yorick said in a deep voice. Finally, he waited for the freshman examination. As an examination with a death standard. Even if he got Wang Chen killed, he didn't have to take any responsibility. What's more, it was possible to kill Wang Chuan in front of everyone, let him lose face and be abused to death by himself. Just thinking about it, it was all very exciting. Caitlin put down her cell phone. She took a deep look at Wang Chen. In China, the only one she found somewhat interesting was Wang Duan. Let's hope that this guy can bring a challenge to him. For her who possessed the inheritance of an ancient god, being too invincible was also a kind of loneliness. Since her birth, she had never met an enemy at the same age. No one would be a match for her. In pretty country, Caitlin represented invincibility. Otherwise, pretty country wouldn't have been so relieved to send its first genius to China. Apart from the huge amount of resources, more than anything else, it was Caitlin's strong ability to defend herself. She had the power to defend herself against anyone below the 80th level. Zhang Tianchang was bruised and swollen, obviously just released from the law enforcement bureau and ran to take the exam which also showed how heavy Lu Tianchi's revenge mentality was. Zhang Tianchang looked at Wang Chen with a spiteful face. Scumbag, I will personally crush you to death. Let's show you how terrifying my strength really is. Zhang Tianchang's expression was maniacal, itching to crush Wang Chuan into pieces right now. As for Rin Rushue at this moment, her eyes were burning towards wine dust. The woman's eyes were like poisonous scorpions. He he, this is the former dragon rising scholar? The frame is weak. Ron Rushue disdainfully said. A mere ascending dragon scholar. She didn't care to fight for it. If she did, who could snatch it from her? She needed to get Wang Chen killed this time. Imperial University Square. Yang Tianqin slowly arrived amidst the crowd's anticipation. 
As I said before, I'm a person who doesn't like to engage in formalism, so I'll directly step into the main topic. I'm sure everyone knows that in the past, all of the freshman examinations of Imperial Capital University were held in a 1v1 ring match format, but this year, it's cancelled. The moment Yang Tianxin said this, the entire room boiled. What? Cancel the ring match? Why is this? Isn't this the most tested way to test one's strength? Right my ass. If there's no ring match, then what kind of freshman examination are we holding? That's right. We're still looking forward to the battle of the Dragon Rising Scholar. Damn it. Can't watch the foreign exchange students fight. That one called Yorick is so handsome. Why don't you show us? Gas shaking cold. Everyone was talking. They didn't understand why on earth the principal cancelled the ring match. Even Wang Duan Li Ening and the others were a bit surprised. Cancelling the ring match? Unheard of. Why? Why? So that not can't personally crush the scumbag. Zhang Tianchang's nail sunk into his flesh. He was ruthless. Why? Why? The chance to kill this scumbag with his own hands was gone. Ron Rushua also frowned slightly. Killing Wang Dust wasn't a difficult task for her. But this ring was considered the best way. It would naturally be best if she could kill it here. Except for the freshman examination. It would be quite a bit harder to kill. No matter how strong the Rin family was, they definitely did not have the qualifications to kill people at the Imperial Capital University. Don't look at the strength of the Vice Chancellor of Imperial Capital University at first glance, but the true depth of this university was only known to them, the children of the big families. Don't be in a hurry. Students, the ring match is cancelled and replaced with the fight for the heart of the territory. Yang Tianxin's words left the crowd confused. What was the meaning of this? Was there anything else to say about this scrambling thing? Yang Tianxin's next words, however, made the crowd understand. This time, the location of your freshman examination is in a place where foreign races gather. This place can be different from a copy. Wanting to quit is not that easy. The risk is extremely high. Those who want to quit can raise their hands now. Chapter 219 These guys, they deserve it? For a long time, there were no hands raised below despite the chattering. Yang Tianxi nodded in satisfaction. This term was very bold. The previous terms even the ring match had people backing out. Entering a foreign race could be much more risky than a ring match. Since no one has withdrawn, you can't withdraw after that. Yang Tianxin said in a deep voice. The rule of our freshman examination this time is to enter the foreign race's territory to seize their territory's heart. And the heart of the territory, as the name suggests, is to have this to open up a territory here. It's a cherished qi practicing material. And one of the signs that you've destroyed a foreign race's lair is that you've seized the local territory's heart. When it comes down to it, it's a sign of how many foreign races you've killed. And all the foreign races you kill become your points. It's determined based on how many territorial hearts you have. And it's also one of the standards for measuring your freshman assessment results. Yang Tianxin said indifferently. By the time he explained, the arena was boiling over. What? It was actually possible to enter a foreign race to plunder the heart of the territory. One must know that an ordinary Imperial Capital University student who wanted to enter a foreign race would have to wait until their sophomore year at the very least. Now they could actually enter in their freshman year. Entering a foreign tribe's land, although there are dangers. But everyone knows that. Danger and opportunity go hand in hand. The chances of the Fey lands could be far more than the human lands. Going to the land of the foreign races once is definitely an opportunity that ordinary people can't seek. Of course, there were also many risks here. Unlike the monsters and the duplicates, the Fey had no intelligence. On the contrary, most of them had an IQ comparable to that of humans, and even had a physique comparable to that of monsters. It was simply an amalgamated version of the two, and among the foreigners, they are very hostile to humans. The danger to them cannot be said to be great. Damn, the school is playing too big this time. It's okay, either we become the rations of the alien race, or we feed the alien race a little more. You're saying the same thing you didn't say, asshole. Going to the foreigners to rob things, this is too damn exciting. Don't dare to think about it. Apart from them, Zhang Tiancheng revealed a look of madness. Wang Chuan a Wang Chuan, I thought I didn't have a chance to kill you, but now I realize that this is a heavenly opportunity. Ha 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 ha. When we reach the foreigner point territory, with the cards in my hand, 10, 0, 0, 0 of you probably won't be enough for me to kill. A mole is a mole. Be a good boy and die. Zhang Tiancheng laughed maniacally. Young Master Zhang, are you stupid? Su Yuan on the side was a bit disgusted. This guy was as crazy as he was ever since he came back from the enforcement bureau. There was no telling what kind of torture he had suffered. Run Rushua coldly looked at Wang Chen. In the past, the revenge of you destroying my Luo Hiren family. I will avenge it today. A mere mole cricket. I will make you beg for your life and beg for your death. After entering the foreign race's territory, I will make you regret coming to this world. 
I'll let you know that it's your honor to offer your heart to our Rin family. Run Rushue hated Wang Chen to the bone. Killing the Luo Hai Rin family was secondary. The main thing was stealing her thunder. He he, Chinese ascending dragon scholar. I thought that your principal was helping you, but I didn't realize that this is pushing you to the brink of extinction. Yorick laughed evilly. There's an old Chinese saying that wind and water rotate. This year it's my house. I'm not kidding you. Park Tani was full of killing intent. The two of them rushed at Wang Chen with murderous intent. Caitlin frowned slightly. She truly looked down on these two companions. No, it couldn't really be considered companions. Wang Dust felt the killing intent and smiled contemptuously. These guys, they deserve it too? Borderland, the extreme north. Ha ha ha, this policy looks good to me. Every session in the future, Bayong said with satisfaction. Bureau chief, would this be a bit too risky? You know these are all students. A bunch of strong people on the foreigner side. Although the humans and the foreigners have reached an agreement that strong people at level 80 are not allowed to deal with juniors, but letting those freshman students at level 30 or 40 deal with foreigner strong people at level 50 or 60 is too brutal, isn't it? The minister of education frowned. Are you dissatisfied with me? Bayong's voice went cold. I don't dare. It's just that I have to be responsible for my students. I think you're just senile. It seems like you'll have to be replaced as the minister of education. Look at what kind of policies you ordered before. A bunch of fucking hothouse flowers can't go to the battlefield to fight. Each and every one of them has graduated from their senior year of college. And they haven't killed a few foreigners, so they've gone to brush the copies, which are the same as the foreigners. Bayon pointed at him and cursed angrily. The first stop of this rectification is education. He has the nerve to lick his face and say he's responsible for the students. Is he worthy of that? The minister of education was silenced by Bayon's verbal spray. Perhaps he, as a member of the Eagle faction, was also a bit rotten at the moment. The situation of the human race, it's not that optimistic. Open your eyes and see, how do you have the face to educate like this? Bayon angrily rebuked. Of course, there was also a small aspect of his move that was to make Wang Chen not worry too much about killing his enemies. He was aware of Wang Chen's strength. Killing so many geniuses externally would always have some negative impact. In the foreign territory there were not so many worries. Otherwise, this model wouldn't have been implemented so quickly. Chapter 220, You Have a New Skill? Brother Dust? A calling voice behind him caused Wang Dust to be a little surprised. Looking back, it was none other than Lu Chang. Brother Dust, long time no see. Lu Chang smiled. He shook the fat on his body and looked at Wang Dust with great excitement. It had been a long time since they had seen each other. Ever since they entered the imperial capital, Wang Dust was either inside the copy or on his way to the copy, so they couldn't see each other once at all. As for Lu Chang, he was in the Auxiliary Academy. And usually, the school would organize others to take auxiliary characters to level up. The two could be said to be completely out of touch with each other in their daily lives at the Imperial Capital University. Lu Chang? Wang Dust was also slightly excited. It had been a long time since I had seen this kid. It was as if he had evaporated from the earth. Brother Dust, I've been in the auxiliary academy lately. A teacher has taken a liking to me. I'm a full 40th level now. Lu Chang was a bit smug. Eh? Wang Chen pondered for a moment. It didn't feel in the slightest why this ability of his would be looked at by a teacher. Could it be? A certain male teacher had some dysfunctions in certain functions and needed Lu Chang to give him some skills to make him come alive every night? Hiss. That's quite possible haha. <laughs> he he he. Lu Chang noticed Wang Chen's gaze and scratched his head in some embarrassment. Afterward, Wang Dust turned his gaze to an Xiao Xiao and the girls. Long time no see. Sister-in-laws. Lu Chang spoke out of turn and greeted them. Wang Chen froze. This brat and Xiao Xiao blushed and stepped her head behind Wang Duan, after arranging for Lu Chang to sit down. The few people listened intently to Yang Tianxin's speech, and the place you are going to this time is the land of chaos. Here, there is no order, and the power of strength is king. These words were like a heavy bomb. As a foreign race, it was naturally impossible to have only one gathering place, and the land of chaos. It might not be the strongest one, but it was definitely the most chaotic one. There was no order there. All there was was killing and looting. Here, the survival rate of these freshmen might not even reach 70%, not even 50%. In the history of all the schools, this is considered to be a great damage. The freshman examination. Who the hell made this decision? This is to let them all die. The strongest of their group of freshmen was estimated to be Wang Chen's level 55. The other freshmen were probably no higher than level 45. Inside the land of chaos, there may even be 70 or even 79 levels of power. That's not the point. The point is that these powerhouses have no humanity at all. Not to mention humans, even their own kind can't escape their clutches. The risk was simply disproportionate to the scarce resources in it. Land of chaos? 
Wang Dust was a little surprised as to why the freshman examination of the Imperial Capital University would be placed here. Yes brother Dust, I'm also curious. I heard my teacher mention it yesterday and I didn't believe it. Lu Chang was shocked. In the past, even if the freshman assessment was not a ring match, it was only those copies that did not have a very high mortality rate. The risk was low. The winner could obtain better resources, and the loser could regroup. There was no need to even think about the risk of losing one's life. It's strange. It seemed like a different person had come up with the title. Brother Dust, I remember that you seem to have taken a spot in the state-owned secret realm, the ancient giant forest. Before, Lu Chang asked. Wang Dust was a bit surprised. This guy knew about this too? He had never mentioned it. My teacher told me that the quota for the secret realm is very rare. Even if it's the students of the Imperial University capital, only those few veteran students can enter, and they are even more unable to bring out resources, and can only be used as a trial place to test their strength. And this examination, moreover, has a purpose, that is to target Brother Dust you. Targeting me? Wang Dust frowned slightly. Yes Brother Dust, the school side seems to be testing whether you have this qualification or not. After all, for the sake of Brother Dust's then this quota, it seems that they have offended the family whose quota was squeezed by you to death. Similarly, if the freshmen who can beat you in this freshman examination, they are just as qualified to enter this ancient giant forest. This is also a test from the school for you to enter the ancient giant forest. Lu Chang slowly said. Wang Chen nodded. He had said that the school could not have given him the quota so easily, but it didn't matter. But whether it was one or two, or as many as he wanted, he accepted it as it was. Whoever it was, there was no harm in stopping him from going to wake his parents up. Ro Ah Yu, know that much now? Wang Dust was somewhat impressed with Lu Chang. He he he, brother Dust taught me well. Lu Chang said modestly. Wang Dust nodded. All of this did not matter. It didn't have the slightest effect on him, and in this side of space, it was far easier for him to kill people than in the ring. Brother Dust, let's team up together and show you my new skills. Oh, you have new skills? It's not going to be some weird skill again. Of course not. Chapter 221 Holy shit really? By the way brother Dust, I heard that there are a few people who already have some challenging intentions towards you. Which ones? Hearing that there are people who want to deal with themselves. Wang Dust is not surprised in the slightest. Right now when he goes out of the door even the dogs on the road are going to howl at him twice. As far as I know, the most reflective of the strength of the Imperial Capital University is the villa in which it resides. Now living in the fourth villa of the Chinese sword saint's son, Li Tian Gang. The strength is extremely terrible, is said to have received the Sword Saint's personal transmission, although it is located in the fourth villa, but it's horrible strength, I'm afraid that the third villa that a few foreigners have to sweat, the gold content of these four words, Chinese Sword Saint, is horrifying, Lu Chang danced with his hands, indeed, those who could be called the Sword Saint of Huaxia were at the Xinguo level even if their strength was low, a conservative estimate would also be a level higher than those governors, in the eyes of ordinary people, 80 levels, was already considered the top of the sky, with almost no one being able to exceed it, and the Chinese sword saint, must be in this 80 level above the strongest among the ranks, to be able to obtain his personal transmission, coupled with his air, the terror of the strength was evident, Wang Chen shook his head, this was a name that had never been heard of, however, he hadn't seen this guy on the list of high school entrance exams, now, it seemed that those big families should have their own set of assessment methods, otherwise, when he was in the law enforcement bureau, Zhang Tiancheng wouldn't have said that a mere Dragon Rising Scholar was nothing, if he was not wrong, the so-called Dragon Rising Scholar should be a target for the human race to push to the foreign races, otherwise, so many geniuses wouldn't boast about their strength far exceeding that of a Dragon Ascending Scholar, Che, it seems that he, the Ascending Dragon Scholar, is really a position that dogs don't even want, secondly, there's also the son of the most terrifying fighter in Huaxia who has also come, claiming to be invincible in flesh, his name is Yang Wuli, he resides in Villa 5, and his battle strength is even more terrifying, don't look at him, he's only at level 45, but once he fought a level 60 powerhouse and retreated in one piece, then, Lu Chang lowered his voice again, brother dust, but I have learned that the Rin family is only a small subfamily in Luohai city, while the imperial capital Rin family is even more terrifying, especially the genius among them, Ran Ru Xue, until now no one knows his strength, only that it's terrifying and a complete demon, conservatively estimated, it's also on the same level as Li Tian Gang, Lu Chan was the one who had been poking around for Wang Dust for this information, although he believed in Brother Dust, if he could know a little bit about the other kid in advance, it would definitely be much better than having no information, Wang Dust nodded, right, there's also Li Ening, Lu Chang seemed to remember something, 
Li Ening? Wang Dust was a bit surprised. Yeah, she's also very strong. She has a family, and this time she came for the first prize. But unfortunately, she's not as strong as Brother Dust, and because of this, she was even ridiculed by that circle. But as a result, Li Ening shot everyone up with just one sword. Her strength might even be on the same level as Rin Rushue and the others. Lu Chang explained. Ha, huh, who called me? Li Ening was a bit curious. Lu Chang was like seeing a ghost when he saw Li Ening. Why is she here too? Ahem, without any surprises, she will be teaming up with us. Wang Dust said indifferently. Lu Chang straight away called out Bull. Worthy of being brother Dust, he had found him a sister-in-law again. What's the saying? Do a good job this year, and next year big brother will give you a new sister-in-law. Right at this moment, Yang Tianxin, who hadn't spoken for a long time, spoke again. I think you guys have already discussed it. Then next I'll give you another reminder. This so-called chaotic land, in the end what can't be involved in it. If you were teleported there to begin with, then don't hesitate. Immediately teleport back. If you don't teleport there, don't head towards that site either. I can't care about you guys if you die at that time. The teleportation talismans in the chaotic land aren't as good as the ones inside the copies. As long as you enter a combat state or the enemy locks onto you, there's no way for you to continue to leave. So when you use them, try to make sure that the surrounding area is safe, and I hope that you'll all be able to come back alive by then. Other than that, the Dark Knight Cat Demon, Full Moon Werewolf, Beast of Pale Blue, Ancient Giant, the individual combat power of these races is generally strong. If you guys encounter one at this stage, make sure not to hesitate. The moment you see him, grab and run. If you don't run, then I guess I'll never see you guys again. Also, there is no limit to the number of people in this group. Once these words came out, the bottom once again fell into a heated discussion. What? Actually unlimited number of people to form a group. What kind of concept is this? Does it mean that we can form a team of a thousand people? Wouldn't that be pushing across the land of chaos? Holy shit really? So good? There's never been a similar rule before. It's not possible that the difficulty of this copy is very high. Those geniuses are fine. How can we ordinary people compare with the geniuses if we don't form a team? Buddy wake up. The geniuses are not only stronger than you. They team up with more people than you are. People that call. How can you compare ah? Bad. 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 I feel like I can't compete with those geniuses at all. Chapter 222. This is a moment to witness history. There's actually no limit to the number of people in a group. Ha ha ha. Wang Chen. You're dead. Zhang Tianchang laughed coldly looking at Wang Dust with eyes that were gradually becoming maniacal. No one knew what he had gone through this month. If he were to catch a chance, he would definitely break Wang Dust into pieces. Hoomph. You're dead. Fark. Yorick said in a cold voice. There were more than just a few of them as exchange students. When the time came, he must call a few more people to beat up Wang Dust in a group. And he was curious to know what kind of expression Wang Dust would have when he found him with a swollen nose, crying and begging for forgiveness. The enrollment office teacher Ling Han frowned. Wang Dust was brought by him, so he naturally knew how many people Wang Dust had offended. This news, it was a bit bad for Wang Chen, especially that Ren Rushue, to sleep to piss off and directly play dirty. As far as he knew, although this girl was a genius, she was definitely not a normal person. Wang Chen, dangerous. Even Ling Han couldn't help but sweat for Wang Chen. This was almost like taking on the entire school's heavenly pride by herself. Does Wang Chuan really have such strength? Vice Principal. You're ruining a top genius by doing something like this. Do you know that? This is bad. They're definitely going to come at dust. Lu Chang was a bit anxious. He hadn't heard of this news either. Holy shit there's no grouping restrictions. Why is this? If there wasn't even a teaming limit, then don't all go to surround one person. As a dragon rising scholar, Wang Chen would naturally be the target. In that case, Wang Dust would be in danger Ah, What's there to be afraid of? Wang Dust disdainfully said. Even if this group of people were added together they would not pose a threat to him. He only wanted to enter the ancient giant forest quickly now. There was a life essence waiting for him there. If not, he would enter the so-called chaotic land earlier. The foreigners are powerful? He wanted to see how many divisions the foreigners had. Could they resist his super god armament? Brother Dust, they're very strong. Lu Chang said weakly. Wang Dust shook his head and raised a finger. What you mean, Brother Dust? Is that there's more than one way to get first place? And there's no need to get tough with them? Lu Chang asked. No, what I mean is, one finger, settle them. Wang Dust's tone was bland. From the beginning to the end, he didn't feel that any of the freshmen in this school could be his opponent. Even Lu Chang was intimidated by Wang Chen's bravado. But within his heart, he actually really felt that Wang Chuan could do it. Students, 
The goal of your examination is to hunt and kill foreigners in this chaotic land. Endless hunting, and starting from entering the chaotic land, you will no longer be a student, but a warrior, and even more so, an army, an invincible and invincible division that is invincible and invincible in battle. What I expect from you is to kill, kill until there are no more foreigners in the world. Let this world, once again, return to the hands of mankind. All right, classmates, that's all I have to say. Next, it's up to you, whether or not you can survive in this chaotic land full of crises, and whether or not you can get good grades here. Everything is in your own hands. I hope that all of you can come back alive. Yang Tianxin solemnly said. Yes, all of them shouted. The large playground was covered by the sound, worthy of being a student who could take the entrance exam for God's capital university. Every single one of them was strong and determined. Borderland, the land of the extreme north. Bayong drank a mouthful of strong liquor painfully, looking at the freshman examination of God's capital university that was about to start on the big screen. This old boy, he really has some strength. This speech, even my blood boils from listening to it. Sure enough, letting them fight is the right choice. More bloodshed now. Less can go wrong on the battlefield. Counting on those guys from the Dove faction. Our human territory will only get smaller and smaller. Bayong was spirited. It seemed to be searching for his teenage self. My lord, there is someone outside the door seeking an audience. The red dragon guards under his command came to report. It's from the pigeon sect again, isn't it? Tell him to get lost. Don't come and disturb my pleasure. Ba Yong said disdainfully. Today, he would not see anyone. This matter was also by no means something he was bent on. He could only be described as someone who issued an order that other schools besides the Imperial Capital University would have to change one after another. A flower in a hothouse could never truly grow. It was the price of human blood. Some secret office at Imperial Capital University. Ling Han served tea and water to the old man in front of him with a respectful face. Teacher, I'm afraid it's not fair to Wang Chuan this time. Almost fighting against the entire freshman of Imperial Capital University by himself. Not to mention that a few monsters came out of these big families this year. Ling Han said in disbelief. Ling Chen, that's why you're not a genius. What genius isn't proud? He has the strength. So let him be proud. I believe this kid has the strength. I can tell from the look in his eyes. He hasn't shown a hint of panic since the beginning. Either he's so foolish that he doesn't know that others are targeting him. Or, he's confident that he's fearless of these people. I believe it's definitely the latter. And the same goes for his companion, who was even less skeptical when he said that he only needed one finger. When it was known that the new student examination of the Imperial Capital University was held in the land of chaos, the Imperial Capital University boiled over. The entire Imperial Capital boiled over. And even Huaxia, all boiled over. This was a moment to witness history. And who, again, would be able to take first place? Chapter 223, Shopping in a Big Way. Yang Tianxin gave a speech that made everyone's blood boil, but the opening of the land of chaos would still take a day, so time was set aside in advance for them to prepare things, such as buying living supplies and whatnot, after all, not every student had a space ring, as soon as the assembly ended, Wang Chuan took in Xiao Xiao and the others to buy supplies, wow, Wang Chuan, this is the first time we've gone that far, Li Meng Meng looked excited, after all, in the wild, the night was dark and windy, and a lone man and woman, hiss, that's all very exciting by slight association, right? So yeah, we need to buy some tents as well as necessities, or else we won't necessarily have a place to live when we get to the land of chaos, and then we also need to buy some props, I definitely can't follow you guys around at all times, your safety definitely needs to be guaranteed in some way, Wang Dust said indifferently, aha, uh -huh, Wang Dust, trust in our strength, we can take care of ourselves, and Xiao Xiao was very cognizant, Wang Dust had taken them leveling these days, bringing them all to around 43 levels, with the addition of his S-rank profession, Heavenly Phoenix Magician, there was definitely no problem defending themselves in the land of chaos, even if it was a level 60 foreigner, one slip up could possibly be killed by him, however, she thought that they were the ones dragging Wang Chen down, and if it wasn't for them, it was estimated that Wang Chen's level would still be higher, nowadays it was great to be able to defend himself, it was just dangerous to encounter a level 65 or higher foreigner, but to have life preservation props was different. Some people have done statistics. Every year the copies have to die tens of millions of professionals, of which civilian professionals account for 99%. Those professionals with strong family backgrounds have a very small probability of dying. In the final analysis, it is still because of the reason of life preservation props. If all hands had life preserving props, then the casualties could be reduced by at least 50%. But the problem was that life preservation props were expensive. The expensive cost shows that it is impossible to have one on hand, but Wang Chuan and the others, 
they weren't poor at all. Not to mention the fact that Wang Chuan still had 100 million Huaxia coins in his hand that Ling Han had given him. Even more so, he had a billion dollar fund for purchasing materials. Not to mention in Xiao Xiao and the others, who were originally from rich families. After what happened last time, and Xiao Xiao had already deeply realized, she couldn't do it without a forbidden art scroll. If she had been able to have a forbidden art scroll in her hand that day, she would never have been so embarrassed. Soon, the three of them arrived at the Imperial Capital Head Pavilion of the Treasure Pavilion. Wang Chuan was an S-rank customer of the Luo High Branch Pavilion. After all, he had taken Gu Qingqing's favor before, so he naturally had to remember it now. It would be the same in whichever one they bought from anyway, so why not choose the one that had once done them a favor? Wang Chuan four people walked towards the front desk. The front desk is as a typical child faced giant what's her name teenage girl. The name tag reads Yun Yen Yen. Hello ah, welcome to the treasure pavilion. What do you need? Yun Yen Yen smiled faintly. Her voice was very pleasant. And there were two small dimples on her cheeks. Red. Looking very cute. Worthy of being the caretaker lady of the general pavilion on the imperial capital side. Unusual people rushed to buy more of this cute little face. Are there any life preservation props here? Be a bit better. Wang Chen asked. Upon hearing this, Yun Yen Yen's eyes lit up. It's a big job. Generally speaking, the cheapest life preservation props had to be several hundred thousand Huaxia coins, and the better ones had to be millions. These four people are a big order of several million dollars. Damn. Unusual large single is simply not her level can touch off. They all have their own regular customer service. Today is the luck of the draw. Even if it is a point of commission, he can get tens of thousands of dollars. I'm rich. I'm rich. Yun Yen Yen forced down the eyes of wealth. She began to introduce herself to Wang Chen. This customer. I'm sure you know that a large portion of these life preservation props are popped out by monsters. So the quantity is very rare. And the price is expensive. I'm sure you know that. Wang Dust nodded. This point was naturally known. The life preservation props were removed from the ones that were popped out in the wild. There was also not a small portion that was manufactured by various types of living professions. For example. A talisman maker could create talismans that greatly strengthen themselves. Alchemists can make ammunition that briefly enhances a large number of attributes, including the mechanic, as he was called by the crowd. He could also create firearms that didn't need to consume the amount of blue. And although the damage was a bit scratchy, it was always usable. Yun Yen Yen saw Wang Chuan nodding, and immediately touched out a tablet from some mysterious four-dimensional space. Wang Dust reached out and took it. Well, it was still a bit warm. On it. There was a record of various life preservation props. Level 30 attack talisman. Explosive talisman. Inflicts explosive damage on enemies within 100 meters of the place. 30th level defense talisman. Vudra talisman. Generates 1% of one's maximum life value plus 10W shield value. Level 40 elixir. Blood burning elixir. Burns 90% of one's maximum life value and increases the damage of the next 5 attacks by 100%. 50 level weapon AK-47. Can inflict 10 rounds of physical damage per second on the enemy? The damage takes the value of its own 10% physical damage plus 10% magic damage. Without consuming any blue amount. Bullet cap 500 rounds. Celine bags outlet a bunch of them. Chapter 224, it's a long story. Wang Chuan frowned tightly. Seeing Wang Chuan frowning, Yun Yin Yin thought that Wang Chuan felt that these weapons were too expensive and hurriedly said, This customer, if you feel that these props are unsatisfactory, we also have others. Wang Chen shook his head. It was not that it was too expensive. Rather, these things were really too trashy. It couldn't be used at all ah. Even that most expensive level 50 equipment was only 1 million Huaxia coins. In a high difficulty place like the Land of Chaos, it wouldn't be of any use at all. The flaws were simply too great. Are there any better ones? These are simply useless. Wang Dust said indifferently. The moment these words came out, everyone present looked at Wang Dust. How dare this kid? Something with such an expensive price tag dared to say that it was useless. Then what were they who bought tens of thousands of dollars of pills and felt beautiful? This kid, going out is not afraid to flash his back by talking big. Some people ah, young and full of big words. I really do not know how to think. A million things feel cheap. Ha ha. Also do not know why and we are the same as these people outside. No one to pick up to go to the VIP reception room. That's right. So can pretend ah, cannot afford to buy cannot afford to buy but also come here to say that it is too trash. How? You can afford to go buy better ah. Cannot afford to come here to call what? Now young people are too crazy ah. I'm as big as him when. Steady. Now only 40 years old. Has 35 levels. I rely on. Big brother cattle ah. Another bunch of people sneered. Wang Dust shrugged his shoulders. These things really didn't work. This customer. 
I don't have the authority to mobilize better goods, and higher level goods are only open to VIP customers. For example, if you are a C-rank member, you will be eligible to open the 60th level life preservation props and enjoy a discount. Yu Nian Nian explained in a small voice, Cut, this kid definitely does not have, to have can stand here? Kid, you can't grasp it, let uncle come, hurry up and go, don't delay us. Another bunch of people expressed that they looked down on Wang Chuan, after all, they simply didn't believe that a teenager who looked like just an ordinary college student, was able to pull out something as good as a membership card, which one of those rich kids didn't have an exclusive car to go out. These four people came on foot, even if they were accompanied by beautiful women. So what? It was still the same as a poor boy. Oh, membership card? Wang Chen lowered his head and pondered for a while, remembering that Gu Qingqing did give him an identity card before. Was that thing the so-called membership card? A C-rank member could buy props of around level 60. What about his own S-rank? Listening to Gu Qingqing, it seemed like everything could be purchased, right? It seemed like there were discounts to come. Wang Chen flipped his palm and an identity card constructed from pure gold appeared. The S-class membership card. This is? Yun Yin Yin picked it up and took a look. Great S Gathering Pavilion member. Yun Yin Yin's petite body trembled and she couldn't stop trembling. It was actually a member of this grade. Don't look at a place as big as their Imperial Capital Treasure Pavilion. But there were only three spots a year. From this, it could be seen how rare the slots for S-class members were. Not only that, she saw the name on it. Wang Duan, this year's Ascending Dragon Scholar. The name of the Ascending Dragon Scholar was not good in the eyes of those genius names from the Imperial Capital University, but in the eyes of ordinary people, it was the supreme existence. Yun Yen Yen didn't hold it steady, and the identity card slid down on the table. What? S-Class Member, Ascending Dragon Scholar Wang Duan. Holy shit, why doesn't the Dragon Ascending Scholar go to the VIP reception room? I can't believe I'm actually fucking meeting this kind of genius. Mom I'm out of my league. The entire arena was shocked. No one had even thought that this unimpressive teenager could be the Dragon Ascending Scholar. Yun Yen Nian picked it up tremblingly. If this matter was known by the new supervisor, then she would definitely not be spared some punishment. Thinking of that night being called to a small dark room by the supervisor alone, Yun Yen Nian's face turned red and she unconsciously clenched her legs. Damn it, how this kind of punishment was both annoying and enjoyable. Can I buy it now? Wang Chen frowned. This Imperial Capital Treasure Pavilion's service wasn't great. Why is it so slow? If this was in the Luo High Treasure Pavilion, he would have already bought something and left. Right at this moment, a beautiful figure wearing black silk rushed in at a trot. Wan Chuan fixed his eyes on it, and it was none other than Gu Qingqing from Luo High City. Great genius Wang. Long time no see. Come this way come this way. Gu Qingqing was overjoyed to see Wang Chuan. One must know that he was able to come to the Imperial Capital Treasure Pavilion on a level playing field. But all of it depended on this top tier great genius Wang Chuan. Why are you here? Wang Dust was a little surprised. Wasn't this guy in Luo High City? It's a long story. Then you don't have to say anymore. I need some life preservation props. Do you have any here? Yes. Come with me to the VIP reception room. Looking at the backs of Wang Chen and his group as they left. The people who had mocked Wang Chen before were dumbfounded. They had actually mocked a true genius. They all felt their faces being slapped with a fiery pain. The person simply didn't want to pay attention to them. They were still screaming like a jumping clown. Chapter 225, a locator was installed. Inside the VIP reception room, Gu Qingqing was wearing black silk and stepping on high heels, just like a mature and absolutely beautiful secretary, introducing life-preserving props to Wang Chuan in an endless stream. Wang Chuan shook his head from side to side, never seeing anything satisfactory. Great genius Wang. At the risk of asking, what level of copy is it that actually requires such a high-grade life preservation prop that a 70-level golden body Dan won't do? Gu Qingqing was a bit shocked. A golden body pill that was immune to damage from strong people below level 70 for 5 seconds without any side effects was obtained by eating it. Such an elixir would cost tens of millions of dollars for an ordinary one outside. Even rich people couldn't afford to build it like this. This was already considered their best life preservation prop. As a result, this was still not enough? Gu Qingqing was genuinely shocked. It would be hard for him to get anything at a higher level. After all, he was only a small supervisor. Although the treatment here was quite a bit better than Luo High City, the Imperial Capital was the headquarters of the Treasure Pavilion, and there were quite a few people whose status was quite a bit higher than his. It's not really a secret. A cluster of foreign races. A place of chaos. Once the eight words came out, Gu Qingqing's eyes instantly widened and she was petrified. Was she mishearing or something? Holy shit. Land of chaos. That kind of place is something that an ordinary college student can come into contact with? To put it bluntly, it was a battlefield. 
there is no security at all, as war rages all year round, such a dangerous place, actually let the dragon scholar go? There was no fear that scholar ascending dragon would encounter danger. Holy shit, after a long period of silence, Gu Qingqing finally burst into foul language, worthy of being imperial capital university, what a pervert, how would other universities dare to do this, this was simply a student elimination game, a thousand people go, and five hundred go back to the principal and they can steal the joy, yes, Wang Chen continued to ask, Gu Qingqing clenched her teeth and decided to pull out something crushing, this is considered to be the highest level of stuff that my authority can mobilize, it wasn't supposed to be sold to S rank members, I'll make an exception today, Gu Qingqing tapped a few times towards the tablet. Next, an object came into Wang Chen's eyes. After seeing the effect, even Wang Dust, who had always been as steady as a mountain, was somewhat moved. Death return, when your life value is below 1%, you are immune to this damage and will be replaced with 50% of the life value you lost. If you do so, you will enter a weakened state for 1 hour after 10 minutes. This life preservation prop is a bit counterintuitive. It can be said to be a second life. This prop doesn't have a level. It's an unranked prop, but his effect might even be more powerful than an 80 level life preservation prop. How about it? Great genius Wang. Is this still satisfactory? Gu Qingqing slightly angled her head. This was the only one in the entire Imperial Capital Treasure Pavilion. It was still a recent collection. She was even planning to save up some money for this herself. The value of a great less life preservation prop was absolutely terrifying. Well, satisfied. How much? Wang Dust nodded. 100 million Huaxia coins. You can get a 70% discount for being an S-Class member. That is 70 million Huaxia coins, Gu Qingqing replied. That's not too expensive. Swipe your card, including the props I marked before. All of them come with a copy. And by the way, help me get a set of all the wilderness survival supplies as well, including tasty meats. Wang Chen handed Gu Qingqing a card. Okay, Gu Qingqing stood up. A pair of beautiful legs that were tightly wrapped in black silk were even more concave and convex at the moment. Half an hour later. The adventurous Zhou Yu Yu hurriedly ran in, handing a bunch of things to Wang Dust. Oh, you're here too? Wang Dust was a bit surprised. In Luo High City's treasure gathering pavilion, the two that he knew had all come to the Imperial Capital Treasure Gathering Pavilion. Hiya, this is all thanks to you. Genius Wang Chen. Zhou Yu Yu's eyes glanced at Gu Qingqing. She herself was originally not qualified to come. It was because she was credited for recommending Wang Dust, plus Miss Gu insisted on bringing her along. Only then could she go from a small receptionist in Luo High City to her current position. Although it is not high, the treatment is far better than Luo High City by several notches. Hiss, is this waste ah? A little can not stand. Every day by MS. Goo small black room treatment. It's almost broken. Thanks a lot. Wang Chuan counted the supplies. After confirming that there were no mistakes, the storage ring swept, and the things on the table were swept away. Great genius Wang come to play more often. When these words came out, Wang Dust stumbled and almost didn't stand still and planted on the ground. This is really ambiguous ah. Afterwards, Wang Chuan let in Xiao Xiao to go back to the villa, have a good night's rest, and on the second day, he could go to participate in the new student examination. After returning to the villa, as soon as the meal was ready, Li Yining from next door arrived without an appointment. This guy is just like installing a locator. As soon as the meal is ready, he immediately comes to knock on the door, before Wang Chen also half-jokingly let her pay for the food. Who knows she directly threw out a 100 million black gold card. Wang Chuan instantly knew that this little nymph was not simple. After eating and drinking, everyone was looking forward to the next day's freshman examination. Chapter 226, Finally Can't Hold Back? Early the next morning, the entrance of the Imperial Capital University was already surrounded. Wang Chen, you guys are here? We're ready to depart. Underneath Ling Han's feet was a 70 level mount. The Thunderbolt Flying Rock was large enough to sit down hundreds of people. On top of that, Every teacher had a mount underneath them, responsible for taking the students they needed to lead to the land of chaos. The laws there were so chaotic that even the best formation masters couldn't create a teleportation array to get there, so only teachers could personally lead the way. From this, one could see the distance between the difficulty of this trip. H.M. Wang Chen nodded. Beside him, and Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, M. O. Lioli, Li Yining, and Lu Chang, walked together towards the Thunderbolt Flying Rock's body. Just at this moment, a resentful gaze came from the distance. Wang Chen turned around to take a look. It was definitely Zhang Tiancheng looking at Wang Chuan with a gloomy gaze. Wang Chuan, entering the land of chaos. Even if you escape to the ends of the earth, you can't escape death. Zhang Tiancheng said angrily. Wang Dust did not pay any attention to him. A mole cricket that could be crushed at any time. 
When could he rave in front of himself? A moment later, the thunderbolt flying rock flew into the clouds. The speed was so fast that it even far exceeded the speed of sound. Every time the thunderbolt flying rock incited its wings, it was like thunder roaring around it. Lu Chang, who was shocked to see this kind of scene for the first time, lying on the body of the thunderbolt flying rock, he looked around. As the time entered midday, the thunderbolt flying rock gradually landed. Students, here we are. If you encounter danger, immediately use the talisman distributed to you by the school. That talisman will summon the nearby patrolling teacher to rescue you at the first time. Of course, if you can drag it out long enough, you will be able to teleport to the side of the guarding teacher. Still the same, be safe, Ling Chen said indifferently. His eyes looked over to Wang Chuan's side if anything. Pay attention to safety, Wang Chen. Ling Chen had a complicated expression. He knew that there were already many parties with forces that had their eyes on Wang Chen. And even if he was the most powerful dragon rising scholar ever, I'm afraid he didn't have the strength to fight against so many top geniuses. What's more, all these geniuses were still trying to make a move against Wang Chen. He wanted to help Wang Chen, but he was also powerless. He was just a teacher, and his power was like a mole in front of those great families. He only hoped that Wang Chen could survive their hands. Naturally, Wang Chen replied, I'm afraid that the person who could hurt him in this world had yet to be born. Wang Chuan, and Xiao Xiao and the others leaped up. Straight away, they jumped down from the thunderbolt flying rock. The land of chaos arrived. As soon as Wang Chuan arrived, he began to survey the surroundings. It was clear that the sun was right above his head, but it made it feel like the place was forever covered in a layer of shadows. The surrounding atmosphere was chaotic. The earth was cracked, and there was not a single intact piece of land around. It was as if it was a piece of irregular debris put together. There was an indescribable strangeness. Is this the land of chaos? Wang Chen whispered. Rather, it was a bit different from what was imagined. It feels like the aura here is so annoying. Li Ening frowned. The environment here had a great impact on her, but she couldn't tell what it was. Me too. And Xiao Xiao followed suit. Wang Dust was a bit surprised. Why weren't the others affected that much? But instead it was these two? After thinking for a moment, Wang Chuan suddenly realized that they both seemed to be S-class professions. Did the occupation level have some connection with the land of chaos? With the current situation, it was not quite possible to tell. The only thing that could be determined was, this place had no effect on him. The land of chaos is very dangerous. Even if it's just the outermost layer of the land of chaos, there's a possibility of level 70 plus monsters appearing. I once heard my teacher say that the monsters here are given a layer of field buffs, and their strength is much stronger than monsters of the same level outside. Don't look at our several people's condition now, but we can't withstand the consumption at all, so we must not waste time in the periphery. The so-called heart of territory in the periphery is very scarce. We need to enter the interior. Li Ening searched and analyzed the situation of the land of chaos. Wang Dust expressed his agreement. Right at this moment, dozens of figures swarmed behind them in an instant. Almost with lightning speed, they surrounded Wang Chuan's people. The ears were filled with whistling gusts of wind. Obviously, this was a field skill executed by the enemy's wind professionals. The surroundings had been enveloped by a faint layer of wind field. If an ordinary professional was trapped here, they definitely wouldn't even be able to use their teleportation talisman and would only be able to die here. Finally unable to hold back? Wang Chen sneered. This guy had really wasted a lot of effort in order to kill himself. Finding his location in the huge chaotic land probably took a lot of goodies. Kill him. Zhang Tiansheng shouted coldly. At his side, dozens of occupiers instantly utilized their occupational skills. Zhang Tiansheng had come here with full preparation. From the very beginning, he was not prepared to leave Wang Chen alive. Whoosh. Whoosh. Hundreds of wind blades instantly came out. In an instant, they chopped violently towards Wang Chuan. The air was all sliced apart by the wind blades, and a sound of breaking air was heard. Chapter 227, Is This Your Full Strength? Wang Chen flicked his side to dodge them all. Damn. What a speed. Zhang Tianchang's pupils shrunk. If he had, it would have been absolutely impossible to dodge those wind blades with them in front of him. Wang Chuan's reflexes and agility had actually reached such an amazing level? No. Definitely not. Just now. It might be that Wang Chuan had utilized some skill in order to dodge those attacks. Otherwise, with him, you have to know that the helpers he brought with him were all level 40 powerhouses. There were many A-class professionals among them. Even if he wanted to deal with them, it was unlikely. Not to mention a tiny dragon rising scholar. Wang Dust. Immediately afterward, two more figures flew towards Wang Dust's side. It was clearly two flight department professionals. The air currents on their bodies were very harsh. It seemed to be able to cut through everything. The air became cold at this moment. It was as if Wang Chuan could be spilled on the spot if he didn't care. 
Wang Dust smiled contemptuously. This? This amount of strength also has the nerve to come and make a move against himself. Swish. Just as the two flying professionals wanted to approach Wang Chuan, they felt as if an inexplicable pressure had arrived on their bodies. Their bodies actually unconsciously moved closer towards Wang Chen's side. What? Before they could come out in shock, Wang Chuan's hand had already easily broken their throats. Two level 40 professionals fell. They were both A-class professionals. Putting them outside could also be considered the existence of top geniuses. But now Wang Chuan was like choking a chicken. One in each hand. What kind of strength is this? Zhang Tiancheng swallowed his saliva. This strength was beyond his cognizance. It definitely wouldn't be the ability that a freshman should have. Could it be? Did he use some kind of prop? That's right. It was definitely a prop. Zhang Tiancheng would rather believe that Wang Chuan had used a very good prop than absolutely not believe that Wang Chuan himself had such strength. Just as Zhang Tiancheng froze, Wang Chen had already lightly killed the other professionals who had come to surround him. To actually dare to come and kill himself, then don't blame him for being ruthless. Kill them all. Never leave anyone alive. It was fine to be noisy, but if you really wanted to kill, then I'm sorry, but you already have a way to die. 30 people. Wang Dust said indifferently. He clapped his hands and slapped away the blood stained on his hands. In just an instant, he had killed 30 people. It's speed. It could not be said to be fast. Damn damn damn. How could he be so strong? Zhang Tiancheng looked at Wang Duan with a face full of rage. He was not convinced. He was an S-ranked professional. A top genius who was highly expected by the entire East Si Zhang family. His talent was not inferior to Ren Rushue of the Ren family. Sooner or later, there will be a place for him in this huge China. Today, he actually had to be killed by an ant that he once looked down on? How can this be tolerated? Zhang Tianchang's heart crossed. He pulled out several scrolls from his space ring. Quickly dodge wine dust. This is a forbidden art scroll. And Xiao Xiao, who had been attacked by the forbidden scroll, hurriedly reminded Wang Chuan, the power of this thing was no joke. The forbidden scroll that Zhang Tianlong Zhang Tian who had cast that day was a weakened version at best. It was simply not as powerful as the forbidden scroll that Zhang Tiancheng was using today. After all, he was the eldest young master. Not to mention, at this moment, he had so many forbidden art scrolls in his hands. Ha ha ha, Wang Chuan, I admit that you are strong. But so what? When you come out, you have to have a background in power. You little punk are worthy of fighting me. Zhang Tianchang laughed out loud. The forbidden art scroll in his hand began to emit a million lights. Forbidden art, landslide. Forbidden technique, thunderclap. Forbidden technique, death's descent. In the next moment, the heavens and earth trembled. The air gradually condensed. The mountains crumbled. The sky flashed with lightning and thunder. The wind gusted wildly. And the entire heaven and earth was only left with a deathly intent filled with the aura of slaying. Even the world trembled. An incomparably terrifying aura was brewing in the air, seemingly about to tear Wang Chen apart in the next second. All of these were forbidden arts of terrifying power. It was not an exaggeration to say that even a 70-level powerhouse would never be able to survive under this strike. Holy shit. These scrolls. Crazy crazy crazy. How can they be given to a junior? I think their Zhang family head is senile. Li Ening's small face was taut. This kind of scroll should not have been allowed to be used by unusual people. The Zhang family was breaking a big taboo. F asterisk CK. This scroll. Lu Chang's body couldn't stop trembling. He was ruthlessly shocked by the power of this scroll. A sight that could only be seen in a book had actually appeared in reality. Would Brother Dust be able to withstand it? Wang Duan. Only in Xiao Zhao's eyes were incomparably determined. She believed that Wang Dust would be able to withstand this move. Ha ha ha. Wang Duan. You go to hell. From today onwards, the world will no longer have the name of Dragon Rising Scholar Wang Duan. Zhang Tianchang laughed almost maniacally. He hated Wang Chen. This guy actually dared to do this to him, making him squat in jail for so long, with his character that couldn't wait to avenge himself the next second. If he were in the Eastern Sea Province, he would probably have stopped eating beef a long time ago. It was only here that he could still let Wang Dust loose like that. This is your full strength? Wang Dust was somewhat amused. If this strike was invincible, then each of his own punches would be several or even dozens of times the power of this strike. Although his rank had not changed for a long time, but his strength was simply increasing with each passing day. Chapter 228 A Small Ascending Dragon Scholar Zhang Tianchang had not yet had the chance to speak. In the next moment, he saw a scene that he would never forget. Super God Armament Wang Chen said indifferently. Immediately afterward, an endless light radiated around him in an instant. Countless pieces of bright black mechs floated in midair. Wow! Brother Dust looks handsome even after watching this a few times. Lu Chang praised. The people around him agreed. There were really few professions that were ornamental. Plus strong. Wang Dust's body shook. 
The bright black fragments seemed to be sensed by something. It flew towards Wang Dust's body. As time passed, a hint of red light emerged from the goggles on Wang Dust's eyes. Super God Armament. Assembled. Simply standing there, it exuded an invincible aura. Invincibility was written all over Wang Chuan's face. Ha ha, actually switching forms. Then I can only tell you that this is nothing more than a dying struggle. Jumping clown, I want you to die. Zhang Tianchang laughed out loud. He couldn't wait for Wang Chen to die now. These forbidden art scrolls added up to 1 billion Chinese coins. Even if it was him, it definitely counted as emptying his family's fortune. He would probably be scolded again when he went back. However, if he could kill Wang Chen, it would all be worth it. Seeing the attack of the forbidden scroll above his head fell straight onto his head. An incomparably terrifying aura raged between heaven and earth. Under this attack, not to mention level 55, even if the vice chancellor came and ate this hard, he would have to be seriously injured if he didn't die. This was Zhang Tianchang's bottom line. Wine dust. Even if your individual strength is strong, so what? Can you be stronger than a forbidden scroll? Can you be stronger than the power of kryptonite? Wang Chen. Everyone sweated for Wang Chen. They wanted to help, but their strength was just a bit inadequate in front of this powerful forbidden scroll. In the next second, Wang Chuan moved. Wang Dust's right hand gently built up its strength. It violently blasted out. Rumble. Rumble. Majestic power poured out at this moment. The mere wind of the fist shattered the thunder that was brewing in the sky and that's just the wind of the fist, and that's not all. The full power of the three forbidden scrolls merged into one. A golden colored light was only an inch away from Wang Chen's head. If this blow hits, I'm afraid Wang Chuan will die for sure. Zhang Tiancheng's face also revealed a smile of triumph. But who knows? The next second, Wang Chuan's left hand gently cupped this golden colored attack. Wang Chuan felt the power in his hand and was as contemptuous. This is a forbidden scroll? It doesn't seem to be much better. Wang Chuan's fingers gently exerted force. The incomparably terrifying power of the forbidden art instantly collapsed. It was as if the heavens and earth had also turned black and white. What? All of this only happened in a flash of lightning. The speed was so fast that Zhang Tiancheng did not even react. Obviously, it was still his advantage just now. How did it turn into a disadvantage in an instant? Zhang Tiancheng trembled as he looked towards Wang Chen. This is impossible. This is never possible. Zhang Tiancheng looked at his hands with a face full of incredulity. He, actually, lost? This was caught off guard. Wang Chuan's figure flashed. It arrived at Zhang Tiancheng's side. Don't kill me. Don't. Zhang Tiancheng's face was filled with panic. Wang Chuan's hand rose and fell. Zhang Tiancheng's arm was instantly cut off. Save me. Save me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Zhang Tiancheng covered his broken arm and staggered towards the back to crawl. It hurt. It hurt too much. He only felt death whispering in his ears now. He was going to die. It was the first time he felt death was so close to him. Wang Chuan did not talk too much and prepared to kill Zhang Tiancheng with his next move. At that moment, Zhang Tiancheng's body lit up. Zhang Tiancheng's body lit up with an azure-colored light. Oh, teleportation hair formation? An accomplice? Wang Chen did not expect that these 40 or so people were not Zhang Tiancheng's limit. The hand he had just raised was put down again. Since all of them had killing intent towards themselves, then all of them would be killed. He would definitely not leave any bit of future threats behind. Let Zhang Tiancheng turn into a long line to fish for who else would strike against him. Anyway, it would only be a slap in the face for him to kill Zhang Tiancheng. There was no threat at all. How many helpers would come? The result would be the same. Even if it was a thousand Zhang Tianchengs, finding ten thousand helpers, he would definitely not be a match for himself. This was his absolute confidence in his own strength. Five hundred miles away on a small hill, Su Yuan helped Zhang Tiancheng up. Seeing Zhang Tiancheng covered in serious injuries, his pupils shrank. There was actually someone who was able to beat Zhang Tiancheng like this. What kind of person was this? It was too terrifying. If he had been one step later, wouldn't Zhang Tiancheng have been killed? Wang Chuan, if I don't take this revenge, I will not swear to be a human being. Zhang Tiancheng covered his crippled arm, feeling the pain tearing through his body. He cried out to the sky, venting his inner dissatisfaction. This person is called Wang Chen? Che, being scared like this by a dragon rising scholar. Let me help you take care of him. It just so happens that I have a clan brother who is also trying out here. Senior genius, Su Yuli, is now a 55 level powerhouse, taking down a tiny ascending dragon scholar. Handily, Su Yuan said disdainfully, this Tianchang actually couldn't even defeat an ascending dragon scholar. How humiliating. Chapter 229, he's always like this? After resolving Zhang Tianchang's matter, after a mechanical assembly sound rang out. Wang Dust summoned the excavator and went to excavate the mineral resources of the Land of Chaos. Although the Land of Chaos was very dangerous, 
The resources here were very rich, especially the mineral resources. The diggers were currently flickering with a faint metallic glow and were digging frantically towards the ground. Wang Chen nodded after releasing them. With the speed of the diggers, it was enough to dig up all the mineral resources here before he went out. What is this? Li Ening, who was seeing these in great numbers for the first time, was a bit curious. You know my profession. Mechanic. I upgrade all kinds of equipment and weapons, all of which require mineral resources. So these diggers are the machines that assist me in collecting these resources. Wang Chen explained. Li Ening nodded her small head as if she understood. Our next goal is to plunder the heart of the territory. Right. Li Ening was a little excited. She was very interested in this. She had fought alone before she met Wang Chen. Every day, she soaked in the duplicates and swiped from morning to night. Well, we're bound to take first place in the freshman examination this time. Wang Chen slightly angled his head. He was not interested in the rankings. However, Lu Chang said that there were actually quite a few people inside the school this time who had their eyes on his ancient giant forest's quota. Then he had to be on his guard. It was time to give these guys a big shock. It would naturally be best if they could take the life origin without bloodshed. But if they were not as good as he wanted, then he would not blame him for being ruthless. With a wave of Wang Chen's hand, hundreds more scanning towers began to monitor the nearby terrain as well as the foreign races. He found that there were a large number of alien races around. And based on the information coming from the scanning towers, none of them were very weak. There were the lichens, the spiders, the great apes. Among them, there were even quite a few strong people above level 50, worthy of being a chaotic land. Even in the periphery, the alien races were so strong. The foreign races were different from monsters. The foreign races were significantly more intelligent and better at utilizing their advantages. Coupled with the fact that the panel was even more terrifying than that of monsters, this created the fact that amongst the same class, humans were the weakest, monsters the second strongest, and foreigners the strongest. I really don't know how the other students are fighting. If they were to fight with these foreigners at this stage, there was no guarantee that they wouldn't deal a heavy blow to themselves. Wang Chuan's mind moved, and a large sea of silver-colored mechanical tides of invaders slowly assembled. The weaker monsters would be assimilated by the invaders. Since the Goblin Cave, his army of invaders hadn't been updated for a long time. That being said, the invaders should be one of his most underestimated armies. The invaders definitely had a high ceiling. It just so happened that it had also been upgraded so many times just enough to be put into this battle. At that time, he could enter the interior of the chaotic land and let the invader-controlled races help him clear the exterior. In this way, he was able to save a great deal of time without having to make a big effort to take on the outer alien races. Just at this moment, a warning message appeared from the scanning tower. Wang Chen frowned. He suddenly realized that there was a huge red dot in the map that the scanning tower had transmitted to him. Obviously, this red dot was the most powerful amongst all the current foreign races. Now, the target was clear. Follow me. Wang Dust said indifferently. His figure moved at a rapid pace. Ha! Huh? The crowd was a little uncertain. Wang Chen had just clearly still had a half understanding of this place. How could it be that once he closed his eyes and opened them, it was as if his understanding of this place had changed drastically. Should it be so outrageous? Could it be that such a thing could really happen in the world? Li Ening said she didn't understand, but she was greatly shocked. Doubtful as they were, the movements of their feet were not slow. A few moments later, several people arrived in the middle of a forest. An eerie quietness filled all around here. Obviously, the trees were overgrown and green, yet a vague scarlet color emanated everywhere. There was an indescribably weirdness to it. Just as a few people were puzzled, a huge figure peeled away the trees, and its massive body was revealed. It was certainly the top-level 75 alien race that Wang Chuan had encountered by scanning the tower earlier. Human, why have you come to my territory? The ape-like being in front of him was not an ape. He was currently looking at Wang Chuan with a hostile face. Among the foreign races, it was a default fact that humans were rations. Not to mention a top-level 75 alien race like him. Excuse me, please die. Wang Dust said indifferently. He considered himself to be very polite. It was already polite to ask this monkey to go to hell. If this still didn't know how to behave, then don't blame him. Holy shit. When did Brother Dust become so raw? Lu Chang on the side was stunned his jaw dragging to the ground. What was with this feeling of being a little polite and a little offended? He's always like this? Li Ening was also a bit curious. How come this guy is so arrogant and hasn't been killed yet? Li Mengmeng covered her mouth and snickered. Wang Dust has more to be mad about. This is just where it's at. Chapter 230, Titan Vajra. Human, you're looking for death. Are you underestimating the strength of a powerful foreign race? The great ape glared angrily at Wang Dust. It had been a long time since he had been so scorned. Wang Dust ignored it. 
he began to pull up the attribute panel of the giant ape. Alien race, Titan Vedra, boss level. Level, LV-75. Skills, Adamant and Iron Fist. Titanic Mountain. Titanic Power. Titan of the Heavens. Titanic Power of the Great Ape. Adamant in Body. Invincible Golden Body. Iron Fist of Hegemony. Boxing Advancement. Fighting Advancement. Introduction, he was once the son of the leader of a tribe of alien great apes, who served a god who stood out from the great apes, known as the ape god for short, but this ape god needed to sacrifice a great ape heir to him every year, until Titan Vajra was chosen one day. Not accepting the injustice of fate, Titan Vajra mutated overnight from the great ape clan into the non-existent Titan Vajra, and from then on, he also gained the unrivaled power of Vajra. It was a pity that the good times didn't last long. The ape god just loved the pure and powerful great ape bloodline, and even after becoming a Titan Vajra it was hard to escape a trace of it. The good thing is that at this moment, the ape god is just a statue that accepts faith, and is not considered powerful. So Titan Vajra plotted an assassination operation. Directly behind the ape god's stone statue dug a big hole. From then on, sealed the ape god in the hole. Whenever he passed by the ape god sculpture, he would provocatively say towards him, Ape god, get up the hole. 75 level boss level panel alien. Hard to say. It was the first time Wang Dust had encountered such a powerful opponent. It was reasonable to say that this definitely shouldn't have appeared in the outskirts of the land of chaos. What is this situation? Wang Dust was surprised. The other few people also froze when they saw the Titan Kong's panel. They could not see the various attributes of the Titan Diamond. They could only see the Titan Vajra level that Wang Dust had shared with them. 75 levels. They were shocked. This chaotic land was really so terrifying. Just coming in and encountering such a powerful alien race. It couldn't be that this vast chaotic land was full of such powerful alien races. If that's the case, the strength of this chaotic land is also too terrifying. It wasn't even weaker than a powerful country anymore. Run. Such a thought surfaced in the minds of several people at the same time. A level 75 boss. In their minds was an existence that was completely impossible to defeat. Even if it was the strongest person they had ever seen. They were afraid that it was only at this level. Ordinary people would have to be scared out of their wits at the sight of it. Li Ening was dumbfounded. Although she knew that Wang Chen was able to kill the 70 level boss king of giants in seconds. But level 75 and level 70 were two different classes. What's more, foreigners were far more powerful than monsters. Wang Chuan could kill the king of giants in seconds. As could the titan Vajra. It was even easier than Wang Dust seconds more. They, the unusual humans, and the foreigners were simply not on the same level. Wang Chuan, run. You can't beat him, Li Ening shouted in a hurry. Wang Chuan's attack power was strong, but it was only attack power. According to the law of conservation of energy, a profession with a strong attack power must, generally speaking, be a brittle skin. The name of the profession mechanic sounded like a brittle skin right away. Run, why run? Wang Dust was a little puzzled. A level 75 alien was indeed very strong, but was there a possibility? Was he even stronger? Do you know what the concept of a 75 level foreigner is? Even the 79 level vice principal Yang Tianxin may not be able to defeat him. You have to know that principal Yang is an S-ranked profession, plus with a high level. Every level higher is a qualitative improvement. Even so, the likelihood of principal Yang failing is far greater than the likelihood of success. You don't even know what kind of existence you're facing. Li Ening said anxiously. He couldn't wait for Wang Chen to run to his side right now. This monster was simply too terrifying. It was so terrifying that it was not an existence that humans could fight against at all. Ha ha ha, human, did you see that? Your companion is urging you to run away. Titan Vajra laughed instead of being angry. You're all going to die here today. Human, I'm going to eat you. The ape god can't even protect you. I'm telling you. Titan Vajra looked viciously at Wang Chen. A mere human, still want to turn over the sky. In the outer region of the land of chaos, it was a dragon that had to be coiled. A tiger that had to lie down and no one would want to disobey his orders. In other words, he was also good enough to be called the god of the great apes in this area. You are a little too confident in your own strength. Wang Chen said indifferently. His tone was filled with disdain. What are you talking about? Titan Kong instantly became furious. It was the first time a human dared to be so reckless. Super god armament. Wang Chen said softly. In the next moment, bright black armament covered his entire body. A scarlet glow emanated from the goggles on the helmet, deterring the mind. So what if you've turned into an iron lump? I'll still crush you. Titan Kong slammed his fist at Wang Chen. Quickly dodge. Several people instantly raised their hearts to their throats. Li Ening had even been able to imagine the scene of Wang Chen being hammered to the east and west. Chapter 231 in this world. When someone is truly a dragon. But it's fine. When the time comes, 
she's in charge of the left and right chopsticks. Bah, what was she thinking? It's not right. Why isn't Wang Chen hiding yet? It was only at this moment that Li Ening noticed that Wang Chuan actually wanted to take this move the hard way. Why? Wang Chen is so confident in his own strength? A strong attack doesn't mean a strong defense. Even the most top-tier professionals would not choose to hard receive skills when fighting. Inexplicably taking more damage was a major taboo for a professional. Right at this moment, Wang Chen's right hand was gently raised. Could it be? A terrifying thought popped up in Li Ening's mind. She recalled that Wang Chuan had used the same move against the King of Giants before. But the problem was that the King of Giants and the Titan Vidra were not comparable at all. These two were not even in the same class of existence. The difference was just too great. How could this be completely caught? Rumble. The huge fist impacted Wang Chen's fist. The sound of two great fists colliding resounded throughout the sky. The aftermath of their collision even crushed the nearby boulders. It was filled with a suffocating sense of oppression. If not for the fact that they were all strong at level 40 or above, this would have been enough to kill them all. That's right. This was just the aftermath of the clash of their fists. And it was so terrifying. And what about them who were in the center of the battle? Wang Chen's face remained unchanged. The boulders under his feet were directly shattered. It plunged deeply into the earth. Oh, Wang Chuan looked up at the titan. This force, indeed, could be okay. If the self from a month ago resisted this move, I'm afraid that he would really have to lose some blood skin. It was worthy of being a 75 level alien powerhouse. Unfortunately, over the past month, the attributes of his super god armament had increased by more than a few times. This weak attack, in turn, was no different from a bug bite. It was just a mole cricket, not enough to be feared. What? Seeing Wang Dust eat his own strike, the Titan Vajra was greatly shocked. With his power, he actually didn't take advantage of a human mole cricket. How was this possible? He was not the only one who was shocked. There was also Li Ening. No one else present knew how terrifying the power of that strike just now was without her. She had seen Wang Chen deal with the King of Giants before, and it was precisely because she had seen it that she realized how terrifying Wang Chen was. Obviously, his rank had not changed, but his strength was several echelons stronger. Unheard of. Was this the top genius? The Dragon Rising Scholar Wang Dust. If she wanted to catch up with Wang Chen, I'm afraid that she wouldn't have any chance before the 80th level. Just this? Wang Dust disdainfully said. Big in size, small in strength. With this, she still claimed to be the king among the foreign races. As a result, this is the only strength he has. Who does it scare? Or rather, who can it scare? You hit me once, then I'll hit you once too. Fair enough, Wang Dust said indifferently. Titan Vajra gritted his teeth at Wang Dust's arrogant tone. Who plays such childish tricks with you? Titan King just wanted to refuse. But when he saw Wang Dust's you can't be unable look, he became angry on the spot. Holy shit, what kind of eyes are you giving? You can insult the Great Ape Clan, but you can't insult him. Titan King Kong, holy shit, come on, I'll let you hit me. Titan Kong said in a cold voice, a mere human, there was no fear at all. Wang Chen would smile, I'm not going to use my fists with you either. I'll just pop you with a brain crash, and if I lose, I'll give you my life. Wang Chuan guaranteed. When Titan Kong heard that there was this good thing, it directly put its head in front of Wang Chuan. Although Li Ening didn't understand what Wang Chuan was doing, why was he chatting so vigorously with the foreigners? But this guy, he might be holding back some bad water again. Humph, seeing that he couldn't eat the seat. Ha, super god overload, Wang Chen said in a deep voice. The bright black mech on his body was instantly filled with blood red lines. An incomparably terrifying aura brood in Wang Chuan's body. Holy shit. Wait. Something's not right. Titan Kong exclaimed in shock. What the hell kind of power is this? Is it really something that a human can exert? But the only thing that responded to him was Wang Chuan's brain crash. Wang Chuan's right hand slightly built up its strength. Rumble. A slight flick. The Titan Kong head instantly split. The large head directly turned into blood mist in the air and dissipated between heaven and earth. The huge body fell to the ground with a loud bang. Titan King Kong's eyes were wide open before he died. Brother and you play games. You and brother brain? Have you so popping brain crash? How presumptuous ah. The head are for you to play gone. Dead. Dead. And Xiao Xiao and the others were shot. A level 75 boss alien can take seconds? Wang Dust's limit. Where the hell is it? How could he possess such terrifying strength? It seemed that no matter what kind of monster it was, Wang Dust was able to kill it in absolute seconds. Was this the ascending dragon scholar? For the first time, Li Ening felt that the name of Ascending Dragon Scholar had finally waited for his true master. In this world, when someone is truly a dragon, and this person was none other than Wang Chen, a true dragon that was poised and about to unsheathe his sword. Chapter 232 and Axe Collects Tang Si. Ding. 
Congratulations on killing the Titan Vudra, rewarded with 400W experience value. Ding. Congratulations on your successful upgrade. Your current level is 56. Ding. Congratulations on killing the Titan Vudra. Rewarding props. Wang Chuan slightly angled his head. Not bad. He had successfully reached level 56, but upgrading was indeed difficult. The difficulty of upgrading before level 50 and after level 50 was simply not on the same level. I'm afraid that this difficulty will have to be amplified even more after level 60. The other side of the land of chaos. Run Ruashiwe threw her long whip with force. A behemoth fell to the ground with a loud bang. Holy shit. Sister Ru Shui is so strong. It's actually so easy to defeat a level 60 boss panel alien now. That's right I'll go. Obviously only level 50. And she already has this kind of strength. Worthy of being the Rin family's first genius. I heard that that dragon ascending scholar also has a grudge against Sister Ru Shui. It's really hilarious. Do you really think that he's invincible just because he's a dragon ascending scholar in the district? In front of my sister Ru Shui, it's not even enough for a slap. The followers beside Rin Ru Shui chirped. When Rin Ru Shui heard Wang Chen's name, her eyes changed as if she was a poisonous scorpion looking into the distance. Wang Chuan, ah Wang Chuan, just prepare to die in this chaotic land. The genius of Qingxian province. Sword immortal Qin Pingan was currently amusing the two foreigners in front of him with a leisurely face. Even the sword sheath behind him was close to death. There was no intention of using his sword at all. Too weak too weak. Chen Pingan shook his head. Ever since he left the mountain. Until today. He had never encountered a truly strong person. Even the land of chaos known as the grave of geniuses was nothing more than that ah. It was just that he didn't know what strength this year's dragon rising scholar was. And whether he could make him draw his own sword. Seek death. Seeing that Pingan Chen was actually so contemptuous. The two foreigners immediately prepared to cut Pingan Chen down on the spot. I seek death? Sorry. The ones who deserve to die are you guys. Pingan Chen folded his fingers together and swept them gently across the room. Two level 60 foreign races were instantly decapitated at the waist. There was still one alien race left with a breath. He looked at Pingan Chen with a reluctant heart and said, I'm sorry my lord. I didn't let you use your full strength. Afterward, they were transformed into a mosaic and fell into a pool of blood. A certain crater in the land of chaos. The corners of Gamma Province's foreign fire warrior Shaoj was mouth twisted. He had finally collected his second strand of foreign fire. And his strength had now improved tremendously. Looking for death. Kid, how dare you steal my foreign fire. A huge minotaur warrior walked over at this moment with a face full of rage. This was the ghost flame that he had carefully cultivated for thousands of years. Bah, the foreign fire. And when he saw that he would be able to enjoy him right away. And he would be able to break through the threshold of level 60 and become an absolute powerhouse of level 61. He was actually shortchanged by a human kid. This feeling was definitely not less than his own daughter being taken down by a certain yellow hair. And then riding his ghost fire to his own home. While flowing while smoking a cigarette and saying to himself. Lao Deng my ghost fire parked there to watch out for me. The same as to come to anger. He can't wait to strangle Xiao Zhuanaua. Sorry brother Cao. With that. A big battle broke out between the two. On the other side. The safest place in the land of chaos. Tang Si had encountered the most powerful enemy he had ever had. A level 40 strong big brother Breen Fei. He had just searched for some ingredients to prepare a meal. But the foreigner in front of him had actually made his girlfriend into a spicy rabbit head. Outrageous. You hurt my sister. Today you already have a way to take your death. Pro mother winding. Tang Si shouted angrily. The vines as if they were as thick as a small thumb flew off. This kobold didn't buy it. Backhanding Tang Si's kissing mom. Entanglement with an axe. Another axe followed to collect Tang Si's head. Good luck today. Buy one get one free. The kobold grinned. Tonight. Spicy rabbit head in the left hand. Green grass soup in the right hand. Beautiful ah. In a forest in the land of chaos. Caitlin leaned on her great sword. Indifferent to everything around her. After coming here for so long. Not a single thing had raised his interest. Yorick. In his golden armor. Slashed at the werewolf alien in front of him. Don't look at this werewolf alien was at level 55, but in Yorick's hands, it was like a toy. In the time of a few breaths, it instantly killed half of them. From this, Yorick's strength could be seen. One could say that he had a foul mouth, but one could never say that he was a waste. Yorick, how many have you killed? Park Tiani asked. 50, not many, how about you? 51, one more than you, I guess. Damn it, keep killing. The two figures moved at a rapid pace. Slashing hard towards the werewolf Fay. The more Yorick slashed, the more confident he became in his power. This power was enough to hack over that so-called dragon rising scholar. I guess that guy, right now, was still having a headache over a level 40 Fay. A waste is a waste. In this freshman examination, 
he was going to take back all that he had lost. Even more so, he was going to trample Wang Chen hard under his feet. Chapter 233 It looks like another head has been turned. Just then, a message came from Wang Chuan's mind. Oh, Zheng Tiancheng? There's another person I don't recognize. Not bad. Looks like there's another head. Wang Dust laughed lightly. No matter who it was, as long as they moved to kill him, then he wouldn't want to live. He, Wang Chuan, would kill him. Wang Dust put away the information coming from the scanning tower, and he did not intend to go there. Let's just let this clown bounce around for a little while longer, trying to gather more people. He would kill them together in passing. Otherwise, it would be troublesome to kill them one by one. Anyway, even if there were more mole crickets, they were still mole crickets in the end, they were not a threat at all. And with these guys, it would only be a slap in the face if 10, 000 of them came. At the same time, 800 kilometers away from Wang Chen, in the middle of a low jungle, two silhouettes were pattering in the jungle. One of them was none other than Zhang Tiancheng. I say, young master Zhang, is it necessary to be so cautious? Just a mere dragon rising scholar, Su Yuan said disdainfully. Just one Wang Dust had scared him into this shit. How on earth did he think that Zhang Tiancheng counted as his only opponent in the past? What a disgrace. You have no idea how evil this kid is. His strength is simply terrifying. Say, where is that clan brother of yours? Zhang Tiancheng whispered. Zhang Tiancheng looked around. There was no sign of the clan brother Su Yuan spoke of. If there was a 55 level powerhouse, then killing Wang Chen might be a certainty. But he didn't have a bottom in his heart. Actually being able to withstand the attacks of three forbidden art scrolls. This kind of strength was definitely a terror amongst terrors. If he were to rely solely on a 55 level powerhouse, he would not have a bottom in his heart either. It's right around here. The land of chaos isn't just for us, the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University, to enter. On the contrary, there are many outsiders here. It can only be said that the general public doesn't have this permission to come to the land of chaos, Su Yuan explained. Soon, there was the appearance of another silhouette. This person was none other than Su Yunite from Su Yuan's mouth. Little one, I'm still brushing up on my levels. And someone is bullying you? Su Yuli's expression was bland. But someone actually dared to bully Su Yuan? It was simply unforgivable. Brother Knight is fine. Our current terms Dragon Rising Scholar is wildly ruthless. Get him killed. Su Yuan faintly said. Su Yu Knight nodded. In their eyes, killing a person was really as simple as eating and drinking. This place was even more of a chaotic place. Any legal rules in the outside world simply couldn't govern here. Even if you kill and set fire to someone here, the outside world can't control it. Unless the attitude is very bad before sending people to encircle. Just now it is obvious that a mere dragon rising scholar is simply not enough to reach this critical point. Alright, go find him. Su Yuli immediately clapped his hands, with Su Yuli starving to join. Zhang Tiancheng's bottom line was instantly quite sufficient. Wang dust, a Wang dust, so what if you are more powerful? You are a genius. Are others not? Not being able to fight across the ranks is talking about the ordinary professionals out there. As a genius S-class professional, how can you be the same as an ordinary professional? Oh, actually dared to come to us. Wang Dust felt a bit surprised at once. Could it be that this Zhang Tiancheng fellow still had some kind of undercard? The power was even more powerful than those three forbidden scrolls? But young people did need a bit of courage. Otherwise who would come to give him head? The red dot of the scanning tower was getting closer and closer. Wang Dust smiled contemptuously. Is it finally here? Then he would have to be impolite ah. Wang Chuan, why are you suddenly not moving? Is there news again? Li Ening frowned. After his understanding of Wang Chen, usually when he put on this kind of expression, something was about to happen. A level 75 boss alien had just appeared. It was clearly impossible for another one to appear. Otherwise, this chaotic land would be too heaven-defying. There was such a powerful alien race at the outermost part. What more at the core? Wang Dust nodded non-committally. Brother Dust, could it be them? Lu Chang was barely the most knowledgeable about Wang Dust out of everyone present. He instantly guessed that it was Zhang Tianchang and the others. Brother Dust, let's let you meet my new skill. It's guaranteed to slightly surprise you. Lu Chang revealed a bad smile. His first skill was to prepare others to enter sage mode. It was also because of this skill that could reorganize those who didn't have a male spirit. He was only valued by his teacher. The current him was not a high rank. But he had a perverted skill that few people of the same level had. Lu Chang's skill was strong in that so far. No matter how many levels of powerhouses were immune to his skill. Even though the effects were cut down, they were still able to eat most of it. This was true for both buffs and debuffs. Even though he was a priest, he might as well be called a grave master. The kind that specialized in sending people to the graveyard. Good. Wang Dust also became interested. 
He was interested in Lu Chang's skills from the start. This included the previous high school entrance exam in Luo High City. Lu Chang had also helped a lot, and was fully described as the second best in their squad's role. Without Lu Chang, Wang Dust conservatively estimated that he would have to throw one more punch. Chapter 234, Starting Hardening Again Just as Wang Chen Lu Chang and the two of them were talking, three figures arrived quietly. It was clearly Zhang Tiancheng, Su Yuan, and Su Yuli. They exuded a powerful aura around them, especially Su Yuli who stood in the center. The entire person was tugging like anything. His head was almost raised to the sky. Wang Chen, today your time to die has come. I want you to die. Ha ha ha. Zhang Tiancheng laughed excitedly. Being able to see Wang Duan die made him crazy happy. Ever since he had known Wang Chuan, not a single good thing had happened to him. Originally, as the son of the Zhang family in the Eastern Sea Province, he only needed to be peaceful and I don't eat beef. As a result, who knew this kid? Bias does not follow the rules. Time and time again, the heavy blow knocked his dignity to smithereens. Now he doesn't want any face. In his mind, he has only one thought. That is, to get Wang Chen killed. To kill this so-called dragon scholar. In fact, the guy who is not shit. If it wasn't for the fact that he had run off to squat in a police station, he would have had a month's less time to upgrade than the others. Otherwise, he would have taken down Wang Duan by himself. It's not like he's barking here like a lost dog. But it was all over. A 55 leveled professional. From the level alone, it could absolutely crush any freshman. Not to mention that the battle experience of a senior student also crushed a freshman. Wang Dust had only been transferred for a long time. Even if the king of heaven came, if you hire a top leveling team, you'll be at level 50 at most by now. It simply couldn't touch the threshold of level 55. Don't look at Ren Rushue and the others who are all around level 50 right now. But it was almost impossible for them to cross over from level 50 to level 51 in a short period of time. Once they reached this level, the amount of experience needed was simply massive. Many senior students who were level 50 in their freshman year were still stuck at level 50. Wang Dust was dead. My time to die has come? Wang Dust felt somewhat amused. Looking at the huge Imperial Capital University, who had the qualifications to say such words to himself? When did a lost dog like Zheng Tiancheng deserve to come and bark in front of himself? Uh, no, it's not a lost dog yet, but it should be soon. Senior Su Unite, please. Zheng Tiancheng looked toward Su Yuli. Su Yuli was an A-ranked professional steel fleshman. Among his class, he possessed the strongest attack and defense, and was once known as one of the strongest A-ranked talents. The terror of his strength was evident, especially when Iron Fleshman strengthened himself. His hardness was comparable to a diamond. Without a level higher than him by more than five levels, most professions couldn't even break their defenses. This was the terror of the steel fleshman. Just this one freshman? What trash? When will this kind of cargo need my hand? Su Yuli disdainfully said, in the past, he couldn't even raise a bit of interest when facing this kind of freshman, it was really too weak, there wasn't even the slightest bit of difficulty in defeating him, however, since he was the young master of the Zhang clan, let's just barely give him face, don't look at Su Yu when calling him clan brother, that was giving him face, at best, he was an underling of the Su family, his status and position was no match for Su Yu Wen. for a son of a big family like Zhang Tiancheng, he was still happy to flatter him, Brother Dust, let me try. Lu Chang laughed evilly. It was true that his attacks did not do much damage to the outside, but they were all internal injuries. Wang Dust nodded. Lu Chang walked over with his fists clenched. Just you? Su Yuli laughed instead of being angry. A little brat among little brats. Where did he get the guts to be his opponent? Purification spell. Lu Chang raised his hand and threw a purification spell onto Su Yuli's head. The three of them, Su Yuli, froze. Purification spell? You're a fucking assist. Ha ha ha. Zhang Tiancheng could no longer hold back and covered his stomach as he laughed. He was genuinely curious to know where exactly Wang Chen got the backbone to have an auxiliary come up and defeat Su Yuli. Knowing nothing about what level of powerhouse Su Yuli was, he saw that Lu Chang was only level 40. Not to mention being an assist, even if it was an output. Could it break Su Yuli's defense? Su Yuli straightened his complexion. Immediately, he opened the Iron Tendon Man skill. Whole body hardening. When turned on, Immunity to 50% of the damage of professions below his level. Defense was increased by 100%. Magic defense was also increased by 100%. Attack power was increased by 50%. And he was immune to control for 3 seconds during that time. Feeling the surging power within his body, Suyuli smiled confidently. Then, his face changed. Not low, 9 out of 10 was wrong. His originally metallic colored skin actually gradually returned to a flesh color at this moment. Not only that. His stomach actually felt a flipping sensation. 
What a situation. He suddenly remembered that Lu Chang had used a round of purification on him. Not big brother. What kind of purification ah? The buffs are all zeroed out, but also false debuffs. So Yuli really don't believe it. This kind of purification he dares to give his teammates to use? The eye is about to come out. So Yuli's face was red. Once again, he began to harden. Just at this moment, his face is not good. Obviously has endured to the limit. Chapter 235, your type? Are you worthy? Clan brother, beat him up. Su Yuan was a little puzzled as to why this clan brother of his was frozen in place like a fool. It takes so long to brew up to beat up a level 40 scum? I. Su Yuli's face turned blue. He couldn't hold back the second word for a long time. This gave them all a whole lot of trouble. Su Yuli was now confused. He also wanted to use force, but he couldn't use it at all. He could feel that if he used a little bit of force now, then the next thing he would have to do would be to fly down 3,000 feet. Hurry up. Seeing Su Yuli still hesitating, Zhang Tiancheng's face was a bit unhappy. If it wasn't for the fact that there was no one of use in this chaotic land, otherwise, why would he still use a 55 level waste like Su Yuli? Rank 60 powerhouses like Zhang Tianhu and Zhang Tianlong were also just trash among his escorts. Who's his father? The head of the Zhang family in East Sea. He could kill whoever he wanted to in the East Sea province. And his guards could walk around like this if they were just level 60? That's right. Clan brother. Hurry up and get on. Su Yuan was also a little displeased. To put it nicely, Su Yuli was his clan brother. To put it bluntly, a main family and a branch family. The two were not comparable at all. Calling out the clan brother to give face to it. If you make him unhappy, this point of face also don't want. Seeing the two so scolded himself Su Yuli froze. He quickly realized that these two masters have already moved anger. If he dragged his feet any longer, it was estimated that it would be very difficult to end the scene. Don't look at how ruthless he pretended to be before. But in reality, he still has to lick these two. Su Yuli's heart crossed, and he immediately prepared to go all out. Wang Dust glanced at Su Yuli. The next image, he didn't need to think about it to know what it was. Lu Chang the kid. Wang Chuan, is there anything I need to help? And Xiao Xiao blinked. She quickly guessed what Wang Chuan meant. Well, the resources on this side of the chaotic land are very rich. Even my diggers can't cover it in all directions. The meteorite mountain among them has the materials I need. Help me make a trip? Wang Dust smiled. Aha, okay. Saying that, and Xiao Xiao led Li Meng Meng, M.O. Liu Li to go. Naturally, Wang Dust knew that this place was in crisis. And in passing, he sent a level 60 mechanical werewolf to him as an escort. This was the werewolf alien from the previous, invaders, invasion. The strength could simply be described as horizontal in the outskirts of the land of chaos, without any accidents. It was impossible for them to encounter danger at all. You forced me to do this. Suyuli immediately began to explode with all of his power. Puff, puff, puff. Suyuli instantly transformed into a jet fighter. Holy shit, clan brother. What are you doing? Suyuan was shocked. This was his fucking clan brother? Say it outside and don't say he knows him. This should at least be outside where no one is. There are so many people here. Liening also had no eyes and chose to turn her head away from looking. Brother Dust, how's my skill? Lu Chang rushed at Wang Dust with a fluttering brow. This new skill was strong. It had a miraculous effect against this kind of opponent whose level didn't exceed his by many levels. Although it didn't do much damage, it was superior in directly crushing the opponent's fighting sense. Ahem, very much in your style. Wang Dust looked as if he had expected it. This kid, his skills were always strange. He knew what this kid was capable of when he saw Su Yuli holding his red face. Su Yuli's face was red, but he didn't stop exerting himself. Seeing this, Wang Dust was a bit impressed that this was a ruthless person. Can you think of a scene where a person is fighting you with a serious face while transforming into a jet fighter? Obviously. Su Yuli was like this. Full steel coverage. Su Yuli let out a furious shout. Swish. If before, only his skin was metallic in color. Now. Even his pupils were transformed into steel. Even so, he was still unable to immunize himself against Lu Chang's essences and could only suppress it briefly. Ha ha ha. Wang Chuan. You won't die this time. Seeing Su Yuli branching out again, Zhang Tianchang laughed out loud. He couldn't wait for Wang Chen to die immediately now. The faster he died, the better. He wanted everyone to know. Offending him, Zhang Tianchang, would only lead to death. Die? Wang Chuan looked at Zhang Tianchang with a disdainful face. You dare to be so reckless after bringing a 55 level mole? To underestimate him so much. Just want you to die. Even if the heavenly king comes today, he won't be able to save you. Zhang Tianchang said in a condensed voice. Chang Zi, let me do it. Super God Armament. Wang Dust said indifferently. In the next moment, his entire body was covered by a bright black mech. 
A powerful sense of oppression instantly swept across the room. Seeing that wine dust was coming from a bad place, Su Yuli quickly realized that this was the person he wanted to kill. Steel covering the entire body? Looks like it's the same type of profession as my iron tendon man. Su Yuli's eyes narrowed slightly. Almost instantly, he analyzed Wang Chen's occupation. But a freshman? It was also worthy of touching him. He had put his posture low in front of Zheng Tiancheng and Su Yuan, but that didn't mean that he was a rookie. Looking at all the students in the fourth year, he, Su Yuli, was also ranked. In his opinion, the likes of Wang Chuan, he could crush 800 of them with one ass. The same type as you? You deserve it? Chapter 236 This is your full strength? Upon hearing Wang Chen's words, Su Yuli instantly became anxious. This was underestimating him. A mere freshman. A mere ascending dragon scholar. How on earth would he dare? One must know that the dragon ascending scholar of their term, even if he was an S-ranked profession, he was only at the 53rd level now, and in their eyes, he was just a dog that they casually made use of. At best, those dragon rising scholars are just a little bit stronger when they don't take the college entrance exams, they really need to enter the university. In front of their backgrounds and resources, they were simply unbeatable. I will make you regret it. The steel muscles on Su Yuli's body surface instantly skyrocketed several times. The entire person's strength instantly swelled to a terrifying level. Immediately afterward, he compressed the surging muscles crazily. The entire person was filled with a feeling of Elon. Is this your clan brother's compressed muscles? Zhang Tiancheng had heard of this move. Su Yuli was a branch lineage descendant. How easy it was to make Su Yuan remember his name. What's more, to be able to be called the strongest A rank profession, how could it be more than that? This move tripled his power through the skill, power mania. However, the side effect of all this move was that the feeling of muscle expansion brought about by the skill would slow down the speed, and it was exactly this that Su Yuli terrorized. Using the characteristics of his profession to forcefully compress his steel muscles with the burst of power berserking, this would cause him a great deal of pain. In exchange, he had five times the normal strength and speed. Many S-class professionals had also suffered greatly under this move. A powerful melee professional in his own right. Coupled with a fivefold increase in dual attributes, there was absolutely no problem in briefly matching an S-class professional. That's right. I once had another 60th level A ranked professional's clan brother who was defeated under this move. It was rumored that the once Su Yuli was able to rip off the head of a level 60 alien as a head kick. Su Yuan said this. Zhang Tiancheng was a bit surprised. He did not expect that this fellow, who looked so unassuming, actually had such strength. If he was able to kill Wang Chen, it would be good to recruit him to his command. How about it? Shocked by my strength? Su Yuli laughed maniacally. He felt like he was filled with power. Hiss. Hard to say. It's turned from a pile of replies at the beginning to a big one. Wang Dust replied. This gave Su Yuli a gasp. I'm going to show you what power means. Steam began to rise around Su Yuli's body. Whoosh. In just an instant, he arrived in front of Wang Chuan. A fierce punch was thrown out. This punch actually blasted out a sonic boom. Boom. So strong. Zhang Tiancheng barely opened his eyes from the wind. Don't look at the fact that this guy was only level 55, but I guess that Zhang Tianlong guy wasn't a match for him either. Unfortunately, this attack actually couldn't even break the air wall in front of Wang Chen. Immediately afterward, Su Yuli's figure moved at a rapid pace. Silver-colored residual shadows surfaced in the air. One punch, two punches. Cobbless fists and winds violently blasted towards Wang Chen. The terrifying power caused people to turn pale at the sound of it. This is so fast. Li Ening's eyes were on the verge of smoldering. It could only barely keep up with Su Yuli's movements. It was even clearer in her heart that Wang Chen's strength was far above Su Yuli's. The gap between him and Wang Chen was actually so great. Obviously, the gap didn't feel that big before. But now, such a powerful attack couldn't even cause a ripple in the air wall in front of Wang Chen's eyes. What kind of terrifying strength was this? This is the last punch. Su Yuli let out a roar. The power of this punch gathered the strength of his entire body. It was definitely seven times his normal strength. How terrifying was this? Rumble. The wind of the fist whistled. Smoke rose in all directions. But Su Yuli only felt that he was hitting cotton. What the hell is going on here? It was the first time he felt this way. Is this your full strength? Wang Chen caught Su Yuli's full strength strike with just one finger. He looked at Su Yuli with disdain. W-H. What? After seeing it clearly, Su Yuli's pupils shrank. A single finger? How is this possible? Go on a skimmer. Wang Chen flicked his finger. Su Yuli was instantly flicked away. Desperate fear instantly filled his heart. This was simply not an existence that he could defeat. This was a fucking freshman. Then what was he? Su Yuli, what are you up to? Su Yuan frowned slightly. Why are you always acting here? There's no point in having any strength. 
Just this is still a 55 level top powerhouse, his words were boasted out. As a result, you were killed in seconds? Simply disgraceful. Su Yuan, I advise you, run away now. He is not an opponent you can defeat. Su Yuli said in a deep voice, his hands were shaking, a single finger had flicked him away, even causing his body to instinctively feel fear. He didn't doubt for a second that Wang Chuan only needed a single thought to kill him. What are you up to Su Yuli? Su Yuan said unhappily. But in the next second, Wang Chen's figure instantly arrived in front of him. This speed, Su Yuli's face changed again and again. He didn't even see the residual shadow. Chapter 237, isn't this purely looking for death? Such speed, was it really something a human could do? He had no time to react. Immediately, he opened his strongest defense skill. With such an exaggerated defense, he had once even resisted a strike from a level 65 powerhouse. Unfortunately, he had met Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan casually threw a punch. Rumble. Su Yuli was once again blown away by hundreds of meters. The original metal body was as weak as white paper at the moment. Su Yuli in mid-air. He could clearly feel the life force in his body rapidly draining away. How is this possible? Is he going to die? Click. The bones made a crisp ringing sound. Broken. Broken. But the next second. Su Yuli's entire body exploded into a cloud of blood mist and scattered. He could not just have his bones broken. There was simply no time to react to all of this. It seemed long, but it only happened between the flashes of lightning and fire. Su Yuli, dead, dead. Su Yuan's pupils shrunk. No one knew Su Yuli's strength better than him. Among his peers, there were few enemies. If he was also an S-ranked profession, then it was estimated that the Su family could have changed hands. However, such a strong person was actually killed so easily by Wang Chen. What kind of level did this guy's strength reach? Su Yuan didn't dare to think about it. He only knew that he was going to die as well. Let me go. The West Sisu family will grant you a lifetime of talent and wealth. And I, the Su family, will find you whatever you want. Su Yuan trembled and said. He had no doubt that if he branched out any further, he wouldn't end up looking better than Su Yuli. Su Yuan what are you doing? Why are you begging for mercy with him? You are the most powerful Su family in the Western Sea province. What are you afraid of? Go back and get him killed. I don't believe he dares to touch you, Zhang Tiancheng disdainfully said. Su Yuan was violently startled, and looked at Zhang Tiancheng dead on. You're damn well trying to harm me. I'm sorry. Once the people who wanted to kill me were lined up from Huaxia to pretty country, I let them come one by one to kill me, and the result was that they were invariably killed by me in return. After killing for I don't know how long I finally stopped, not because I was done killing, but because the sky was dawning. Wang Dust said indifferently. A backhanded punch blasted away. Su Yuan, his body swelled violently. Boom. Blood splattered onto Zhang Tiancheng's body. Zhang Tiancheng was stunned. But who was his father? Could he be afraid of Wang Chen? You have to think clearly about who my father is. You've already killed the Su family's son. No one can protect you when you go out. If you obediently become my little brother and serve me tea, I'll make sure that no one in the Su family dares to touch you. Zhang Tiancheng didn't realize the seriousness of the problem in the slightest and still threatened Wang Chen. Wang Dust backhanded Zhang Tiancheng's face. Does who your father is have anything to do with me? Wang Chuan slapped again. You 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 actually dare to hit me? I'll go out and tell my father to get you killed. Zhang Tiancheng roared. Oh, then what? Wang Chen slapped again. Zhang Tiancheng's teeth were all instantly dislodged under this huge force. The entire face swelled up high like a pig's head. You're dead Wang Chuan. Zhang Tiancheng became anxious and tried to reach out to grab Wang Chen. Wang Dust instantly broke Zhang Tiancheng's arm. Zhang Tiancheng let out a heart-rending scream. How dare you? How dare you? Zhang Tiancheng looked at Wang Chuan in death. Don't worry. I will send your father to meet you in hell. Wang Dust blasted out a fist. Zhang Tiancheng exploded with a face full of unwillingness. Even Li Yining was shocked by this maneuver of Wang Chen's. Actually not even afraid of the two top families of the West Sea Province East Sea Province. What kind of person was Wang Chuan? Killing them was not soft at all. And this terrifying strength made Li Yining have a closer perception of Wang Chen's strength. It was bottomless. Luckily, she didn't provoke Wang Chen at that time. Wasn't this purely looking for death? At the same time, the other side of the chaotic land, Caitlin finally felt bored. Instead of watching these two weak griffins kill the equally weak foreigners with wonky means, it would be better to find some interesting fate a hunt by herself. It would be far less fun than playing with her cell phone by herself. Caitlin, you do realize that the teacher told us to stick together. Yorick had put up with Caitlin for a long time. This guy didn't do anything but play with his cell phone. And as a result, she even put on a superior appearance all day long. I don't see the point of moving with trash. Caitlin's tone was sincere. Because she was being truthful. You. Yorick wanted to say something else. 
but Caitlin's powerful aura radiated out, an aura of superiority that made him stop trembling. He didn't dare to block Caitlin's steps of departure at all, until Caitlin was far away. Ch, you damn well better not fall into my hands. Fark Caitlin, Yorick cursed angrily. If he could beat Caitlin, this kind of guy would have been played badly by him many times already. It's fine when you've upgraded you may not have no chance of beating him. Yorick, get ready to go brush up on materials, Park Tiani faintly said. The two of them walked towards a certain mine. Chapter 238 Moonlight Holy Rider, Ancient God Inheritor, Full Moon Cave. This place gathered all the moonlight essence of the land of chaos. This also led to a rare mineral that was formed here by the moonlight for millions of years. Star Silver Iron. The production of Star Silver Iron was very rare. However, even after this rare mineral was absorbed by the nearby foreign races, many powerful foreign races were born. The Star Silver Iron here just happened to be the material that Wang Chen needed. As long as he got the Star Silver Iron there was only one more material left from gathering the materials needed for the Super God Armament. As for the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, they happened to come to the entrance of the Full Moon Cave at this moment. We must help Wang Chen get the Star Silver Iron. And Xiao Xiao clenched her small pink fist. Li Meng Meng Mo Liuli nodded their heads. By Wang Dust's side, they relied on Wang Dust to take them flying with almost everything. Today there was finally something for them to do, and it had to be done well. At the same time, Yorick brought Park Tani to the vicinity of the full moon cave as well. Yorick, your Moonlight Paladin's level 50 weapon breakthrough materials that you need are here, Park Tiani asked. Yorick nodded. If it wasn't for the fact that the materials he needed weren't available in Pretty Country, he wouldn't have come to a place like this otherwise. Compare that to Pretty Country's birdshitless Huashia. Even that Dragon Rising Scholar was so disgusting. If I can get my hands on the Star Silver Iron, I guess even that Caitlyn guy isn't necessarily a match for me. Yorick had an evil smile on his face. If he defeated Caitlyn, he would definitely make that fellow taste what it meant to be in a superior position. Yorick had already thought of a million ways to conquer Caitlyn in his mind. After all, although this woman was disgusting, she couldn't help but have the face of an angel. If he was able to conquer such a cold beauty, he, Yorick, would definitely feel a sense of fulfillment. If this woman wasn't that strong, she would probably have been taken down by him a long time ago, but all of this would be successfully realized when his own weapon was able to pull a level 50 breakthrough. Che, that woman, can't figure out Smithy. E. Park Tani also somewhat hated Caitlin. Obviously they were both geniuses. Why did they think highly of themselves? She herself was still in love with her at first when she approached her for a chat. The hell would want to be teammates with such an ice cube. As for Caitlin being powerful? It was true that it was a bit, but Park Tiani didn't think she was inferior to Caitlyn. This guy wasn't just born in a beautiful country with better resources. If she had the same resources, she, Park Tiani, wouldn't just crush Caitlyn. Just then, Yorick saw a few figures ahead that looked familiar. Park Tani, do these Chinese pussies look like the chick beside Wan Duan? Yorick asked. When he thought of Wang Dust, he was furious. When he himself had just come to China. When those Chinese women heard that he was the top genius of the pretty country, one by one, they were sticking themselves on him like they didn't want money. He had originally looked favorably on the women around Wang Chen as well. The result? Instead of coming to actively curry favor with him, these women did not come. They also took the initiative to stand on Wang Chen's side. How can this be tolerated? If he let these guys fall into his Yorick's hands, he would be high and low to let them see what was called the Lunar Sky Rush. It should be. Go kill them. Don't you want to kill whoever you want in China? Their law enforcement will be toward us anyway. Park Tani shrugged indifferently. It seemed to be accustomed to these things. Yorick rather agreed. The two of them walked towards the and Xiao Xiao trio. It's you guys. Seeing the visitors, and Xiao Xiao's pupils shrunk. It was actually those two foreigners. She knew very well that this guy called Yorick was not something good. How did they appear here? He he, this Chinese lady, there is no need for you to be alarmed. Can I buy you a drink? Yorick ruffled his hair. The blonde hair was extraordinarily eye-catching under the reflection of the moonlight, coupled with its peerless appearance. If other girls saw this scene, they would have screamed like crazy. It was only a pity that the one he ran into was in Xiao Xiao. No time, please also leave. And Xiao Xiao said in a cold voice. For other men, it was impossible for in Xiao Xiao to give a good face. Let alone this guy. Ha ha ha, don't give face ha. Huh? Yorick's face brushed cold. Just now, he was planning to give in Xiao Xiao a way out. Actually don't want it? then don't want it. Yorick's right hand shook. The golden battle armor carrying a bit of light instantly covered his entire body. A huge golden lance appeared out of thin air. S-Class Occupation. Moonlight Holy Rider. Ancient God Inheritor. It's said that every S-Class profession hosts a strand of power from a god. When your performance is recognized by the gods, a god will cast a watchful eye. 
obtain the inheritance of the ancient gods. This was the case for Yorick, Caitlin, and Park Chani. The inheritance of the gods also had its strengths and weaknesses, but there was no doubt that the S-rank professionals inherited by the gods were far above the ordinary S-rank professionals. This was the difference in quality. In the same class, it was definitely the S-class professionals with ancient gods inheritance that were more powerful. When the golden lance was unveiled, the three of them, and Xiao Xiao, instantly felt a great pressure. Fragrant sweat gradually seeped out of their foreheads. This terrifying sense of oppression seemed to have caused trembling in their souls. Chapter 239, Your Time to Die Has Come. A sentence surfaced in their hearts at the same time. This person in front of them was an unbeatable existence. There was also a gap between S-class and S-class, and the chasm between the ancient god's inheritance and ordinary S-class was like a moat, without the slightest possibility of surpassing it. This beautiful Chinese lady, I would like to give you one last chance to promote my lord's mercy. Either submit or die. Yorick's lance was crossed, his killing intent undoubtedly revealed. It seemed that one second and Xiao Xiao didn't agree. The next second he was going to stab and Xiao Xiao with his spear. What if I'm going to say no? The heavenly wind staff and in Xiao Xiao's hand appeared out of thin air. A big battle was inevitable. Even if her level wasn't as good as Yorick, even if her occupation wasn't as good, but the option of having Wang Dust was never a choice. It was a must. Oh, Yorick raised his eyebrows. He was unable to figure it out. What was so good about that Wang Dust fellow? Being able to make in Xiao Xiao so enamored, to actually be able to ignore his own life including the other two females as well. However, if they were to taste the fear of death, would she still be so? Yorick covered his face as if to hide his almost maniacal smile. Yes? Yorick's body flashed, turning into a golden light. He arrived in front of an Xiao Xiao almost instantly, with a long spear. This shot carried an unstoppable momentum. With just this one shot, and Xiao Xiao saw the gap in strength between them. It was simply not an existence of the same level. Was this a professional of the ancient god's inheritance? Powerful really powerful, so that one could not even bring up the desire to resist. Just by being affected by the momentum of this shot, it was estimated that one would have to be instantly cleared of bloodstains. This Yorick, what kind of monster is it? Right at this moment, a scarlet light suddenly flashed behind in Xiao Xiao. Ow. A metallic color slashed through, and a mechanical claw blocked the blow. It was clearly Wang Chen's mechanical werewolf from before. The level 60 boss panel like mechanical werewolf. After its strength was further strengthened by mechanization, it might not even be weaker than a level 61 boss. Such strength was enough to walk horizontally in the land of chaos. Yo, there's another beast. Mechanization? Looks like it's Wang Dust's ability. Yorick said indifferently, without even thinking about it, the ability to mechanize monsters. It could only be Wang Dust's. Yorick was still a bit surprised. The ability of this fellow Wang Chen. It was actually so powerful. Unusual abilities that were able to manipulate monsters across levels rarely appeared, and Wang Chuan was actually able to directly cross the level of transformation. It seemed that he could not be kept. If this ability is not eradicated, it will definitely be able to pose a threat to him in the future. It seems that this kid is hiding really deep, but so what? The current him was synonymous with invincibility. He, Yorick, could not possibly lose. Yorick's lance shook, and the golden armor on his body once again blossomed with a brilliant light. The entire person's aura climbed once again. This was the power of the ancient god's inheritor, temporarily boosting his attributes. He once again stabbed out with his spear. The mechanical werewolf roared. The mechanical giant claw slammed. Bang! The mechanical werewolf's right arm was directly dried up since it was shattered. The mechanical werewolf who only had one arm left was still confused. Why was his arm gone? This werewolf, his strength isn't that good, Yorick said with disdain. At the same time, the mechanical werewolf's image appeared in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. Yorick is it. Wang Chuan's body exuded a lingering cold aura. How dare he touches Wang Chuan's people. He already had a way to take his death. Wang Chen. What's wrong? Li Ening's words had not yet fallen. Immediately afterward, she felt a powerful aura. Wang Chuan's body had been covered by the super god armament. Huge golden colored wings instantly appeared. Rumble. The super god armament flew at full speed. It headed in the direction of An Xiao Xiao. The mechanical werewolf had already been torn apart by Yorick. When Yorick got serious, the 60-level mechanical werewolf's strength was simply not enough. It couldn't be helped that an S-class professional was already above ordinary professions, and with the addition of the ancient god's inheritance, it was simply impossible for anyone under level 65 to be his opponent. Such strength was too terrifying. Heavenly Phoenix Meteor, and Xiao Zhao's silver teeth clenched. The sky was covered in dark clouds. It was instantly covered by a cluster of meteors. This was in Xiao Xiao's most powerful means of attack at the moment. It was only a pity. When the countless meteors fell, 
Yorick didn't panic. He only cared about moving rapidly through the swarms of stars, passing through all the flowers, not touching a single leaf, lightly dodging such a terrifying strike. Ice Rib Divine Spike. Emo Lioli on the side saw the right moment to directly release her magic. Terrifying ice spikes instantly surfaced. It was like an arrow flying out of the string. Yorick didn't dodge or flash, and gently received it with two fingertips. This attack, it doesn't hurt. Another casual and simple stab. The terrifying aftermath made people's hairs stand up in sweat. Powerful. Unimaginably powerful. Holy Light Guardian. Li Meng Meng gritted her teeth. The shield formed by the Holy Light was like brittle paper at the moment. The three were instantly lifted off by this powerful force. Couldn't fight. Couldn't fight at all. This power. It was too despairing. Your time to die has come. Yurik condescendingly pointed the tip of his gun at an Shao Shao. It's you who's arrived. Isn't it? Chapter 240, Crushing an Ancient God Inheritor with Only One Hand, a voice full of killing intent rang out. Yorick frowned. Who dared to speak to himself like that? When looking at Wang Chen, Yorick smiled disdainfully. Today, even if Yu Wang Dust came. So what? Today, even if 10, 000 of Yu Wang Dust came, it would still be 10, 000 Wang Dusts that would die. There will be no way for you to live at all. Wang Dust's figure flashed, and in an instant, he came to the tip of the lance in front of an Xiao Xiao. Holding it with one hand, he exerted a slight force. The golden lance shaped with divine power as its origin was actually pinched out with handprints at this moment. What a fast speed. Yorick finally realized. He hadn't realized when Wang Chuan came just now. He also didn't realize that Wang Chen had saved an Xiao Xiao from right under his nose. He was even able to leave a handprint under his gun. This guy is not simple. But, so what? All the geniuses in this world have to lose their light when they meet him. Yorick. In front of him Yorick. It's the dragon that has to be coiled. It's the tiger that has to lie down. Chinese dragon rising scholar. I admit that you have the qualifications to fight me. Yorick said indifferently. He was still disdainful of Wang Chen. This kind of fellow. How was he worthy of being compared to him? Wang Chuan's figure flashed. It arrived in front of Yorick. Yorick's pupils shrunk. The battle armor suddenly blazed with golden light. Wanting to resist this move. Unfortunately, the next second. Wang Chen casually crushed Yorick's golden lance in one go. Even if this was a fake created by a minuscule strand of divine power, there was no way to change the fact that he contained a trace of divine power in it. But at this moment, it was actually crushed by Wang Chen with one hand. How is this possible? Yorick was shocked. This was his original weapon. How did it shatter? If it was like remodeling the weapon, the damn price to pay was huge ah. How dare you? How dare you destroy my weapon? Wang Chuan, I want you to die. Yurik no longer had the gentlemanly demeanor he had earlier. Or rather, his so-called gentlemanly demeanor was nothing more than a disguise. He turned his head and became hysterical towards Wang Chen. Want me to die? Wang Chuan sneered. A slap was thrown backhandedly into Yorick's face. The thick helmet was instantly slapped to pieces. The impenetrable armor was like paper mache in the eyes of Wang Chuan at this moment. Ah, uh, uh, I want you to die. Seeing that his helmet was also shattered. Yorick was in a state of madness and threw a punch towards Wang Chuan's face. Wang Dust did not dodge. He reached out and pulled. Yuriko's arm was instantly shattered. Ah! Yorick erupted into a scream as if he was killing a pig. That's enough. You Chinese have an old saying. It's called sparing others when you have to spare them. He doesn't have the power to fight back anymore. Don't touch him anymore. Park Tiani said in a cold voice. Oh, Wang Chuan's figure flashed again. He directly kicked out, pressing Park Tiani to the ground, forcefully rubbing the soles of his 43 size large shoes on Park Tiani's face. What qualifications do you have to speak? Wang Chen said in a cold voice. You forced me to do this. Park Tani's voice was like a devil above the nine ghosts. It seemed to purge everything. The pitch black colored armor instantly covered. Park Tani's tone also hardened. She thought she was stronger than Yorick. There was no way she could be killed in seconds. Who knew? Wang Chen stomped on Park Tani's face again. Taking a beating in a different form? Wang Chuan dry shattered Park Tani's armor with his foot. These powerful geniuses that were absolutely not to be messed with in the outside world were like ants in front of Wang Chuan at this moment. This was Wang Chen's absolute strength. I don't believe that if you dare to kill me, we in the Taiji kingdom will hold you accountable. Park Tani was emboldened and said, Coincidentally, I believe it. Just that that fart of a place. How dare you come to call. Wang Chuan came back with another kick, completely finishing off Park Tani. Exterminating an S-class ancient god inheritance professional was as simple as eating and drinking water to Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan, don't force me. Yorick trembled as he stepped back. Park Tani was dead. He had no doubt that Wang Chuan would kill him. Force you? You deserve it? Wang Chen shook his head. Indeed. Yorick was not worthy. One billion dollars. 
Let me live. The pretty coins are all in my storage ring, and there are gold bars of the same value inside that want whatever you want, Yorick hurriedly said. Wang Chen patted Yorick's shoulder in a serious manner. He said in a serious tone, You're confused. If I kill you, all of these will be mine as well. Yorick, how could this man be like this? No, he didn't want to die. Wang Dust casually slapped Yorick to death again. After pulling off the storage rings from Yorick and Park Tani, Wang Dust was satisfied with a clearing. 1 billion pretty coins, 100 kilograms of gold, plus some miscellaneous materials. Wang Dust threw it all to that egg to use. He couldn't use it himself anyway. With this money alone, the harvest this time was already not small. Isn't this better than the reward given for killing the foreigners? Chapter 241, Caitlin's Might. In a forest in the land of chaos, Caitlin's blonde hair looked particularly eye-catching as she fought back and forth amongst a group of huge foreigners. Every swing of her blade would take away the lives of dozens of monsters. It was different from Yorick's kind of ancient god's inheritance that could be described as tattered. Caitlin didn't just obtain the residual billionth of a strand of the ancient god's power. Hard to say. She had received recognition from the gods, invested with endless greatness by the gods themselves in the high heavens. As long as she didn't die, she would inevitably be able to become the strongest human in the future, even surpassing humans. In this world, he was unrivaled among his peers. She was invincible. Battling across levels was just a routine for her. Not only that, other professionals could only become a professional at the age of 18. But Caitlin was different. She was a born professional. She was born with the mark of divine selection, which also meant that she was an ancient god inheritor since birth. Even if she couldn't level up until she was 18, but even if she was only at level 1, she could still cut down level 10 monsters with her powerful body. This kind of demonic talent is unprecedented. Even the top powerhouses of the pretty country were shocked by Caitlin's talent. This was far from Caitlin's most perverse point, because at the age of 18, that's when Caitlin will be riding high. The world thought that an S-class career was the pinnacle of humanity, because even the strongest professional would never go beyond S-class. But Caitlin's appearance broke this rule. Her profession formed a disconnected gap with the rest of the professions. That's why the pretty country's official government specially added an occupation rank to her. S-plus, meaning, above all S-ranked talents. Obviously, Caitlin did it, no matter who no matter how strong, as long as the difference in rank with her wasn't too great, it was simply impossible for anyone to resist the power of one of her swords, from the time she started upgrading until now, she hadn't even had an opponent that made her raise an ounce of interest, what she, Caitlin, symbolized was absolute invincibility, including Yorick, the same ancient god inheritor, was absolutely no match for Caitlin, and that enemy was still a case where Caitlin hadn't laid a finger on her, this also led to why Yorick hated Caitlin so much, he thought that he was invincible, but when he met Caitlin, who was able to kill him in a second with a single sword, Yorick was narrow-minded, not allowing anyone to be on top of him all, 1080, Caitlin said expressionlessly, since she was 18 years old, her daily task was to constantly kill foreigners, and her heart had long been numb, aside from the cell phone, I'm afraid that nothing else could raise his interest, who is it, Caitlin was keenly aware of a flying object coming towards her at an extremely fast speed, when she fixed her eyes on it, it turned out to be the owl that they, the foreign students, used to send messages. The owl had a shadow retaining stone at its feet, on which was recorded the image of Wang Chen killing Yorick in Park Tani. Ha, it's a bit interesting. However, it's only that little bit. Caitlin wasn't the least bit surprised that these two people had died at the hands of someone else. Caitlin, who was incomparably calm in her emotions, actually felt a trace of interest in Wang Chen in an unprecedented manner. But this was short-lived. Caitlin casually crushed the shadow retention stone. Lifting her greatsword, she continued to slash towards the foreigners in front of her. Perhaps compared to others, Wang Chen was really strong. But against her, Caitlin was still like an ant. After all, no one among his peers was able to eat one of her Caitlin's swords. Yorick was like this, and so was Wang Chen. Moreover, the Wang Chuan on the screen couldn't even take an instantaneous second from Yorick. There must be an unbridgeable gap between his strength and hers. Achu, who's cursing me? Wang Dust sneezed as he walked. Is it too cold to catch a cold? And Xiao Xiao hurriedly cared. Although the weather has cooled down recently, but with my kind of physical fitness, I obviously won't catch a cold. Wang Chen shook his head. What he didn't know was that Caitlin actually thought about him so much. Otherwise he would have had to laugh. The strike that killed Yorick was far from his full strength. If Caitlin was unrivaled, then he, Wang Dust, was unlikely to have an enemy. A difference of a few words, a world of difference. To say that he and Caitlyn were not from the same world was also correct. After all, how could a dragon that was far above the nine heavens be in the same world as an ant underground? 
We've collected almost all the territorial hearts in the periphery, and it's no surprise that it's already the largest group in the freshman examination. But the role of territorial hearts is far more than just redeeming points, and it just so happens that there's a huge gathering of foreign races over there. It seems to be a huge territory among the foreign races. Take that one, and the land of chaos is almost taken. Wang Dust analyzed. The other few people nodded their heads in succession. After determining the target, Wang Dust left the digger in place, staying to dig up the star silver iron here. After all, they didn't have much time to delay here. Rare materials, on the other hand, were the more the better. After doing this, Wang Chuan and his group headed towards the alien race's huge territory. Chapter 242 A Snooper Hidden in the Shadows A Dragnet Against the Freshman Land of Chaos Chaos Canyon This was the largest gathering place of foreign races in the outskirts of the Land of Chaos. Countless foreign races gathered here. Strong people were like clouds, and level 60 powerhouses that were rare to see in the outside world abounded here. Even the level 50 powerhouses that could be called the best in the outside world were all over the place, but their status was extremely low here. It was simply that level 60 powerhouses were everywhere and level 50 powerhouses were inferior to dogs. It was really hard to imagine what kind of turmoil the outside world would cause if such a force entered the outside world. After all, there were too many strong people here. Such a powerful foreign race could only cower here like ordinary people. If you look closely, it's not hard to find that there are quite a few level 70 strong people in this huge canyon. The level 70 foreigners were able to slaughter professionals of the same level at will. The gap between humans and foreigners was like a chasm that could not be crossed. At the top of the Chaos Canyon, at the highest point of the Chaos Canyon, there was an incomparably splendid palace. Even with the magic formations separating them, you can still feel the incomparably powerful aura in it. Ordinary people even passing by can be enough to feel an incomparable sense of despair. In the middle of the palace, several huge foreigners were sitting on futons. TSK TSK, these humans are really weak. Even if they send out level 50 mole crickets to act as bait, are the humans still having such a hard time defeating them? Not bad for weak humans. Waste is waste. A strange looking bird mocked. He was the Birdman clan of the land of chaos. Don't look at him as odd looking, but the strength of his feather flying chapter was enough to rank in the top 5 among the outskirts of the land of chaos. It's fine. When this group of self-righteous guys fall into our territory, we'll wipe them out. These guys, they actually really think that we foreigners are easy to bully. It's really funny. They actually really think that each and every one of them can cross levels and are all geniuses among geniuses. A werewolf covered in scars was ferocious and couldn't wait to flay the humans alive right now. He, Wolfman Voris, was also enough to rank in the top five in the land of chaos. No, or rather, the five fae here were all kings among kings among fae. They had laid a dragnet just to wipe out the geniuses of the current generation of humans. Otherwise, with this kind of terrifying battle power of the foreign races, not to mention defeating at the same level, even if they were to defeat at the same level, it would still be a near impossible thing to accomplish. And it seems that everyone here can do it. Why is that? The humans didn't seem to realize the seriousness of the problem at all. A few of them had driven some of the exiles out of the mixed money canyon and controlled them to let them loose against the humans. It was as if all the fey were pulling crotch. Of course, it was all done seamlessly. No one noticed it in the slightest. Although they had signed a contract with the strong humans not to strike against the weak, but when everyone stepped into the core territory of their clan, even if they struck out, the higher-ups on the human side would have absolutely nothing to say. So their plan was, step by step, to let the foreign races send them to their deaths and lure them all to the Chaos Canyon, and then kill them all. Let there be a break in the top geniuses of the human race. There was a large crystal ball among them. It was actually monitoring everything on the outskirts of the Land of Chaos in real time. When they saw that Caitlin was killing level 60 foreigners as easily as eating and drinking water, a stout, bulky minotaur chief leaked out an evil smile. Ha ha ha, leave this chick for me when the time comes. I like this kind of powerful chick. Let's see if it's her nature that's strong or my old bull that's hard. The minotaur chief laughed out loud. Generally speaking, at the point of level 70 and above, the foreign races would get rid of the inferiority brought by their native races, while the minotaurs would not be like this. This character of theirs that liked to bull others was engraved in their bones. Ahem, let's leave this aside for now. Can't you guys notice that this crystal ball is blackened? The most composed of the several people. The three-headed Zhao interrupted. Ch, doesn't that mean this guy is dead? What's so strange about that? Voris said disdainfully. The three-headed Zhao froze, saying so made sense though. However, he always felt a few things wrong within his heart. If that was really the case, then shouldn't it be logical that the crystal ball should just stop showing his picture? Why would it go black? I don't understand. But he, the three-headed Zhao didn't care to communicate with these brainless guys, 
After all, he was three brains then. Wine Dust, who was about to reach the Chaos Canyon, looked up at the sky. Just now, he was actually spied on? It seemed that this heaven and earth was not chaotic and completely devoid of laws. At the very least, there were people who could manage to spy on them. Who was it that spied on him? Zhang Tian Chang, Yorick had already been killed by him. Other than these two, who else could it be? Could it be Rin Rushiwe? No, she shouldn't have this kind of strength. Then who could it be as strange? But luckily, the peeping just now had been blocked by him. With his strength, someone who could spy on him hadn't been born yet. Chapter 243, Scraping as always. Hey, Wang Chen, our next stop is this? Li Ening surveyed the chaotic canyon with some surprise. From afar, one could not see the end at a glance. The pitch black canyon was actually a little more colorful black under the reflection of the haze. If it was here, it would definitely be able to make a big splash. That's right. Wang Dust nodded. The Chaos Canyon was at the very least tens of millions of square kilometers, several times larger than the entire city of Luo Hai. It was even countless times larger than the other major races. The rule of the Land of Chaos was that the larger the territory, the higher the quality of the Heart of Territory. And with such a large Chaos Canyon, the quality of the Territory Heart definitely counted as the largest in the periphery. If one could reach this Heart of Territory, even if it was not for the purpose of the examination, the energy it contained would be extremely terrifying. Right at this moment, a level 60 alien appeared in front of Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan just wanted to raise his hand to settle him. Leave it to me Wang Chuan, I can't possibly paddle the entire time. Li Ening jumped into action. After coming to the land of chaos for so long, she had actually been fighting all the time, causing her body to rust. Seeing Wang Dust punch a little friend gave her all the itchy, itchy heart. Wang Chuan lowered his hand. Indeed, it was time to give them some exercise. Humph, watch me. Li Ening flicked her right hand. The heavenly Yuan sword box instantly appeared, and 10,000 long swords floated behind her in an instant. An incomparably terrifying aura instantly appeared. 10,000 swords return. Li Ening droned out. The thousands of long swords in the sky were instantly ready to fire, as if they were arrows rushing towards the level 60 giant axe minotaur in front of her. Cold light flashed on the long swords, and the overpowering sword intent cut through the air. In an instant, thousands of long swords flew. Swish. Countless slashes were made on the giant axe minotaur's body. Dash 500. Dash 501. Dash 502. Seeing the damage she did by scratching so much, Li Ening couldn't tense up. She was still scratching as usual. Ah. Bah. She didn't scrape before. She only scraped so much after she met Wang Chen. Before she unlocked the second form of the Tian Yuan sword box, she had always relied on the first form to kill her enemies. Li Ening took a deep breath. She had sort of realized that this first form could only scrape now. Since that was the case, she would open the second form. Heavenly Sword. Li Ening's slender jade fingers merged together. And a heavenly sword that emitted a hefty divine might instantly changed. A single slash went. A deep wound was cut out of the giant axe minotaur's chest. A sword sealed his throat. The corner of Li Ening's mouth twitched. This sword. It must be very handsome. She could not help but look at Wang Chun with some complacency. Who knows? Wang Chen did not look this way. Li Ening froze. Why didn't he look at her? Could it be that her strength was that weak? Something's not right, Wang Chen said in a deep voice. What? Li Ening exclaimed in shock before she had time to react. The giant axe minotaur instantly seized the gap and charged towards the Chaos Canyon, not giving Li Ening any time to react. At the same time, many of the freshmen who were fighting the Fae discovered that something was wrong. The foreign races actually ran towards a place at the same time, in a certain crater in the land of chaos, 30 years east of the river and 30 years west of the river. Don't kid yourself. I couldn't beat you just now, but now that I've absorbed three foreign flames, I'll kill you like slaughtering pigs and dogs. Xiao Zhuo laughed out loud. The red lotus flower in his hand continued to condense. He looked at the foreigner in front of him with a smug expression. Who knew that the foreigner who was just about to slash at Xiao Zhuo suddenly turned around? Still want to run? Xiao Zhuo's red lotus flower was thrown towards the alien race. But who knows? The foreigner's aura that was just slightly disheveled instantly skyrocketed several times, and heartily resisted this strike of the red lotus flower. Running towards the far side. What's going on here? Xiao Zhu was dumbfounded. However, he did not think much about it and chased towards the alien race. Perhaps he himself didn't even know why he was chasing after it. In a forest, Caitlin, dressed in battle armor as if she was a Valkyrie, pulled down her greatsword from a huge alien body. Strangely enough, the armor on her body and the greatsword in her hand were not stained with a trace of blood. 3000. Caitlin faintly said. Afterwards, Caitlin carried her sword and flew towards the Birdman alien in front of her. E -e -e -e. The Birdman erupted with an ear-piercing shrill. The speed increased to an extreme. 
flying towards the Chaos Canyon. Eh? Caitlin was a bit surprised. Why would someone run away in the middle of a battle? She didn't think much about it and directly chased towards the Birdman at full speed. A plane on the other side. Ren Ruashue's whip was like a poisonous scorpion. It darted in and out of the group of foreigners. But as soon as his whip was about to touch the Fey, the foreign races ran away. Such a scene played out in almost the entire land of chaos. They could clearly feel their wills awake. But for some reason, one by one, they went after the Fey as if they had lost their minds. Chapter 244, The Closing of the Foreign Race. Unprecedented Crisis. In the middle of the palace in the land of chaos, Voris eyes were glowing scarlet. They're here. Our plan, finally, can be implemented. Voris laughed evilly. Ha 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 ha. My old ox is going to take away a hundred little ladies. The Minotaur chief laughed out loud. He raised the huge axe in his hand and leapt into action. TSK, actually dared to kill so many of my clansmen. I must torture them ruthlessly. Ga 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 ga. Fei Fei Zhang let out a strange cry. His tone, however, didn't have much sadness. Just kidding, it was his companions who were killed. Not him, Feather Fei Zhang. Why did it matter to him? Looking at a bunch of his stupid bird teammates, three-headed Jia sighed deeply. One two with a fucking bad brain like. Chaos Canyon. When they saw more and more freshmen all gathering here, they finally realized that something was wrong. They woke up with a start. However, it was already too late. The Chaos Canyon had a barrier imposed on it at some point in time, and it was only for entering and exiting. All the news inside was blocked, and it was not perceptible outside at all. And when they pulled here, although they had regained their senses, they could no longer escape. What's more, how big this Chaos Canyon was, when they realized that there were more and more people, it was already too late, and the foreigners who had just attracted them had disappeared at some point. What's going on? A fleshly professional with a body full of tendons walked out. He was Li Yuanba the 20th ranked freshman of the Imperial Capital University, a ranked fleshly profession with unrivaled monstrous strength. Li Yuanba looked at the blue barrier in front of him with a grave expression, seemingly as light and thin as water, but actually impenetrable. Brother Li, save us. This is the Chaos Canyon on the map, the most dangerous place in the entire land of chaos. It's the paradise of the foreigners, the gathering place of the strong. If we can't get out, we'll only fall into the foreigners' rations. Yes, yes, brother Li. You're an A-class top profession with unrivaled monstrous strength. There must be a way. The crowd murmured, pinning their last hope on the strongest among them, Li Yuanba. Well said. Li Yuanba revealed a confident smile. After being praised by the crowd, his confidence returned. Monstrous power. Li Yuanba let out a furious shout. His muscles instantly swelled several times. His entire body was like a small giant. His veins rippled, and his feet sunk deep into the earth, which cracked. Rumble. Li Yuanba's fist, carrying an incomparable monstrous force, fiercely blasted. This unusual strike was enough to shake the heavens and shatter mountains. And at this moment, the blast on top of this light blue barrier didn't even cause a single ripple. What? Li Yuanba's face changed. This barrier actually counteracted several times the power of his punch. Put. Li Yuanba's chest was stuffy, and a mouthful of hot blood spurted out. Li Yuanba flew out hundreds of meters backwards, his face pale. Even his full force strike could not break this barrier. What kind of monster is this? Looking at Li Yuanba's figure flying out backwards, the faces of the crowd stiffened. If even Li Yuanba couldn't do it, then who could? The other side of the chaotic canyon. Ron Rushue's face was gloomy. Even though she had sensed the aura of danger just now, her body came here as if it was uncontrollable. The aura here made her feel a hint of threat. She used her own abilities and fiercely pumped the barriers a few times, but she realized that they didn't move at all and all of her attacks were like shadows that couldn't rise a single inch or so. Damn it, Ren Ruashua coldly said. Caitlin's face was as normal. No matter what the problem was, it was not a problem in front of her. Even if the sky collapsed, she could try to block it. Wang Chuan's few people were in the middle of the Chaos Canyon at the beginning. What's going on here? Li Ening was a bit puzzled. It should be some barrier-type skill, but it's not that sturdy. But trapping those students shouldn't be a problem. Wang Chen shook his head. He gently poked it it poked a hole out of the barrier. As he expected, it wasn't too sturdy. Moreover, there was a function here to block outside signals. I'm sure the outside world had already blown up. It didn't matter. He would strike. The outside world. Ling Han and the rest of them, the teachers, had been intently watching each student's performance. Suddenly, the monitors suddenly went haywire. All the monitor images disappeared into thin air. What's going on here? Ling Han's face changed. This was not right. Definitely not right. He keenly sensed that this was by no means a problem with the monitor. Quickly go and organize teachers to rescue them. 
I told you how it would go so smoothly. A trace of cold sweat oozed from Ling Han's forehead. No wonder. A level 50 student could defeat a level 60 Fei. If the Fei were all that weak, where in this world would the Fei still have a voice? On second thought, something had definitely gone terribly wrong. Ling Han couldn't hesitate in time and immediately called his teacher. In an instant, the entire Imperial Capital University's top management blew up. If an entire class of students all died, then this would definitely be a teaching accident that would be enough to stir the world. Chapter 245, Changes in the Land of Chaos, Huaxia is alarmed. Everyone hadn't expected that the foreign race would actually think of overthrowing all the geniuses of this term, causing a break in Huaxia, Borderland, the land of the extreme north. Marquis Bayong of Jinbei had an ironclad expression on his face. He had just received the news from the front line, and he didn't expect those foreign races in the land of chaos to actually dare to go back on their words. Marquis Jinbei, you have to take the main responsibility for this incident. Lin Lishi, the minister of education who had been reprimanded earlier, finally found an opportunity at this moment and began to pull together a few of his foxes and dogs to lash out towards the person he had previously not dared to look directly at. Bai Yang glanced angrily at Lin Li Shi. One person doing something is one person. I naturally bear the burden, but here is equally no part for you to speak. Dragged out, heavily beating fifty big boards, Bai Yang angrily rebuked. The two red dragon guards beside him ignored Lin Li Shi's wailing. One on the left and one on the right racked him out. And you all, no matter who it is, it's fine to have a problem with me, but don't you think that I don't dare to take the responsibility? Even if the king of heaven comes today, you won't be able to leave them behind. Bayong angrily slapped the table, even without utilizing any professional's power. The conference table made of fine mahogany directly became shattered in an instant. Once Bayong said this, no one present dared to squeak. This master will always be a master. Red dragon guards listen to the order. Follow me out to battle. Heading to the land of chaos, I see that this land of chaos a few old things are old and confused. Fifty or sixty leveled ones are even so, but those few old things actually dare to lay a plan on them. Kill without pardon. Bai Yong angrily poured a bowl of wine. A seeping murderous aura erupted from his body. Worthy of being a long experienced Marquis of Jinbei, a murderous intent unusual people even just standing next to him, probably couldn't help but prostrate. Yes, in an instant, the red dragon guards assembled in full force. Countless red-colored dragons hovered in the air. The vast land of the extreme north was instantly covered in shadows. It was as if only the incomparably terrifying red giant dragons existed in the entire heaven and earth. All of the people present were not big names that resonated in one party. But seeing such a scene, they couldn't help but tremble. This kind of might was something that had only been seen in their lives. And on top of these red dragons, there were even more gigantic red dragons. This was the boss of the dragon's lair. The red dragon king, a level 90 boss an absolute powerhouse. It was an existence that no one had ever expected. To actually take a level 90 boss as a mount. I didn't expect Bai Yong to be so brave. Now that they thought about it, they had still underestimated Bai Yong. A man who was able to create the red dragon guards with his own strength. How could he be a simple character? Bai Yong led the many red dragon guards and flew towards the land of chaos. Wang kid, I hope you can delay until I come. Bai Yong looked in the direction of the land of chaos with a grave expression on his face. Although he did not hold much hope for Wang Chen, a 79 leveled powerhouse was already a top powerhouse in the clear light of day. Wang Chen was just as talented as he was. Being a student who had just switched less than two months ago, how strong could he still be stronger than these existences who had become 79 level powerhouses for hundreds of years? At the same time, Imperial Capital University President's Office, Yang Tianxin's pupils shrunk when he heard the news. He collapsed straight into his chair. He almost didn't slow down to actually dare to lay hands on the students of my imperial capital university. Thunder and lightning flashed on Yang Tianxin's body, itching to kill directly to the land of chaos. Even if he was a 79 level powerhouse, he didn't have absolute certainty to go to the land of chaos to save people. There were 79 level foreigners existing right on the periphery, and he couldn't even defeat one of them. Not to mention that there were even more terrifying existences within. Just at this moment, the door to the principal's office was pushed open. A middle-aged man in white robes walked in with a cloudy demeanor. Principal, you're back? Yang Tianxin was surprised. That's right, we just received news that the land of chaos actually wants to go after the geniuses, and we should know that the land of chaos is far more than just the geniuses of our imperial capital university, and even the geniuses of the entire China. Inform all the teachers within the imperial capital university to bring their strongest suits and set off immediately. Oh Yang Bo said gruffly. Yes, Yang Tianxin solemnly said. For a while, the entire China was rattled by this matter in the land of chaos. If the foreign race from the land of chaos was really allowed to kill the geniuses of Huaxia, 
then it would be a great loss for Huaxia. For a time, the land of chaos became the focus of everyone in Huaxia. Anyone who was looking forward to any power being able to save these geniuses. And yet, there was one family that seemed extraordinarily calm. The Ren family of the imperial capital. How's it going? Have you made a deal with the foreign race yet? The Ren family had said indifferently. A deal has been made. Giving our Rin family a 20% share of the benefits afterward. As well as releasing Rin Rushu eh? But it requires our Rin family to hold back the great powers of Huaxia. The Rin family's grand elder slowly said. Humph. Only 20%. The Rin family head was a little displeased. However, when he thought that this brat Wang Chen would be killed soon, instead, he eased up a lot. Wang Chuan, ah Wang Chuan, such a weak mole, I don't even need to make a move to crush you to death. What qualifications do you have to clamor? After all, you are just a weak ant, so how can you compete with the White Moon? Not to mention the powerful Rin family. Chapter 246, Cognitive Impairment Goblin, a force that is strong enough to shatter rocks, Chaos Canyon. With the blue barrier gradually shrinking, everyone then realized that they should never touch this blue barrier. If you are lightly injured, you will be seriously injured. And if you are seriously injured, you will die in place. Those who were curious to attack the blue barrier were the best example. Li Yuanba had already broken bones all over his body and was delirious. And if it wasn't for the several surrounding nannies continuously adding blood to him, he would probably have died here. Fortunately, the students of Imperial Capital University were quite united and didn't think of killing each other when it was a matter of life and death. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the slightest possibility of escaping from here. Now, the students of Imperial Capital University had finally gathered together, ready to fight this unknown danger together. Just at this moment, a projection suddenly surfaced above the several people. A strange figure appeared on the screen. It was clearly the ones with the highest status in the Chaos Canyon. Humans, because we have a contract with your senior, we won't make a move against you directly. If someone can defeat the level 60 foreigner in front of us, then I will let them go. The three-headed Zhao's voice was not loud, but it spread through everyone's ears. It was filled with a sense of oppression. Just by virtue of the voice alone, it all gave people a feeling of instant submission. What kind of strength was this that was actually so terrifying? But everyone froze when they heard this news. Defeating a level 60 foreigner. Wasn't this something that could be done with a hand? Which of those geniuses who had reached level 50 hadn't killed 7 or 8 level 60 foreign races? How can this still be called a matter? If you can't defeat it, then I will kill you. The three-headed Zhao said indifferently. But the fear in the hearts of the students had long been less than what it used to be. A mere level 60 foreign race. Just this? The corners of the three-headed Zhao's mouth smiled. These guys, they didn't even realize the seriousness of the problem. If a level 60 foreign race didn't rush to give them heads, would they be so bloated to let the boss's illusion take effect? But they actually thought it was their own strength. It was really hilarious. I'll do it. The genius who was ranked 8th among the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University slowly walked out. The crowd looked up. This person had a recumbent eyebrow and phoenix eyes full of heroism, coupled with his unique appearance. Immediately, someone recognized it. Freshman ranking 8th, S-ranked special faculty job Grand Gourmet. The great gourmet can gain abilities by devouring all items. Because of his powerful strength and amicable treatment, he is affectionately called Old 8. The moment these words came out, everyone present was shocked. It was actually old eight. Old buster. Go for it. Fuck Bade, the big brother who eats food. Fuck the brothers. All the freshmen were cheering for old eight. After all, a level 50 special lineage professional would casually kill a level 60 foreigner in seconds with their current knowledge. Old eight seemed to enjoy the praise from others and raised his chest. TSK, humans are still really arrogant. The three-headed Jiao was somewhat dissatisfied. But then, he thought that this was the last time they would laugh. So it was fine to laugh. Just at this moment, the earth trembled. A huge goblin that was a full 5 meters tall slowly walked out from behind the rocks. Its dark green skin, coupled with its robust muscles, it was clear that this kobold was very powerful. His appearance made everyone tense up. But after seeing old Ape's winning expression, they put away their nerves again. Isn't this a sure win? Green goblin, beautifully juiced, old Ape flew towards the giant goblin with an arrow step. With everyone's expectations, just when old Ape thought he was going to get it, suddenly, a huge force came from his cheek, shattering his entire body. Even his internal organs turned into powder. And in just a moment, he had lost his life. All of this, only happened in an instant. There wasn't even any room for resistance at all. Killed in seconds. What a power gap this was. Some people looked at the giant goblin in shock, thinking that he wasn't even a level 60 fey. Fey, giant kobold. Level, 60. Characteristics, cognitive impairment. Skill, the power to break rocks. 
Introduction This is a goblin with cognitive impairment, and can manage to shatter anything he thinks is a rock. Obviously, this was a level 60 alien. It's not even a boss panel, just a normal fey panel, but he possessed an extremely buggy ability. Cognitive barrier. The entire room was a buzz. Even the 8th rank powerhouse in the entire school was killed in an instant. Then who would be a match for the giant goblin? How could such a conceptual level skill appear in an ordinary alien? What? What kind of monster is this? He, he actually died. The school's 8th ranked powerhouse, still killed in seconds. Everyone looked at the giant goblin incredulously. Why was it like this? Wasn't it possible that a level 60 foreigner could be killed casually? But why was it able to kill people instantly? Everyone finally realized that this was by no means a simple challenge. Or rather, this was originally running towards their lives. If they wanted to live, they could only defeat him. Defeat this, the incomparably terrifying giant kobold. Chapter 247 Overbearing Power However, it was clear that this level 60 giant goblin had broken their view of level 60 foreign races. Such a powerful goblin was actually just an ordinary level 60 fey. Now they simply didn't dare to go up and challenge the giant goblin. Even the school's 8th ranked powerhouse, old 8, had failed. Then what was the point of them going up? With a powerhouse of this level, it was estimated that any number of people going up would be looking for death. As the crowd felt despair, the three-headed Jiao's shadow reappeared, bringing them even more desperate news. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, this foreign race in the 60th level is just the most ordinary one. He's not even ranked in the 60th level. The true powerhouses were all defeated by you so-called geniuses ha ha You guys actually think that you can defeat a level 60 foreigner? You're really laughing at me. Even the geniuses amongst our foreign races wouldn't dare to say that they can defeat a level 60 punk human at level 50. Let alone you humans who stand at the bottom of the food chain. The three-headed Zhao scoffed. These geniuses were truly brainless. Could it be that it was said outside that amongst the same level? Humans were the weakest. Monsters were second. And foreign races were the strongest was false? There was no such thing as a genius who crossed levels. It was just a bunch of fools entertaining themselves before they died. Right. I forgot to tell you guys. Although I've left you guys alive. But if you still can't defeat this giant goblin, then the blue barrier will continue to shrink until it kills all of you. At that time, even if the most powerful of your human race arrives in person, we will not be afraid. After all, we have given you guys a chance. You guys can say that I'm despicable. But you can't say that I don't abide by the contract oh. Uncle Danny. I'm the most compliant. Ha 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 ha. The three-headed Jiao laughed out loud. In his eyes, he seemed to see these human geniuses crazily begging for mercy from him. And he ignored the pleas for mercy. Pinching the humans to death as if they were mole crickets. MD. Come down and fight one on one. What kind of skill is it to hide up there? Someone with an iron head pointed at the three-headed Jiao and said. By the way. Incidentally. My level is 79. The three-headed Jiao said indifferently. The moment these words came out. Everyone present was shocked. In their perceptions, a level 79 was already considered a top human combatant. This somewhat ugly looking three-headed fellow in front of them was actually a level 79. The student who just had a head iron instantly closed his mouth. He was a head iron, not brainless, a strong person of this level, blowing his breath and he would be gone. Right at this moment, a figure walked slowly. It was as if snowflakes were floating around him. It was him, the man who came out with his own BGM. Do lay C. Originally, the crowd still had a hint of expectation. After seeing the visitor, the crowd chortled in disdain. Just this guy? S-rank professions couldn't even beat these trash A-rank professions of theirs. Simply the shame of the S-rank. Just this is worthy of sharing the same profession as the vice principal. What a piece of trash. I'll try, Dulacy said in a low voice. As he spoke, lightning seemed to flash around him. It was very different from the Durif who was sweeping the floor a month ago. There was a complete lack of the previous despondency. Instead, it was replaced by an aura of a strong man, whose domineering power even made everyone around him tremble. Let's show you all what overbearing power is. The corner of Dulacy's mouth quirked. He was very satisfied with his appearance this time. It was really handsome all right. Looking at the astonished gazes of everyone around him, they all seemed to be intimidated by the appearance of his return as a king. To know that a month ago, he could only sweep the floor in the school square. Who knows? After parting with Wang Chen that day, an old man found him. This old man claimed to be the vice principal and said that he wanted to accept him as his personal disciple. Du Lacy didn't believe it at first, who knew that the burst rate was really high. He didn't have any resources, so he just said that the old man would explode some gold coins. The old man burst a bunch of resources to him at once. Originally, his level was considered to be at the bottom of the list amongst the freshmen in the Imperial University. Who knows, because of this old man's burst of gold coins, 
he directly jumped up, and within just one month, he managed to reach level 50, combined with an S-rank occupation, it was enough to rank in the top 5 amongst all the freshmen at Imperial Capital University, holy shit, brother set, are you serious, how dare you challenge him, you couldn't even beat me a month ago, Li Yuanba said unexpectedly, apparently he also knew Du Lei Si, as for why he was called brother set, it wasn't hard to see in combination with Du Lei Si's name, holy shit, take back your strange nickname, I'm not brother set for fuck's sake, Du Lei Si instantly tensed up, the strong aura he had just portrayed was gone, okay brother set, I know brother set, Li Yuanba nodded his head, he didn't stop Du Lei Si because of his rank, which was a full 50 levels, although they had the same level, their strength was different, with the same 50 levels, an S-ranked professional must be more powerful than an A-ranked professional, it was the same even if he was the strongest amongst the A-class professions and Durath was the weakest amongst the S-class professions, this was a rule that no one could change, chapter 248 unparalleled despair, shatter the darkness with thunder, Du Lei Si shouted, the sky, which was already very gloomy, actually had a few black dark clouds floating in at this moment, countless thunderbolts were brewing in the dark clouds, a terrifying aura filled the sky and earth, the thunder containing the power of destruction rumbled, it seemed to annihilate everyone present, the powerful pressure caused people's bodies to tremble, this is too strong, isn't it, is this really level 50, Li Yuanba was also a bit shocked, he knew that S-ranked powerhouses were stronger than A-ranked ones, but he hadn't thought that Du Lei Si was actually that much stronger than him, was this still the same Du Lei Si that they had pressed and hammered in the past, this was too terrifying, Ri Yuanba roughly estimated that the power of this attack was probably several or even dozens of times stronger than his strongest strike. The key was that this move was still a wide range attack. Only now did Li Yuanba realize that he and Du Lei Si were not even in the same class. Du Lei Si's strength was far above his, and even everyone else present. Why did this guy become so strong? What exactly did he go through? In just a month's time, he had become so strong. Isn't this open hanging this? Five Thunder Boom. Durath controlled countless thunderbolts and locked onto the giant goblin, his right hand clenched in the air, in the sky, terrifying thunder roared as they entangled with each other, it seemed to devour everything in the world, this was Du Lacy's full strength, rumble, thunder poured out, condensing into a thunder dragon in midair, its terrifying pressure shook the heavens and moved the earth, just when everyone thought that Du Lacy could easily kill the giant kobold, the giant kobold's huge wooden stick was only lightly swung in midair, the thunder dragon that had just been so powerful actually directly dissipated. What the hell? Du Lei Si broke in a second. He looked at the giant goblin incredulously. Don't look at how strong he was just now. But that move had actually taken out most of his blue. And it was actually dispersed by the giant kobold in a single move? The difference in strength between them? Durath didn't even dare to think about it. Why was that? Is this the power of a cognitively impaired goblin? Requenba took a deep breath. Worthy of being cognitively impaired ah? As long as the Thunder Goblin is recognized as a rock, then he directly matches the power of the skill Shatter Rock to directly shatter the Thunder Goblin right? This was completely a concept level skill ah. Requenba suddenly felt a little better about himself. At the very least, he hadn't pretended to be that big of a pussy. Durath had just come out and pretended for so long, but as a result, he didn't even hang off a layer of the giant goblin skin. Wasn't this pure and simple clowning? After Durath glanced at the giant goblin's attributes, he took a deep breath and the expression on his face transformed into confidence. Got a solution? Li Yuanba looked at Du Lacy's confident expression and thought he had a solution. Make a furry. The wind is tight and pulling who? Du Lacy pulled his leg and ran. It should be said that it was worthy of being an S-class profession. Running was just faster than the others. When the others hadn't reacted, Durath was already a long way ahead of the crowd. Dozens of people reacted and ran hard after Du Lacy. Then a very weird picture appeared. Du Lacy led the way and ran with the giant goblins chasing after him. A few geniuses appeared on the road confident that they could defeat the giant kobolds. Everyone stops to watch the geniuses fight. Then the geniuses were killed in seconds. Everyone keeps running. Gradually, the scene of one kobold chasing hundreds of people evolved. It's just too much to watch. There's only one minute left oh. If you guys can't kill this giant goblin, the barrier will surround all of you. And then I'll have the giant goblin knock you all like stone blocks. Ha ha, get them all killed. The three-headed auger reappeared at this moment. He laughed out loud. It seemed to enjoy the fear of the crowd. Seeing that the barrier in front was getting closer and closer, there were still giant goblins chasing after them. The survival space for these people had once again become ridiculously small. There was simply no way to escape. No way to avoid. They had just entered a desperate situation. What should I do? I don't want to die. I'm a genius. I'm the only genius in my family. And I'm counting on getting a scholarship. 
I'm the only A-ranked professional in our village, and for God's capital university, the village people have subsidized me. I'm the hope of the whole village. Who will save us? I really don't want to die. Some of the less courageous ones had already sat paralyzed on the ground. Six in a row. Their eyes were hollow. The level 60 giant goblin in front of them was far more powerful than they could have imagined. It wasn't even an existence of the same magnitude. At this time, they finally knew why their teacher had said that level 50 and level 60 were completely two grades of existence. This was more than just two levels. There was simply an unbridgeable gap between them. 10, 9, 8, 7. As the countdown got closer and closer, the giant goblin leapt up as if to kill everyone. The blue barrier immediately gave off an intense glow. Those who were slightly closer to him even directly felt the threat of death. Despair. True despair. Right at this moment. Chapter 249 One Punch Seconds. Wang Chen's terrifying strength. A black figure slowly walked out. Who is it? The projection of the three-headed Zhao raised an eyebrow. He was actually able to feel a hint of threat from the incoming figure. Even if this was only a projection of his, this projection was far from being something a human could resist. And at this moment, actually feeling a threat? How was this possible? Wang Chen didn't pay attention to the three-headed Zhao, and walked slowly towards the blue barrier alone. Brother, don't get close. The recoil of that thing getting close can kill a person. Come back quickly. Don't go and get yourself killed. Yeah, if you really want to try, why don't you join forces with us to smash this barrier? Several have already died. Don't send them to their deaths. All the freshmen had obviously been beaten out of their psyches. The eyes that looked at the giant goblin had changed from disdain at the beginning to fear. This giant goblin was simply not an existence that they could fight against. Obviously, they thought that Wang Chen was the same. Being able to kill a level 60 foreigner before was all a lie. It was simply something that was impossible to do. Sending them to their deaths? Wang Chuan was a bit surprised. This thing could still kill people? A level 60 foreign race? Wouldn't this be a slap in the face? Yeah, all the geniuses before thought like you, but without exception, they all died, and died miserably. Brother, please brother, come back, someone advised. Wang Dust shook his head. Just this level, can it harm him? Just at this moment. The giant goblin had silently walked to Wang Chuan's side, raising its huge wooden stick. It slammed it towards Wang Dust below. Quickly dodge. This move had already caused countless people to die in place before, and no one was able to carry it at all. Even the school's 8th ranked old 8 died. Come back quickly. It's not something to be ashamed of. Hurry up and dodge. Seeing that Wang Chen was going to be hit by the wooden stick, the crowd closed their eyes, not daring to look at the bloody mess. Clang. A loud sound of clashing metal rang out. The crowd thought that Wang Chen was finished before they opened their eyes. Who knew that Wang Chen was actually standing there intact? And the wooden rod that had just struck Wang Chen was now crumbling in sections. It was like brittle paper. What on earth happened? He was actually able to resist this blow. No, not only did he resist it, but he also made the wooden stick shatter. It wasn't that there were no flesh body professionals before, but their powerful flesh bodies were like paper mache in front of this attack. At this moment, it was actually the other way around. What? What the hell is going on here? Who the hell is this person in front of me? But the giant kobold was also enraged. The human that he had previously regarded as an ant had actually dared to fight back at him, and even shattered his only wooden stick. It was unforgivable. The giant kobold struck out in anger. Terrifying power instantly erupted. A fist blasted down, carrying endless power. Rumble. Rumble. The earth was trembling. The power of this strike was far more powerful than the previous strike by several or even dozens of times. To actually make even the earth and sky change color just by the power of his flesh. This guy, what kind of strong person is he? To actually be so terrifying. Everyone was marveling at how powerful the giant goblin was. Wang Chuan's eyes were slightly closed, and he only felt as if a breeze was blowing by his ears. So weak. Wang Dust shook his head. So many geniuses were actually being chased like this by such a foreign race. A level 60 foreign race was just as strong as it was, but there was absolutely no way it could withstand a kite. These fellows, they just plainly did not have the courage to fight. Otherwise, it wouldn't be like this. Wang Dust raised his right fist high. It was obvious that he was going to fight the giant goblin hard. The crowd expressed their disbelief. What kind of joke was this? The wooden stick just now was already very strong, and the current power was estimated to be far more than the stick. How on earth did Wang Chuan dare? Isn't he afraid of being crushed into meat paste? Just now, Wang Dust was indeed very strong. They admitted it. But that didn't mean that Wang Dust was stronger than the giant goblin, taking on a level 60 alien with a human body. How was this possible? In hindsight, it was estimated that a level 60 as flesh body professional wouldn't be able to do such a thing. The level 60 alien race was just too strong and too powerful. 
even leaving them without a single ounce of courage to fight back. The giant goblin blasted in with all its might. Wang Chuan did not dodge or dodge. A light punch was thrown. The two fists collided with each other. The earth was also trampled with deep cracks under their powerful attacks. The situation didn't stay like this for long. Rumble. Suddenly, there was a loud bang. The giant kobold's arms suddenly glowed with red lines. No. No. The giant goblin let out an unwilling roar. Immediately after, his body began to crumble as the red veins spread. Boom. In the next moment, the giant goblin turned into pieces and dissipated between heaven and earth. Only a streak of blood was left in its place, proving that he had existed. The entire arena fell into a deathly silence. Killed in seconds. Actually killed in seconds. A monster that big. Killed in seconds. What kind of terrifying strength is this? Is this still human? No. This is simply a monster. Everyone looked at Wang Chen with a shocked expression. An unbelievable look on their faces. This was simply impossible in their perception. Chapter 250 Can it be that he is really a genius? And now, this impossible thing was actually really done by Wang Chen. Could it be that he really was a genius? The three-headed Jiao's pupils shrunk. This human in front of him, why was he so powerful? And why did the crystal ball from before not detect him? It was reasonable to say that anyone and anything on the outskirts of this chaotic land couldn't evade his detection. Even if the vice chancellor of the Imperial Capital University, Yang Tianxin, arrived in person, it would be the same. But this human in front of me, if he came in at the beginning and was able to avoid his detection, doesn't that mean that the strength of this human in front of him is at least at the level of 79, even stronger than an ordinary level 79? That's impossible. If a human wanted to be this strong, he would be an old man at the very least. As for the human in front of him, although he had a full coverage of Mecca, it wasn't hard to hear from his voice. It was definitely a young man, even one of the same age as this group of humans who were like ants. This was something that even a naturally powerful alien race couldn't do. How did it appear in a human's body? This is not scientific. Just then, a name came to mind in the three-headed Zhao's mind. Could it be? Pretty country's ancient god inheritor. The so-called S-plus profession Caitlin? But hadn't he heard that Caitlin was female? How come her voice was so rough? Did she go on a trip to the stick? If it was that guy, it did have a few possibilities. After all, he was the prime target of their fay. Seeing him killed to death. Just at this time, Wang Dust's helmet unraveled. A familiar face came into view. When the crowd saw Wang Dust's face, their tigers shook. It was actually him, the dragon ascending scholar, Wang Chen. Even though those top geniuses didn't seem to have much of a problem with the name of the ascending dragon scholar, but for these ordinary geniuses, the ascending dragon scholar was undoubtedly synonymous with a demon, not to mention the famous demon of their imperial capital university, Wang Chen. They had thought that after a month of cultivation, even the top geniuses would not be too far removed from them. But they didn't expect that Wang Chuan's change was even greater than theirs. The gap between them was like a chasm. The monster that hundreds of people couldn't raise an ounce of courage to fight against was actually killed by Wang Chuan with a single punch. The difference was like mud. It was unattainable. I thought that I would be able to catch up with this genius. I didn't expect. Ah, this genius has such an unbelievable talent. If Wang Chuan's strength a month ago we were still able to see the tailpipe. A month later we simply couldn't even see the tail lights of the car. Is this a genius? In such a comparison, we damn well can't even be considered trash. A single punch killed an existence we considered invincible. MD, how can the gap between people be so wide? Stepping on him as a genius, we're not so bad either. The crowd was shocked in an endless stream, before they didn't come to Imperial Capital University. Which one of them wasn't a famous genius? Even a province's top scholar was not a few. But after coming to the Imperial Capital University, it felt like a dog around them was more talented than them. What kind of monsters are these guys? They're all so perverted. Especially Du Lei Si. As the saying goes, when the hometown meets the hometown, there are tears in his eyes. Du Lei Si was tearfully looking at Wang Chen at the moment. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't that he had any special feelings for Wang Chen. Rather, it was because he had admitted that he couldn't beat Wang Chuan a month ago. And he was still far inferior to Wang Chuan even though he clearly had such good resources and talent. This is why ah, uh, seeing Wang Chen so strong, it was even harder than killing him ah. Uh. No, he had to find a piece of frozen tofu and crash to death. Du Lacy glanced back and forth, looking for something suitable. Don't brother, the blue barrier behind you. You bumping into it should be more useful than frozen tofu. Seemingly seeing Du Lacy's mind, Li Yuan Ba hurriedly reminded Du Lacy. Ahem, what are you talking about? Du Lacy glanced at the blue barrier and swallowed his saliva. If he went to hit the blue barrier, it would be a real death. Just kidding. He went to hit it because he knew that he couldn't die from hitting it. 
if he could die from hitting it, who would go to hit it? The three-headed Jiao looked at Wang Chen's head for a long time and could not return to his senses, because, he recognized this face. He also remembered that that old guy from the Rin family contacted him earlier to send him a picture. Originally, he was still disdainful, asking his hallowed three-headed Jiao, the number two of the Chaotic Canyon, a top-level powerhouse at level 79, to kill a milk toast baby doll? What kind of joke is this? It's humiliating all right. It has to be increased. As a result, the Ren family really added it. At that time, he thought that the Ren family head was old and confused. Now he realized that he was the one who was confused. How can such a powerful genius be worth so little? At the very least, increase the money once more. This wasn't even the most crucial thing. The three-headed auger was surprised to find out. Even though his projection was now in a stealthy state, it was still locked by an aura. Could this aura be Wang Chen's? The three-headed Jiao had no doubt that as long as he moved, he could be wiped out by Wang Dust in an instant. Is this really a freshman? Why is he so scary? The previous ascending dragon scholar could never pose a single threat to his doppelganger even if he was a senior. But Wang Dust gave it in his freshman year. And it's that kind of death threat. Pervert. Only perverts could describe Wang Dust at this moment. Chapter 251 Seconds to Kill the Three-Headed Jiao Projection The five great powerhouses were shocked. Such a perverted guy was actually just a freshman. Something was wrong. Nine out of ten was wrong. Wang Chuan, I know you. The projection of the three-headed Jiao manifested itself. So what if you know me? Wang Dust said indifferently. There were not a few lets who knew about him, and there were quite a few people who wanted to kill him, but without exception, they were all killed by his own hands. Do you really think that you guys can escape today? I forgot to tell you. There are five strong people like me. The three-headed Jiao laughed out loud. The way he looked at Wang Chen was as if he was looking at a mole cricket. This was only five strong people in the 79 levels, and there were more than five strong people among the foreign races. There were hundreds and thousands. Endless. And Wang Chen? Looking at the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University as well as those few veteran students, could they add up to 10 level 61s? Obviously he couldn't. Even if there were 10. So what? Not only did they have to face hundreds of level 70 or higher foreigners, there were even five level 79 foreigner kings. In front of such a huge gap in strength, humans were weak as if they were ants. Wang Chen's strength might be strong, but could he be stronger than them? The answer was, no. With you, even if there are thousands of them, I can overthrow them with just my hands. Wang Dust's tone was indifferent. He did not place the three-headed Zhao in front of him in his eyes. Arrogant. The three-headed Zhao was furious. It had not occurred to him that this fellow was actually so rampant. Saying such big words, he wasn't afraid of flashing his teeth. Today, you will definitely not be able to leave the land of chaos. The king of heaven can't save you. I said so. Not to mention other things, can you break the barrier of chaos? To tell you the truth, even the full force of a 70 level powerhouse would definitely not be able to break this barrier. You'll die here today. The three-headed Jiao looked angrily at Wang Chen. This fellow actually dared to look down on himself so much. What? Could it be that seeing one of his doppelgangers makes him confident that no one here can deal with him? Hmm. An evil person still needs to be worn down by an evil person. Today, this so-called first genius of mankind, let's give him a death here. Wang Dust smiled contemptuously. He casually lifted his hand. The powerful palm wind carried an unrivaled power to lift towards the barrier of chaos with all its might. Che, just relying on the residual power of a slap and you're thinking of breaking through the barrier of chaos? Who do you think you are? The three-headed Zhao's words had not yet fallen. In the next moment, his eyes widened as he looked at Wang Chen in death. He saw a scene that he would never forget. Wang Chuan actually relied solely on the breath in his hand. The barrier of chaos was like paper mache. It was shattered in an instant. What on earth happened? How could he be so powerful? This barrier of chaos, it doesn't seem to be very strong. Wang Chuan looked towards the three-headed Jiao with disdain in his eyes. This could be called a very strong barrier of chaos? It doesn't seem to work either. It wasn't enough for the aftermath of one of his slaps. Just this? Holy shit. Ascending Dragon Scholar is worthy of being Ascending Dragon Scholar. Run away brothers. Big brother. Go out and thank you again. The wind is tight pulling who? I've been wandering around for half a lifetime without a clear master. If you don't give up, I'd like to follow you. Then I directly recognize the Righteous Father. Righteous Father in the above. Subject to the child of worship. Seeing the crisis lifted, the crowd's nervousness began to ease up. There were even a few who recognized their Righteous Father on the spot. Wang Chen waved his hand signaling them to go first. Currently, the chaotic canyon definitely couldn't be teleported back, so they would have to run outside and teleport again. You won't be able to leave. A cold light flashed in the eyes of the three-headed Zhao. In the next moment, heaven and earth changed color. 
A terrifying pressure filled everyone's heart. Even if it was a projection, it still had an afterimage. The aftermath of its body was soul-consuming. An ordinary person would definitely be crushed to pieces by the residual might just by touching it. A 79-level projection was equally not weak. It was only at this moment that the crowd finally realized that the projection in front of them could be different from the human's projection technology. But rather, it was an individual with true combat power. Human, you have completely angered me. The three-headed Jiao let out a roar. The words had not yet fallen. Wang Chuan instantly arrived in front of the three-headed Jiao. Three heads. Ah, then a punch from one head would be good. Wang Chuan's body gently floated in midair. Rumble, with three punches in succession. The three heads of the three-headed Jiao were instantly blasted. The three-headed Jiao didn't even react before their heads were blown off. Such strength. How terrifying. How is this possible? The three-headed Jiao's pupils shrunk. No, there were no pupils now. The three-headed Jiao's projection boomed to the bottom. The fear that was pressing on everyone's heart gradually disappeared. In the palace of the Chaos Canyon, the three-headed Jiao was panting heavily. The three heads seemed to be sucking up all the air in the palace. Strengths so powerful were projected. The consumption of him all could not be said to be small. He was actually killed in seconds. This was something he did not anticipate. This kid's strength was actually so terrifying. What's wrong? The Minotaur chief asked. There's a human kid that's very strong. The three-headed Jiao said in a deep voice. Very strong? Three-headed Jiao I think you're senile. Wolfman Voris mocked without mercy. How strong could a human be? Chapter 252 Caitlin's Might. Damn you. The three-headed auger was speechless for a while. No matter what he said. This werewolf Voris came out and sang against him. This Chaos Canyon's number two character was losing face, thanks to his good temper. But if there was another person, he would have pressed Voris into a hammer. However, although he was the number two, his battle power was not ranked second. After all, he acted as a think tank, and his strength was not as strong as these few reckless people. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let them be so arrogant. Damn it, but where he could fight, designated no good fruit to eat for this werewolf Voris. What the hell is wrong with me? The projection of a 79 level powerhouse can't even beat a human boy. What a shame. Wolfman Voris said with disdain. If he had appeared, he would have sucked the marrow out of that human boy. That's right. I think you're senile three-headed Jiao. So humiliating and still dare to stand with us. The Minotaur chief said in disgust. It was obvious that everyone here disliked three-headed Jiao. Obviously, the bloodline was the purest and most powerful. But it was the weakest. This still has the nerve to call itself a dragon's descendant. Just this? Vertical pikers, do not conspire with each other. The three-headed Jiao was rendered speechless by these three people and left the place in a huff. Holy shit, this is the strength of a dragon rising scholar? I can't believe there's such a big gap between me and the scholar. That's right, the existence that we regarded as invincible was actually killed by a single punch. Alas, I thought that the gap between myself and the scholar wasn't that big, but I didn't expect that the gap would actually be so big. Woohoo! finally survived. The crowd was shocked. But the hand action is not slow. Have crushed Jade Talisman to run away? After all, if you don't run away again, you can't run away what to do. On the other side, Caitlin also encountered a level 60 foreigner. Her face was expressionless, and she had long ago beheaded many level 60 foreigners along the way. Her face never seemed to see any other emotions. Even when she was pulled inside this weird barrier of chaos, Caitlin knew that he just needed to keep killing. As for the rest, he knew nothing else. It's still a little beauty. Ha 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 ha. The huge giant ape alien burst into a strange laughter. It was hard to imagine how on earth one would get in there this big. Ha. Huh? Caitlin frowned. The giant ape's lewd smile made her a little unhappy. It was the same as that Yorick guy. As it were. But this foreigner in front of her could hardly escape the same end as Yorick. In the next moment, a flash of golden light flashed through Caitlin's beautiful eyes. Countless pieces of armor instantly covered her body. The golden armor gave her a few moments of mystery. Occupation skill, holy armor. She was an S-plus ranked occupational profession, holy sword. She was now at level 52. Yet there were only two profession skills. Why was she able to obtain the most exceptional rating even though her occupation was simple? Without a doubt. It's just absolutely powerful. Holy armor, you summon a projection of armor from an ancient god. Plus 50% immunity to damage. Probability of being immune to the next attack. Ignoring evil attribute attacks. Ignoring seals. Ignoring control effects not exceeding your own 10th level. Immunity to death once. And a 200% increase in the power of holy light based skills. Note, too much power over yourself to disable the immunity. Holy sword. You summon a holy sword projection from the ancient gods. Damage increased by 200%. 200% increase to evil attributes. Plus 50% bludgeon rate. 
plus 100% bludgeon effect, 50% armor penetration. Shouting Eldritch Drop Holy Sword Blast Rate is briefly increased by 10%. The two skills were plain and simple. But if combined with the Holy Sword, profession's own horrible four-dimensional attributes, then this profession is a proper numerical value super standard monster. Cutting people down is like a game. Coupled with the uncontrollable and high damage immunity, this is not much stronger than those scraping S-Class. Caitlin clenched her hand in the air, and a large sword appeared out of thin air. Holy sword. This special effect. The giant ape alien looked at his fist. Damn it. It was clear that he was stronger than the human in front of him. But why did he suddenly feel unscented? Caitlin, whose entire body was glittering with golden light, was in stark contrast to the giant ape alien with a shabby face. Human. You already have a way to get killed. The giant ape alien roared. The large iron fist blasted towards Caitlin's body without mercy. Caitlin's figure flashed. The golden light of the holy sword in her hand blazed out. Boom. As the two clashed, Caitlin's clothes were slightly dirty, and the giant ape alien was sweating profusely. What? The giant ape alien was shocked. A deep wound had actually been cut out of his chest at some point. What in the world had just happened? Ha! Huh? More than a hint of doubt appeared on Caitlin's face. The monster here. So strong, he actually couldn't get rid of it in a second with one move. Why was that? Caitlin didn't give it much thought. The figure flashed. Several slashes were made one after another. The giant ape alien's head was drying up and smoking. Didn't even know what to resist with. It could only barely block. And as the wounds on his body grew, he finally collapsed in a pool of blood. Strong. Very strong. If there was no Wang Chen, Caitlin was the absolute strongest person. Chapter 253, Tang Nui Inequality Direct Sakans. On the other side, Ren Ru Xiu e, Xiao Zhua, and Pin Gan Chen gathered together. Why are you guys here? Ren Ru Xiu e frowned slightly. She recognized these two people in front of her. One was the genius of Gamma Province, Xiao Zhua, who was known as the reincarnation of Emperor Yen. The other was Qing Xian Province's great talent of the sword, Pin Gan Chen. Both of these two were geniuses that were one in a million. They were also the existences that Ren Ru Xiu e considered to be the greatest threat to her in this term. I, Chen Pin Gan, have acted in my life, why do I need to explain myself to you? Chen Pingan snorted coldly. Ren Ruashue, you care about me. Xiao Zhu blankly glanced at Ren Ruashue. The tone of the two was filled with arrogance. It was clear that they didn't take Ren Ruashue seriously. This caused Ren Ruashue to choke. A cold light flashed in her eyes. These two guys, they really didn't give her face. Later on, she would find a chance to kill them. If she was in the outside world, she might still be afraid of the two of them's family power. But inside, he had absolute certainty to kill these two. As a top genius of the Ren family of the imperial capital, which was claimed to be one in a million, with her strength, how could it be so? As long as she wanted to, perhaps no one of her age in the world could carry her for three moves. This was her self-confidence. Right at this moment, Ren Rushua felt something in her heart. Looking towards the sky, a large giant bird appeared in the air. An inexplicable sense of crisis arose. 65 level alien race. The beginning monstrous bird, Ren Rushue's face was as normal. Since coming here, he had killed not a few level 65 foreign races, and a mere level 65 foreign race was far from his eyes. In her heart, she actually had a thought that the foreign races in the district seemed to be nothing more than that. One could cross the ranks at will and fight without much effort. Pingan Chen held his sword in both hands and looked at Ren Rushue with a disdainful expression. It was as if he was saying, can you do it or not? If not, I will do it. Hoof. Ron Rushua stared at Pingan Chen with a deadly stare. How could this guy be so pretentious? This time, this guy must be killed. No one that she, Ren Ruashue, had set her sights on would be able to survive. Ren Ruashue flung a long whip in her hand, and a terrifying power poured out in an instant. Swish, a sharp cracking sound rang out. Right at this moment, a black shadow flashed before the three of them. Ren Ruashue's pupils shrank. Her whip, actually broke. This was her exclusive weapon and it took a long time to coalesce when it broke. So why was this? Rumble. Run Ruashue only felt that her chest had been hit by a train. A mouthful of blood spurted out as her chest became hot. Her stunning face, which was like a poisonous scorpion beauty, had an extra trace of hideousness. The blood bar instantly emptied by half. What is this situation? This monster's strength was actually so terrifying. A flat a half a tube of blood. What kind of strength gap was this? Run Ruashue's face changed. Something was wrong. This was very wrong. When did a level 65 alien become so strong? Pingan Chen and Xiao Zhu glanced at each other as they also realized that something was wrong. Although they were somewhat displeased with this woman, it was always impossible for them to watch someone from the same school die a horrible death at the hands of a foreign beast. Green Lotus Sword Technique. 
Buddha's Fury Fire Lotus. The two of them shouted angrily and offered their strongest killing moves. Boom! The green-colored giant sword and the red lotus flower simultaneously rushed towards the beginning monstrous bird, accompanied by a huge explosion. The beginning monstrous bird's attack was hardened and forced to stop. The combined strength of the two actually had the power of a level 65 foreign race. A shock went through the depths of the beginning monstrous bird's eyes. These two were not simple. Hey, that whoever, come help us. The three of them together. There's still a chance. Xiao Zhui turned his head to look at Rin Rushiwei. He felt in his heart that he had just saved this guy's life no matter what. No matter what. It was better to wait until this beginning monstrous bird was settled before going to the nest. Oh, say that again. Ren Rushiwei's face turned cold. This fellow actually dared to make her. Don't think that just because you saved her life, you can make her. If he dared to make her call today, he would dare to use force on her tomorrow. Saving her life was not the same as saving her life. Tang Nui is not equal to a direct second. Good. This guy didn't save her but also dared to order her Rin Rushiwei? If Xiao Zhuo knew what was in Rin Rushiwei's mind, he would have to lift her brain shell to see what was inside. What the hell is this human brain circuit? What? Xiao Zhuo did not understand what he meant. Immediately afterward, he turned his head back to focus on fighting the ancestor monster bird. On the surface, Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen together were able to fight the ancestor monster bird 50 to 50. However, only they knew in their hearts that this foreigner still had some strength left and they were afraid that he was teasing them. The ancestor monster bird once again erupted with pressure. Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen were directly lifted tens of meters by this terrifying aura. Damn. This guy is a bit strong. Xiao Biao frowned. Why haven't you come to help? Xiao Sizzling looked at Rin Rushua with a displeased face as she was greeted only by Rin Rushua's spare long whip. Put. A mouthful of hot blood spurted out from Xiao Zhuo. The entire person flew tens of meters backwards. You. You actually shot at me. How could Xiao Biao not expect that it was actually Rin Rushiwei who was striking out at them? What the hell was this woman thinking? Killing them she could run out? No one can order me to have to kill you all. Rin Rushiwei's face was like frost. No, you're fucking sick in the head. How dare you call me sick? Xiao Zhua? Chapter 254, Catching Up with Rin Rushiwei. Is this guy out of his mind? It sure seemed like it now. If you kill me, you will definitely die as well. Xiao Zhua said in a cold voice. He was already pissed off by this crazy woman. Coming up and giving him a knife without a second thought gave him anger. You still dare to curse me to death? Ren Rushua looked at Xiao Zhuo with a deadpan expression. This to Xiao Zhuo whole speechless. Pu xin female of this. TSK TSK. Human brain circuits are just peculiar. It's time to send you guys to die. The beginning monstrous bird let out a strange cry. Swish. Pingan Chen instantly arrived in front of the beginning monstrous bird. Brother Chen. Xiao Zhuo was surprised. What was Pingan Chen doing? Did he want to kill the ancestor monster bird with his own strength? You go ahead and finish off Rin Rushiwei. Leave this place to me. If we keep him to slow us down, none of us will survive. But if brother Xiao joins forces with me, we might still be able to survive. Pingan Chen flung the long sword in his hand and coldly looked at Rin Rushiwei. This female ninja was so noisy. Living was better than dying. That's exactly what I want. Two flames rose in Xiao Zhuo's hands, looking at Rin Rushiwei with a bit of anger on his face. A clay man still had three points of fire. Not to mention him? The outburst was full of killing intent. I'm afraid that if he didn't kill Ren Rushue, then he would be the one to die. You, you're going to strike at me? Ren Rushue's face stiffened. Don't look at how strong he was now. But her exclusive weapon had been destroyed. Plus she had received such a heavy injury. Her strength was ten to one. Although Xiao Zhua had received a whip, he looked worse than himself. In fact, he was in a much better state than he was. Honestly speaking, Ren Ruashiwe's heart was more or less a bit panicked. Buddha Fury Fire Lotus. Xiao Zhuo snorted coldly. The only thing that responded to Ren Ruashiwe was a large red lotus flower. He was already too lazy to reason with her. She didn't deserve to hear it. Xiao Zhuo, when I regather my specialized martial arts, I will make you look good. Ren Ruashiwe said in a cold voice. Just then, rumble. A figure shot out from in front of Xiao Zhuo's eyes. It smashed dozens of trees one after another before it managed to stop. This is, Brother Chen. Xiao Zhuo's pupils shrunk. He hurriedly ran over to check Pingan Chen's injuries. Cough. This guy, he's stronger than I thought. Pingan Chen used his sword to support himself on the ground with great difficulty. It was only at this time that he realized that the ancestor giant bird just now had used far from its full strength. And the current ancestor giant bird was still teasing him as if he was teasing a child. Even so, it was difficult for him to last past three moves. Let's go together. Xiao Zhuo picked up Pingan Chen, who was covered in wounds. He completely ignored the pain in his own chest. The two bloody men supported each other, grimacing in pain. Pain. Too much pain. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Chen Pingan gently nodded his head. The long sword stood on his chest. Right at this moment, a suffocatingly terrifying aura once again came from the air. Who is it? Xiao Zhu snapped his head up, and several horrifying figures suddenly appeared in the air. It was again several 65 level terrifying foreign races. The one at the head was even at level 70. Despair. Suffocating despair. The gap in strength was so vast that they couldn't even think of resisting. Even if Ren Rushu had joined in, they were afraid that they would not have any chance of winning. Brother Xiao. Eh? What's wrong? Although I've heard about your name for a long time, I was only able to meet you today. I thought that you were as vain as the other geniuses, but I didn't realize that you weren't. So it's not bad to die in battle with you. Chen Pingan smiled miserably. The same goes for me. Brother Chen. Xiao Zhua responded. The two men's bodies could not help but to form under such a powerful pressure, and were only barely able to stand in place. Even so, bean-sized beads of sweat mixed with blood dripped down, causing the two to suck in a breath of cool air in pain. Right at this moment, the foreigner above spoke. Are you Rin Rushu? Eh? The king of the beginning giant bird said indifferently. His tone was full of arrogance and disdain for humans. He was powerful in strength. The mere aura that leaked unconsciously from his body was enough to send shivers down one's spine. Strong, very strong. What? What are you calling me for? Run Rushue was not ashamed to be brainless. Even to the king of the beginning giant birds whose strength was so much higher than his. He tugged as if he was two and a half thousand. He he, what are you being called for? The king of beginning giant birds coldly looked at Rin Rushue. A mighty pressure violently pressed down on Rin Rushue. Human, watch your words. Your Ren family had asked me to bring you out alive, but didn't ask me to bring you out in one piece. If you continue to speak in such a tone, beware that I will throw you the goblin cave later to give birth to some goblins. The king of beginning giant birds threatened. Ren Rushue instantly closed her mouth. Instead, Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen were not calm. Ren family, for in race, there was actually a connection between them. Could it be that as a human giant family, they had actually colluded with a foreign race? If this was known by the red dragon guards, it would be a capital offense. Moreover, from the mouth of the ancestor giant bird king, it was known that their Rin family's relationship with the foreign races was definitely not shallow. Since you know our secret, you can't stay. You help me kill them, and I'll have the family head give you resources after we get out. Rin Rushua's eyes were like poisonous scorpions as she looked at Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen. The two of them were shocked. They actually wanted to drive them to extinction. What a vicious woman. Humph. For the sake of resources, let's help you out. The king of the beginning giant bird was a little displeased, but he did not dare to say anything. After all, the one dealing with the Ren family was not yet a small minion like him, but a much more powerful existence. Chapter 255 Ren Family's Layout Wolf's Ambition What? Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen's faces changed again and again. This king of the beginning giant bird was really helping him. This was going to be difficult. Although the two of them were geniuses, with their strength, being able to escape from the hands of a level 65 ancestor giant bird was already the limit, not to mention the fact that they were now severely injured and their strength was not 1 in 10. The probability of them being able to successfully escape would definitely not exceed 1 in a billion. The strength of these foreign races was simply too terrifying. It was a pity that their strength was limited now. If they were at level 70 or even level 65, they would have a certain degree of certainty to escape. However, they were only at level 51 now. The difference in strength was too great. It was simply not a level of existence. They couldn't even muster a single thought of resistance in their hearts. Both of you lower-headed men give me death. Run Rushu S sneered. It was originally intended to kill these two here anyway. He, Ren Rushu -e, was able to become the Ren family's so-called one in a thousand genius. In addition to his own powerful talent. Naturally, there was no shortage of the Ren family's abundant resources pouring in. Even less Ren family and foreign collusion. Chinese geniuses. As long as there is no background. All were killed by the Rin family. Luo High City's Rin family has the secret art of transferring occupations through the heart? This kind of grade to evil secret art. Besides their Rin family, which family is worthy of possessing it? That's right. All of this was fueled by the Rin family and the foreign races. The Rin family captured a large number of civilian geniuses through collusion with the foreigners. Then they experimented with their professional abilities on their bodies. After completely burning out the blood of countless geniuses, they finally mastered a great method. Soul replacement. At first glance, it seems insignificant, but in fact, it is possible to transfer the heart of a god's chosen genius into one's own body, along with the vocational talent, and it is even possible to do so by only replacing the talent and profession, without replacing the memories. That is to say, the talent will be replaced to another body, for the original owner of the talent, is undoubtedly a devastating disaster. But if it was for the new owner, 
it was no less than a new birth. What's more, this secret art could further minimize the number of human geniuses and increase the number of geniuses in his Rin family. Otherwise, it would be impossible for China's strength to continue to decline in recent years. All of this was due to the Rin family. The sinister nature of the Rin family and the foreign racist hearts was enough to see just how vicious they really were. Even the death of Rin Enian was also planned by them. The purpose was to wipe out all the responsibility and have the Rin family of Luohai City take the blame for them, including the Luohai City's Rin family's old ancestor, whose memory was directly modified by the head of the Imperial Rin family. All of this was within the plans of the Imperial Capital Rin family, except for Wang Chen, who was a variable that made their plan fall apart early. The Ren family had thought of every other step. They were laying out a very deep game. And now the alien race's slaughter of geniuses was even more in the Ren family head's layout. He had long guessed that with the return of the Red Dragon Guard commander Bai Yong, there was bound to be a major change. And to make them, the Red Dragon Guards, have no time to care about the Ren family. Then there was only one move, to kill all the geniuses. And then through the secret art of soul replacement let their Ren family give birth to a large number of geniuses. Once the implementation of such a plan was completed, then this world, it might not be impossible to be surnamed Run, and at that time, even Bai Yong would only be able to look at their Rin family's face. Brother Xiao, see you in the next life. Pingon Chan let out a miserable smile. His body had long been tattered and torn, and it was already a miracle that he could stand. Well, Brother Chen, I'll go first. Xiao Zhuo nodded heavily. A large fire lotus was once again hurled out, and wherever it passed, not an inch of grass could be found. However, in such a huge king of beginning giant birds, it seemed so weak. With just a gentle breath, Xiao Zhu's fire lotus was blown apart. The two people were blown away in unison. Put. The two people once again heavily spat out a mouthful of blood. They fell straight to the ground. Ren Rushue walked over with a smug look on her face. Aren't you guys bullish? Scream at me again. Might as well tell you. Not just you guys. Even all the geniuses in this chaotic land have to die. Run Rushua laughed out loud. The face that looked like a poisonous scorpion actually had a few moments of madness at this moment. What? Xiao Zhuan and Chen Pingan's tiger's body shook. Could it be that Ren Rushua wanted to bury all the geniuses here? What kind of treachery was this? This woman. Is she also worthy of being a human? Oh, I forgot to tell you. This fiasco was planned by Myron family. It's just to wipe out all of you geniuses. Ha ha ha. Ren Rushua stepped heavily on Xiao Biao's hand. Xiao Zhuan sucked in a breath of cool air in pain but did not say a word. Even though his body was riddled with holes and there was no place where he was not injured, his bones were still there and his arrogance was still there. What are you pretending here? Ren Rushua pulled out a whip covered in thorns and swept it violently. Xiao Zhu's nails sunk deep into his flesh. He looked at Ren Rushua in death. If he had the chance, he would definitely tell Ren Rushua to beg for her life and beg for her death. Just as his next whip was about to fall, a black iron hand directly grabbed the whip in Ren Rushua's hand. Chapter 256, Why Are You Pinching Him? Big Brother? Who? Seeing that someone dared to stop her, Ron Rushue shouted angrily, but the ones who greeted her were not destined to be the good-tempered people like Chen Pingon and Xiao Zhua. Slap. A loud slapping sound rang out. Five fingerprints were clearly visible on Rin Rushue's face. Her teeth popped out, and her entire face swelled into a pig's head. Even Rin Rushue's entire gene was sent flying several hundred meters by the slap, sinking deep into the rocks. Wang Duan. Xiao Zhu Chin Pingon was shocked when he saw the visitor, although they usually disdained these Dragon Rising scholars. However, their elders had told them that Wang Chuan was far from an ordinary Dragon Rising scholar. Originally, they didn't believe it. Today, they saw that it was true. No matter how much they look down on Rin Rushue, no matter how much they think this person is disgusting, but these can't change the reality that Rin Rushue's strength is not weaker than theirs. Even they would never be able to send Rin Rushue flying that far. This term's Dragon Rising Scholar was frighteningly powerful ah, leave it to me next, Wang Chen said indifferently, the situation here, the scanning tower had already fed back to him, he hadn't thought that it was fine for the Rin family to target themselves, but they actually dared to collude with the foreign races, previously, colluding with the foreign races might only be a minor offense, but now, it was a major taboo, it seemed like it was time to go back and exterminate the Rin family, although it was originally intended that way, but after all, the division has no name, but now it can be famous. Even if there is a tragedy, absolutely no one dares to say a word. As long as he dared to say anything, he would immediately snap a hat of a foreigner's accomplice onto his head and then kill him together. Wang Chuan, don't be careless, these foreigners are all top-tier powerhouses above level 65. We must not fight with force. Right, we still need to think long and hard. If we leave a green mountain behind, we are not afraid of having no firewood to burn. 
Let's just run away. The two of us can still stall for another 10 seconds. You just need to bring this message outside. I'll give you my token. Whatever you want go to my Chen family to get it. Mine too. Chen Pingan and Xiao Zhuo managed to see a glimmer of hope and immediately handed over their tokens to Wang Chen. They weren't afraid of death. So at the very least, they would spread these messages before they died. You guys. Wang Chen was a bit surprised. These two were rather the most capable of being called geniuses in this session that he had ever seen. Wang Chuan received the token just as the two of them looked at each other and smiled. Wang Chuan pinched with force, and the two tokens instantly shattered. Ha! Pingan Chen and Xiao Zhuo were instantly dumbfounded. Big brother what do you mean? Don't return don't ah! Pinch my token why ah! I will take you guys out. These two tokens, as payment. Wang Dust said in a deep voice. The two nodded. The reason they understand ah, but why pinch the token ah? Keeping it doesn't smell good. This is the future family head's token. With this thing casually looking for their family to ask for anything good ah, why pinch it? Wang. Wang Chuan. Ren Rushue in the distance staggered up and looked in Wang Chuan's direction with a few more points of resentment on her face. At this moment, a few more moments of madness appeared on her face. Ha ha ha. Wang Chuan. There's a way to heaven and you don't go. There's no door to hell and you have to come. Today, I'll make you beg for your life and beg for your death. Wang Chen, Xiao Zhua, and Pingan Chen, I want you to have no return. Ren Ruoshue looked at the three of them dead on. King of the beginning giant bird, kill them. Ren Ruoshue snapped. Human, watch your words, I am not your subordinate. The king of the beginning giant bird coldly looked at Ren Ruoshue. This human was so noisy and wanted to try to make him? How dare he? He was the noble king of beginning giant birds. Even in the huge chaotic land, his status was enough to enter the top 100 among the outsiders. But this human in front of him is so weak. How can he order him around? Even if there were even higher benefits, it would not be able to make the nobility in his bones become impoverished. Nor would it be able to make him lower his high and proud head. I'll add money. I'll have the family master assist you in raising to the 71st level. Run Rushua had a haughty face. Kidding aside. He was also a top genius of the Rin family at high and low levels, and the family master was willing to shell out any resources for his sake. What's more, a level 70 alien race rising to level 71 doesn't use much resources. Alright, Miss Ren, you command. Upon hearing that he was helped to rise to level 71, the king of the ancestor giant bird was almost left behind. Jokingly, what is dignity? Can it be eaten? Don't look at him now as if he was talking like a bull. But he had already stayed at this level for a long time and without any chance in his life, he would be at level 70, and with the help of the Rin family, he would be able to reach level 72 much faster, and even further back wasn't out of the question. Xiao Zhuo and Pingan Chen on the side were both shocked by this shameless king of the beginning giant birds. Big brother, don't you want to lose face as a 70 level foreigner? You're obedient when people give something? Wang dust you go quickly, we too will break the back. With no time to think, Pingan Chen and Xiao Zhuo instantly blocked in front of Wang Chen. All they could think about now was that Wang Chuan would be able to get the message out. Chapter 257, Seconds to Kill the Whole Scene. To deal with this kind of goods, you still need to run? Wang Dust said indifferently. Pingan Chen and Xiao Zhuo froze. Big brother what are you kidding about? We're all freshmen. The highest is only level 51, right? But how many levels are there between level 51 and 70? Not to mention geniuses. Even the king of heaven can't beat him. Wang Chuan, although you are a dragon rising scholar and your strength is considered to be the number one of the freshmen. The enemy at hand is simply not something you can fight against. Xiao Zhuo was a little anxious. The two of them dying here was a small matter, but it was a big deal for the news not to reach the outside. This jeopardized Huaxia and even the entire world. The layout of the foreign race could not be described as big. Wang Dust shook his head. He really wasn't talking big because such a cargo was nothing more than a single enemy of his. Kill him, ha 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 ha, break him into pieces. Run Rushua was filled with madness. Although she was now severely injured, she was next to an initiate giant bird king that far surpassed him at his peak. A top powerhouse at level 70. Wouldn't it be easy to take down a single Wang Chen? Not to mention a small Wang Chen. Even if the top ranked powerhouse of the fourth year came, would he be able to defeat the king of the ancestor giant birds? Obviously it was impossible. Yes, the king of the beginning giant birds hissed. The several huge ancestor giant birds around it were like arrows leaving the strings, arriving at Wang Chen's side in an instant. The speed was so fast that almost everyone present did not notice it. There was only the sound of the harsh wind whistling in the ears. How powerful was this? Just the speed alone was so terrifying. Xiao Zhuo and Ping Gan Chen gulped. They had actually presumed to block such an existence before. I'm afraid that it was only now that the beginning giant bird was at its full strength. Quickly dodge. 
Ping Don Chen's pupil shrank. He actually saw the giant bird of beginning sprinting towards Wang Chen with lightning speed. It was a pity that when he said it, the giant bird of beginnings was only a finger away from Wang Dust. Obviously, it was too late. It was as if the scene of Wang Dust being run through the chest by the ancestor giant bird appeared before his eyes. Ping Don Chen closed his eyes in impatience. By himself, he was simply powerless to block such a terrifying existence. A deep despair filled his heart. An unrivaled despair. There wasn't even a single way to break it. Could it be that this was the end? Xiao Zhuo and Ping Don Chen had regrets in their eyes. They stood in place as if they were dumbfounded. Right at this moment, Wang Dust moved. I said ah, it's weak. Wang Dust's two fingers were like iron pincers, clamping down on the claws of the ancestor giant bird in a deadly grip. The ancestor giant bird, which was so large in size, was actually like a toy at this moment. It was being held by Wang Chen's two fingers only. What happened was so fast that everyone there couldn't even react in time. What kind of strength is this? The rest of the ancestor birds just wanted to make a counterattack. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Wang Chen's fist swiftly swung out. Several black shadows accompanied by rolling smoke shot out. Seconds, 65 level alien races. Wang Dust killed several of them in seconds in an instant. Ping Gan Chen and Xiao Zhuo were shocked. Their gazes looked at Wang Dust in death. This guy, what kind of hang had he turned on? His strength was actually so strong. What? Run Rushiwe was scared. But looking at the king of the beginning giant bird next to her, she stabilized her mind again. So what if she killed a level 65 foreigner? The foreigner next to her was a full level 70. Just as she froze, Wang Chuan's figure disappeared from the spot. That's right, just disappeared. Wang Chuan's speed even made it impossible to see the trajectory of his movement. Where is it? The king of the beginning giant bird's eyes were on the verge of smoldering as he froze and failed to spot Wang Dust. Over here, Wang Dust stood on top of the king of the beginning giant bird's head, looking down at him. Damn it, when? The king of beginning giant birds was shocked. With his perception and speed, he actually didn't realize when Wang Dust had come to his head. He didn't believe it and was just about to make a move against Wang Chen. Suddenly, he felt a blurring of his perspective. And in a trance, he seemed to see his wings. Seconds, seconds again. The 70 leveled king of the beginning giant bird was killed by Wang Dust with a single punch. WH. What? Ren Rushiwe was completely terrified. The 70th level king of the beginning giant bird was killed in seconds. What level of strength was this guy terrifying to? Wang Chuan, the Rin family won't let you go if you kill me. Let me go and the Rin family will spare your life. Even though a great disaster was on the horizon, Run Rushiwe still assumed a lofty stance. Wang Chen smiled contemptuously. His figure disappeared once again and arrived in front of Ren Rushiwe in an instant. Ren Rushiwe's body trembled and just wanted to escape. Suddenly, a large hand grabbed her head. Don't worry, they will meet you soon. Wang Chen smiled faintly, ignoring Ren Ruashiwe's wailing, and embedded his five fingers deeply into Ren Ruashiwe's head. Intruder, activated. Apart from controlling monsters, the intruder had also developed a use for him, which was that he could perform memory readings on humans by implanting him, similar to soul searching. Ch. Scum family. After learning what the Ren family had done, Wang Chen's eyes gradually turned cold. Their time to die would soon come. After reading the memories, Wang Chuan casually threw away Ren Rushiwa's body like trash. Receiving another palm cannon shot, he dried all of them with the box without any dregs left. Chapter 258, Granny Drops, Playing Dirty Is It? This, this is a freshman with us? Chen Pingan's face was unbelievable. He couldn't believe that a freshman could be that powerful. Thinking about him, Chen Pingan practiced sword at the age of 3, practiced sword chi at the age of 5, became famous at the age of 10, and at the age of 15, he was known as the Chen family's great talent, the top genius who had the best chance of reaching the strongest human sword immortal. But now, compared to Wang Chen, he seemed to not even count as a fart. There's no doubt about it. Xiao Zhu sighed. He, Xiao Zhua, was one of the top geniuses of the Xiao family in Gamma province, when he was just born. A vision descended from the sky saying that he was destined to become a Yan emperor in this life. For a while, congratulations came from all directions. Even the young princess of the Nalan family from the next province was engaged to him. Who knows? There are unforeseen circumstances. At the age of 15, a car accident caused him to break his meridians, and the doctor tested that it was impossible for him to succeed in the transfer in his life. He could never forget the scene when the Nalan family withdrew from the marriage. He shouted out in front of everyone that 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, do not deceive the youth poor. It wasn't until later because of a strange encounter that caused his meridians to recover and he continued to be able to transfer. Otherwise, he is still being bullied in the Xiao family right now. The two men were quite emotional. 
Once they were also men who were in the infinite splendor of others. But nowadays, compared to Wang Chen, they were really nothing. You guys should have props to recover your injuries. Grab them and use them. Then you guys come to this location. Wang Chuan threw down a sentence and left the place, leaving the duo to stay where they were to recover their injuries. Outside world. Gamma province. Xiao family. A middle-aged man flung his sleeve robe and looked at the soul lamp linked to his son's token with a face full of anger. Why did my son Xiao Xu's token shatter? The Xiao family head said in a furious voice. Who was it? Who dared to move his son? To move his Xiao family's children? Why did he go out for a trip to the Imperial Capital University to be able to have his token shattered? What exactly happened? The Xiao family had never thought that it was crushed by Xiao Xu's hands. Don't look at the token as inconspicuous and cheap looking. But that thing is a 70 level prop. If one wanted to crush it, the power required would be even more terrifying. Conservatively estimated. Without a level 75 strength profession, it wouldn't be able to be crushed at all. And that's with the buffs on. What's more, who the hell would have nothing to do with a full buff to crush this token? Then there was only one possibility, and that was being killed. He actually dared to kill his son. The Xiao family had immediately gathered his clan members and headed to the Imperial Capital University at full speed. At the same time, Xinxian province, the Chen family, an old man felt something in his heart and looked in the direction of the land of chaos. He was one of the strongest combatants in the entire China, and existed alongside the Red Dragon Guard commander Bai Yong. Although he was the head of the Chen family, he was the only one in this Chen family with the surname Chen, and his son, Chen Pinyon, was also an old man. Chen Tiandao slowly opened his eyes, carrying at the same time, was a thick killing intent. I, Chinese sword immortal Chen Tiandao, have not made a move for a long time. It seems that this world, has forgotten my name, Chen Tiandao said in a cold voice. These foreign races were so dishonest that they actually dared to injure his Chen Tiandao's heir. The foreign races of the land of chaos had better pray that his son is still alive. Otherwise, I'm afraid that he, the Chinese sword immortal, will have to reproduce his sharpness. At this moment, the Red Dragon Guard, Bai Yong looked in the direction of the land of chaos with rounded eyes. Although they hadn't gone in yet, they were able to learn part of the situation inside. And what they saw was clearly the alien race covering the students of the Imperial Capital University with the barrier of chaos. I'm afraid that with their current speed, those students would be killed before they even arrived. These foreign races, what a bunch of fucking animals. They have to go after these students. Grandma, they're playing dirty, aren't they? How long will it take for us to reach the land of chaos? Bayon looked at Long San next to him. Commander, it will take another 10 minutes. Upon hearing that it would take 10 minutes, Bai Yang's face instantly became ugly. He knew that this was already rushing at full speed. With his speed, there was no way he could be faster than his own mount, and he still had to keep Blue Amount to deal with the foreigners in the chaotic land. He could only pin his hopes on Wang Dundu now. I hope you can lead them to hold out for a little longer. Just a little while, I'll immediately lead a large force to support them. Bai Yang clenched his fists. The nail caps sank deep into the flesh. He wasn't afraid that the top would blame him. He was only afraid that the group of students wouldn't be able to return. Obviously, this time had come to a moment of scrambling. All forces were rushing to the land of chaos at full speed. Especially the Xiao family. The Xiao family head was on fire. The Gamma province was very fast from the land of chaos. And he was reckless enough to come. As well as Chen Tiandao who was stepping on a specialized weapon flying towards this place. The land of chaos is about to set off a bloody storm. A great war is about to come. Chapter 259 True Despair Inside the palace at the highest part of the land of chaos. When can we kill those rabbits? I can't wait. Wolfman Voris looked at the large blue ball of light in front of him. He looked at these humans as if they were lambs to the slaughter. If it wasn't for his concern for the greater good, he would have killed them all long ago. Voris, calm down. These people can't be killed. At the very least you can't eat them before transplanting your talent. After the transplant, these humans are yours to eat as you please. The three-headed Zhao faintly said. Voris was a bit unconvinced. But this was indeed the truth. They had spent so much effort. It wasn't just to fill him up. Being able to allow the Rin family they had laid out amongst the humans to develop was the key. Once the Rin family had completely established themselves in China, then there would be as many things like humans as they wanted. The three-headed Zhao looked up at the barrier of chaos's main body. Time's up. Voris, Fei Fei Zhang, Minotaur Chief, it's time to go close the net. The three-headed Zhao's eyes burned as he looked towards a small spot where the humans were gathered at the moment. An evil smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. If he hadn't guessed wrongly, the humans should all have nowhere to run now. Ch, you're still in command. Wolfman Boris said disdainfully. Featherflying Zhang and the Minotaur chief both looked at the three-headed Zhao with displeased faces. After all, 
This fellow was too weak. Obviously, his bloodline was so powerful and his level was the same as theirs, but he just couldn't beat them. He also didn't know where the attribute points were. It's a disgrace, but looking down on the three-headed Jiao was looking down on them. These things still had to be done. They hadn't tasted a human for a long time. The previous red dragon guard by Yong, but they were crushed miserably ah. The time to raise their eyebrows has come. The land of chaos. At the moment, all the freshmen were tightly surrounded by a light blue barrier. Not daring to move. This thing will kill you if you touch it. Previously, there were a few who weren't afraid to die to try. And the result was obviously a miserable death. But the blue barrier at the moment was still shrinking. There are still several thousand people here. If the barrier of chaos continued to shrink, then they would soon die as well. There wasn't the slightest way to escape. It has become a certain death. Although the sky above the barrier of chaos had an absolute dead zone, there were hundreds of level 60 alien birdmen hovering around. They had realized the power of these alien races, and it was simply not something they could touch. Despair, true despair. Facing the barrier of chaos would kill them. Facing the alien races above their heads would still kill them. Everyone only dared to shrink into a ball, not even having the courage to resist. Just then, an even greater danger crept in. Three terrifying auras suddenly surfaced. Immediately afterward, a gaping hole appeared in the land of chaos. Some people thought that they could finally escape. Immediately, he rushed out without looking back. Who knew? He ran head on into Wolfman Voris. Werewolf Voris pinched him in his hand as if he were a small chicken. Jia Jia Jia. Is this a human? Voris let out a grim smile. Don't. Let go of me. Let go of me. The words of the one who was grabbed hadn't even left his mouth. There was a boom. The head was instantly crushed. Dead. Dead. Everyone in the surroundings looked incredulously at Wolfman Voris. It was only at this time that they noticed that the comers were clearly three behemoths that were dozens of meters tall. Werewolf Voris, Birdman Feather Flying Zhang, and Minotaur Chief. The aura of the three was terrifying. Simply appearing just now put everyone in a trance. As if they were about to come to heaven in the next second. You guy, getting another one killed. Not afraid of the boss chastising you? Fei Fei Zhang said in a cold voice. It wasn't that he was uncomfortable because the human died. It was just that he simply didn't let him get killed. He was not happy about it. Jia Jia Jia. So many people here. Not bad for this one. Turn around and one of us will eat a hundred of him. Turn around and give it to the boss as well. TSK TSK. If this is to be given a hundred years ago, a hundred humans are not enough for me to stuff my teeth. Werewolf Forest had a look of a man who had seen too little. The three of them immediately reached a consensus and slowly walked towards this side. Among the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University, a few people who were powerful stood out. However, they, the professionals who had barely reached level 50, were the ones with only high talent. And the gap between their strength and these top powerhouses of level 79 was so great. It was simply not a grade of existence. Li Yuanba, Du Lei Si, Li Ening, and An Xiao Xiao walked out. And these people who could be called geniuses among geniuses actually couldn't even stand still at this moment. Li Ening's face was even whiter. She had just fought a level 60 foreigner after Wang Chuan left. Although she had fought, her consumption was not small. At this moment, not to mention standing still, even just standing in place, he had already used all his strength. The monster in front of him, what kind of existence was it? Its strength was actually so terrifying. Despair, unrivaled despair. The crisis at hand was simply not something they could face. But if they backed off, who else would be able to step forward? Even if they were hardened, they would still have to come forward. Chapter 260, Desperately Powerful. And Xiao Xiao braced herself and opened the panels of the three Fei. Fei Werewolf Forest. Level, level 79. Skills, Blood Eating Frenzy Attack. Berserking. Bloodthirsty Instinct. Full Moon Transformation. Unstable Refinery Jar. Scarlet Claws. Blood Flame Shock. Bloodthirsty Growth. Introduction. Werewolf Forest was originally just an ordinary werewolf monster. Later because of contact with a certain unnameable monster. Managed to grow wisdom. Became a foreigner. And as a foreigner werewolf Voris. Killing humans all day long. Once in a day of the full moon. Extinguished an entire city of humans. Known as the bloodthirsty full moon werewolf. The strength of the extremely terrifying. Foreign race chief minotaur. Level. Level 79. Skills. Shake the sky and shake the earth. Sacred cow impact. Sacred cow giganticization. Invincible body. Earth shaking strike. Sky and earth. Unparalleled power. Rampage. This teacher. You don't want to. Introduction, Minotaur Chief was born in a full of Minotaurs or foreign tribes. He talked about hundreds of girlfriends or all the same tribe of people to the cattle. Minotaur Chief is too much pain. So, overnight all the Minotaurs in the world are killed. 
leaving him alone so that he can go to the cattle of other people. The head can be cut off the blood can flow. The only minotaurs exist forever. Foreign race birdman Fei Fei Zhang. Level 7 9 level. Skills brother laying eggs you do not eat. This is the brother's egg. God bird special attack. Chicken fly egg hit. Introduction. Fei Fei Zhang used to be just an ordinary alien. Until one day comb the center parting attracted the attention of the clan's brother. Was accepted as a protege. Two and a half years later. Fei Fei Zhang dressed in backpack pants. Left-handed basketball right-handed brother succeeded in becoming the strongest person in the Birdman clan, because it is too invincible. Often help the clan to carry coal. So the clan honored him to send you to carry coal. They're actually all level 79 foreigners. And Xiao Xiao was shocked. She had thought that these foreign races were powerful, but definitely hadn't thought of being that powerful. 79 levels ah, what a concept. Even if Vice Principal Yang Tianqing came in person, he would have to take two large force pedals before leaving. Why did these terrifying beings appear here? It is not said that the 79 level cannot come out. But here why all the 79 level of horror existence ah, such an existence, could they really carry through? The only remaining combatants on the side of the Imperial Capital University had all come out. There were only 7 or 8 level 50 powerhouses, facing the 3 alien races at level 79, they weren't even ants. Despair appeared on everyone's faces. This was simply not an existence that they could fight against. Outside. Bai Yang once again saw the images in the land of chaos, when he saw the three great 79 level foreign races surrounding the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University. Bai Yang's face turned blue. These guys, they really did not follow the rules, deliberately sending the backbone members of their pack to their deaths at the hands of humans, and then creating the illusion that the humans couldn't defeat them, luring everyone to a narrow place to turn on the retaliation. If this was completely implemented, even if they were to ask about it in the fall, it wouldn't be of the slightest use. After all, it was these freshmen who broke the rules in the first place, and this was a young conspiracy. In terms of deaths and injuries, the deaths and injuries of the foreign races far exceeded those of humans by ten or even tens of times. Bayong's eyes burned in the direction of the land of chaos. There were still two minutes to go. Could they really hold out? No one knew the might of the 79 levels better than him. If it moved to kill, it was enough to kill these people in a minute. Not to mention there were three more. Could it be that these geniuses really had to fall here? Ba Yong fell into a deep self-blame inside. If these geniuses died, he, Ba Yong, would definitely lead the Red Dragon Guards and bloodwash the land of chaos, but these still couldn't make up for the geniuses. A figure suddenly flashed in Ba Yong's mind. Wang Chen, you are the last hope. Can you lead them to survive these last two minutes? Ba Yong muttered. In his heart, he also knew that this was something that simply could not exist. After all, how could a freshman manage to resist and even save so many people from the hands of 379 level foreign races? But somehow, he was willing to believe in this genius. It would definitely be able to bring everyone to live. And Wang Chuan was everyone's hope. The land of chaos. Together, Li Yuanba shouted explosively and took the lead. The monstrous powerlessness was catalyzed with full force. The geniuses unleashed countless terrifying powers, charging towards Wolfman Voris with a destructive force. The sheer magnitude of their power was so great that perhaps even a 61st level foreign race would have to drink their hearts out. But unfortunately, they were facing such a terrifying existence. GGG. Werewolf Forest swept his giant claws in his hands. These skills that drained their blue amount were like paper mache, dissipating into the world in an instant. There was not even a hint of threat to him. What? The crowd did not have time to be shocked. A scarlet color had already arrived behind them. Without even being able to see Wolfman Voorhees' trajectory, he just appeared without a single crack, and Wolfman Voris, at this moment, was aiming at In Xiao Xiao. Many people wanted to warn In Xiao Xiao to dodge, but it was simply too late. When they saw that they were going to be hit, Voris claws were only a finger away from In Xiao Xiao. Just in the nick of time, time instantly froze. Tick tock, tick tock, the sound of a clock rang out. Chapter 261 time began to flow. A bright black figure slowly emerged from the darkness. In the air, only the sound of metal scraping resounded. A flash of red light flashed on Wine Dust's helmet as he coldly looked at Wolfman Boris. Monstrous bird feather flying chapter. And Minotaur chief. These three guys, they really want to die. Don't they think they are invincible? Wang Chuan's figure flashed and arrived in front of Boris. A finger gently rested on Boris' claw. Time begins to flow. Wang Chuan faintly said. Tick. Tick. The sound of the clock suddenly closed. Swish. Everyone seemed to not even realize what was happening. Only Wolfman Boris looked at Wang Dust in death. Just now, Wang Chuan had specifically not stopped his consciousness. He clearly saw that this kid could actually manipulate time. How could this level of ability appear in a freshman generation? 
not to mention that it could manipulate even his level of existence. It was reasonable to say that no matter how strong an occupation was, it was absolutely impossible to have an effect on an existence above one's level. And less, this guy's level was still above him. No, that was absolutely impossible. Werewolf Forrest died not believing that a mere human pup could surpass him in strength. It must be relying on the so-called occupation or special. Just now must be a fake. This kid actually exposed his body in front of him. This is simply looking for death. Wang Chuan raised his head. His eyes met Wolfman Voris, and his majestic aura poured out. Voris' heart trembled. He was actually being overwhelmed in terms of aura. This was never possible. Red light flashed within Voris' pupils. Blood devouring sharp claw. The claws were instantly covered in a layer of scarlet light. Human, it's great that you dare to challenge me, but I can praise you only this time. Suffer death. Voris clawed at Wang Chen. Several residual shadows instantly surfaced in the air. Fast, very fast. Who knew? Wang Chen was even faster. With a flick of his finger, he caught the claw of Wolfman Voris. Even with such a sharp and huge claw, it didn't even cause a single scratch on Wang Chudu's body. Step aside. Wang Chuan gently pushed, and Voris actually took several steps backward. Voris, who had never received such contempt, was completely furious. This human was so arrogant, really not putting him, Wolfman Voris, in his eyes. Holy shit, I thought that a level 79 Fei would already be invincible. I didn't realize that there was someone even braver than him. Which strong person is this? Hiss, if I remember correctly, this armor kind of looks like someone I know. Holy shit, this can't be the Dragon Rising Scholar Wang Duan. You don't say, it really does look a bit like him. Unlikely it, Wang Dust is again ascending dragon, is only the same as our freshman ah, again strong must have a limited, can't be a freshman than the vice chancellor strong, then also want the vice chancellor why, it's really outrageous, in that case, aren't we saved, not necessarily, Wang Chuan is now fighting against a 79 level alien and I think that's already the limit, but there are three heads over there, plus there's this group of tired people like us, he he, buddy, you've positioned yourself quite clearly, same to each other, once Wang Chen arrived, the freshmen became much more active. The tense atmosphere just now dissipated by half. They now only prayed that Wang Chuan would be able to defeat these foreigners. Otherwise, it would be absolutely difficult for all of them to escape death. Humans, humans, Wolfman Voris roared angrily. At this moment, Wang Chuan was as if a cat was playing with a mouse. With one finger standing up in front of his chest, and relying on him alone, he was able to block all of Voris' attacks. It was the first time that Voris had been teased like this. Blood devouring frenzy attack. Wolfman Voris roared. His figure instantly turned into monstrous blood flames and dissipated into the air. But he didn't leave. Instead, he moved back and forth through the air at a speed that was completely invisible to the naked eye. The speed was so fast that it was almost instantaneous. Human, with my speed, what are you going to defend me with? Ha 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 ha. Wolfman Voris laughed out loud. Even if time was suspended, it couldn't suspend his speed that fast, just as the corners of Voris' mouth were grinning to the back of his ears. The familiar sound of a ticking clock sounded once again. Time was paused. Smash Veruto. Time stops flowing. Wang Dust's voice surfaced in Voris' ears. How quickly the punch to the face came. The most terrifying thing was not that even Voris was suspended together, but that he was left alone with a consciousness while he was suspended. At this moment, Wang Chen's voice was like the devil's whisper, and Voris realized. What kind of existence was he facing? Big brother you pause time do not want money. A moment of. Generally speaking, this wide range of cut control the consumption of the same level of powerhouse is very large ah, not to mention that you fucking control 3. Time begins to flow. Wang Chuan's figure instantly arrived on top of Voris. Voris just wanted to resist. Wang Dust kicked him down, only to see a pitch black gun hole resting on his head. He knew that human weapons were useless to him, but this thing actually made him feel the fear of death. What the hell was this? Taking down a 79 level powerhouse in one shot. Everyone boiled over. Chapter 262 The three alien races were instantly killed in seconds. The conspiracy that you are plotting is really not small. Wang Chen said indifferently. Voris pupils shrank. What exactly was this human saying? Could it be that? He knew what he, the Fei, had plotted? How was this possible? All of this information was top secret. In total, only five of them knew about it. Could there be a mole? I guess even Voris couldn't think of it even if he thought about it. But all these news were all told by the three-headed Jiao in order to cooperate with the Rin family. Then Wang Chen directly searched Rin Rushue's memory. Voris looked at Wang Chen with a deadpan expression. He had just lined up everyone. Frozen couldn't think of anyone who would reveal the information. Then there was only one option left. Could it be himself? Holy shit. In that case, 
This kid was too terrifying. He was actually able to read his memories while time was suspended? Voris' mind was as chaotic as if a small universe had exploded, and his entire body was sweating. No, this guy must be gotten rid of today. Fei Fei Zhang, Minotaur Chief, what are you guys still waiting for? Hurry up and get on. Wolfman Voris flew. Everyone here had to be killed. Absolutely not one of them could go out alive today. Although they were powerful in the land of chaos, they were after all only on the periphery, and the inner circle might not help them defend against the humans. What's more, if this matter caused public anger among the humans, then they would be in deep trouble. Nowadays, although humans, monsters and foreigners are divided into three, humans were the weakest one. But the problem was that this chaotic land of theirs was only one of the many branches of the foreign races. If they wanted to use their own strength to defend against the entire human race, that would undoubtedly be a fantasy. What's more, if they really wanted to channel that kind of situation, their own big brother would definitely pluck him out first. Che, waste, even a tiny human can't take it. What use are you? Fei Fei Zhang showed no mercy. TSK TSK, this human mech inside I don't know if it's a fine skinned little white girl. Let my old ox try. The minotaur chief's mouth was watering. After all, he was a minotaur. It didn't matter if he was male or female. It didn't even matter if he was human. In a split second, it seemed like the situation had changed. Wang Dust had to face three powerful 79 level foreign races on his own. The power of the foreign races. Just time the information they inadvertently leaked out was enough to make everyone's souls tremble. Holy shit. The Fey don't talk about martial virtues ah. They actually want to play group fight. That's it. That's it. The foreign race is so shameless. It's over. It's over. Genius Wang Chuan is going to be finished. The 79 levels are so powerful. I guess Wang Chuan has just dealt with one and it's already the limit. Let alone three. That's right. Although I don't know what kind of means I used just now. But looking at that giant wolf's performance. Wang Chuan's physical strength consumption is absolutely quite a lot. Damn it. Before I died I didn't know why I thought I could beat a level 60. Ahem. I'm the same. The freshmen were talking a lot. There were only a few older students who had placed all their hopes on Wang Chen. They clearly knew that if Wang Dust lost, then there was a high probability that they would die here. There was a small chance that they would be seen by the Minotaur and brought back to their cave to do what the goblins did. That would really be begging for life and not being able to die. Wang Dust did not panic at all when he saw the three foreigners. It was just a mere 79 levels in the district. It was probably one nine between them. Killing them nine times a second they owed six tubes of blood. Suffer death. The three of them shouted angrily. Terrifying power instantly filled the heavens and earth. How terrifying was their power? Just a slight leakage of it was enough to make the heavens and earth shake. Wang Chen, however, was as immovable as a mountain in the midst of such a powerful force. He was still stretching out a finger as if he had done so before. Rampant. Arrogant. How dare a vertical sun. The three felt that they were deeply looked down upon. How could a mere human dare to taunt them like this? This was simply seeking death. Swish. Three terrifying figures arrived beside Wang Chen in an instant. Rumble. Vaguely, the surrounding mountains and rocks were also shaken by this aura and slammed down. Many students with weaker strengths even had their blood levels drop crazily directly under this pressure. I'll see what you can do to block this blow. Voris laughed out loud. It seemed that he saw the appearance of his former shame. Unbeknownst to him, Wang Chen was even stronger. Just then, Wang Chen made his move. Super God Overload. A red light flashed on Wang Chen's goggles. The blood-colored lines on top of the mech flowed like blood in an instant. Super God Overload, unfolded at full strength. The attributes were doubled tenfold. At this moment, Wang Chen was so terrifying that he carried an aura of destruction between his hands and feet, before the three foreigners had time to react. Suddenly, they felt a stabbing pain in their chests. Bang, bang, bang. Three loud bangs rose one after another. The three people flew backwards at some point. Terror, what terror? Voris was just about to raise his head when he suddenly realized that his claws seemed to have caught his head? What in the world had happened? Chapter 263 Blood Demon King's Plan What? My bloodstain. Voris vision blurred. Before it blurred, he realized that his blood bar was dropping at an unimaginable speed. Obviously, there was a large chunk of it just now. But why was it suddenly all gone? This was a question that Voris didn't figure out until he died. Because he was already dead. Seconds. Absolute seconds. 379 level foreigners were killed in seconds. To what level Wang Dust was actually strong? All Jean didn't know. The only thing that was known was, he was strong enough to walk horizontally within the land of chaos. Wine dust. Saved them. The entire arena boiled. Holy shit. What kind of strength is this? Actually able to kill the three major foreign races in seconds. How is this possible? Don't be skeptical. I reckon that with Wang Chuan's current strength, 
It's enough to kill the vice principal in seconds. No even the principal himself may not be Wang Chuan's opponent. A weak question. Those of us who haven't even reached level 50. When will we be able to discuss these powerful people who are only a hair's breadth away from level 80? Everyone was shocked at the power of Wang Chen's strength. With Wang Chuan's strength, I'm afraid that not to mention being invincible within this small chaotic land, even in more powerful places, given a certain amount of time, Wang Chuan would be able to be just as invincible. Just when everyone was caught up in the joy of victory, an even greater crisis quietly arrived. Outside. Report. Commander. Monitoring the aura fluctuations of a 79-level powerhouse within the land of chaos. It is estimated that. Long San reported with a face full of gravity. Bai Yong crushed the cup in his hand with one hand. He looked dead on in the direction of the land of chaos, actually daring to send out a 79-level powerhouse to deal with the new students. If these guys really dared to do this, then he would have the entire land of chaos pay in blood. Wait, Commander, the 79-level alien aura, seems to have disappeared? Long Si looked somewhat incredulously at the information coming from the detection instrument. What? Bai Yong was also somewhat confused by the two messages. What exactly was the foreign race plotting? Why did it disappear at one moment and reappear at another? That's not right. It doesn't seem right. Bai Yang's head was almost broken. Frozen did not think out. But soon, when he arrived, all of these puzzles would be revealed. There are still 30 seconds left. Bai Yang narrowed his eyes. Don't look at him as being very calm on the surface. But in his inner heart, he had already been filled with killing intent. Those who understood him knew that next. Bai Yang would set off a bloody storm. Let the foreign races once again see what is the strength of human beings. No matter what conspiracy and trickery, in front of the powerful strength, will all turn into nothing. On the other hand, Oh Yang Bo, the president of the Imperial Capital University, coldly looked at the direction of the land of chaos. It seemed that he, the pillar of the great summer, hadn't made a move for a long time, and the foreign races had long forgotten about his existence. In his era, every time he made a move, he caused a stir within the foreign races, even though his era had passed. His descendants are by no means without anything to fall back on. On top of that, the Shao family of Gama province, the Chen family of Qingxian province, and the families of the various students of the Imperial Capital University all poured in. This trip to the land of chaos could be said to have gathered quite a bit of power in Huaxia. After all, what the foreign race did, too out of the ordinary, if we let him go on like this, this hall of humanity, what is the majesty? This time, it is bound to show the power of the human race. Just when everyone was furiously heading to the land of chaos, a great conspiracy unfolded. The highest hall in the outskirts of the land of chaos. A blood-red figure transformed into a cloud of blood mist and let out a maniacal smile. Ha 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 ha. My plan has finally succeeded. Those fools from the Rin family, they actually really delude themselves into thinking that I will cooperate with them? The blood demon king laughed out loud. His plan was not just as simple as it appeared. And how could he let that group of fools know? Originally, his plan was indeed like this, but it was different since the last time he gave a trace of the blood demon origin to that Rin clan brat. That's right, it was that Rin Inian. Rin Inian's strength wasn't weak, and with a trace of his origin, even though his rank was only 70, his strength was straight up to 75. Even so, together with a few other 70 level blood servants, with Rin Inian's strength, he was strong enough to traverse China, but even so, he was still killed by Wang Dust in seconds. On that day, it was said that the one who was the leader was the strongest, but in fact, he secretly ordered Ren Inian to show weakness before sneaking up on Wang Dust, who knew that Ren Inian didn't even have any power to resist. Since that day, a huge conspiracy unfolded. He used the friendly relationship as a guide, and then supplemented it with exercise, so that Bai Yong made up his mind to wake up yelling genius to come to his place to practice, then threw another set of plants to consume all the foreigners above level 60 in the chaotic land. Combining them together could be his blood demon king's natural nutrients. The reason why he believed in Wang Dust's strength was naturally because of the foundation laid that day. And the reality was exactly like that. Wang Chuan did not disappoint his expectations ah. The blood demon king evil all looked in Wang Chuan's direction. And in return, he would take Wang Chuan's heart and set it in the deepest part of him. Chapter 264, The Originator of Everything. Wang Dust, you're really a great credit to me. The blood demon king looked at his soaring rank with a mesmerized expression. Such a surge of power mesmerized him. Originally, his strength might be considered the strongest in the outskirts of the land of chaos, but in this vast land of chaos, he might not shoot up. After all, the existence of the depths of the land of chaos, even the current him was not considered to be fully aware of. However, he knew that if he stepped into that realm before level 80, he would simply die for sure. Even if it was an 80th level powerhouse, 
entering that field of death, it would be an absolute one in nine deaths, and the chances of surviving would be less than one in ten. When he had just stepped into the 80th level, he had once stepped into that forbidden area, just as soon as he entered, he was scared to death by that kind of forbidden existence, he knew deep down that that much of a place was definitely not something he could step foot in, since then, he had been building up his strength, the outskirts of this chaotic land, no matter how many foreign races there were, had always been a way for him to raise compulsion, by letting them kill each other constantly, in order to create a constant stream of blood chi for his level to rise, in addition, through the method of raising parasites, he would then raise a group of strong people, allowing them to be their own enemies and form their own forces to fight each other, in this way, he would be able to increase his strength at an extremely fast rate, don't look at the fact that he had been unobtrusive, and on the surface, his strength didn't seem to be that much different from the three level 79 fools, but in reality, their strengths were vastly different, and they weren't on the same level at all, even so, if there is no Wang Chuan, he wants to reach this level of strength now, it must need a long time, but now, he was able to be stronger, how could he not know, Bai Yong and the others had long since led the red dragon guards to come to the rescue, unfortunately, once he refined all the creatures in the periphery of the entire chaotic land, the red dragon guards led by Bai Yong were not worth mentioning at all, at that time, the vast China, and even the entire world, might not necessarily not be surnamed blood, the blood demon king glanced at the time, and now it was just about time, Bai Yong must be coming soon, Chaos Canyon. Wang Chuan had just finished resolving the three major alien races. Suddenly, a terrifying aura that had never been perceived before suddenly appeared. This aura, screw it, was a strong person above the 90th level. What was going on? Even he had definitely encountered such a terrifying existence for the first time. No, or rather, the Blood Demon King was definitely the most powerful enemy he had encountered so far. Even with the Overgod Overload state turned on, he was able to feel an inexplicable sense of being able to fight against himself. This feeling, for the first time, appeared. It could be seen that the enemy this time was not simple. Wang Chuan looked towards the huge body in the sky, which was slowly condensing as it gathered countless blood chi. There was something familiar that he seemed to have encountered before. Wasn't this the aura of the origin of the king of blood demons in Rin Yin's body before? It seemed to have come from the very thing in front of him, combined with Rin Rushue's memories. The answer to all of this came out. That foreign race that was deeply cooperating with the Rin family. A partner who could be called the human spy of the Rin family. Everyone must be executed. Wine Dust, I think this is the first time you've met me, but I've heard of you your name for a long time. The Blood Demon King smiled, but combined with his huge and bizarre blood mist body now. How bizarre. Oh, Wang Chen narrowed his eyes. To actually be able to have heard of him? After all, the plundering of your S-rank talent was planned by me oh. Otherwise, with the ability to calculate a person's specific talent by virtue of the District Divine Arithmetic Master, wouldn't every powerful person in the world have S-rank talent? As my first test subject of S-rank talent, Wang Dust you are honored. After all, not everyone has the qualification to be chosen by my Blood Demon King. The Blood Demon King laughed out loud. Speaking of which, he really did not expect that the mole that he had once spared a life by chance would actually be able to grow to such an extent today. What's more, it had helped him accomplish a great plan. Even if the human geniuses didn't die at first glance now, the foreigners in the chaotic land were pretty much dead. But in his eyes, whether the human geniuses died or not was just a matter of time. All of this could be thanks to Wang Chen. If he hadn't had an S-class talent, if he hadn't broken the mold, if he hadn't had such strength at this moment, perhaps the plan would never have succeeded. Have to admit, as the first experimental body Wang Chuan life force is really very tenacious ah, before also deprived of talent, can be stripped of the person, none of them do not directly die, only Wang Chen survived, really, so what, Wang Chen's reaction at this moment was calm, he had long since ceased to be the same person he was back then, Wang Chuan pressed his right hand at his heart, this heart, which was given by the super god mechanic profession, was beating violently at the moment despite being steel, with anything less from the past, he might not be able to become the person he was now, that being said, if there is a favor, it will be returned, and if there is a grudge, it will be avenged. This was the character he, Wang Chen, had always had. However, I'm honored that I can have the strength I have today to be able to behead you with my own hands. You are also honored to be able to die in my hands. Wang Dust said indifferently. What? The Blood Demon King did not expect that Wang Dust actually had such confidence and could still be so calm in a near desperate situation. Was there something he was relying on? Chapter 265 A 90 Level Fei. Everyone is shocked. Outside, Ba Yong, who was sitting on the Red Dragon, suddenly changed his face. What? 
How could an aura that powerful erupt from the outskirts of the land of chaos, an existence above the 90th level? How is this possible? Such an existence, even if one looked at the Great Xia, would definitely be a Zhenguo level existence. In the periphery of the district, it was even more impossible for such an existence to appear at all. According to his intelligence, wasn't the highest in the periphery of the land of chaos a level 79 foreigner? But why would there be a 90 level blood demon? And he was able to feel it. This blood demon wasn't even an ordinary level 90 foreign race. Its strength was even above that of an ordinary level 90 powerhouse. This was something that was simply impossible. Ah, why in the world was this? Bayon's face was ironic. This time, I'm afraid that the freshmen were really in dire straits. Although he was a Zhenguo level existence, and his strength was above blood demon, but here there were many restrictions, and he simply could not exert his full strength. And I'm afraid that defeating blood demon could still be done. But if the blood demon escaped on his home turf, I'm afraid there was nothing he could do. After all, this was the blood demon's home ground. Bayong's face became more and more ugly. This time, these students were really going to be in a bad way. No, the more this time, the more calm he had to be. If he really couldn't, he would break the taboo and forcefully power up. He really did not believe it. He really couldn't keep this district blood demon. Commander, Long Si was about to speak. It doesn't matter. I will make a move. Bayong waved his hand indifferently. If it really came to the time of the greatest crisis, he would step in. It was worth it to use his life alone to exchange for the lives of so many students. The pupils of Chen Tian Dao, who was rushing to the land of chaos with his imperial sword, shrank. What? A foreign race above level 90 has actually appeared. Unheard of. Chen Tian Dao's tone was not without shock. The conditions for the birth of a foreign race above the 90th level were extremely harsh. It should never be born in the outside world. But right now, it was actually born? Chen Tian Dao sighed deeply. It seemed that his old bones needed to be accounted for here. He was severely injured when he was young, and should have been the unrivaled sword god of the world. But in the end, he could only live in seclusion here. Even before that, he had made endless glorious achievements, but that was only when he was young. Since the time he was seriously injured, there were countless debuffs on his body. Every year, his life value limit would be cut by 1% of what it was at its peak. The same was true for the blue bar. The current him had long been less than a million percent of his peak strength. Even so, if he were to give up his life in a single strike, this level 90 guy would not be considered invincible. It seemed that an old man like him was needed now. Just, these freshmen, themselves all son Pingon Chan, could they really hold out against his arrival? The land of chaos was so far away from him, if he rushed with all his might, I'm afraid he wouldn't be able to do anything about that 90th level demon. Forget it, if he couldn't make it, then I'm afraid he really couldn't even save his own son. Speed. Chen Tiandao's dry old hands were actually new at this moment. In a trance, he was back to the old days when he was a Chinese sword immortal, and how spirited he was at that time. In an instant, Chen Tiandao's speed flipped a few notches. Whoosh. Disappearing into a stream of light. His speed flipped nearly several notches. And at this moment, the Xiao family head who was rushing to the land of chaos stumbled. MD. A level 90 foreigner. The Xiao family head's face changed drastically. Are you kidding me? Isn't he going to send food? Such an existence pressed him to take a headshot. It was estimated that he couldn't even block a flat A with his blood and blue bars combined. Then, house master, still going? I'll just go. You guys go back. The Xiao family head said indifferently. He shouldn't go as the Xiao family head, but he should go as Xiao Biao's father. But if it was a 90 level existence, he wouldn't drag his subordinates to their deaths. He would spell out his old life to save his son. Family master, go back. I'll be fine alone. The Xiao family's family head was resolute. Ran family. The Rin family's family head raised an eyebrow. Afterward, he was sweating profusely. Ran Rushua's fate card. Shattered? How was this possible? In this land of chaos, he had allowed a 79 level foreigner to protect her. So how could she have died? Could it be that there was even an existence in the land of chaos that could injure Rin Rushua? The Ren family head's face was ugly. Could it be that the foreign races had mutinied? Incorrect. The Rin family had felt something in his heart and looked in the direction of the land of chaos. He had just, actually felt a terrifying aura. 90 levels. The aura was a bit like that of a blood demon. How is this possible? Wasn't that old Biden, the blood devil, only at level 79? Now he's at level 90? You're playing dirty, aren't you? No way. He must send someone to collect the blood devil's head. Otherwise, if he takes out the information of their Rin family, he'll die for sure. After all, the 90th level is indeed very strong, but it was also near impossible for a 90th level existence to turn over the heavens. The Rin family head's face was grave. 
and he now only hoped that the blood demon would be able to kill Wang Chen, who knew their information. This fellow, it was best to die. Chapter 266, King of the Blood Demons, Chaos Canyon. It's just a bluff after all. Stinky brat, the blood demon king's aura instantly skyrocketed. The strength of a rank 90 erupted in an instant. A monstrous blood aura filled the heavens and earth. It caused a strong feeling of despair to well up in everyone's hearts. 90th level. This was simply not an existence that could be defeated. Wang Chen. And Xiao Xiao's palms clenched out fragrant sweat, and bean-sized beads of sweat dripped from her forehead. She didn't even have the strength to stand up at the moment, and she was still thousands of miles away from the blood demon king. But what about Wang Chen who was at the center of the pressure? What kind of pressure was he enduring? She was worried for Wang Chen from the bottom of her heart. What kind of torture was Wang Chen experiencing? Don't die. Li Yining finally recognized the huge gap in strength between them at this moment. Countless miles apart. But she could only manage to barely stand up under this power. What kind of gap was this? It actually made people so desperate. Was such a powerful enemy really something that Wang Chuan could defeat? Even though Wang Chuan had brought her countless miracles, he still didn't feel that Wang Chuan could kill the foreigners across a gap of tens of levels. One had to know that these levels didn't look big, but every five levels would undergo a sea change. The gap in their power was also incomparable. If the gap before level 50 was still able to rely on one's battle sense to be able to fight across levels, but after level 50, it was simply impossible to fight across levels. Not to mention that Wang Chuan was only at level 56 now, which was indeed very high compared to these freshmen. So high that many people could not reach such a level in their entire lives. But compared to the Blood Demon King, there were countless gaps between them. Such a gap would have to deter even the strongest human being today. After all, this would simply be a gap that could not be crossed by ordinary people. With such a gap, not to mention Wang Chuan, even if there were a thousand more of the same level, they wouldn't be able to shake the Blood Demon King one iota. This was the terror of the Blood Demon King. No, or rather, this was the terror of a 90th level powerhouse. And at this moment, Wan Dust actually rushed up to him without any hesitation, which truly shocked him. What was even more shocking was Wang Chuan's strength, actually being able to stand firm in front of such an existence. Terrifying, incomparably terrifying. Even though he, Li Yining, had seen countless geniuses and had heard his elders tell him about them, whether it was the mighty Chinese sword immortal of Huaxia or the unrivaled ancient god inheritor of the West, there was absolutely no way that they could be even remotely close to the 10, 000 foot light that Wang Chuan had at this moment. This, exactly what kind of existence, it is actually so dazzling, the two of them, Chen Pingan and Xiao Zhua, held each other, even though they had been held in high hopes by their family since they were young, ever since they had seen Wang Chen, they suddenly felt that any cultivation they had done before was meaningless, compared to Wang Chen, they were simply comparing a firefly to a white moon, and were not even in the same class, Caitlin, who was still hacking at the monsters on the other side, frowned, this unsettling aura, she hated it, with that, she continued to clear the small monsters in front of her. No matter who it was and what kind of strong enemy it was, none of it prevented her from concentrating on the enemy in front of her. A level 90 Fei well. She might not be a match, but as an ancient god inheritor, even if she wasn't a match, I'm afraid it wouldn't be that easy to kill her. She had quite a few means of preserving her life in her hands. Wang Chen. Du Lei was a bit shocked. This, this isn't right. It's actually this strong? Damn it. He actually thought he could surpass Wang Chen. Whose illusion did this fall under? All the freshmen looked in Wang Chen's direction with shocked faces. They couldn't believe that this was an existence on the same level as theirs that was actually so powerful. It was simply unbelievable. Chaos Canyon. Wang Chuan stood with his hands behind his back, seemingly not putting the blood demon king in his eyes at all. A mere ant. Where did you get such confidence? The king of blood demons said in a cold voice. Oh, you are introducing yourself? Wang Dust said indifferently. The king of blood demons laughed instead of being angry, and the aura on his body once again skyrocketed, seemingly reflecting the entire chaotic land under the scarlet blood. Wang Dust instantly felt like he was in a land of withered bones. Endless sadness filled his heart. I, the king of blood demons, have accumulated countless years of departed foreign races here. How could the power and the depth of my heritage be comparable to that of you mortals? The king of blood demons said in a deep voice. Wang Dust looked up at the attribute panel of the king of blood demons. Alien race, king of blood devils, boss level alien race panel. Level, 90, rapidly rising. Skills, blood devouring frenzy attack. Berserking, blood demon power. King's bastard aura. Blood demon dharma. Blood demon frenzy attack. Bloodthirsty instincts. Power of origin. Boarding undead souls. Great formation of the blood demons of the heavens. Predatory power. Devouring power. 
Introduction, the strongest person in the periphery of the chaotic land, the strength is enough to boast the entire periphery of the chaotic land, as a blood demon, he has gone through countless years and finally became the king of the blood demons above countless people, however, he has a little known history of being abandoned, undeniably, at this moment he is incomparably powerful, I'm afraid that not many people between heaven and earth would be able to be his opponent, chapter 267, the heavenly blood demon formation, certain death, how about it? You humans have an ability to view view attribute panels. Do you still have the courage to challenge me after reading my panel? Ha ha ha. Seeing that Wang Chen had not moved for a long time, the king of blood demons instantly knew what he had just been doing. But so what if he was able to see his attribute panel? Being so powerful, he wouldn't be afraid of others snooping through the panel at all. He profoundly knew that when he was strong to a certain extent, everything he did was the right thing to do. As long as he was strong enough, he was strong enough to do whatever he wanted in this world. Are you too confident in your strength? Wang Chen was a little curious as to why someone would be so narcissistic. Did you think you were invincible at level 90? Human. Don't be reckless. The blood demon king was completely enraged. It was the first time he had been looked down upon so much by a mere human. Looking at the vast chaotic land, who would dare to speak to him like this? But this human in front of him dared to do so. He was afraid that he didn't know how to write the word death. Today, he must let this human in front of him see what is called absolute strength. Let him see what unrivaled power was again. All heaven's blood demon formation. The blood demon king's huge body snapped. Containing anger. This voice was full of might. Students with slightly weaker strength were actually directly pressed down to their knees at this moment. Without the slightest resistance. This was the strength of the blood demon king. It wasn't that they wanted to kneel. But they simply couldn't do anything to stand up in front of such a huge sense of oppression. Not only that. Their knees sunk deep into the rocks. Their bones shattering with the rocks. The entire canyon was instantly filled with screams. Even though the current medical level was very advanced, and a mere fatal injury was nothing to worry about, the oppressive feeling of the king of blood demons was enough to bring an indelible psychological shadow to them. This is not the end. The pressure of the heavenly blood demon formation was more than that. In an instant, countless blood-colored spell formations appeared out of nowhere in the air, and their speed was so fast that they didn't even allow people to react in time. Countless scarlet colors began to spread. The entire canyon was covered by a sea of blood, where the color of blood spread. It was as if there were countless corpses and bones wailing. Everyone could not help but feel a sense of despair. Was such a power really just the power of a foreign race? I'm afraid it's never too much to say it's a god. This, is this the power of a god? Changing the heavens and the earth, making even the world submit to it. Just then, the blood aura became heavier once again. Everyone realized that they had actually been put on a layer of debuff. Blood Demon Erosion, a mitigating buff that forcibly drops 1% of maximum life value every minute, and when it accumulates to 100 layers, it falls into a state of absolute death. Absolute death, this state cannot be revived, and this 1% maximum life value is dropped every minute. If this continues, I'm afraid that in less than 2 hours, I'm afraid that everyone will die here. Everyone's face changed, I'm afraid they will die here today. After all, in the current form, it was impossible for anyone to come and save them. A look of despair leaked from everyone's face. Being put on such a layer of debuff was tantamount to a chronic death. It could even be said that it was now completely a living death. How about it? Wang Chuan, do you have a way to deal with such a situation? The king of blood demons said contemptuously. In his opinion, Wang Chen had long been in a situation of certain death. Moreover, once this blood demon heavenly array was executed, it could have much more than this little effect. Similarly, in order for him to prevent the strongest human beings from attacking over, this blood devil formation of the heavens would likewise draw in everyone's life force as protection. As long as the people from the outside world once dared to attack over, it would only accelerate the flow of their life force. He was not afraid of the strongest human beings coming in person. These people, from the very beginning, were already in a situation of certain death. He thought that his plan was very well thought out, and could be described as completely foolproof. There was simply no way it could fail. Outside, Bayong led the red dragon guards just as soon as they arrived. Seeing the great formation of the heaven's blood demons rising from the land of chaos he felt a sense of ill will in his heart. Could this be? Bayong's fists clenched tightly, his veins bulging. Not bad, the great formation of the heavens and blood demons. Chen Tian Dao also happened to come with his sword at this time. His face was similarly unsightly. This kind of evil formation was the only one he had seen in his life, and he had even less expected to see it in such a small place. Even all of them were powerless to take this great formation. When the formation was up, there was no way to break it except by attacking it from the inside. Formation and people together. Formation dead people dead. Formation in people in. 
This is a dead move. Even though they have monstrous strength and are ready to die, they are at a loss in the face of this kind of formation. If they sacrifice their lives to crack this formation, they are obliged to do so. But now, it had long since not been something they could do by sacrificing their lives. Senior Chinese Sword Immortal, Bayong was shocked, not expecting to be able to see Chen Tian Dao here. Just a name from the past. Chen Tian Dao waved his hand. Wang Chen, can you do it? Bayon looked dead center into the depths of the land of chaos. He knew that Wang Chuan was hiding his strength, but he also knew that it was absolutely impossible for Wang Chuan to manage to match a 90 level powerhouse. However, Wang Chen was just like the hope of all of them. Can this young man really create a miracle? Cracking this situation of certain death. Chapter 268 Desperate. This is the king of blood demons. The power of a near god. This move, is it hard to crack? Wang Dust said disdainfully. No matter how powerful a formation was, it always had his weaknesses. And wasn't the weakness of this heavenly blood demon formation the fact that he had killed this king of blood demons himself? To him, there was no difficulty at all. Ha ha ha, foolish and ignorant human, how could anyone be so stupid? Then I will tell you the way to crack it, that is to kill me. Human mole, do you have the strength? The king of blood devils laughed out loud. He didn't even think that Wang Chen could have such strength. This heavenly blood demon formation of his was strong right here. As long as there was no one inside who could defeat him, then he was innately undefeated. Once he finished absorbing these humans, his strength would definitely be able to go to the next level. And at that time, who would be able to stop him? Who would be able to stop him? Who would be able to stop him? The king of blood devils. Of course, it wasn't impossible to break the heavenly blood demon formation from the outside. However, this would only result in accelerating the speed at which the great formation of the heaven's blood demons drew their blood. After all, this ancient evil formation, in essence, is the blood to cast impenetrable protection. Formation in, people in, formation dead, people dead. I'm sure those old guys in the outside world know this, even if they don't know, it doesn't matter. The king of blood devils has a face of emboldened. Even if he broke from the outside world, these blood powers, he could absorb them without fail. How can we know without trying? Wang Dust said indifferently. The overdrive armament on his body blossomed with an endless blood-colored light in an instant. Super God Overload, completely overloaded. The tenfold increase in full attributes exploded to the extreme in an instant. Steam was faintly rising from Wang Chen's body, and blood red lines gradually spread on top of the mech. This was Wang Chen's strength. It was fundamentally different from these geniuses, and such power was ultimately limited. It had to be fought quickly. The aura, it suddenly enhanced. The king of blood demons looked at Wang Chuan with an unexpected expression. He could not imagine that an ordinary human could actually burst out with such power. How was this possible? No, this was not right. Where was this a 56th level human? This aura had definitely reached the level of level 80. No, even level 90. However, so what? The blood demon king didn't believe that a mere human could defeat him. Not to mention that it was just a mere brat. Even those top level powerhouses in China who had been famous for a long time would have to bow their heads here. What could a mere brat do to him? Ha! Huh? Wang Dust coldly looked at the king of blood demons. In his eyes, the king of blood demons had long been a dead man. Although he was level 56, the experience he had gained had long surpassed the other 56 levels. Leveling up in this world might be difficult, but it was absolutely impossible to be like him, fighting so many monsters across levels before barely rising a few levels. In fact, for example, if two occupiers of the same level 60, one of them being level A and the other being level B, the experience required would be equally vastly different. This also caused the attribute points obtained by the two to be different, and their strengths were not at all at the same level. In short, the difficulty of upgrading also represented the strength of the professional. Even if it was the same S-class, the strength of the professional was different, and the experience needed was definitely different. Don't look at Caitlin who only had a mere 52 levels of experience, but the experience he needed to upgrade was definitely more than 10 times more than other S-class professions. Not to mention Wang Chuan's SSS rank talent. The amount of experience needed for every upgrade was massive. But in contrast, Wang Chuan could gain strength far beyond the same level. And fighting across levels was as simple as eating and drinking water for Wang Chuan. And Wang Dust's leveling was even simpler. Even if the experience needed to upgrade was massive, he was still able to far surpass the rest of the geniuses. It was no coincidence that Wang Chuan was able to have the strength he had today. But it was the result of accumulation over time. Whether there is strength or not, you will know if you try. Wang Chen's tone was ice cold. A mere human. Before the blood demon king's words fell, he only saw Wang Dust's aura expand once again. He suddenly realized that the human in front of him was as if he had no limits. It was getting stronger again and again. 
How was this possible? As the king of blood demons, how could his strength have been suppressed by a human? There was a loud rumble. The blood and flesh essence that the blood demon king had previously absorbed turned into pure energy and entered his body once again. The shackles of level 90 were directly broken. 91 levels. 92 levels. 93 levels. 94th level. All the way up to level 95. The massive pressure of heaven and earth changed colors. The corpses throughout the outskirts of the land of chaos were instantly drained to become dry corpses. After absorbing such a large amount of power from the land of chaos, his strength had long since climbed to a terrifying level. How powerful he was at this moment. It was as if heaven and earth were also in his hands. Despair. This is the king of blood demons. The power of a near god. The king of blood demons laughed out loud. He regarded Wang Chen as a plaything in his palm at the moment. Once to got into this state, I'm afraid that no one would be his opponent. Oh, Wang Dust snorted. When the king of blood demons saw that Wang Dust dared to mock him, the king of blood demons immediately exerted his power, and a huge blood fist condensed out in the sky in an instant, carrying unrivaled power. It violently blasted towards Wang Dust. Chapter 269 Humans I have become a king. This power. How terrifying. The rage-containing strike of a 95-level powerhouse was enough to change the color of mountains and rivers, and cause mountains to crumble. Countless people submitted to this move. The only remaining foreign races were also overwhelmed by the terrifying pressure of this move and finally burst into flames. Under such an indiscriminate attack, everyone's life value was dropping by leaps and bounds. What's more, the blood level had almost dropped below 50%. What a shocking speed this was. At this rate, I'm afraid that in less than half an hour, all the students here would be reduced to dry bones. Everyone's faces changed again and again as they looked up to the sky in horror. There was only one thought in their minds. That was that they were dead. Under such a terrifying strike, would there be any reason to still be alive? Everyone's hearts were filled with despair. Under such a powerful strike, I'm afraid they would only die. The rapidly declining life values had already told everything. They were beginning to enter the countdown to death. Ha 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 ha. Humans, how about it? Scared. This is the power of the gods. A realm that mortals can never touch. The king of blood demons laughed out loud, and his tone was filled with disdain for even Wang Chuan. Such an attack was not to mention Wang Chuan. So what if the few 90 level old things from the outside world came in? Together would they be his opponent? Wang Chuan coldly looked upwards. With a wave of his hand, countless diggers poured out. It was as if they were silver white blanches. Countless mechanical arms clanked and began to rapidly arrange Wang Chuan's weapons in the open space. Against this kind of large monster, it was indeed better to use this. Fixed type automatic massacre gatling. Fixed automatic pulse electromagnetic cannon. Fixed automatic DSI cannon. Hellfire cluster rocket cannon. Thousands of massive weapons appeared out of thin air. It was like a torrent of steel. In front of such powerful weapons, I'm afraid even the real gods would have to retreat. This is the super god mechanic. An incomparably terrifying weapon power. The silver white light on the weapon was flickering and the murderous aura on its body seemed to be telling the end of the king of blood demons, even in the face of the huge blood-colored fist above his head that was as huge as a meteorite. This steel torrent managed to unexpectedly give a sense of security. What is this? The king of blood demons was a bit surprised. He had heard those guys from the Rin family say that there were things called thermal weapons amongst humans. The power was amazing, and the most powerful of them, nuclear bombs, even had the power to destroy cities. But in his opinion, these were nothing more than jokes. Even level 50 or 60 monsters would never put these nuclear bombs in their eyes, let alone other thermal weapons. The scales on their bodies were enough to withstand tens of millions of TNT equivalent weapons. This kind of thing like thermal weapons, it was useless to talk about the quantity. After all, it was only a quantitative change rather than a qualitative change. It's not useful at all. But Wang Chen actually pulled out so many thermal weapons at this moment. Although the appearance was far from what the Rin family had described to themselves, they were ultimately thermal weapons. Had he lost his mind? Or was he afraid of his own tactics and had panicked and pulled out weapons indiscriminately? But whichever it was, it had already shown that Wang Chuan was at the end of his rope at this moment. The current Wang Chen was simply not enough to worry about. A mere hot weapon. Let go. The blood demon king's words had not yet fallen. Thousands of weapons opened fire. Countless firepower intertwined together, forming a powerful fire coverage. Such a terrifying might was even more so than the king of blood demon's punch. Rumble. Rumble. The torrent of steel seemed to roar, each shot of attack venting its dissatisfaction with the king of blood demons. In this instant, it was as if the only sound in heaven and earth was the sound of cannon fire. Boom! In an instant, countless cannonballs collided with the huge fist that the king of blood demons had condensed, with Wang Chan and the king of blood devils as the radius. The aftershocks began to erupt towards a radius of tens of thousands of kilometers. 
Those who were slightly weaker in strength had their blood bars drop by a large margin once again, such a terrifying attack made it impossible for them to even react. There were even weaker people who were bleeding from their seven orifices, and their entire body looked miserable. This was just the aftermath. It was simply unimaginable to imagine what kind of attack Wang Chuan, who was at the center of the explosion, was enduring. After all, Wang Chuan wasn't like the king of blood demons, he wasn't a complete entity. Rather, he was solidly resisting every single attack here, which was so terrifying. At this moment, Wang Dust was at the center of the explosion, and he was unharmed. The steel torrent was still venting its firepower, but the king of blood demons was showing his fatigue at this moment. Is this what that old bastard from the Rin family said about the power being ordinary? The king of blood demons was astonished. This was not right, it was very wrong. However, he quickly realized that the source of power of the steel torrent came from Wang Chuan, and it was by no means an ordinary or thermal weapon. A mere human, actually so powerful. I, the king of blood demons, recognize you as the strongest. The king of blood demons shouted. Immediately, his body slowly solidified, completely lacking the contemptuous demeanor from before. Instead, he was completely serious. The king of blood demons condensed all the blood chi in the air and transformed into a human-like body. An even more powerful aura erupted. This was the blood demon king in full stance. Human, I have become a king. A throne appeared behind the blood demon king, as if he was the king of the world. At this moment, he was the king, the only king in the world. Chapter 270, Divine Weapon Dual Wielding, Blood Demon King Shock, The terrifying blood mist condensed into an incomparably powerful physical body. The King of Blood Demon's sense of oppression at this moment was even several or even dozens of times greater than just now. It was really hard to imagine that such an aura could be emitted by a human. Although the King of Blood Demons was not a human, there was no doubt that the King of Blood Demons was very powerful. Everyone looked towards the godlike Blood Demon King above their heads as if they were on the verge of an enemy. Their hearts were filled with despair. They even slowed down the speed of getting high, because getting high in front of such a strong person, was there a need for that? Regardless of getting high or not, did they really have, even just a slight chance of surviving? The answer should be no, right? Such an existence was simply too strong, too powerful for words. Outside, Chen Tian Dao was originally still meditating on the ground, resting his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes snapped open and he looked sternly in the direction of the land of chaos. This fellow's strength is actually so powerful. Is it really something that can exist in the land of chaos? Chen Tiandao's face was grave. The blood demon king's power was beyond his understanding of this land of chaos. Or rather, a place like this should not have been able to breed such a powerful individual. And if he absorbed all the humans again, to what level would his strength be plucked? All of this was unknown. The only thing that could be known was that once the time came, I was afraid that no one would be able to stop him. It would definitely be a heavy blow to the imperial capital university and even the entire China. So strong. Bai Yong said in a deep voice, with a strength like the king of blood demons, would Wang Chuan really be able to escape from it? What was he thinking? How could a freshman manage to defeat a level 95 boss panel alien? Such a monster. Not to mention Wang Chuan, even the geniuses of the senior year would have to be sent to the slaughter if they came. This was simply not an existence that humans could fight against. Even if it was them, these Xinguo level powerhouses. In this situation, they would need to pay a certain price if they wanted to take down the king of blood demons. However, he had no other choice but to believe in Wang Chen. Bo Yong, who had never believed in miracles, actually hoped that Wang Chen would come out alive. As soon as the shield was lifted, he would definitely kill the blood demon king with a thunderous force. Wang Chuan, can you really do it? Bo Yong muttered. At this moment, there seemed to be nothing else he could do other than choosing to believe Wang Chuan. Who is the Wang Dust you are talking about? Chen Tiandao hadn't paid attention to the outside world for a long time and didn't know that Wang Chen was a dragon rising scholar. However, he had already heard Wang Chen's name several times from the mouth of Bai Yong, a top-level powerhouse, and the genus made him somewhat curious. Him, if there is really someone who can lead these students out, then I believe that it must be Wang Chen, Bai Yong said indifferently. That was how high he thought of Wang Chen. Otherwise he wouldn't have wanted to drag him into the Red Dragon Guard. It would be a waste for such a genius to cultivate in the outside world. And only the Red Dragon Guards could give him the best resources and the best copies for practicing. Oh, old me is also starting to take an interest in this brat. Chen Tian Dao didn't feel that Bai Yong was someone who was able to talk out of his ass. In that case, his son was not without a silver lining. Chen Tian Dao revealed a hint of a pleased smile. The later generations are fearful. The two of them closed their eyes and got up, ready to seize the moment the barrier opened to rush in and kill the king of blood demons. Land of chaos. Wang Dust finally raised a hint of interest in the blood demon king above him. If just now, 
All ninety levels of the King of Blood Demons were like ants in front of him. Then now, it was barely an opponent. The stats of a level 95 King of Blood Devils were undoubtedly terrifying. If the four-dimensional attributes could be looked at, there was no doubt that it was definitely a top-ranked 95 heavy powerhouse. Just standing there was filled with a suffocating aura. This was barely an opponent. Human, what you see now is my full strength. The King of Blood Demons shouted. Also known as the second form, Wan Dust responded indifferently. Ch. According to your human words, it is indeed called the second form. But I, however, am fundamentally different from those monsters. Because, I am strong. Stronger than you can imagine. The king of blood demons burst out. The muscles of his entire body compressed once again. The breath soared to an unprecedentedly powerful level. Wang Dust ignored it and held it in the void. The divine lance of the apocalypse and divine shield of the apocalypse, two divine artifacts instantly appeared. The moment the divine weapons appeared, the blood demon king's face froze. This weapon, it seemed to have the power of time and space. How was this possible? This human, how could he be so powerful? Who the hell is he? The blood demon king couldn't continue inking. Time was running out. He had to fight quickly. Blood demon great hand. The blood demon king shouted angrily. Majestic power poured out. And in an instant, a huge handprint with destructive power was condensed in the air. The power was so great and the sound was so majestic that it was enough to shake the heavens and move the earth. The heavens and earth seemed to change color because of it. The mountains and rivers collapsed. And it seemed that the entire heaven and earth were enveloped in this unavoidable strike. Chapter 271, The Blood Lotus Technique. Strong, very strong. This was Wang Dust's evaluation of this strike. The Blood Demon King was considered the first truly strong enemy Wang Dust had encountered after awakening the Super God Mechanic, a 95-level powerhouse. It was a rank that many people would never dare to hope for in their entire lives. It was a pity that the King of Blood Demons had encountered him. Wang Dust. Wang Dust's eyes closed slightly. And when he opened them again, a golden light erupted from his eyes. The divine shield of the apocalypse bloomed with incomparably brilliant light in an instant. At this moment, Wang Chen was like a true god. No, I'm afraid that even a real god would not be as dazzling as Wang Chen at this moment. Mechanical gears slowly turned. The apocalypse shield reorganized. The divine shield of the apocalypse was directly wrapped in silver white machinery in an instant. Brush. In the blink of an eye, a mechanical apocalypse god shield that was thousands or even tens of thousands of times larger came into view. This was Wang Chen's ability. The ability to perfectly fuse the divine shield of the apocalypse with the power of machinery. At the same time, this was also Wang Chen's true power. As long as he wanted to, as long as he was willing to, I'm afraid that if he looked at the entire world, there was no one who could threaten him. Wherever he looked, there was justice. Every move he makes is the truth. Powerful. Unimaginably powerful. This is Wang Chen. Rumble. The huge blood demon great handprint violently blasted at the divine shield of the apocalypse. Boom. Centered on the two. An incomparably powerful shockwave spread out towards the surroundings of the two. Boom. The earth was deeply sunken. And the only sound in the ears was the roar of metal still rumbling. Other than that, there seemed to be no other living thing in the world. This strike was a clash of strength and power. It was a clash between machinery and flesh and blood. And this mechanical power is far superior to flesh and blood. Rumble. 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 The nearby mountains were flattened and the lake was filled with debris. The aftermath of the clash between the two was enough to move mountains and level the sea. The power of the two was more than that. Wang Chuan looked towards the gradually spreading aftershocks. If he didn't make a move, these new students would probably all die here, with their power being absorbed again. This king of blood demons might be even harder to deal with. Wang Chuan split his apocalypse divine shield all part to defend against their aftershocks. Under the diversion, the attacks of the two actually still presented a lopsided situation. And how could the king of blood devil's flesh and blood body block this mechanical power? And how could it block Wang Chuan, who was a super god mechanic? How can the power of a god be so small? What's wrong? Didn't you eat, lord god? The corners of Wang Chuan's mouth rose, his tone teasing. The king of blood demons didn't seem as strong as he thought he was. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. this is you forcing me to be all human. Blood lotus technique. The king of blood demons shouted angrily. A blood-colored lotus flower suddenly appeared on the foreheads of all the humans who were in the great formation of the blood demons of the heavens. What is this? Wang Chan had a touch of foreboding in his heart. Human, don't you want to be a hero? Fine, I'll give you this chance. These humans that I've inflicted the blood lotus dharma on are life coexisting bodies with me. If I die, they die as well. Ha ha ha, of course, come on, if they don't die, I don't die either. Moreover, every bit of damage I receive will be returned to their bodies as is. Ha ha ha, the blood demon king laughed out loud. These underhanded tricks, 
he had plenty of them. These humans were nothing more than blood food to him, so it was just a matter of throwing them away. However, if they were to be used on this guy in front of him, it would be a weakness. He didn't think that he was inferior to Wang Chuan, but if he could torture this guy to death, that would be even better. Wang Chen exhaled deeply. This fellow, his methods were indeed displeasing. He wasn't a good person, but he wasn't a bad person either, and couldn't do it to kill so many people. What's more, and Xiao Xiao and the others were still in it. As long as it was a skill, it was bound to have a flaw. So what was the flaw of the king of blood demons? Wang Dust frowned slightly. The blood lotus grand technique was then overlaid with the heavenly blood demon formation. It was likely that these freshmen could no longer support it. Those who were slightly poorer in their families had less than 30% of their blood because they couldn't afford medicine. It was possible that they would have to die with a single blow from their own hands. It was difficult to do. What's wrong human? Now kneel down and beg for forgiveness from me. I can still consider letting you go. Ha ha ha. The king of blood demons laughed out loud. And before his words fell, he suddenly felt a figure arrive in front of him. It was certainly Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan's large hand grabbed the king of blood demons by the throat. Cough cough cough. Human. Have the guts to kill me. Ha ha ha. The king of blood demons was not panicked in the slightest. Wang Dust. What could he do to him? Wang Dust did not pay much attention. While controlling his power over the king of blood demons, he observed the surroundings and controlled the amount of blood dropped by the crowd. Through the feedback from the scanning tower. He seemed to have discovered some extraordinary news. With that, a hint of threat leaked from the corner of his mouth. As expected, this skill had a flaw. Next, it was time for a counterattack. What are you laughing at? The blood demon king's face changed violently as he suddenly had a bad feeling. Could it be that he had discovered a flaw in the blood lotus technique? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could he have observed it in such a short period of time? Chapter 272 Spatial Shift Wang Dust did not respond to the king of blood demons. The reason why he had just attacked the king of blood demons was to test what the shared life value of this blood lotus technique of his was. As expected, it was calculated according to the percentage of maximum life value. That is, if he himself knocked out 1% of the blood demon king's maximum life value, everyone else would also lose 1% at the same time. Of course, this was not the biggest flaw. According to the news that the scanning tower had brought to himself, those within 2000 kilometers of the blood demon king would lose 1% of their life value. But if they were 2,000 kilometers away, that is, around 2,100 kilometers, this damage would be sharply reduced from 1% to 0. 99%. The blonde girl who was farthest away from the king of blood demons had just lost only 0. 95% of her life value. Theoretically, if they pulled themselves 10, 000 kilometers away, the king of blood demons wouldn't be able to do any damage to them. At that time, when the king of blood demons left, the heavenly blood demon formation would naturally dissipate as well. All problems would naturally be solved. As for teleporting the blood demon king away from here, it was the simplest step. Although he had yet to try transferring a distance that long, it was not a difficult task for Wang Chen at this moment. Everything in the land of chaos would eventually come to an end. Human, what the hell are you doing? Even through the mask, the king of blood demons could not help but feel furious in his heart. What exactly was this human in front of him plotting? Why did it feel like every step he took was within this human's calculations? Obviously, he was the one in control of everything. He was the one who should be manipulating everything. Even Bayong Red Dragon Guards were considered as playthings in his hands. But now, why is it like this? It seemed that everything he did was counted by this human in front of him. Clearly a pawn in his plan. How did he reverse the Tian Gang? Feeling that Wang Chen was the mastermind behind all this. No, it couldn't be. As long as he was invincible in the land of chaos. There was no need for him to be so afraid. The human in front of him was even stronger and had more means. But he was just a freshman in the district. He still didn't believe that the human was still able to teleport him to another place? The king of blood devils shouted angrily, erupting monstrous blood flames that violently drowned Wang Chen. The crowd was shocked in their hearts. Wang Dust wouldn't be gone just like this. Eating seat. Everyone stopped getting high. After all, if Wang Dust GA'd, it was only a matter of time before they GA'd as well. This potion was so hard to drink, it was better not to drink it. Some people had already drunk their fill long ago. After all, this potion was also artificially formulated, and most people could only sell the normal version. So it was normal for it to be harder to drink. Just at this moment, a large hand snapped out from the blood flames. The movement was as fast as lightning. Not to mention these students, even the king of blood demons didn't react. Brush, the king of blood devil's face was shocked. This kid is really scary. Just as he wanted to leave the range of Wang Chuan's attack, who knew, 
Wang Chuan's large hand had already grabbed his head in a death grip at some unknown time. Wanting to break free, he simply couldn't. Is this really a 56th level guy? How did the attributes feel more outrageous than even him? There was even a feeling that his own hard power couldn't compare to his. Holy shit, why in the world is that? The king of blood devils couldn't even think of a way to understand how someone could open up. It was unheard of for a level 56 to reverse a level 95 powerhouse. It was simply something that couldn't possibly exist. Get high. Someone will come to save you. Wang Chen faintly threw down a sentence. Afterward, his aura began to become incomparably solid. It was as if a holy light emerged behind him. Click. The sound of gears turning rang out. The divine shield of the apocalypse in his hand began to erupt with a 10,000 foot light. The power of space. The blood demon king's pupils shrank. What a joke. Actually thinking of transferring him? If the attribute points crushed him, he could barely accept it. After all, there were many life-burning secret methods amongst humans. If these secret methods were coupled with some props plus Wang Chuan's own occupation was counterintuitive, it would indeed be fairly easy. Easy my ass. How could this be done? Whose flesh could resist so much power? Putting these issues aside, but if one wanted to transfer him away, how terrifying was the spatial power required? As long as he was unwilling, not to mention Wang Chuan, even spatial professions above level 90 would definitely not be able to shake him in the slightest. Otherwise, Wang Chuan would only pay the price of his life to be revolted. Did he know that or not? The king of blood demons had just celebrated for a short while when he suddenly realized that his body seemed to have been absorbed into it a little. The king of blood demons fell silent, feeling as if several slaps were repeatedly slapping his face. Ever since he met Wang Dust, he had either been slapped in the face or was on his way to being slapped in the face. How could someone be so heaven-defying? This kind of ability. I'm afraid that those top celestial pride who possessed the ancient god's inheritance wouldn't dare to hope for it. This human. What kind of existence is it? The king of blood demons instantly had his mind spinning frantically and decided to run away. What if this kid teleported him to the outside world to be beaten to death by the group itself? No. Must run away. The dignity of a king was instantly thrown to the back of his mind. The blood demon king's body was instantly wrapped in blood mist and looked like it was going to turn into nothingness. At that moment. Tick tock. Tick tock. The sound of a clock turning rang out. Chapter 273, Wine Dust's Terror. Blood Demon King's Shock. W.H. What? The Blood Demon King's body instantly stiffened as he looked unbelievably at Wang Dust, who was slowly walking towards him. The power of space and time were of such a caliber. This brat. What kind of person was he? There was absolutely no way that it was just a simple S-class talent. He should have known this long ago. Although he didn't know why he was still conscious even after time was suspended, there was no doubt that his body couldn't move at all. As if it was completely imprisoned. What a terrifying ability. The King of Blood Demons gulped. Not expecting this fellow to be so terrifying. Time stops flowing. Wang Chuan held the Divine Lance of Apocalypse in his left hand with a bland expression. This was his Wang Chuan's strength. Whether it was space or time, or a powerful physique. He possessed all of these. This was the powerful confidence brought about by the Super God Mechanic. It was worthy of being a SSS ranked profession. It was actually so powerful. Don't try to run away oh. How can a hallowed god run away? The divine shield of apocalypse in Wang Chen's hand bloomed once again. No. Don't. The king of blood demons was scared. He was really scared. Why? Why was this human so powerful? Where exactly was his limit? After using so many skills, but why was there not a single trace of being consumed seen from his body? This guy? Why in the world is he so powerful? He was so powerful that he had reached a terrifying level. The blood demon king was deeply shocked. If outsiders saw this scene, they would never believe that the Blood Demon King was a level 95 existence, while Wang Chen was a level 56 existence. The Blood Demon King had never imagined that he could actually be suppressed by a 56th level human. Obviously, he still had countless means at his disposal. But, for some unknown reason, he was just powerless against the human in front of him. It was the first time he had experienced this sense of despair. The fist he was so proud of was so powerless in front of the person in front of him. He really couldn't figure it out even if he thought about it. At that moment, Wang Chen once again exploded. Swish. The scene before the two men's eyes blurred for a while. In the blink of an eye, the two had arrived at a place 10,000 miles away. Wang Chuan glanced at the blue bar. The consumption was really still a bit large, but it was harmless. This amount of blue bar was enough. After all, if one wanted to transfer such an existence and then pause time, such a consumption was no longer a big deal. Time begins to flow. The divine lance of apocalypse in Wang Chuan's hand bloomed with light. Who? 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 The blood demon king gasped and looked at Wang Chen. This fellow, actually transferred him to such a place. Looking at an empty space around him, an unsettling premonition came out of his heart. This fellow, 
His strength was actually so powerful, he was now at the very least tens of thousands of kilometers away from the land of chaos. The blood demon king's face changed as he began to feel his link with the heavenly blood demon grand formation and the blood lotus grand law. Suddenly, his face changed again and again. Not good. How was it possible that all of his links with these things were actually severed? Let's try it first. Wang Dust walked to the king of blood demons without moving. Then, one hand single-handedly pinched the blood demon king's throat. What's wrong? King of blood demons, with such a small power? Wang Dust smiled faintly. It seemed that all of these were resolved Ah, According to the information coming from the scanning tower, those freshmen were not harmed. At this moment, the situation steeply shifted. The land of chaos. Everyone looked unbelievably at the gradual elimination of the blood mask above their heads, which also meant, the heavenly blood demon formation, completely lifted. What it meant was self-evident. They were completely saved. What exactly had Wang Chen done? Right at this moment, Bai Yang's face in the outside world suddenly changed. He and Chen Tiandao exchanged glances. The great formation of the heavens and blood demons, lifted. Good. Just ask if there could be better news than this. Not only that, but 10,000 miles away, there was a powerful aura of level 95. Obviously, that was the aura of the king of blood devils. Bai Yang's eyes instantly turned red. He instantly brainstormed about Wang Chuan being tortured to death by the king of blood demons. Wang Chuan having 206 bones in his body dry crushed and fractured in 207 pieces, and then collapsing on a pool of blood covered in blood. Then utilizing the life essence as well as a series of forbidden means gave all his life to banish the king of blood demons 10,000 miles away. It was so that the king of blood demons would not harm his classmates. This kid, who looks paralyzed, didn't expect to be so sentimental and righteous. After a bit of brainstorming, Ba Yon, an iron-blooded tough guy, was made to cry. Senior sword immortal. Your sword. It shouldn't be dull yet. Ba Yong said word for word. He he. On the contrary, it is the old man who still has to see how strong the juniors are. Chen Tiandao's body erupted with his aura. How terrifying was the aura of the two. Even the earth was trembling. Wang Chuan, go in peace. I will kill the king of blood demons handily. Ba Yong snapped. Ba Yong didn't care about any restrictions anymore. His firepower was all out. And the sound of explosions rose and fell in the air. The speed was so fast that his figure could not even be seen. Chen Tiandao carried his hands behind his back and rode his sword, disappearing into a stream of light. And Wang Chen, who was 10,000 miles away, with one foot, he stepped on, the blood demon king's head, casually ripping off his arms. In his opinion, this so-called king of blood demons was really so weak. Chapter 274, Wang Chen's Terrifying Power. Human, you will regret killing me. The king of blood demons snapped. Regret? I want to see how to regret it. Wang Dust was disdainful. A mere blood demon king. Did he still want to overturn the sky? Perhaps without him today, those freshmen would all die there. But that didn't mean that there was no one in the outside world who could restrain the blood demon king. At the very least, as far as he knew, the Xinguo level Bai Yang would definitely have no problem taking down the king of blood demons. What's more, after today's incident, he really didn't believe that Bai Yang would hold his tongue, although he had not met him head on. A person who could become the commander of the Red Dragon Guards would definitely not be able to hold his tongue. From the very beginning, this blood demon king's path was narrow. Human, you underestimate me too much. Ola, the blood demon king once again galvanized the remaining power within his body. He fiercely blasted out with a fist. It seemed like the entire heaven and earth was shaken by this punch. Rumble. The speed was so fast that it even made a violent explosion sound in the air. Terrifying. How terrifying. Even Wang Chen did not expect that this old dog which seemed to be dying, actually had such strength. The genus had given him a little bit of a shock. It was a pity that even if a mole cricket resisted on the verge of death and erupted countless times its strength, it was still a mole cricket. It would never make a bigger wave. The blood red lines on Wang Chen's battle armor flashed. In an instant, Wang Chen's aura seemed to have changed. Rumble. The two men clashed their fists, and with the two men at the center, a wave of air spread towards the surroundings. The blood demon king was even more unbelievable his own wrathful strike. The human in front of him was actually able to casually receive it without any preparation. How could this be possible? The blood demon king roared. Three pairs of arms instantly grew out from his back. A total of eight fists violently blasted at Wang Chuan as if he was a madman. The fists in front of Wang Chuan's eyes were like a storm, waving densely. With such speed and such force, it was obvious that his own attribute points were powerful to the limit. It was a pity that compared to strength, Wang Dust was just as fearless. It's useless. Wang Dust's double fists blasted out at an even faster speed. The tens of thousands of fist shadows in front of him were actually taken down by Wang Chuan with both fists. How is this possible? 
The more the king of blood demons fought, the more he was shocked. This human, how could he do this? Was this still really a human? The king of blood demons had to grit his teeth and hold on. Just at this moment, the red light in Wang Dust's goggles flashed. Rumble. Wang Dust slammed his fist onto the king of blood demons' head. Ch. The attack power doesn't seem to be that high. The king of blood demons' words had yet to fall. He suddenly realized an extremely terrifying scene. His head actually began to shatter apart. How was this possible? This was clearly just a light punch. How did it have such power? It wasn't just his head. His entire body began to produce cracks. No, 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 it's impossible. He actually sensed the threat of death at this instant. He is actually going to die. The king of blood demons frowned. It was simply incomprehensible that he had actually lost to a mere human. And in every aspect, Wang Chen's next punch followed. The king of blood demons was blown away by a punch thousands of meters, and his entire body exploded out. Strange. I didn't use much force for this second punch. How did it fly so far? Wang Dust was a little curious as he looked at the blood demon king who was like a stray arrow. Ha ha ha. Wang Chuan, you didn't expect it. This is my escape route. The blood demon king laughed out loud generally time stops have a range. As long as one goes beyond that range, the blood demon king's body flipped. The whole person flew towards the chaotic land at an extremely fast speed. As long as he went back over there again, he would still have a chance. Oh, Wang Dust smiled faintly. Swish. The wings behind him opened violently. The wings that emitted 10,000 lights flapped gently, and the air was instantly torn apart. Boom. Wang Dust was even faster. In an instant, he approached the Blood Demon King. What? The Blood Demon King was even more shocked. The flying speed could surpass him by so much. You're fucking hung up, aren't you? 56 levels of all attributes surpassed him. Who can justify this? The Blood Demon King immediately burned his essence blood and turned on the Blood Demon Divine Speed. Whoosh. The two of them chased after each other, and a powerful chase broke out in the air. It was a pity that Wang Chen's speed was superior. After all, under the super god overload, he had strengthened more than just his four-dimensional attributes. Rather, all the attributes of the entire person were enhanced tenfold. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so powerful, let alone crushing the king of blood demons. After all, he was still at level 56 no matter what, and trying to crush a level 95 with normality was more or less a pie in the sky. Human do I have to die today? The king of blood demons said angrily. He didn't understand why he had to be killed. Of course, Wang Dust slightly angled his head. After all, this fellow was the culprit of everything. It didn't matter if he was killed. No, or rather, he had to be killed. The propellers on the soles of Wang Chuan's feet erupted once again at this moment. Whoosh, the speed accelerated once again, turning into a stream of light that violently pressed on the head of the king of blood demons. Chapter 275, King of Blood Devils fallen. Wang Dust was holding down the king of blood devils. This guy's blood was quite thick. It looked like he was dying, but he didn't expect to have so much blood. No wonder it was called the king of blood devils. It was really thick-skinned. Let me go. I am the king of blood demon. As a king, I naturally collect countless treasures. As long as you let me go, all the treasures I have collected for countless years will all be yours. The king of blood demons hurriedly said. His current life value was making him very insecure. Ah, you're confused. If I kill you, all of these will be mine as well. There's still experience in killing you, so it's cost effective to kill you anyways. When Wang Chuan said this, the blood demon king's old face instantly froze. What the hell are you saying ah big brother? What do you mean by killing me the treasures are all yours? The king of blood devils did not understand how there could be such a brazen human in the world. Although the truth is indeed so a reason. But the key to the problem is that he does not want to die ah. 95 levels of existence. To be able to upgrade to such a degree. He spent an unknown number of years, laid down how many schemes to be able to achieve this goal. But now he had actually had his dream of invincibility shattered by a tiny human. Damn it. On the other side, Ba Yong and Chen Tian Dao were a little surprised. How come this king of blood demons was running further and further away? Shouldn't it return to the land of chaos? This way, they would have to consume some more blue again. No matter what, this isn't a piece of good news. Chen Tian Dao said with a gloomy face. The direction over there was none other than the imperial capital. Could it be that the blood demon king wanted to head towards the imperial capital in one move? This fellow, actually wanted to go directly to the imperial capital. Even if someone was able to stop him in the end, even if he was as strong as a behemoth like the imperial capital, he would still suffer considerable damage. This guy, has he jumped over the wall? He is so arrogant. Does he really think that humans can't take him down? Bayan's face was equally grave. This fellow, as the commander of the Red Dragon Guards, 
He must kill in here today to honor Wang Chen's spirit in heaven. The two of them held the mindset that they must kill the king of blood demons, and their speed was once again elevated, just as they had just left. The Xiao family head and the president of the Imperial Capital University, Ouyang Bo, arrived late. Their strength was very strong in the outside world, but if they were to be compared to the Bai Yong Chen Tian Dao duo, it could only be said to be incomparable. What's going on? Why are they heading towards the Imperial Capital instead? Ouyang Bo wiped the sweat from his forehead. He had just rushed from the Imperial Capital to the Land of Chaos, and without even taking a breath, he realized that the King of Blood Demons had gone towards the Imperial Capital again. This made them furious, they were almost exhausted, by the time they rushed over there, it was hard to doubt that they still had any fighting strength left, especially the Xiao family head, since he didn't have any flying skills, he could only rely on his legs plus the sprinting skills provided by his warrior profession to run all the way from Gamma province to here, 10 pairs of boots and the storage ring froze and broke 9 pairs of boots, legs are fast swinging smoke, pain, really too painful, the Xiao family head gritted his teeth and changed into a new pair of boots, ready to put up another fight. I think he's trying to go and attack the imperial capital through some means. We need to speed up. The Xiao family head gasped and huffed. Chase. Oh Yang Bo immediately sent a message to Lu Hongxing about this operation. The two of them continued their journey without stopping. If this were to happen again, they were afraid that they would die of exhaustion on the road. Lu Hongxing, who was far away from the imperial capital, changed his face again and again. The land of chaos had actually gone that wrong. Under their noses, there was actually an extra level 95 foreigner that they didn't even realize. Foreigners were different from monsters. These powerful intelligent creatures were the most terrifying existences to humans. Maybe Wang Chen had already died in their hands. Thinking worse, maybe the entire Imperial Capital University's heavenly pride had already been buried in his hands. Lu Hongxing's face was iron blue. There was actually such a big accident. Today, this king of blood devils, it seemed that he had to die. Even the person he looked at dared to move. Fortunately, Bai Yong had rushed there a long time ago. This king of blood devils must be brought to justice. Just when everyone was surprised that Wang Chuan died at the hands of the king of blood devils, Wang Dust's output flew towards the king of blood devils at a speed invisible to the naked eye. Don't look at the fact that this guy was like a chicken in his hands, but his blood was also really thick. It would take quite a bit of effort to take it down himself. Spare me, human. The blood demon king gritted his teeth. This human in front of him was actually doing this to him, while he had to wail like a lost dog. I'll spare you in the next life, but forget about this one. You, have long since entered my must-kill list. Wang Chuan summoned the Divine Lance of Apocalypse with a bashful face. Swish, a golden light flashed, and the Divine Pistol of Heavenly Revelation ruthlessly pierced into the heart of the King of Blood Demons. Everything started from the heart, but ended from the heart. If there is revenge, it must be avenged. If not, the time has not yet come, but now since there is this time, it must be killed. Human. You. The king of blood demons pupils shrunk, and then, the blood light in his pupils gradually dissipated. The king of blood demons, fell. Chapter 276, leveling up and receiving a bountiful harvest. Wang Chen put away the apocalypse god gun. The time for the overwhelming god overload had also just ended. Wang Chuan glanced at his consumption. In order to kill the king of blood demons, his consumption could not be considered small. It could even be said to be great. Although it was downplayed on the surface. Only he himself knew what such an existence really meant, without any surprises. The king of blood demons was definitely the most powerful opponent he had encountered so far. So far, no enemy had been able to make him consume so much. It was only a pity that no matter how powerful the enemy was, he would be viciously punched to the ground. Right at this moment, a golden light flashed on Wang Dust's body. Ding, congratulations on killing the 95 level alien blood demon king, gaining a massive amount of experience value. Ding. Congratulations on reaching the upper limit of your experience value. Your level has increased and you are now at level 57. Ding. Congratulations. Your experience value has reached the upper limit. Your level has increased. And you are now at level 58. Ding. Congratulations. Your experience value has reached its limit. Your level has increased. And you are now at level 59. Ding. Congratulations. Your experience value has reached the limit. Your level has increased. And you are now at level 60. Ding, congratulations, your experience value has reached the limit, your level has increased, and you are now at level 61. Ding, congratulations, your experience value has reached the upper limit, your level has increased, and you are now at level 62. Several golden lights flashed one after another on Wang Dust's body, and his level was suddenly raised by 6 levels in a row, coming straight to level 62. Such an upgrade speed reached an unattainable level. 
looking at the whole of China. No, even looking at the whole world's human history, I'm afraid that there isn't anything that can have Wang Chuan's upgrading speed, and even Wang Chuan's back can't be seen. For example, in the Imperial Capital University, those top geniuses are now afraid that the highest they can get is only around level 60. Don't look and Wang Dust seems very close, but their profession at most only S level. Upgrade the experience needed in Wang Dust Sky different, not to mention, those heavenly pride which is not the family within the supply of a huge amount of resources, and then by the family of strong people led by the hard leveling to grow to such a high level. This is still only the level. In terms of strength, I'm afraid that the entire Imperial Capital University students combined is not as good as him Wang Dust a hair. The gap between these geniuses and Wang Dust was more than a point and a half, but Wang Dust still frowned, feeling as if the upgrades were a bit less. Yes that's right, upgrading six levels in a row was still less in Wang Dust's opinion. If those geniuses were to see it, they would definitely go crazy. They were led by their elders and hunted 75 level monsters, but they didn't see any upgrades even if they killed dozens of them, so it was difficult to see the upgrades, but Wang Dust was actually so Versailles. Wang Dust, however, pondered, after all, how to say that it was also killing level 95 foreigners. It shouldn't be too much to skyrocket to level 70, but why? Wang Dust slightly closed his eyes and felt the power of the boost. Afterwards, he smiled faintly as he understood. No wonder, the leveling up was so slow. It turned out to be so. The power he had boosted was actually so huge that the normal boost was more than double the battle power compared to just now. Don't look at this doubling boost as insignificant. But if it was converted into the super god overload form, he wouldn't have to consume too much to defeat the blood demon king, and he could even do it in a direct second. This was only the smallest increase from upgrading. If he upgraded to level 60 above if he only unlocked so little, how could he be a top profession of SSS level? The overgod mechanic. However, let's just wait until he was free to take stock of it. His boosts were more than that. He had already sensed that there were several auras coming towards his side. Unsurprisingly, it was none other than Bayong and the others. And one of the auras was somewhat similar to Pingon Chen. This place should not be stayed for long ah. He himself took the opportunity to run back and swallowed the king of blood demons property before he did so. Combined with his inheritance. It was possible that one's level 60 at this stage would be greatly improved. At that time, to what extent would one be able to be powerful? Wang Dust licked his lips. All this, still really looking forward to it. Wang Dust took away all the things that were worth some money from the king of blood demons, and didn't even let go of his essence blood, he couldn't use it himself, so he could at least sell it for some money. After doing this, Wang Dust flew towards the chaotic land, ready to scavenge the blood demon king's legacy. The only thing left in the original place was a blood demon king that died a miserable death, with only a shell left in its body. Just then, Bai Yang Chen Tian Dao arrived late. As soon as they arrived, the two saw the remains of the king of blood demons, only to see that the remains of a body that was nothing but blood red withered bones were lying in place. The surrounding area was not without traces of battle. Just by looking at the pile of large craters tens of kilometers in diameter, one could tell that a bloody battle had just erupted and the final winner would obviously not be the Blood Demon King. After all, he was dead. Just now, what exactly happened? Bai Yong was shocked. He didn't dare to imagine that someone was actually able to kill the King of Blood Demons. Seeing that the King of Blood Demons' death was actually so miserable, it was obvious that this strong person who struck must be very strong. Who on earth was it? As far as he knew, there was no such a figure in China. Chapter 277 Shocked Bai Yong and Chen Tendao Bai Yong and Chen Tian Dao were completely shocked. Just who was able to tackle this 95 level terror? According to their knowledge, there was no such existence in this neighborhood. Could it be one of the hidden seniors? Hiss, it didn't seem impossible. But based on the circumstances of the battle at the scene, this senior must be in existence far above the 95th level. Otherwise, I'm afraid that he wouldn't have been able to crush this fellow. Hidden big brother, terrifying as hell. It seems like we don't need to make a move. Bayon's hanging heart finally came down. Otherwise, if this guy attacked the imperial capital, then he would really be helpless. Even if he ended up killing the blood demon king completely, then the imperial capital would still die quite a few people. Now that this guy has been killed, this shortcoming can be avoided very well. Just, Bai Yong looked at the death of the king of blood demons. How did he feel that this guy had suffered some kind of inhuman torture during his lifetime? And, as a level 95 powerhouse, this guy is not slightly shabby. He didn't even have a piece of armor on his body. That's not right. Could it be? This guy wouldn't have been stripped of all his armor. TSK, but it does look quite similar. Not only was the skin pulled out, even his bones were broken open by a syringe, directly draining the bone marrow. Obviously just died. 
Body froze a drop of blood cannot be seen, do not know thought it was a dry corpse it. This guy is a real king of the blood demon. A body of flesh and blood content can be said to be very high. It seems that this senior, also quite loved to collect awe, just died as if he had been dead for 800 years, and not a single drop of blood could be seen on his body. Thanks to the fact that the bones of the king of blood devils weren't of much use, otherwise they were afraid that they wouldn't even be able to see the remains. When Chen Tian Dao saw this scene, he unloaded his entire body's strength, and the entire person instantly aged a lot. It was good that everything was safe and sound. It's just that this life force of his wasn't burned in vain. It was all used to catch up on the road. Damn ah. But this was also the scene he was most willing to see. If something too big of a disaster happened, this would not be good. Just, who exactly is this person who killed the king of blood demons? Even if he is this kind of old monster, know a lot of strong people. But he pondered for half a day also did not have this kind of character. Such an attack means, it seems that it is not a type of mage. But if it is not a type of mage, and what profession can have such destructive power? Combined with the traces of his chest being penetrated by the lance, if it is said to be a warrior profession, it is unlikely. After all, if we look at the entire Grand Xia who used a lance as a weapon, it was only that one, but that one was currently stationed at the border, so it was obviously not him. Then who could it be? Chen Tian Dao was a little puzzled, but he didn't ask. Perhaps there was someone else in all of this. As long as it was currently towards them, that was enough. It was just that this life origin of his, was using a little bit less. Senior sword immortal, are you alright? Bayan looked at Chen Tiandao's sudden aging and hurriedly asked. Don't see that he was usually a big man, but in reality, he still respected these old seniors. After all, Chen Tiandao's glorious deeds, that couldn't be written in a book. Even if Chen Tiandao's current strength was far inferior to his, he was still his senior. No harm done. A fatal injury in the district. Chen Tiandao smiled faintly and waved his hand. Eh? Bayon instantly choked. What did it mean by a mere fatal wound? However, Chen Tiandao's old injury was indeed quite fatal. It was just that it had been suppressed. Once strength was utilized, the old injury would come back. This time's full force rush had conservatively estimated that it had caused Chen Tiandao's lifespan to be shortened by another year. If Chen Tiandao were to go all out next time, then it was estimated that his lifespan would be completely at an end. Let's go back to the land of chaos. Although I've already confirmed that the students of the land of chaos aren't in any serious trouble, there are a few things that I'm still uneasy about. Bai Yang summoned the Red Dragon King, and Chen Tian Dao nodded. Just now, he was concerned about the big picture and did not have the time to check his son's scent. It would naturally be the best if he was alive. If he was dead, then he would probably be extinct. Chen Tian Dao let out a bitter smile, and the two of them left the same place. After the two of them left, the Xiao family head and Ouyang Bo arrived late. The Shao family head's last pair of boots were completely ruined. His legs were smoking from running. This running for him was exhausting him. Never in his life had he thought that he would have to run so far in one breath. Don't let him die of exhaustion without fighting the monsters. What? The king of blood demons is dead. The Shao family head collapsed to the ground in a sweat. Wasn't this a wasted trip? The Shao family head instantly felt like a clown. What the hell was he desperately running for? His entire body was petrified at the thought of having to run back to the chaotic landlader. What was this not a clown? The Xiao family head froze. Ouyang Bo on the side was also sweating profusely. In the end what happened ah? How could he, the president of the Dudu Imperial Capital University, not know anything? The two men stood still as if they were wooden chickens. Neither going nor staying. People are numb ah. Chapter 278 Three Headed Jiao Beheaded Egg Changes At the palace in the depths of the land of chaos, Wang Dust looked up and his eyes were filled with a gorgeous golden color. Such a luxurious exterior or even just his surface, the inner luxury was simply unimaginable, it wasn't easy to find this one palace, he had just flown around the chaos canyon, but he had found it, these were all his wang dust's trophies, I have to say, the king of blood devils is just confused, if he hadn't said that passage, he might have forgotten that an existence like the king of chaos had a treasure trove, and he himself carried even more resources, it was really hard to imagine just how much more equipment he had accumulated over the years, dare I say more? There must be quite a few diamond level sets. I'm afraid I don't know how much better these sets are compared to the outside world. Sort of let him find a good place ah. Wang Chen slowly approached towards the palace. Only to see that a blood red barrier instantly unfolded. Wang Chuan straightened his complexion. There was actually a protective shield here? Could it be a passive trigger? No. It shouldn't be. If it was passively triggered. How could it be triggered only after he had walked here himself? Knowing that he was already close to walking to the palace's gate. Could it be? Is there someone else here? Wang Dust's face stiffened. 
He didn't expect that there would be someone else who wanted to come here to undermine him. Who could it be? Wang Dust's first reaction was that the King of Blood Demons was still alive, but he then put this idea behind him. How could this be possible? The King of Blood Devils even with the box was at most three pounds, and there was absolutely no possibility of resurrection. He was so close to raising his ashes himself. Then who else could it be? Wang Dust slightly closed his eyes and thought about his opponent. Suddenly, he thought of the projection that he had just started to fight with. I see. There is still one person left in this chaotic land. Wang Dust's face straightened and he blasted out a fist. The blood-colored barrier, which had been as solid as a rock just a moment ago, lasted only an instant before it turned into particles of light and dissipated between heaven and earth. The powerful force caused Wang Chen himself to be taken aback. Was his own power already this strong? The power of just this punch was more than twice as strong as it was before he rose to 62 levels. This was still without opening the super god armament. If he opened the super god armament, he was afraid that his power would be even more terrifying. Just then, a huge figure suddenly appeared in the dome. It was the three-headed Jiao that had a previous encounter with Wang Chuan. Holy shit, this kid is damn terrifying. The boss wouldn't have died in this kid's hands already. Good boy. Fleshly strength dry shattering the blood demon protection formation. Don't even dare to think about it. Run away. Must run away. The three-headed Jiao was sweating with fear, and with a flick of his wings, he flew out thousands of meters. He couldn't wait to get far away from Wang Chuan. This calamity. Now, originally, he thought that Wang Chuan was a dish, but he didn't expect him to become a dish. In terms of this physical strength, it could not only be described with the word terrifying. Originally thought that opening the barrier would be able to delay part of the time, did not expect ah, this barrier did not even last a second. I don't know. This barrier didn't even last a second. Three-headed Zhao is afraid of death. It was a stark contrast to his huge size. Wang Chuan's legs slightly bent. In the next moment, Wang Chen shot out explosively. The speed was so fast that it even caused space to curve slightly. Wang Chen's physical strength had clearly reached a terrifying point. Rumble. In just one glance, the three-headed Zhao had been pressed to the ground by Wang Chen. Let me go. I am. Before the words of the three-headed Zhao left his mouth, the three heads were chopped off by Wang Chuan's hand. This was Wang Chen's terrifying strength. So terrifying that it was enough to make people smack their lips. But for Wang Chuan, it seemed that he had only done a trivial and insignificant thing. Wang Chuan was just about to leave when the spatial ring vibrated slightly. Oh, Wang Chuan came to be interested. It was obviously that mysterious egg again. Originally, Wang Chuan had thought that this mysterious egg was the egg of the race that he had killed. But now, it seemed that it was not all. The upper limit of that race's strength was just like that. Absorbing so many things, it was impossible for it not to hatch. Looking at it now. The true origin of this egg multi was far from as simple as it appeared. He hadn't even seen the king of blood demons look so excited after killing him before. But why was this egg acting? So hyperactive after killing the three-headed Jiao? That's right. It was enough to describe this egg as hyperactive. Wang Chuan released the mysterious egg. Only to see that he seemed to have been born with a spirit. As he jumped over. The egg slowly jumped to the head of the corpse of the three-headed Jiao. Only to see that the mysterious egg began to release a flash of golden light. In the next moment, the corpse of the three-headed Jia was actually slowly absorbed. Wang Chuan was a little surprised. How did this little guy that hadn't hatched absorb so much energy? Don't look at the three-headed Jia in front of himself, as if he could be taken casually. But when you look at the outside world, the three-headed Jia is definitely a strong party. But his own egg actually absorbed it without any pressure. It's really strange. Wang Chuan is a little curious. He became more and more expectant. This egg, in the end can hatch out what things. Chapter 279, The Blood Demon King's Terrifying Legacy. Soon, the egg had sucked the corpse of the three-headed Zhao cleanly, and there actually wasn't even any dregs left. Wang Chen could not help but smack his lips a little. This egg liquid was too edible. It was able to absorb so much energy before it was even born. What if it was born? Right at this moment, this egg suddenly bloomed with a brilliant light. Wang Chuan's heart surged. Could it be that this was going to completely hatch after absorbing this three-headed Zhao? After eating so many of his materials, it really should have hatched as well, right? Then, there is no more. Wang Chen instantly froze. So what did you do? Why did you suddenly flash off? This egg is really hard to get. Actually, even the energy of the 79 level 3 headed auger is not enough for him to absorb. What kind of existence can this egg hatch? Wang Chuan is now looking forward to this egg more and more. This egg is now lying flat here. And it is really a bit like a little guy who was lying here with a full stomach. Wang Chuan put away this mysterious egg and then pushed open the door of the palace. As soon as he pushed it open, Wang Chuan was severely shocked by the scene in front of him. 
The king of blood demons was worthy of being an existence that had dominated the outskirts of the land of chaos for an unknown number of years, and actually had so many treasures. As far as the eye could see, all of them were golden and blue. It was really hard to imagine that this was only the most superficial things, and the luxury within it was simply unthinkable. Wang Chuan continued to go deeper after taking a look. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't that Wang Chuan wasn't interested in this gold. The gold of this era may be far less valuable than once, but it is also by no means comparable to ordinary metals. Here's so much gold added up. At least a few hundred million Chinese coins. How could he throw away? Of course is to leave the diggers dig away ah. This is all money. Wang Chuan's super god armament need money to buy equipment upgrade. Space ring lying within the egg also need to spend money to upgrade. Plus their own family. Expenses are mostly very ah. Don't look at him Wang Chuan like this. The truth is very empty inside. Even in the storage ring, lying only cold more than a billion, plus billions of dollars worth of materials only. Alas, ultimately too poor ah. Wang Chen shook his head. These gold could still be worth quite a bit of money at least. It has been a long time since I came here to the land of chaos. After I go back, I should almost be able to start preparing for the ancient giant forest, and my own parents, as well as my sister, will soon be saved. In Wang Chen's mind, the figures of his parents and sister were vivid in his mind, and they could not be waved away for a long time. He would soon be able to make them stand up again. How could this not be exciting? Until then, he needed to improve his strength all the time. If the strength was not enough, all of this was empty talk. Subsequently, a huge gate was ushered in front of Wang Chen. The gate stood majestically, and Wang Chen was like a mole cricket in front of the gate. This gate was at the very least hundreds of meters high, and this gate, actually, was made of rare metals throughout. It was enough to show that the king of blood devils had made a great deal of money. I'm afraid that its value is several times greater than the gold that is spread all over the outside. Wang Dust's eyes were glowing. These are only the least valuable parts. It's hard to imagine what's inside. Wang Dust's eyes burned as he looked ahead, and his breathing couldn't help but catch up. Wang Dust gave a fierce push. Rumble. The gate collapsed with a loud bang. The earth shook steeply. It was enough to see that the weight of this gate was actually so terrifying. Wang Chuan did not move and put the gate into his storage ring. Don't ask. Ask as the child's family is poor. Their own family gate have to pack away with them. Wang Chuan looked around and a piece of treasure came into view. The quantity, however, is not as much as Wang Chuan imagined, but its quality. Let Wang Chuan some smacked his lips. There were even upgrade materials that one's own machinery general factory needed to use. Originally, there were still a lot of spare materials that were needed for his mechanical general factory. And this trip froze to make up for it. Blood rain Stygian jade. Carved Stygian stone. Celestial green jade. Iron of the universe. White cloud basalt. These, all of them were here. One must know that the materials that Wang Chuan couldn't collect to advance to the sixth level before were all rare materials. Originally, after going out this time, Wang Chuan had planned to go to the treasure pavilion to try his luck. But this way, they were all there. This blood demon king was simply too good. It's simply his big wrong seed. Not only did it give him experience, it also gave him materials. Where can he find a boss like this? He wouldn't be able to find such a good boss in his life. Truly, he cried to death. Wang Dust summoned the digger while walking towards the front. He realized that the further ahead he went, the more precious the treasures became. Yes that's right. These treasures at the entrance might be precious, but if they were compared to the ones inside, they were nothing. Suddenly, Wang Chuan's pupils shrunk. Wait a minute. What did he see? Wasn't this something he had dreamed of? It actually appeared here. Wang Dust's face was unbelievable. This king of blood demons was really a great injustice. Why does it have everything? Wang Dust slowly approached, and a divine and powerful aura instantly enveloped him. The corners of his mouth rose. Your stuff is great, but unfortunately, it is now his. Chapter 280 Full Flight Annihilation Bloodliner Set What was in front of Wang Dust's eyes was clearly a set of equipment. Diamond Grade Equipment Don't think the diamond level equipment is inconspicuous. That also depends on what kind of diamond equipment it is. Wang Dust's mechanical ascension had soared to LV5, and he had risen to level 60, which also meant that his strength, once again, was able to usher in a huge increase, and mechanical soaring was a big way to do that. Not only that, Diamond level equipment might not be that strong, but the set that the Blood Demon King had kept was diamond level equipment that was already approaching legend. That would be very expensive. Even the 70 level diamond set that Imperial Capital University had promised him was definitely not as precious as a half step legend level equipment. One must know that legendary grade equipment required monsters above level 100 to have a probability of popping out, and half step legend also absolutely need 90 level level, or even straight to 100 level monsters to burst out. Enough to see, 
This half-step legend level equipment in the end how rare, it's not an exaggeration to say that. Looking at the whole of China today, I'm afraid that not many people are able to equip a half-step legendary equipment. What's more, this set of half-step legendary equipment was even a set. It had a set effect. In this way, coupled with their own mechanical ascension will certainly be able to have an even more powerful effect. This is how horrible. Simply do not even dare to think about it. Wang Dust did not expect that the King of Blood Devils actually had such an inventory. Even he who had already prepared himself mentally could not help but feel his throat drying up. Perverted. Too perverted. Wang Chuan's pupils shrank as he looked towards these half-step legendary level sets. Annihilation Bloodlin Battle Axe. Annihilation Bloodlin Armor. Annihilation Bloodlin Helmet. Annihilation Bloodlin Boots. Annihilation Bloodlin Wrist Guard. Set Name, Annihilation Bloodliner Set. Equipment Grade, Half-Step Legend. Equipment Level, Level 60. Set Effect, Strength Increased by 100%. Speed increased by 50%, power increased by 50%, blood increased by 200%, defense increased by 200%. Set feature 1, Annihilation, each of your attacks has the power of annihilation attached to it, which will attach an unrecoverable erosion effect to your opponent. Set feature 2, Indestructible, if you take fatal damage, you are immediately immune to this damage and return your blood to 100%. The bloodliner set is temporarily broken and will return to normal after one month. Set effect, Bloodliner, you shout out. Bloodliner, summon. Summon a summon object with attributes equal to yours out of thin air. And the summoned object can have, annihilation, and, indestructible, effects. Set introduction, legend has it that the person who owns this set of equipment will have an extraordinary life. The first owner of the equipment was the young head of the blood demon clan, but had been framed by his clan brother for obtaining this set of equipment, resulting in the loss of his talent and zero level. Subsequently, the first owner was expelled from the clan and for the sake of vengeance he poured out everything he had to pour out the originally broken Annihilation Bloodliner set with his essence of blood, day and night until it was in perfect condition, he fought with everything he had, even if he had to give up his former pride, in order to one day take revenge on his own clan brother, so that his soul could rest in eternal peace, Wang Dust was viciously shocked the moment he saw the set, this thing was actually all noble percentage bonuses, it was simply unimaginable that such an existence was actually only a half-step legendary level set? Subsequently, Wang Dust shook his head. That was not the case. I'm afraid that the might of a legendary level set was no more than that, except that it was impossible for equipment under 100 levels to have the word legendary. If not, the terrifying attributes of this equipment even crushed the loose parts of certain legendary equipment. The collection of the King of Blood Demons was truly as terrifying as it was. Wang Dust slightly closed his eyes. Next, it was time to fuse these equipments. Congratulations, head armor soaring successfully. Congratulations, chest armor upgrade successful. Congratulations, your back armor has been upgraded successfully. Congratulations, left arm attack route upgraded successfully. Congratulations, your right arm's defense route has been upgraded. Congratulations, your right arm defense route has ascended successfully. Congratulations, the Annihilation Bloodliner suit has been increased in your body and is now transformed into the Destruction Skyliner suit. The effect of the suit has increased to double that of the Annihilation Bloodliner's kit. Congratulations, your annihilation skill has been changed to destruction. Congratulations, the bloodlin has been replaced by the skylin. Congratulations, the undying skill has been replaced with a permanent effect, and the CD has been changed to one day. Congratulations, undying has been changed to a permanent effect, the CD has been changed to one day, and the equipment will not be broken. Congratulations, all the bits have ascended successfully. Wang Dust felt his rising power as well as the beeps coming from his ears. The corners of his mouth could not help but rise. Strong, too strong. He was now, simply stronger than he could even imagine. Super God, armed, Wang Dust shouted explosively. Rumble, Wang Dust's terrifying power instantly erupted, and tens of kilometers in a radius were suppressed by his mighty power, unable to lift his head. This was still under Wang Chuan's full suppression. Strong, too strong, if just now. It was still necessary to turn on the Overgod Overload to be able to barely kill the King of Blood Demons. Then now, it was estimated that it was not necessary at all. The normal Wang Dust was now at the very least a one. Two Blood Demon King. Terrifying. Truly terrifying. Even Wang Chuan didn't dare to imagine that his power had actually become so terrifying. 